interesting. Yeah. Yay! Hi. Get rid of that. Get rid of what? That so we I can, can see the whole it? screen. I can no, just close just, this. Just put it down on the foot. Minimize Jesus it. Jesus Christ. There we go. Hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. How you doing? Live from the compound. Um, wow. Inaugural uh, program, really, if you think about it. Uh, we haven't really been on uh, doing real life from the compound shows in a while. The studio has been uh, getting revamped, as they say. Revamped. Still looks bad. Thanks. What? Who said that? I'm reading My this. My head's chroma keying. No, it's not. Where does it say? No, it's... Look, I'm still working on the lights. It's not permanent yet. The lights aren't all set yet. They're not all set perfectly yet. So relax. That's what I said. It's a test run. Don't give me no shit. Um, but anyway, we're uh, live from the compound. Uh, what, a, what a day. What a day. I was tweeting... To the point where I was getting fucking nauseous about this whole debt thing. And I was getting nauseous because you weren't paying attention to me. That's how she is. If you don't pay attention to her, uh, she goes bullshit crazy. Yeah. Because she's used to attention. Ooh, I want attention. I'm tired. I'm this and that. Anyway, uh, the big thing, the big news is uh, after the debt ceiling deal and all that happy horse shit, the United States still downgraded. We're well on our way to becoming a third world nation. Is is Congrats. the uh, the nations? Thank you. Their uh, the system of like naming them is it similar to that of tornadoes? Is it like there's an F three? Yes, there's there's triple, <laughs> like a triple A rated, a, there's a double A, double A, and then and then everything so else. So there's sucks. like an F two, an F three, an F four. But is we're, there is there is there an F five? We're not at the point <laughs> where people are dropping their forks when they hear about our credit rating. Not drop fork rating. Because the double A will relocate your home fairly efficiently. Fairly efficiently. Is there is there a no A? <sighs> Finger of Obama. Finger of the debt ceiling. <laughs> Uh, ah. I was tweeting like a madman because uh, everybody was just upset about the whole thing. They didn't want to hear shit. Including me. Of course you were. I don't pay taxes. I don't of course care. you are. <laughs> uh, what, are, what are they saying to make sure everything like works good? Let me see. Audio's awesome. Video, not so much. What do you mean, not so what much? What do you mean, not so much? Like, what's wrong with the, the video? Oh, yeah, we understand the green screen is kind of fucked up still, but that's because the lights. But it's actually better than it's ever been. Mic sounds great. Video is. Somebody said video is great. Right. Floating mics. Well, yeah, because this shit is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, Some of the stuff, like, like if I do this, look, look, I block, I block it, I block. Watch, I'll block this. Looks one. Watch great. This. Watch this. Ed sucks. See, slightly out of focus. I block it, and then I go like this, so, what and is it disappears again. Slightly out of focus. I don't know. What is? You did wanna, you focus it? I, I focused as best I could, but I need glasses. You are. I need focused glasses. and grainy. Really. Well, your computer must suck. Yeah, because we have it live right here, and it looks fine. And not on the the regular machine. It's on fucking line. It says people get it. That's how I'm getting it, right here. Doesn't it look good? I yeah, mean, we I, understand I, that you need to zoom in to focus, and then you go, come on, come on. Christ on a pony, you people. Looks fine, right? It is kind of shitty. What do you mean? Like how shitty? Like pixely or something. Really? I don't it's know. It's probably because it's Ustream. You know, they're not giving me all the bandwidth they could. Yeah, it's, it's just Ustream. You know? I mean, all this equipment. Eventually, I'll have my own servers and stuff. Whatever. But it's fine. But now, you know what? You know what? Probably the feed. Yeah, it is. It's got to be the feed because it looks great on that. But oh, it looks on amazing. This. Yeah, it gets a little fucked up over there. But Why no HD and U? Yeah, there's no HD and Ustream, right? No, I don't know. See? That's Not cool. for this. It's free. Like, I think if you pay, you get, like, extra shit. Ah, yes, we have a sponsor, Doritos. Although I don't, although I don't think they're playing commercials. So what? we ought to not, not really bash them at all. They're not playing commercials. No ads have come up, right? Isn't that the shit? Thank you, Ustream. No, somebody else said there's ads. Thank you, Ustream. Somebody saw a commercial. Yeah, I haven't. I don't care. As long as I don't see it. Commercials are in Spanish. Oh, I don't know. Anyway, 
Oh, I don't know. I, I, I'm not having a bad time with this at all. Whatever. So, it's fine. What the, what the fuck ever. Anyway, as we were saying, uh, credit rating is now shit. Um, of course, the uh, I was tweeting, Democrats very angry. They want to blame George Bush um, for shit that happened, you know, three years ago and shit. And uh, uh, I'm blaming Obama and his cronies because... Uh, I don't see any true leadership. There's nothing uh, really happening there. All that change, the transparency in government, the guy signed the fucking thing in his office without any cameras or press there. So I'm not seeing the transparency. I'm not seeing a true leader that will do things that will make people angry but follow through. He's wishy-washy. If I may say wishy-washy. I don't think that's a racist term, is it? No. He's wishy-washy. And, uh, you know... And he's black. I don't like it. Well, that everybody knows. He's half black. He's half black. Yeah. Uh, but but I, I've been arguing with people now all day about this. And uh, I don't think we'll ever be together as a nation. I think we're doomed as a nation uh, from this point forward. Um, I'd like to say, uh, take some calls. Let's see what the people are thinking and if the phones work. That's kind of a good thing, right? Uh-huh. Right now. Line one, we'll start right there. Hi, live from the compound. Who's this? Oh, right uh, hello? Hi, live from the compound. Who's this? Yeah, you got to turn that uh, that uh, computer down. Uh, hey, uh, this you is... You got to turn that, uh, that computer down. Computer down, oh, yeah. Oh, this is Tim. Tim. Tim, Tim. Hey, ha- yeah. Yeah. What's, what's up, my so, friend? So with Obama, dude, it's like these 15 guys in the tea party who... A year ago, were like fucking cows in Arizona who are now holding everyone to their crazy demands. And uh, that's why we have this, you know, it's not a coincidence. Uh, I, I, can I, can I, uh, uh, the play thing is uh, falling just a few days I hear after you. these people. But can I comment on that for a second? Up. The Tea Party uh, people and the people that back the Tea Party that are in uh, uh, office said they will not sign anything that raises taxes, right? And, yeah, yeah. and what they did was not sign anything that raised taxes. So they actually kept their word to their constituency. Wow! What a yeah, bunch yeah, of okay. fucking but assholes what, they are. Dudes are like, uh, you know, they don't understand the complexities of... Uh, Complexities? How about the complexities of keeping... They were going in there and being like, I know how to run a farm, you know, you need to have as much sea coming in as you have bale. You know what? It is a lot more... But it is a lot more simple. The complicated shit comes to pull the wool over the Americans' eyes and bamboozle people. The simple shit is when a politician, and this goes back in history, used to say something and then he followed through and actually did that... That was a good thing. Now they use all this double speak and, and uh, zero accountability to fuck over the entire nation and not represent the people. They're representing their own best interest and keeping their jobs. And then you get Tea Party people, whether you like them or not, at least they're saying something and sticking to their guns with it. No, that's true, but... Can't all these things be going on at once? I mean, can't... No, the, gov- the, the United States government has become such a corrupt, cronyistic bullshit that nothing will ever get done. It's, it's, and it's both sides. I'm agreeing. Republicans and Democrats will never agree with the other side because it'll only give them something to campaign with uh, for the next election. If a Republican sides with Democrats on something, they'll say, even... Mr. Republican guy thought it was a good idea. Like, they'll just use it in a campaign ad instead of looking at it like, wow, they're really going along with what we said. It's best for the country. Um, And that's why we're fucked with this two-party system. And I I applaud anything third party, even something as um, new as as the Tea Party, which really doesn't have a leader. It's just kind of a bunch of people. But I I applaud that to come in there and and shake shit up. What? I'll say this about the Tea Party. I think that most of them are really in earnest. And I don't think that very many of them are racist or anything like that. But I do think this whole obsession with the balanced budget and with putting the deficit reduction over, like, job creation and Keynesian stimulus stuff 
it's really misguided. And I think that some of it comes from people thinking that economics is a little bit simpler than it is. I remember when I was in school, I was in some economics class, and in the beginning I was like, oh, this is kind of simple. This is just kind of intuitive logic, and I can figure it out. Yeah. And I got a terrible grade in the first test, and I, and I realized later on that there are these other things you have to kind of learn to be able to, to work within that more complex than it appears. They're true. Logic. You, I feel you, like a lot of these Tea Party guys are kind of taking it too much at face value and assuming they can just apply I think their you're, old sort of, I don't know. Look, I, I think you're right. I agree with some of what you're saying, but uh, the, the truth is it, it goes both ways. They might look at it very simplistic, like... Hey, we have to take in more than we're spending. And uh, that means cutting on spending. But the other side is so fuck. Have you looked at, at your income tax returns and, and tax law? And, and sh it, it's so fucked up, no one can understand it anymore. Yeah, so that's gone it's, way it's the other true. direction. Isn't that comparatively minor? I mean, no, no. I, I, th I think it's a lot more serious than the Tea Party being simplistic. I'd rather be simplistic with things, saying, "Look, if we're taking in X amount of dollars, we can't put out X amount of dollars, or we're going to be in debt." That sounds simple and retarded, but that really is the basic rule. I understand it's not that simple, but then when you get people that just bog it down with bullshit that no one understands anymore, then it hurts the country because no one understands it anymore. You know? That's true. And on some level, you know, anyone who obfuscates too much with politics is bullshitting you, and you should be able to slice through it. I mean, it should be a committed layman should be able to understand it. Right, right. After putting in a bit of... You know, like, like I, cons I consider myself somebody that kind of looks into things, does a little research on some things. Other things, I'm very spontaneous. <laughs> but uh, I, I cannot understand the tax laws. I, I could not do my own tax return now. I need an accountant to do it. Uh, I used to. I used to love the easy form. And it was named that. Oh, easy. I, lo I love How easy was that? Easy I form. made this much. I was taxed this much. You know what, I though? get this deduction. And then I get a refund. Yay! That's what I do. You know what, though? Yeah. Mine's really simple because I'm like, you know, poor, just out of college kid. Uh, and yours is more complex because you have more money. But you can then sort of pay a dude to do it for you, whereas I can do my simple one myself. I know. But you always get a refund, don't you? Yeah, I do. Yeah. And I'd I, love a 17% flat tax on everyone. Even your fucking lazy ass, you college puke. <laughs> well, anyway, thanks for calling, it's man. Real, man. Yeah, thanks. Have a good night. Thank you. That was a good caller, a young yeah. kid. He's all full of piss and vinegar. He's still all excited about the country and, and uh, the Democrats and a little, you know, I'm disgusted. I'm just a grumpy old fuck at this point. Well, you are old. All right. What's that say about you? Daddy issues, I say. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Oh shit! Your parents watching this? Oh, oh God, I hope you just not. Tweet that. She, she. No. What, a, what a genius this one is. She got uh, her parents a computer. Because they for? live in the eighties. What? What for? Like, uh, was it uh, someone's birthday? I don't something? want them to get Alzheimer's disease. Was it, <laughs> was it some kind of like uh, uh, birthday or? Because they keep asking me to send them photos. Oh of, yeah. Like, they're like, print them out and send them to us. I'm like, are you? Fucking kidding me! I'm not doing that. So she uh, she got one of those uh, what do you call uh, uh, computers? Or yeah, something like uh, that uh, computer thing uh, there. And uh, what they do is they uh, now look and see all uh, uh, the pictures and uh, videos happening uh, here. The, and what, I put what, what Skype it? on uh, it. And, and and it's embarrassing now. But since my mom doesn't do anything all day long, she's on this computer obsessively. She figured out Facebook. She's on Twitter. She's do, she's all doing. All, she's all over the internet. She's crazy now, right? She watched our cruisy mentory. She is one of those people that would just be like, oh, she is on the internet all about constantly. It. She doesn't have a job. That's all she does. They got no job. She cleans. Well, are we the supporting house. her ass now too. This is like a new life. Yo, for her. motherfucks, girl. Yeah. Like no, my dad is job on that. works. They work. I know. You know what it is? They're Midwestern people. Yeah, my dad works. They're Mom's from the, a housewife. The Midwest. The whole. That thing, yeah. that Americana thing. That's exactly what's That's going fine. on. That's fine. I don't mind that, you know. 
They earn their keep, They're right? good people, yeah. They're good, wholesome American people. I don't have I like daddy that. issues. From a Nazi background, which right. is they are from very Germany. nice. They're, well, not only Germany, from a legitimate Nazi background. Yeah. If you know uh, the lovely Melissa Stetton here, uh, her grandfather, <laughs> as we brought up in a previous episode, was a Nazi soldier back in uh, WWII. And uh, this uh, certain Nazi soldier uh, didn't quite make it to the end of the war, did he? No, he got pushed into a river. Someone decided it was uh, wise to push him into a river and drown his Nazi ass. Uh, so he's dead and he died. But he didn't even know how the war turned out. Uh, God no, bless him. No, I don't know. Uh, but um, d- do you have any memorabilia from this guy? Because I no, love to see none. It. He was sort of estranged from the family. Oh really? I wonder why. Maybe because he was Nazi. <laughs> How far back to the night? You got Doritos on your lips. Ah, oh, fuck. Oh, God. Crud. That's like having, like, Cheetos on the sides of your mouth. Like, on the sides of your mouth and shit. Ew. <laughs> anyway, uh, so oh, what, what, uh, what happened with the, uh, the Nazi side of your family? Did, they, uh, did anyone else embrace that whole thing? Gr- no. Um, as, my, uh, as children or, or grandparents? My grandmother and the shit of lots of siblings. Yeah? Um, Nazi they, siblings? No, they didn't want anything to do with that. They actually nah. helped the Jews. Pussies. They were, oh, they did? Yeah. Oh, that's nice of them. Yeah, they were all about helping. and. Uh, that's pretty cool. They didn't want to be a part of that. You know, like the guy at um, at the beginning of uh, Inglorious Bastards. He, yes. That was helping uh, the family under the stairs, and then he was like, hey, I'm going to get killed. Ha <laughs> ha. They're right about there. Well, I don't know anything about that. Yeah, I'm sure you're not. I was only following <laughs> orders. I was only. Uh, fo- you look very Nazi, very uh, with the with the braids. You look like you, you should be wearing lederhosen. I yeah. Lederhosen. I love German stuff. Who doesn't, right? I know it's German great. engineering is a shit. Mm-hmm. Mm. I drive a Volkswagen. The Yankees win. The Yankees win over Boston. They won. Yeah, I read it. It's got to be true. Yeah, motherfuckers. I know we got some Boston people that Yankees suck. Yankees suck. I know. I lived in Boston. I had to deal with that for many, many years. Uh, what happened to the, the Detroit Tigers? The Tigers? The Tigers. The Tigers? The Tigers. She, she says words really fucked up. No, I don't. When she's tired, she goes, I'm tired. And she's like, oh, it's a Tiger. Oh, where is that? Tigers. Is that fucking Michigan? Tigers. Is that Michigan? Yeah, it's the Midwestern. Nah. Yeah, I don't know. I can't get That's rid of bullshit. it. That's bullshit. Try to get rid of it. Anyway. Whatever. Uh, oh, no, it's not Canadian. Believe me. Canadian. Well, it's a little Canadian. What? But oh, Canadians, it's up north? It's northern. Is that like northern or some shit? If, once you get hot, like oh. very north in Michigan, it sounds Canadian. It just sounds ridiculous. Doritos are and delicious. Guinness are the greatest thing ever. Oh, my God. That's what I'm saying. Hi, live from the compound. Who's this? This is Solomon from Maine. How you doing, my friend? Can you hear me fine? I hear you. All right. I'm calling for my iPod Touch. I'm doing my own test right now. Oh, shit. How does that work? Your iPod Touch? You must be on a network. Well, I have Wi-Fi, and I'm using Skype. Wi-Fi and Skype, Skype and you're calling. Call. And by the way, it sounds better than 99% of yes, the people that does. call on phones. Yep. Oh, fantastic. Skype rules. I don't know what the the kids and their Skyping. I don't understand with the kids and this new computerized <laughs> stuff. So it's working very well for you. Uh, what are you watching this uh, this program on? Uh, my computer. I... Ah, so you're at home <laughs> watching on the computer. Oh. Is your computer uh, wireless or is it uh, you're a Cat Six uh, plugged in? It's plugged in. Oh, okay, that's good. Then you're probably getting a better picture than people on uh, Wi-Fi. Yeah. I hope so. Uh, I know. Your headphones kind of give you an indent on your head. That yeah, yeah. I, I hear you. I know. I got to still figure the lights out. Oh, they're invisible. What? Yeah, I'm still wearing the lights out. You know what it is? Um, when, you, when you're chroma key and shit, the lighting is fucking like so fucking sensitive. And I'm working on it. Actually, I have a back rack here. And you can see it if I go to camera three. I'll go, I'll go to three live. We use um, Skype at one See point. this shit back here? The rack, mm-hmm. and uh, that's where the lights are going. But this isn't fastened in yet, so I had to set the backlighting up that lights the green screen up. 
um, so it balances and doesn't tip the rack over until it's fastened into the ceiling. Uh, but in, <laughs> until that happens, I have to uh, put the lights in kind of an awkward spot. But uh, after that's done, you know, it'll work. Well, the background yeah. still looks great. But I, I, I want to say that with Skype and with your toll-free number, yes. I can call you for free. We yes. have actually used Skype. We had people Skype. We did have people in Skyping once. in, and uh, we put them on the screen yeah. that is now being blocked by the lovely Melissa Stetton. Sorry, my head's Because I got I to gotta figure out now how to move this around where yeah. you aren't blocking the screen like in the old days. I could probably move over. You could move over, but eh. we'll figure it out. But the Skype thing worked really well. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. What, are you, does, and... what are you doing in uh, in Maine? Uh, working and just living. What's your uh, what's your line of it? line of biz, my friend? Uh, loan processor. Oh, in Maine. Yeah. Busy or no? Do you like lobsters? Yeah. Uh, who doesn't? Yeah. Who doesn't? And, right. Uh, it's the sli- only thing I know about busy. Maine. Could be better. Could be better, right? Yeah, I bet. Yeah. What do you do on the weekends like uh, this? You you just hang out or you go out? Is, is there a fishing. local bar? Yeah, it's a bar about 50 yards down the road, but I'd rather stay home and drink whiskey. Yeah, I hear. Oh, drinking some whiskey. Don't have to worry about driving or asshole people. I understand. My goal is to, uh, as you know, is to just stay home all the time. Well, that's what you already yeah. do. I'm pretty much there. I'm almost there. Almost there. Thank you, my friend. You have a good weekend. Good, sir. Later. Bye. He was uh, he was a nice guy from Maine. That's where Poland spring water comes from. We use that. Oh, I love Poland. I thought it was from Poland. No, you didn't. I t- I certainly I did. I, I don't tell me what I think. <laughs> I, I use Poland spring when I'm hungover. Icy cold water. Ah, oh, it's so good. Yeah, that would be nice if somebody had restocked the refrigerator with the cold bottles of water. What are we, the Lockhorns? What is this, a fucking Ozzy and Harriet episode? Well, if you would have stocked it, ho ho now, what you should have done was ho ho. Look. I don't fucking think about that shit. There are people that fucking fill my refrigerator with cold water. Well, they didn't do it today, and there was no fucking cold water. Then shake your ass into the garage. Uh, that's what I fucking did while you were you sitting outside the in the out. sun drinking a Guinness while I'm like yeah. dying of that's how this thirst. Shit, that's how this shit works. It's a give and take. You give, I take. Bada, bada, bada. No. You understand how this shit works? No, I don't. Nah. God. They're all fucking psychotic. No, I'm not. All right. All right. And if your mom's watching, I'm only kidding. She's not you watching. Raised, you raised a great daughter. Don't worry about it. Yeah, right. I'm horrible. Why? I don't say that. I just say you raised her. You know, I probably have more in common with her. I could talk to her about what was going on when we were in high school. Well, you were both born in the 60s. Ah, the 60s. The turbulent 60s. Mm. Does she remember the summer of love? Was she a hippie? No. Uh, no. She went to Catholic school. She missed the hippie phase. If she's like my she age... She got married when she was like 19 or 20, so she kind of like... I was know. just going to blurt something out. I'm glad I held it. What? Because on, on the radio show, the Opie and Anthony show, Sirius XM Satellite Radio, Sirius, uh, what is it, 105 XM 206? Yes. Thank you. Um... I would have blurted out an awful, horrible thing about your mom being married at that age. What? Well, probably something that wasn't as flattering. It was kind of like a, um, you know, a nasty thing to say. Just say it. I'm not going to. Say it. I probably would have said like a whore or something. Yeah, that was back in like the 80s. People got married that young. She was married in the 80s? (laughs) Oh, God. I was drinking and driving in the 80s. <laughs> yeah, they what, got married. Legally. Well. She was married in 1980. God damn, one. man. Wow. 81? Yeah. I vividly remember 81. That's when my parents were married. I, I like so fucking remember 81. Wow. Enough about the what? Oh. Uh, 
Two seconds, people. This, since this is the first like real broadcast, I, I'm reading feedback more than I would, and it's way over there. I got to get a feedback monitor here so I can yeah. read it over here, but I have to lean over so I know just if shit's working or not. Like I said, again, this is more of a test run, um, test run show. It's, it's, it's also, you know, show. I mean, we're here, we're on, but uh, I want to make sure everything's working. So... Ant was 60 in 1981. <laughs> right? I, I guess they're hearing us. Oh, I'm drinking Guinness this evening. Gross. Because um, the, uh, the bud tap ran out. By the way, Ange, we need more bud. Send the beer guy over. Ace She's app. on vacation the rest of the week. The fuck is that about? I don't know. Where's Keith? They're on vacation. I don't like that. They're on a boat somewhere. I need um I need stuff. Oh look at that. The the head of the Guinness disappears on the green screen. I right, figure shit out. I wonder if they tell people on green screen, like, don't hold a beer when you're doing the weather. Because it like goes away. Who holds a beer when they're doing weather? I would. I so would. I should bring up a weather map. Do I even have one? I think I do. Hey, look. Currently, it's uh, <laughs> minus 33 degrees. The winds are north at 150 miles an hour with 100% humidity. Barometric pressure is 1.1. 1. 1. You see, so, um, when the cold gonna... front comes in that way. Oh, you're going to be. Currently, I got to get a map. 33. I should Southern get a map. 150, 100%. Shouldn't I get a map? Yeah. You gotta get is a this more? Map. Okay, today is dick. High of dick. <laughs> Low of ass. But you can't see me. Tomorrow's nice and great. And the record a high for this date in 87, 1987 was 98 degrees. Record low uh, in August, believe it or not, in 1946, it was 16 degrees. So, um, you know, you gotta get count, that. count your lucky stars. How do you get that in the background? Count your lucky stars. What? How do you get that in the background? Um, the sh oh, the background? You want it? Yeah, like a fucking weather map so I can fucking tell All these right. people hold, when I know what the weather's going to be, goddammit. Hold your it. fucking horses, because I think I can do this. If I go text to the X, I go like this, right? And now um, I shut off live mat. Wait, no, I shut off live set. <laughs> Right? Ah. And now I go to text. Ooh, it's dark. And go this. Wait, that's still in front of me. Hey. Wait, how does... But... But what if... But I... No? Oh, I don't know what well. that is. It should be... Wow, that should be in front... In behind me. Um... Wait a minute. No? See, that shit's behind you. Yeah. So what about the tech? But the, the, but that doesn't but go behind it's you. Not a... So because I could put that behind. Oh, because it's here. I got faded out. Ah. Well, that's weird. Now I go to. Ah, there we go. We need okay. a map. Right. It's a little. It's a little fuzzy and stuff. But I could do this. I could do that. Ah. See. We need a map though. But I need a I mic. Need a weather map. And then a mic, and you can just do the whole weather thing. Wait, I, I can't find a map. Oh, I thought there was a map somewhere. This says oh, shit. No, that ain't it. Hey, that's me. That's the phone number. That's... No, I... Ah. Shit. What if I do... Oh, look at that. Whoa. That's fucked up right there. Bam, 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 yeah. How do I get back where I was? What the fuck is know, this about? Stupid. I know. Uh, I could do a map, though. Just figure that one out. Yeah, we gotta do the weather every day. That's pretty cool. We could do weather forecasts. We could do that. Oh, let me get the number back up. We're just experimenting. We're experimenting. Um, I don't have any openers or anything. Like, I threw everything together really quickly. Ah, let me get some Doritos, because these are really good. Uh, I threw everything together really quickly just to do this. So I don't have an opener or any, any real good graphics. I could put like, um, I could put Fox News behind us. 
Reddit rating downgraded. Oh my god. Yeah, we'll just leave the news on behind us. Yeah. Hi, live from the compound. Who's this? Hey, this is Roger. Roger, where you from? I am in a truck watching him from my truck. Oh, you're watching him. That's me, by the way. No, oh, no, no, scre no screeners hey, here. No him. screeners. Okay, hey, dude. I am in my truck in Washington, D.C., watching you going down the highway. Wow. Wow. You're crazy. That's dangerous. That is very dangerous. Hey, dude, I'm in Washington, D.C., in a freaking traffic jam from hell. Uh. Four lane highway, three lanes down to one. Dumbasses. Oh, wow. You're going to be stuck for a while. Oh, shit. I've been here ever since you started, and it, 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 it's clusterfuck. So, what's going on in D.C.? People celebrating our uh, downgrading uh, in the. Uh... No, Our I credit don't, rating I don't, from AAA to, to AA plus. No, these dumbasses can't drive with this shit anyway. How do no. they know? It has nothing to do with drive, but that's okay. Uh, these dumbasses what? out here, they're in little cars. Let I me guess, they don't know how to drive. Big ass cars. Let me guess, they're all sitting in traffic, not driving. They're not driving. Let no, me guess, they don't all. know how to drive. They can't. No, four wheelers can't drive. What are you hauling? What are you hauling? Yeah, pork chops. <laughs> I got the beef. Beef? Beef. I'm spitting. Well, I said pork chops. That was close. Beef. That was. You, you yeah, said, you know, are they a lot? Is it, is it live beef like cows or are no. they fucking no. dead like fucking steak? Are you importing or exporting? No, this frozen. Is it latex? Importing, exporting. It was well, fresh beef. Now I'm going down to Miami. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. Very close. Cool. Do, do you ever go in the back and go like, ah, I'm going to barbecue something up? I would pull up on the side um, of the road. I'd have a well, that would implicate that I have to, you know. Uh, no, I've never done that. I'd have a, no, gr I'd have a grill me. with me. I'd have a grill, and I'd be like, I'm hauling steaks. I'm fucking eating steaks. What company did the meat come from? Uh, Vandalay uh, Industries? Yeah. Vanda. Cramerica. <laughs> Save Vandalay Industries! Save Vandalay Industries! Big company. Let's just say that. Hey, you're not hauling any of that ground turkey, are you? Yeah, salmonella. Oh, hell no. Nah, it's just good. <laughs> no, I'm hauling Eat that up, stuff. shit your brains out, vomit a little. Ebola. Oh, it's just <laughs> delicious. Mm -hmm. Let me put it this way. Y'all yeah. have some good barbecue now. Yeah, I hear you. Well, I'm going to barbecue get something. A grill. In a little while, yeah, I'm going to barbecue meat. something. I swear, we, we bought a fuckload of meat earlier. and uh, Jimmy Norton's coming over a little later. Uh, oh, sweet. He's always fun. I love little Jimmy coming over the house. Um, oh, man, I tell you what, it's fun watching you guys. Oh, of course it is. I know I shouldn't do it from the truck, but, you know, who cares? <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, uh, drive safe. Keep her between the ditches. Keep the shiny side up and the dirty side down, good buddy. Ten forward, ten forward. All right, this I'm is Anthony Kumi of the KRI 7759. We 10, 10, 10, 8 on the side. Stetting well, out. This is Papa Raj. I'm out. <laughs> CBs were gay. Yikes. <laughs> CBs are gay. Yeah, let me break her, break her. It's like, really? You want to come into the conversation? Break her, break her? Blow me. No. And then occasionally, you, uh, as a kid with a walkie-talkie, you'd occasionally get like a trucker that was passing by kind of close on Channel 14, because that's what all the walkie-talkies were. And you'd hear him talk, and you'd be like, shit, fuck, fuck, shit, asshole, queer, fuck. Won't you knock it off? You can't talk on the radio like... And you get all yelled at by the truckers. Yeah. And then, you'd, and then they'd say they were going to call the FCC on you. And as a kid, wow, was that a fucking... Uh, I was kind of a um, foreshadowing for me. But uh, I'd always get scared. Like, uh-oh, and you turn the walkie-talkie off. They could trace you. Some friend would always be like, they triangulate. They're going to triangulate. Because the FCC is driving around looking for kids with walkie-talkies saying shit. Although I wouldn't doubt it. Being in the broke situation we're in, they probably spend money to do that. Well. Right. Rightio! I like these lights in the front, man. Isn't that shit great? It forces you to look in the camera. Ah. Because if you don't look in the camera, you look at the light, and it's very fucking bright. Well, let, me, uh, let me give you a little tour of what we got so far here. I'll go to camera three. And, uh... Let's spin this around a little bit.
Here's us. Let me let me fade out. I'm the, over uh, here. If you can't see me. Let me fade out the compound sign there. There we are. This is um, the low angle camera shot uh, with the back wall, the light rack. Then as we turn around here, you'll see uh, part of the board, the keyboards, mixing board, uh, Melissa right there drinking. And then we go around to the uh, the lights. Ah, Ouch. these these are the two lights that we're staring at the entire time, uh, and the camera with a little monitor on top, so we can see what we're doing in there. Say hi, how you doing? Uh, with the big window behind it, um, and the door. Here's the other computer monitor where we're watching everything we're doing right here, right now. That's uh. That's like mission control right there. The phone bank, which is beeping. Those are all your calls right there. Uh huh. And uh, here's the rest of the green screen. No, the mic is over there. Here's the, uh, oh look, you can see me talk. Hey, 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 look at my levels. Look. We had a screaming contest the other day to see who could get the levels yeah, higher. Yeah, the loudest scream. I won. No, I won. The way. Oh, shut up. We can do this again if no, you'd you like. But that's uh, that's what the uh, compound uh, studios really look like. It's just uh, pretty much an empty room um, with uh, green walls, so I can. Fill in the blanks. The with, lens uh, needs a with, wipe. With fake shit. I think the lens does need a wipe. I'll I've go had, wipe it. I've never wiped the lens off, and we've had construction workers in here and shit. Don't move anything though. But but if you want, um, I believe the uh, inner ring. You'll know better than I. Uh, focus that shit up. Look at the monitor in the front and focus my ass up, because that might work pretty pretty well. Well, you probably want to wipe it first, right? Yeah, it was it was focused pretty good, right? <laughs> yeah, look hysterical. Look at you. Yeah, is that it? No cleaner or nothing? No even. What do you clean with it? Why would you do that? What? Cleaner. You don't use a moist towelette. No, no. Use one of those things we wipe our asses with. Those fucking. Uh, you, wipe your ass. you don't wipe your ass with the. You know what? Uh, by the way. We were out of toilet paper in our bathroom for probably two weeks. Hey, wait a minute. Wait, what are you doing? I'm focusing. No, that's crazy because... All right. Um, oh, now you got to go out. What? I mean, you got to come back in. You got to get those things out of there. Keep going. Yeah. Right at the edge of the... There you, there you go. Okay, okay. Yeah, that's good enough. Okay. Ah, that's good enough. Ah, good enough. It's definitely focused. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, all you had... You, how many times did you wipe with the moist towelette instead of the toilet paper? And the whole cabinet is full of fucking toilet paper, but no one went down and got it. I didn't give a shit. I like wiping with a moist towelette. Even from fucking, you know, from the get-go. If uh, you take a dump and you want to... Uh, wipe with the moist towel left. I got no qualms against that. Sometimes it cools the fire down. Live from the compound, who's this? Hello. Hi, my friend. How are you? I'm great. I'm eating Doritos. It's Friday night. I'm drinking Guinness. It's and great. Neil Cavuto is looking over your shoulder. And Neil Cav Oh, yeah, look at that. Hey, Neil. <laughs> Neil Cavuto's over there. I uh, I just called one minute ago, so all you people on hold. <laughs> ah, you know I hit line three, and um, I was taking a gamble. Nice. So what uh, what's up? Ah, I just cut him off. See, he should he shouldn't have said that. <laughs> hey, live from the compound. Who's that? Anthony. What's up, man? Hey, what happened today? What's the story on uh, not being on the show today? Oh my God! You know what? I don't think I'm even allowed to talk about it. You're kidding. No. I, uh, got big shit happen. What did, uh, because I heard Ronnie was saying something about our serious show, and, um, uh, what, what did Ronnie say? I didn't hear, I didn't hear their show. Oh, uh, what's the word on the street about the suspension? 
you're my only source of information. Let's have it. What did you hear that you called up and said what you just said? I heard nothing. I didn't hear you on the show today, so I was kind of oh. hoping you could fill me in. Oh. Well, it's really fucked up because we probably won't be back on the air for at least mm, two days. Uh, it's summer, and we wanted a three-day weekend. Wow. Look, look, yeah, look out. Look out. We're in, in, in huge trouble. Nothing. God, you fucking people sometimes with your drama. Not you, sir. I'm sorry. <laughs> my God, there's some stock market shit going on behind me. Yeah. Studio looks great, Ant. Thank you, my friend. Still working on it, but almost there. Have a good weekend. There you go. Hi, who's this? Hello? Oh, well. Blow me. Hey, who's this? Hey, it's Justin the cop. What's up, my friend? Uh, I'm being tortured by my infant son. All uh right. -huh. You got one of those? Simultaneously watching you and Family Guy and waiting for him to wake up for another fucking bottle. How old's the little feller? Seven fucking weeks. Wow, that's a kid. Yeah, it's a little kid, but he eats like a fucking monster. Is it your first? No, nah, it's our third altogether. Third altogether. Oh, okay, so now you're kind of like, who gives a shit, right? That's what I hear uh, about parents. By the third kid, they're just like, nah, let him fucking I don't give a shit. Well, the next one after before that one was eight years ago, so it's been a while. We're both out of fucking practice, but... Wow, really? Yeah, well, it ain't, it ain't helpful either. We're both cops. We both work third shift and, you know, rotating. It ain't fun. Busy, busy. You cops. Very hard yeah. workers. We appreciate it out here yeah. as John Q. Citizen. <laughs> John Q. <laughs> Citizen. Let's see if I got to do what? this on the fly. What? Yeah? And why, why is it that, is it the Guinness or the Bud that particularly makes you start speaking Negro while drunk? It's... Look, motherfucker, I need your shit, bitch. You know, I need it's, your it's shit. Hilarious. It never gets old. I, 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 I really do. I know, and I know exactly what you mean because I do that. But it's the only way I could just kind of skirt being racist um, without <laughs> completely losing any. Um... It started with the wire. Was it the you, wire? You don't, you don't think I know how to skirt being racist? I'm a cop. Well, you skirt it by not hitting him three times with the taser. Uh, it's not that hard. You have to use blunt parts of your body. That's here's, all. here's here's how a taser works. And officer, um, uh, you don't have to say anything, but but you could just sit along and listen. One shot is to nail him and have him hit the ground. Even when uh, uh, completely compliant, you just have to give him another. <laughs> 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 you just got to tag him one more time to make sure he understands that, you know, you resisted. Because I, I, lo I love that bap, and then it's like, okay, 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 oh, oh, okay. And then you got to kind of look at him and maybe hit it again. <laughs> all, uh, the, no the, the funnest day in the academy was when we all had to take it. You know, in order, in order in Jersey, in order to carry one, you got to take it once in the academy and hit the mats. And you, you see every fucking tough guy in the whole place thinking he's going to take it and not make a sound. And every single one of us just hit the ground screaming like a little bitch. There is nothing like it. Yeah, that's what I I've seen videos and shit, and it looks hysterical. I was at a I was at a range one day, and uh, they wanted me to do that. They're like, "Come on, get in here, do it," because they were doing training and. Uh, I I didn't feel I needed to uh No, to you feel don't. That. No. The best one out there actually is the stun belt where they position it right over your kidneys. They use it for prisoner transfer. Oh yeah. And yeah. that thing that thing is fifty times a regular smart taser. <laughs> I would love to see that in action. You, you can't you can't get hit with it and not evacuate everything in your body. You puke, you shit, you piss, it's a Wow There's the videos of that, the stun belt. If you if you Google that shit, it's the most hilarious thing in the world. <laughs> cool, man. Hey, uh, let me. Uh, yeah, I'm let, gonna go drink some Heineken and yeah, take a Xanax now. Cool, man. Take it easy. <laughs> Bye. 
I love that. I just got a text from Jim Norton. You may have heard of him. Jim Norton. Heading there now. I said cool with three exclamation points because I know he hates exclamation points. And then he went, I'm so cool. I need a jacket. <laughs> he texts Chip. Uh, yeah. Uh, so Jimmy will be coming over. Jimmy's always fun to have at the at the house. Actually, it makes us buy stuff that we need. <laughs> uh, we'd have sat here starving, just maybe eating just Doritos. We didn't even have Doritos. No, we didn't have them. We had to go out and get them. But, uh, yeah, there was nothing in the house. But when, when Jimmy comes over, I know he will rag me relentlessly on the air if I don't have shit at, my, at the house to eat. So we just got a shopping cart full of meat and snickety snacks. We took a trip to Ralph's or uh, Wild Bombs. Ralph's? Ralph's? Where the fuck are you, California? There's no Ralph's here, oh, bitch. Didn't say Ralph. Wild we bombs. here with the juice stores like Wall Bombs and shit. Look, I'm Wild talking about black again. Ralph's. Speaking of uh, blacks, boy, did you hear what happened there in um, that state fair? Where was that? Wisconsin? Where was that? Wisconsin? I think so. Look at the uh, feed. See if we're right. Uh, man. Milwaukee. Yeah, w w Wisconsin. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> you ass. Uh, here's, here's the story, people. Uh, there was a big state fair, which I guess they have there in Milwaukee. And um, when people were leaving the state fair, as the news reported it, a group of unruly teens, no real description, just unruly teens, were assaulting some of the people leaving the state fair. Now, as you look deeper into the story, you saw that it was all African-Americans, the unruly teens, and they were just beating up white people. As they exited, they were pummeling and beating and assaulting white people. And that was their goal that evening, was to beat white people. And uh, I really didn't see much on the news about this uh, at all. Uh, Drudge covered it. A couple of the other more right-leaning uh, publications and sites covered it and, and said that it was uh, a black crowd, crowd of hundreds, upwards of uh, maybe 300 black people, uh, just for no reason at all, jumping on car hoods and roofs, um, reaching into windows, pulling people out, assaulting people on the street, assaulting people that went to help other people that were down, being kicked in the head on the street. And uh, this barely made any mainstream media uh, I didn't see it but uh, I just tweeted what I usually do I tweeted the link and said this is the savage vicious animalistic behavior that's going on that no one could comment on we're not allowed to talk about this it happens it happens uh, all too often it happens at a, a rate that is uh, that far exceeds the percentage of the population of, of, of the perpetrators but it, it keeps happening, and no one does anything about it. It's not labeled a race crime. If, if you had two white people that beat up one black person and did it solely for the reason that he was black, it would be a, a hate crime, race-related uh, race crime. But you could have a group of hundreds of black people beating on nothing but white people, and they still just go, bah, what are you going to do? Bah, it's bah, it happens. Uh, this is the shit that really disgusts me to, to no end. Uh, and as I'm reading the articles and reading the, the uh, uh, comments from people that were assaulted, and they were using words like uh, criminals, hoodlums. I heard hoodlums. What is this, 1950? Yeah, a young hood. A young hood came up on me and picked my pocket. I think he had a switchblade. Uh, they were calling them hoodlums. You know what they were thinking. I don't care. If you're walking out of some park with your fucking family and uh, a, a huge group of blacks attack you and savagely beat you uh, in the head, kick you when you're on the ground, I heard uh, uh, signs were ripped out of the ground and thrown 
uh, on people that were already um, uh, on the ground, incapacitated. I think you're going to come up with a stronger word in your head and maybe even maybe even mumble it out. You might not yell it because you probably get hurt even more. Uh, I was asked if I would have drawn in that situation, if I would have uh, uh, drawn a weapon on that crowd. And I, I just said, as in any circumstance, if I felt my life or the life of a loved one or someone I was with or someone I even saw, if their life was being threatened, I would indeed have drawn a weapon and defend yourself. Uh, there's no excuse for that kind of uh, raucous behavior. And uh, I think the consequences... Uh, if you're threatening someone's life, and I believe a kick to someone's head as they're unconscious on the ground is life-threatening. I believe that deserves uh, the, the uh, uh, right to defend yourself and uh, the use of deadly physical force by firearm. I only wish uh, some people there were armed and, and had it and, and used it, and it might calm some of this shit down that's been happening lately with these flash mobs and these uh, uh, assaults based solely on race and uh, this feeling of entitlement. And uh, I can't wait till, till there's some repercussions on this, but I haven't seen any yet. I don't think we're going to see any in the, in the near future. People are pussies. Um, they're, they're scared. They're afraid to speak the truth. Um, and it's, it's, it's horse shit. It's utter, utter fucking horse shit. What are you talking Thank about? You. Talking about a bunch of blacks beating up white people in Milwaukee. Oh. I was just kicking Where a bunch been? of people from the chat room. Were you kicking it? Yeah, a bunch of people. Yeah. Anyway, that's the, uh, that's the new uh, conversation here if you want to join in. one uh, 962 6846 or 1-877-YO-ANTHONY. But it turns out to be 1-877-YO-ANTHO because the other part doesn't matter. Right. Yeah. So, uh, uh, what, what's up? What's up? What, what, what's going on? Nothing. Oh, what's the matter? You got something to say? Hey, please. No. I relinquish the mic. I have nothing. To the lovely say. Melissa Stetton. I'm just sitting here eating Doritos. Oh, uh, what? The, you can't read the chat, get angry. Huh? Uh, what is it? The chat? No. Oh, okay. Is it the blacks that were I rioting like there? I like people. And, and I know you do. I do too. Unless they're beating the shit out of white people. Exactly. Because they're white. Then I don't like them. Is that is that wrong? Wow. I think it's funny that what is like the New York City government spending like millions on a new like father program for minorities. That is crazy. And, There's some um, private funding, but it amounts to about 68 to 70 million dollars on programs for uh, black and Hispanic males to, and, and, and Mayor Bloomberg's all over this, to try to get them to act uh, civil and, and, and be contributing members to society. And it's costing the taxpayers of New York upwards of $70 million uh, to accomplish this with what they said, father courses. The amount that it's going to cost will not make up for what these f so-called fathers are going to gain no. in knowledge. There's still going to be fuck-ups. Exactly. They're, it, they're, it goes, that's not going to go into a class that says, oh, you should be a good father. No, it's just how they are. It's their fucking personality. They're not going to go to the class, first of all. No one no. wants to go to this shit. <laughs> They're not going to wake up early to go to this class. It's this feel-good social program bullshit that they think is going to change people. What needs to be changed is the whole thought process of a community. The, the, the blaming needs to be stopped. Uh, what needs to be stopped is this, uh, this attitude of just uh, reproducing and, th and then leaving these children that have no guidance whatsoever, that are brought up on the streets by other people that have been brought up the same way, it just perpetuates the whole thing. Uh, until that whole thought process changes, no Mayor Bloomberg and $70 million of our fucking money is going to change that horse shit. Which is why birth control should be free. 
I was just talking. And abortions. Abortions should be free. I was just talking with a girl I was working with. She's my age, and she has been on birth control. She doesn't make quite a lot of money to afford birth control pills because they're fucking $80 a month. And even with health insurance, they don't cover birth control pills. Here's my fucking... So she had to go to Planned Parenthood. Oh, fuck me running. She's white. <laughs> She's I German. Know. I hear ya. She's I'm German not saying mom. it's all black. She had to go to Planned Parenthood to wait in line for fucking like eight hours to make an appointment for three weeks from now to get birth control pills that are still going to cost her $50 a month. And the reason why Free. these people are having babies all the time is because they can't afford that shit. I could Free. barely afford that. It's make fucking them expensive. Free. Here's what I say. It's difficult to get that shit. In your more uh, lower income areas, I say you put birth control pills in things like Tic Tac boxes. So yes. when they buy Tic Tacs, all of a sudden there's a birth control pill. Maybe um, shove them in some food products. I'm not going to say what. Just saying. And people don't use condoms. Condoms are like condoms, condoms suck. Are we so all know it. Just like stop. Nineteen ninety-five. Stop with the condoms already. They found a cure for AIDS. No one's using condoms yeah. anymore. Nobody, I AIDS used, is cured. Thank you. No more condoms. I haven't used condoms in like years. I haven't used condoms <laughs> uh, ever. I don't think. Really? I mean, a couple of times when I thought yeah, I should. Yeah, a couple of times. And I think I pulled them off. I started with them. After I must a, say, I did start with one. That's and then, mean. And then here's what you do. You put your hand on your hip when you're, you're doing the move. And when you pull out, you hook your thumb on the rim of the condom. And, and it slips off. And then you go right back in. And no one ever knows the condom came off. Are you but it's serious? right there between the girl's legs, right? And then well, you don't come inside. You pull out. And come all over the condom. And then what? And then you pick the condom up and go, ew, ew, I gotta take this to the bathroom. How does she not notice that? Because chicks are stupid! <laughs> They're dumb. If, like, we're having sex... You, you would know if it felt like I a would condom? To, not if it felt, I could see. Nah, you keep it fucking... Like, I fucking... I'd be, I'd be, I'd be working you. No, I'd be no, like, no. oh, girl, you look in my eyes and shit. Yeah, well, yeah, you look at my eyes as I, I nut on my fucking rubber. I'm nutting on my Jimmy hat. I'm nutting on my Jimmy hat. And then I throw that shit away. See, but I like to look at what's <laughs> going on. What? What are you, a machinist? No, no, I like to see the... Well, oh, the mechanics of the whole thing? I like to look at it. It's nice to look it at it. It is kind of cool. You're like, look, I'm fucking... Yeah, yeah you're right. Yeah. See? It is kind of cool. It's, it's kind of hot to look and watch things moving. See, but, I like to do but, that. But... At the point of fucking like when you're ready to start rocking and I rolling. I guess that's true. Because the girl like, usually throws her head back a little bit. I put bit. my legs like around the back. Yeah, yeah. Like, then the condom comes right the fuck off. <laughs> right off. Because I got to come, motherfucker. I can't sit there with goddamn uh, happy birthday balloon on my dick. <laughs> on my dick. Ain't going to happen. Ain't going to happen. Anthony's used condoms, people. Be daily. Be daily. Live from the compound. Who's this on Flex Pay? <laughs> What's up, man? Yo. Hey, yo. Yo yourself. Oh, my God. My hero, Anthony. And my hero. What's your name? Where are you from? <laughs> yeah, from Jersey. What's up, man? That studio looks awesome, dude. Yeah, it's coming along. Like I said, uh, there's just some tweaking with the rear lights, but everything is fucking moving along. I can even turn the volume up on that fucking... I would have gotten rid of Obamacare. Look, and if they there's, didn't there's do Donald that, because Trump. It's going to be very... It looks Trump like Melissa, but it's Donald Trump. Country. Hey. Obamacare yeah, there it is. Right away, but I got sound. I got sound. I'm rocking uh, that. We're, we're going to be doing some um, some mystery science theater type shit with more movies like we did with Twister. I want to do um, Independence Day, ah, shit like that. Ah, ah. But uh, we're, we're going to do shit like that. And, uh, yeah, there's a lot of shit to come. So uh, uh, nice. stay tuned. This is kind of a, a first inaugural test run that we're doing. But well, what, are you do, what are you doing there in Jersey? Uh, right now, I'm just uh, drinking some wine. Uh, you know, I never called a show during the day. I've been a fan for years and years and years. Quack, and, quack. Uh, That's cool. And I are like, uh, I've always felt you and I are like brothers, separated at birth. We have very similar interests and backgrounds. Oh. You like young girls half your age. Young girls? Uh, yeah. 
Yeah. Guns. Yeah. Guns. Gun. I have a. Uh, I, I got a beautiful Bushmaster AR-15. I got uh. a Mossberg 12. Oh, you gotta love that. I'm. Uh, I mean, I'm more into the nines because I'm more of a. Uh, 30 to 40 yard kind of guy. I like a, you know what? Everyone thinks I'm only a high caliber uh, weapon guy, but I love a good nine. And as a matter of fact, my, my firearm this evening is the Walther PPKS 380. So nice. I'm not, I'm not nice. toting around the big, uh, the high caliber weapons uh, this evening. Um, some aware, by the way, you, uh, for a concealed carry, you really do need a smaller weapon because I, I'm just wearing a T-shirt and I have to conceal it. I can't, you know, walk around with this thing strapped to my leg. So uh, well, good point. I have an in the waistband holster um, and I cover it with a T-shirt. Uh, but in the warmer, uh, in the cooler weather, uh, I'll go. I'll switch back to my 40 caliber um, weapon, my weaponry. But uh, right sure. now, I got the 380. I got the gold dot hollow points in there, which are just an amazing. Let me uh, let me actually go to camera three here for a second. Cause I like, yeah, there. See, that's your, uh, that's your, your basic you Walther uh, PPKS. And then if we look, these are very good rounds. I assume the you have one chambered. Gold dot. Oh, of course, the gold dot uh, hollow points. Because with a 380, you're not getting the the bang for your buck, as they say, that you get with a 40 or a 45 or a, a right. 38. Um, but you, you, you as long like, as you got you know the right like ammo. My little Keltex ant. Yeah. Is uh, in my in my I have a Keltex nine that I keep on my ankle, mm. and uh, I keep the polymer tip hollow points in there. Oh, I like those. Yeah, yeah. Because the polymer tips are good if you're ever getting carjacked, because you need to be able to shoot through the window. Yes, and they will go through the first obstruction. <laughs> Correct. Exactly. And then, and and then, then smash them like a fucking boxing glove when it hits them. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Isn't it fun talking about shooting people? Oh, uh, fucking love guns. <laughs> All right, my Jersey friend. Hey, you're in Jersey? Yeah, down in Hillsborough. I actually How the just fuck? over from my boss, as a matter of fact. How the fuck do you have a pistol license? Uh, I don't anymore. I moved here from Pennsylvania about a year ago. Damn. And, uh, I, I don't have my uh, I don't have my carry here anymore. My carry is still valid in Pennsylvania, but not here. I thought you were uh, maybe law enforcement or something. If you were, because everybody that tells me that they uh, have a pistol and they're from Jersey, I'm like, wait, what? Who did you yeah. fucking blow? Because that state is worse than New York. Worse well, did, than fucking I New did, York. I did legally register everything because I am a yeah, yeah. life man. Like mm -hmm. member of the NRA, but uh, so yeah, you're able, you're able to have your uh, your AR and and your Mossberg, um, but uh, as far as pistols go, they're really a little they're sticklers about that in Jersey, aren't they? Yeah, they're a little sensitive. And I That's had to go right. see the local the local detective and everything. But again, I, I did everything above board because oh. uh, that's well, the kind of guy I am. Well, you know what? Everybody does. You, you go to Camden, uh, you won't find one person that has an illegal gun there. Absolutely. Uh, it's a Newark, same thing. No, you, it's, no, it's no, a you will. Oh, literal Melissa. Oh, you were just... See, I was, I was making a sarcastic remark based on the point that law-abiding citizens, right. if they had pistols, would jump through the hoops in order to get them and not have felonies and, and, and uh, uh, have a background check, as opposed to the people that only have guns that are civilians in places like Newark and Camden, which are the fucking savage criminals. That's the fact, brother. Thank you, man. Take it easy. All right, later. Yeah, see? Uh, it makes no sense to me, by the way. You look at uh, cities and states that have some of the strictest gun control laws are the highest crime rates in the country. Uh, does that say that it's working? I believe not. Yes, uh, Missy? Oh, I thought you were raising your hand. What? Yeah. Hi, live from the compound. Who's this? this? Hey, it's John from Philly. Hi, John from hi, Philly. Hi, John. How did you it happen? How did it happen? I can't hear John on the phone without thinking that. And then a mic has to be Mike? Anyway, yeah. John, what's up, my friend? Uh, not a whole lot. I, I actually uh, got to see you guys again uh, the other Thursday at the Hard Rock. That was pretty cool. Oh, yeah. The, you know something? That was a fucking pisser, man. We, uh, we, we had our doubts about that one. I got to be honest with you. The uh, Sirius XM management brought it to our attention, uh, got everything together, and we were kind of like, this could be a bust. Blah, blah, blah. I was there for a half for hour. For a half hour. For what it's worth, I just linked a, a couple or 
the picture a couple times, you know, that I, I took with uh, you, Jimmy, and Opie. Oh, what a fucking collector's item that is. <laughs> yeah, I'm the big tall fuck that had a shaved head. Oh, okay. I do remember you because I was thinking you looked like a homicidal maniac. <laughs> big, very tall. You could overpower people. Yeah, I'm 6'4". Yeah. Yikes. Yeah, he, he was a tall motherfucker. Yeah. Anyway, I have a video that you've, you've got to love. Okay, uh, okay. on YouTube, it. look up Woman Battle Satan at CVS. Oh, I've seen that one. That crazy black woman. Yeah. She's like, Whoa! she's doing all that heebie-jeebie shit uh, and, and freaking out. And, and the security guy is just telling her, could you get up and leave? And, and, and she's like putting the devil on him. And uh, wow, what a lunatic. Yes, great woman. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I, there are so many great videos to watch uh, on, on YouTube like that. A lot of them get taken down because of content and comments. Uh, but, <laughs> but we all know yeah, this place is to see them and read them. <laughs> all right, my friend, I'm going to let you go. They're, oh, tell, well, they're telling well, me you got to go. Thing. All right, man, later. Sir, I do sheet metal also. Ah, tin knocker. I'm not a tin knocker like oh, you. Oh, what do you do? Uh, I do precision sheet metal. I do medical equipment. I build uh, in vitro Sorry. fertilization shit. I do uh, electrical. All right, so let me, let me, let me tell you, you work, you work on a plasma cutter. Uh, no. No. Uh, the, how, do, how are you cutting this stuff so precisely? We have uh, turret presses. They're called Wiedemann's. Oh, okay. So it's like a, a laser yet, the old like school tool and die kind of a thing? Yeah. All right. I mean, I have a machine shop also. Oh, yeah. do you, do you, are you good at a manual bridge port? Uh, bridge Who's port a manual? A bri bridge port. Uh, you, you know, not a manual. You are such an idiot. Because um, <laughs> I, I remember you, <laughs> you work in old uh, milling machines, old bridge port milling Who's machines. Who's milling? Yeah, yeah. And... <laughs> And uh, they turned them all into numerical control. Who's numerical? And it, yeah, <laughs> I'm going to smack you. And it was like, it, it became a lost art to be able to actually art? chop off, you know, one one thousandth of an inch uh, off the top of a, a block or something by yourself, by hand. Yeah, we still have two of the completely manual ones, and then we have a couple of the, uh, the fully CNC ones. Old school guys working the manual ones, right? Yeah, yeah. that's how it works. Yeah, a couple, uh, we have uh, two. <laughs> so, did someone write great story? <laughs> 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 Fucking pricks, I love them. All right, man, take it easy. Have a good weekend. Bye! <laughs> look, look, you asshole. <laughs> I, I, can, I can talk about anything I want, and if I want to talk about the old ways of milling... <laughs> Who's milk? You are the worst. <laughs> uh, you know, back in the old days when I used to work for a living, I did work in a machine shop and used an old Bridgeport milling machine. And that was before you damn kids had your computerized fucking motors. Uh, we used to have to actually turn like an Etch-a-Sketch. I'm not kidding. That's just ridiculous. It was fascinating. No, that's not fascinating at all. Yeah, it might not be fascinating, but it was work. <laughs> Hi, who's this? All right. Anyone? Hey. Hey. Oh. Hey, how you oh, doing? Hung. Hey, motherfucker, what's up? <laughs> hey, uh, don't listen. Great. Don't, don't oh, listen to me yapping. God. You got to listen to uh the room. There you go. What's what's going on? Uh nothing, man. I was just uh I'm sure you heard about it, but the, the Obama disappointment. Yes, yes. Uh, well, you know what? You, you listen to liberals and Democrats, and they'll tell you uh, it's George Bush's fault or it's the GOP's fault. It's everyone's fault but Obama's that for the first time we've been downgraded um, with our credit and, uh, and uh, unemployment is running rampant. Uh, the economy's in the shitter. And there's no confidence in uh, people in, that are just spending money uh, in, in small businesses to hire people. Uh, there's just no confidence anymore. But it's not his fault. We we apologize and we'll we'll uh, reelect you in 2012. Thank you. Yeah, well, I mean, he deserves it, doesn't he? Oh, of course he does. He's done. Yeah. He's done a fantastic job. He's fantastic. done a fantastic job um, being president. No, he hasn't. No, he hasn't. Oh, literal. If he stuff. did, ha, uh, if he did win you. a second term, please God, don't. But if he did, would he be able to still blame George Bush? That's no. what I'm thinking. No? No. Yeah. I bet he would, though. I inherited this. This is something I inherited. No. 
I am not responsible for anything that happens to this country while I'm in office. It. Your job is to fix it. And now here's my party. I'm going to invite a racist, Reverend Al Sharpton, a drug dealer, and a few other people. They're, they're dancing. They're, they're playing hip-hop in the White House. Hip-hop in the White House! Can we please bring back Clinton? Uh, I, you know something? I yearn for the days of Bill Clinton. Ever. Now, now it looks like the good old days. Well, if everybody like would have voted for fucking Hillary. Nah, that's a different fucking animal right there. I don't know. Yikes. I, I voted oh, look, for money's Hillary. behind us. Look at the money being printed. Ah. Oh, wait, that's, oh, that's our home movies. Ah, see, because I am. We haven't fucking been. assholes. It's, uh... <laughs> oh, and you're the shit. I try to be as shitty as I can, sir. You're right. Oh, that shit. Yeah. All right, my friend. Have a good uh, weekend. All right, you too, man. Later, my friend. So yeah. is What's um, that? is anybody wondering why my hair is shorter? No one has even uttered a peep. Nobody has noticed my about your cut. shorter hair. I gotta be honest. Nobody's with you. noticed my haircut. Nobody has noticed. All right, let's Because move, you got let's braids. Move on. Let's move on. Uh, by the way, uh, Obama's birthday at the White House, I did notice uh, on the list of uh, invitees. Was R. Kelly there? R. Kelly was not there. Damn it. He'd have been pissing on uh, the daughters uh, somewhere because he that's was, what he does. Uh, he was trapped in a closet somewhere. Yes, yes. Yeah. Uh, but uh, uh, Reverend Al Sharpton, yeah. I hear, was invited to Obama's birthday party at the White House. This is a race-baiting, uh, lying motherfucker. This man lied, ruined careers, ruined fucking people's uh, uh, careers over the Tawana Brawley lie. And he's invited to the White House? Really? This is the company that Obama keeps? Enough said right there. You could... Say what you want about who's to blame about certain things. But uh, uh, the people that he associates him, himself with are despicable. He despicable. Likes, he likes Lil Wayne, though. Lil Wayne. He did like Lil Wayne, yeah. Another guy that might have gotten himself in a bit of a jam. Hey, but His scissorp. Does he drink the scissorp? He does. Do you think Obama drinks the scissorp? Uh, no. What is the scissorp for people that oh, don't okay. know? I know exactly. Tell right. everyone what the scissorp is. Well, you go to the doctor and you're like, I got a sore throat. I can't sleep. So they give you liquid codeine. Liquid codeine. Liquid codeine. Sounds great, by the way. Which is, uh, it's, you can get it over the counter in uh, Paris. Yeah. Uh, so you get the liquid codeine. You put a little tablespoon in a glass, a styrofoam, two, sty you need two styrofoam cups. Two styrofoam cups. Just, in, you know, one. Double it up. All right. Shot of uh, codeine. Fill it with Sprite. Then you got to get a fucking Grape Jolly Rancher. On. Grape Jolly Rancher. And then you just dip it in there. This you, is like an olive in there. for a martini. Exactly. It's necessary. You can't just have the and scissor it's without the greatest them. thing ever. And then you drink that down. It's it's. Fucking, and what do you do? You feel all oh, fucked up and great. shit? You listen to DJ Screw. Why two cups, people are saying? Because it's fucking cool, that's why. <laughs> is it just cool to have two cups? Yeah, because two cups means you're drinking scissor. I'm it's drinking gotta be, It's got to be styrofoam. Scissor. It's got to be like styrofoam coffee cups, right? Like three, six the little mafia. Ones. So you have two, so you have more? Or is there a reason like well, you got mixed? it's just, you know, to be cool. But what do you do with the other hand? You don't sip you need the other hand to syrup. like grab your gat? Sipping on some, sip, sipping on some scissor. You know, three, six mafia, your favorite rap group. Oh yeah, fucking yeah, A. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I love the three, six mafia. I saw them at the Playboy Mansion. Oh, did you? I have pictures with them. They're black. Were you, were you in the grotto? I have been in the grotto. Ew! Time. That sounds like the sleaziest place to ever I've be. I've never made out with anybody in the grotto. It, even going in the grotto, the word grotto sounds like fucking, like, Dried up jism is just on the walls and, and, and like there's cum, like egg drop soup in the water. Although, I do. <laughs> oh, no. What's, no your, friend, what's your Playboy Mansion grotto story? I got so many stories from that I, that I don't know if I could actually. Ah, you can tell. No one's listening or watching. It's cool. it's cool. It's cool. No, 822 people are listening. It's cool. That's no one. That's one cool. of my friends was making out with uh, Jack Osborne in the grotto. What was his name? Oh, it's a, it was a girl. Okay. So one of your friends is making out with Jack Osborne in the grotto. Um, and then what happened? Uh, and then they like 
they hung out. They had sex. Or Did something. they have not, sex? Not in the garage. In the mansion? Like after? No. In the mansion? No. Oh. Oh, it, at 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 Osborne's house. Yes. And you went there. Yes, because I was dating his friend. Right. Who lived in his guest house? Polly Shore. No, that's another story. Oh, Cato uh, Kalen. He lived in the guest house. No. You did. You didn't. No. Date, you didn't date Kato Kalen, did you? Oh God, no. Oh, okay. OJ. Ugh. Yes. Ah, and no. then uh, another time outside of the grotto. This is when I was like 21. I oh yeah, to LA. yeah. Relax, relax. Doesn't uh, it? Doesn't matter. Um, let's just say yeah, yeah. a friend of mine. Uh huh. Met a guy who's on the show. Let's say it's called Breaking Bad. Uh huh. And. My friend yeah. was like, hey, that's the guy from, uh, he was on this like MTV movie thing. And then they proceeded to make out in the bathroom. Wait a minute. The fucking kid? You made out with the kid from Breaking Bad? He was on my show. I fucking told you the story already. No, you didn't. I could have fucking brought it up on the show and been like another oh, guy. I think I didn't tell you that story, but that, that happened. I have, remember that picture I showed you of me and him at the Playboy Mansion? Oh, God, you're such a slut. No. You're fucking no, no, L.A. No, no, no. slut. No, 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 no. You're an L.A. slut, man. You really are. I didn't have sex with these people. Oh, that's sex enough. Come on, making out with some dude because you saw him on a TV show. And on an MTV? Tweet. This was before Breaking Bad. Yeah, way before. I could have fucking brought that up. No, but he's like friends with people. Friends you're keeping with shit like, from me from the show. I could have talked about that I on the show. I told you that. I told you You that. never told me that. All right, maybe I She that. never fucking told me that. I would have fucking brought it up on the show. I brought it up with the other people. Every guy you've mentioned on the show that have been a fucking vulture. I brought up. And I met my other ex-boyfriend at the Playboy Mansion. Oh, which one was that? Pauly? Oh, oh, you know. Pauly Shore? Ugh, you know, Paul. he's not that bad. I got Pauly Shore's sloppy fucking 18th. Eh, he's not that bad. I got Pauly Shore's sloppy fucking 23rds. Holy shit. Who wouldn't? If you uh, were... Who wouldn't? Any chick wouldn't. No, no, I'm saying if you were me. And you got the old Pauly Shore. You didn't even get the weasel one from fucking MTV. If you were my age, you're 21, you just moved to LA, or the other play mansion, you see all these like famous people. Oh, well, maybe I'd keep my fucking pants on. I didn't have sex with them. I'm Whatever just... you did with Pauly. Uh, yeah, one time hung out, but he was actually cool. Oh, was he? Yeah, he was nice. The old Pauly. Not even yeah. the young fucking weasel fucking biodome Pauly. All we did was You watch. got fucking, you got old has been Pauly. But I didn't, I don't mind. I didn't want the fucking weasel. Why? Because it's weird. God, are you a slut? I like Pauly via biodome. What about um, Encino Man? Hell yeah. How many people from Encino Man did you have sex with? One. <laughs> <laughs> Ew, Pauly Shore. This was a while ago. God, he, and he, by the way, one of the worst interviews we ever had on our show was oh, Pauly yeah, Shore. Oh, yeah, he's awful. One of the worst <laughs> interviews we've ever had was Pauly fucking Shore. Oh, God. The likes of these fucking chicks. You want to never get the them stores. fresh. You never get them fresh oh, unless they're teens, on. guys. That's why. Let me tell you something. That's why Anthony loves the fresh meat. The young oh, girls. Oh, as opposed to you who you fucked every white trash, nasty fan of the show, girl. I could wash my dick. That vagina, that holds Ugh. shit on like a fucking, like a goddamn trap on a sink. The vagina. It's like a sink trap full of hairs and bacteria and what God knows what. A even, wedding ring. I don't even want to get into some of the girls. Ah, uh, they've all been marvelous. Uh, I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. Stalker Kate looks like a fucking ugly dead bird. Uh, look, she looked like a seahorse. Exactly. What are you going to do? <laughs> look, I was drunk. <laughs> See? <laughs> all right, but it's not Pauly Shore. Or fucking the guy from fucking uh, Breaking Bad when he was doing home videos. That guy was awesome. The hell knows what he was doing. Oh, he's awesome in the show. Not awesome in the bathroom at the Playboy Mansion, the grotto. How much love Snotto got spilt at the grotto? I wants to know. Oh, <laughs> Come on, that was kind of good. Love Snot. Oh. All right. You can make it all up to me by getting me a Guinness. Could you please? Would you be a doll? I'll take a call. Come on, stretch your legs. Hmm? Jimmy's got to be here soon, right? Is my phone still? Right, let me look. Oh, my God. I'm at fucking like no percent power here. All right. What's up? Oh, thank you, sweetie. Aw. 
Try not to get some Hollywood heartthrobs cum in my beer, could you? I still, have you couple, uh, I still have a couple more dudes that you don't know about from Hollywood. Oh, ple- believe me, I can only gather. I can only guess. Look, I have one too, by the way. Who? A starlet. Jill Nicolini? Well, that's one, but I had another one that was secret from everybody. Who? Tell me. I'm not telling anyone. I've never told anybody. No. I actually told one person. I'm not even telling you the person I told. It was, it was a girl that came in on the show. A, a, a high B, low A lister. At one point, A lister. No, not the fucking. You think I'm going to put a Playboy or Penthouse chick at an a, a high B, low A lister? This is a chick that's been in fucking movies, good movies. I'm not saying a word. Nope. You're breaking up with me? Yeah. What about the guys you haven't told me about yet? They're, I already told you about them. No, you just said there are others you haven't heard about. Do you see how these girls work? Do you see the fucking conniving that goes on with girls? I haven't mentioned that right here. All right, all right. Let's, let's take a break. Hold on. Whew. Grab a beer, come back, and we'll discuss it. You're, you better tell me. Why? What are you freaked out about? I'm making it up. I am not. Oh, you're totally making it up. I swear. I'm not making it up. I'm not making it up. Hi, live from the compound. Who's this? This is Jess from Idaho. How you doing, man? Idaho, fuck. Yeah, yeah, I'm far away, far away, watching online. Ah, that's very cool. What? Uh, some jive to talk about uh, uh, some uh, revolvers, eh? Yeah. What do you What, what are you sporting? Well, uh, got a Smith and Wesson model uh, six eight six, and uh, Paulie Shore actually carried one of those filled ah. with uh, Melissa's cum juice. <laughs> how do you? Gorgeous. How do you know? <laughs> how do I know? <laughs> I got in there with Paulie Shore. Oh, damn! Paulie Shore's cum juice. <laughs> yeah, yes, I, I, I stuck in the head of that. It was beautiful. You're a pussy though for carrying something that is not a revolver because cowboys have to stick together, and you're a fucking cowboy. I, I know you're have, a cowboy. I have revolvers. I just I know, but you don't carry revolvers. You know what? You gotta, I, show, you gotta show your ball sack once in a while. I man. prefer to carry a very clean and very reliable uh, yeah, We're not working on reliability. Uh, you're not going to get shot by some nigger. Uh, oops, whoops, ding, ding. Oh, no, you, uh, you, you want to show off, man. That's what you want to do. No, it's not about showing off. I but prefer sure, automatic sure, weapons though. over revolvers. I like I'm the not, fact I'm that I could slap a, a magazine in there and I have uh, just as many shots as I started with. I like the fact that uh, I could fire uh, quickly, accurately, and change fucking magazines quick. I like that too, but uh, you, have to, you have to think about the, the percentage of this actually happening. I uh, understand. People... I just like automatics better. Well, okay, okay, that's fine. That's fine. I'll, I'll agree with that. And, and I, by the I, way, I revolvers are fat. Side revolvers side are arm fat arm like your fucking wife. What? All right. I was, I'm sorry. I was out of line there. Yeah, you were out of line, all I'm, right? I'm sorry. I, I am a black American male living in, in Idaho. Idaho. You're a lonely motherfucker, aren't you? I'm not actually black. No, I was, I was fucking with you. I know you were fucking with me. You didn't, of course you, you do. Listen to my yeah. voice. All right. Well, you never know sometimes. I've watched commercials. <laughs> yeah, I watch commercials for alarm companies, and the black people in those commercials sound very articulate and nice. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, but uh, <laughs> keep, keep the revolver... Just always as a side sidearm, so you can be cowboy like you truly are. I mean, that that I'm not digging. No longer am I digging your your um your cap. I, I think you need to switch to cowboy hat. The Yankee no, I'm a yeah. shit, but just you like know what? A little uh, legit yeah. cowboy people, hat. People that wear cowboy hats in New York are called fucking rubes. Yeah, so I don't think I can support hats in that. Fucking Idaho are called faggots. Oh well, uh, enjoy your cowboy hat, sir. Yeah. I got him. Anyway, I used to wear a cowboy hat in Southern California because I rode a horse. I actually rode a horse. I sported a sidearm, which was a revolver. It was a Ruger Super Single 622. Plink, plink. Look out, bitches. So who's Anthony's this, coming through. Who's this chickie that you had sex with? I'm not actually going to say. I've only told one person in my whole life. Who did you life. tell? I'm not even saying Melinda? who I told. No. I'm you not, have to tell me. I'm not saying who I even told. Well, uh, you have to tell me. I'll tell you off the this show. All right, tell me right now. I'm not going to tell you right now. Tell me.
Hello. Hello. You <laughs> fucking. Now she's all fucking pissed at me. <laughs> you did not have sex with Heather Graham. Shut up. I didn't say Heather Graham. You're ridiculous. No, you just said Heather Graham. I did not. That's impossible. I did she not. She would not have sex with you. Of course she wouldn't. That's why it's not. That's not you the name I that's not. not the name I gave you. You're lying. You're right. It's it was Mila Jovovich. No, it's not. She's fucking very right. nice. No, I didn't fucking say anything. What do you do? Look at you. Oh, look at your body language. You're holding the back of your neck. You're all like, eh, eh. I didn't say anything. I was lying. I'm lying. It's fine. It's a complete, you, complete you fabrication. No, you have to tell me right now. No, nah, no, nah, it's, a, it's a lie. You said it was a lie. It's a lie. Hey, who's this? Um, Casey. Hi. Hey, a girl. Look, it's a girl. Yes, it's a girl. And I want to start by saying I love Melissa. Isn't she great? She's the lovely beautiful. Melissa She's Stetton. Funny and I love her. Ladies and gentlemen, the beautiful and talented Melissa Stetton, the other half of the Live from the Compound show. Where did you have sex with her exactly? She's not a whole. I love her. See? I'm not going to. Did you little... live? Where did you have sex with her? I'm, I'm too old and me. a little too heavy for Anthony. Don't worry, Melissa. Oh, my God. What are you, 15? Do you weigh 120 pounds? I'm rolling rock. I'm 33. 33. That's, that's, that's okay. That's not bad. Wait, how, many, how many times did you have sex with her? Just once? Oh, my God. She's obsessed. Yeah. You What's your problem? You didn't tell me anything. I don't know who these other guys you're fucking There's bringing nobody up. nobody else. You said there were other guys that you don't know There's about. There's one other guy that hooked up with that I probably already mentioned to you. So you you fucking Paulie Shore, you had I, your like you had it. your big Hollywood fucking night, where you actually went out with him, didn't you? Yeah, for we like dated for a while. How long? But How long did you go out with Paulie Shore? Like a few months. A few months? Yeah. Wait, where are you going? Upstairs. Wait, wait, get the fuck, sit the fuck down. Uh -huh. You can't do this. You're not allowed to leave. You are not allowed to fucking leave. Holy shit. Do you, all right, look. Why do these shows always end like this? With her leaving <laughs> angry. <laughs> what happened? Do you, as a girl, could you tell me what just happened there? I have no idea. Holy shit. I'm fucking stunned. I'm flabbergasted. So I have a question for you. Let, oh. me, pre let me preface this by saying that I'm white. I have two young children to the same man that I've been with for eight years, who is also white. Oh, okay. Um, we have a couple of, co well, he has a couple of college degrees. Oh, and a couple. Yes, he has a couple. Um, I was laid off from my job a few years ago and within three months was enrolled in school. Oh. I know how you feel about leeches and I will, you know, be the first to admit that I work the shit out of the system. I obtain um, assistance that you disagree with. However, being that I am enrolled in school, yeah. am a dean's list student since I have done so, and uh, my primary goal is to become a business owner to contribute to society, does that make me better than the leeches you hate, the same as or worse than because uh, I know better? I must not be making myself clear, uh, Miss. I, I swear. Because as long as you, I have no problem with a system that um, helps people actually make something of themselves. It's the abuse of those systems that I've seen uh, uh, more times than not. That people uh, get support, they get money, and are doing nothing. You're, exa you're doing something. You're doing what the system is supposed to be in place for. And I'm fine with that. Jesus Christ. Uh, not that my, you know my opinion matters worth a shit, but as far as my your opinion, opinion goes, does matter I, I you think you are the wonderful Anthony, and I, I th heart of you. Of course, I am. Uh, but but I but that's fine. Yeah, you see, you're you're making something of yourself. It's the saps, the leeches that just latch on and never let go until you gotta pick them off or burn them with a cigarette head. 
That's the fucking shit. You're not looking to stay on the dole for uh, your entire life. There are people that do that. You're looking to, you know, make something yourself, uh, get a business together, and uh, become a, a contributing member of society. There are people that want their whole existence is just sapping off of people that work. And I agree with you, flat tax for everybody, even my welfare grabbing ass. I would love, you know, I would be zippity doodying out my asshole if I had to pay 17% uh, tax. Um, I would even pay upwards of 20, 25, 30% would be uh, amazing. But a you flat tax for everybody. Is, would... Even when I was only making $11 an hour, I was still paying 25% in taxes. You know what? So... I, I remember that too. I was working at the El Adobe restaurant in San Juan Capistrano when I was a young lad. And uh, I was making minimum wage. I think at the time it was $2.50 an hour uh, back in what I call the day. And that was taxed. It was tax, motherfucker. I paid my tax. I pay my taxes. I pay my taxes. I think that was under the Ford administration. <laughs> Maybe Carter. I don't know. I'm old. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, uh, 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 let me let me see if I can take a couple of calls on what just happened here. This is uh, really fucked up. But have a good weekend, okay? Thank you, Aunt. All right. Bye. I don't know what just happened. Look, here here's what I see. Uh, we were talking. Relationships got brought up, Playboy Mansion, the whole Pauly Shore thing, and then the other guy from Breaking Bad, which is making out, and the, and then I bring up somebody from Hollywood that years before I even knew Melissa, I, I you know, may have uh, had something going on with, and then she goes upstairs. She she, I believe that was a storming off. Was that a storming off? Uh, it was a little more subtle than a storming, but I think it was an overcast walking off or a, a drizzly walk. And now I'm sitting here like, again, again, if you look back at some of these fucking Live from the Compounds, you'll see a leave. I don't get this. I'm going to call her. I'm going to call her. Actually, I'm going to call her on the fucking live phone because my phone's my phone hits dying. Let me see. Let's go to the eh, oh boy. My battery power is really running out. All right. Let's go here. Um, all right, I got to turn this down so you guys don't hear the beeping and booping. ringing pick up the phone hey it's melissa leave me a message oh, and i'll call you back God. at the tone please record your message when you have finished recording you may hang up or press one for more options hi melissa hi it's uh anthony and oh my god hi Oh, oh, I was leaving a me I'm leaving a message on your phone. Hi, hey, get over here. Come here. This is amazing. Hold on. Let me hang up. Oh, my God. Look who's here. Come back here. Ladies and gentlemen, Francine. Francine. How you doing, Francine? Oh, my God. What are you doing? How are you? I'm on the air. Yeah. Francine, this is Melissa. Ah, Francine is here. Why are you doing on the air? It's like, it's midnight. This is what I do. I just bullshit. Yeah. You know what? 
my job is so much fun, I take it home with me. And then I go, bah, let me just fuck around here on the air. Is anybody in Australia right now? Because I heard it's a country. <laughs> She's really stupid. <laughs> she has the greatest fucking miscarriage story you ever want to hear. It's the greatest. I lost another baby this year. No way. Yeah. <laughs> Did you really? Did you really lose another? Your womb is like the fucking projects. No, my womb's not the projects, Anthony. It's, Wait, it's you know how to work a mic? Come on, you were our intern for fucking years. My body rejects babies. What happened now? So you, you, you were pregnant. Yes, I was pregnant. And who was the father? Was uh, he a I white guy? No, he was a black guy from Connecticut. Uh, from Connecticut. And, uh, he's, he's Let me turn you up. He's a, a Republican and he voted for Bush both times. He did? He was wife. He obviously <laughs> voted for Bush with you. <laughs> ah, see, get it? That's a pussy joke. But, oh, you could curse. It's my house. Okay. <laughs> see, there's no FCC. It's great. <laughs> so who's out there? Oh, there's a bunch of fucking people out there. Oh. And they're, 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 let's see, that's what they're seeing. It's video, too. It's not just, it's not just audio. Okay. It's great. So you, you got pregnant again. Yeah. When was this? About how long ago? This is the summer. During the summer. And then when, when you found out, you missed your period? Or was it like... I missed my period again. You missed your period. All right, so you knew you were pregnant? I knew I was pregnant. And you took a test? I took a test. It was positive. And then what were you... To, did you talk to the guy about it? Did you say, I hey, said, look... I uh, hey, I'm pregnant. And, he and said, did the mom go, hey, hey, I'll go get one of those abortions. My brother got one once. No. Okay. He said, we'll work something out. We'll work something out. What does that mean? <laughs> I'm fucked. <laughs> so, so he says we'll work something out. And then you just, now you just went about your business. And you, you hoped that the same thing would happen the last time. No, I started fucking this other guy who was amazing in bed. <laughs> was he a white guy or a black guy? He's half Jewish, half black. How come? Like, you, you used to just go out with white guys. I did. but You in, really but went over to DC's, the chocolate side. DC is full of black people. So. Yeah. I've been dating a lot of black people. Tell me about it. The White House, right? I know, It's yeah. full of black people there, too. I hear you. <laughs> LOL. So then, so <laughs> LOL, <laughs> losing our loan ability, or something that would be LOL. Yeah, thanks, or, Obama. Whatever. Yes. So, so uh, you start having sex with this other guy while you're pregnant. Yes. While you use pregnant. Yeah, I met this other guy. He was amazing in bed. Uh huh. What did he do? Did he did he go down on you? That's why well, he was amazing. He went down. Okay. Did he lick he, your ass? He's half Jewish, so he definitely. Did. He went. He was half Jewish. He was crazy. Oh my god. I was like, oh my god, this guy. So you're like, treat my clit like a penny, and he would like squeeze it. See, penny pincher. He no, did. nothing. Jesus Christ. That was a. My racist thing. jokes aren't going over at all. All right. That was good. So, so you, you're with this guy. Yeah. Uh, you're pregnant. Yeah. He's great in bed. Yeah. And then you start thinking, I'm fucking pregnant. So what, what do you do? I still have sex because I want to. Okay. And so the guy said he said we'll work something out. Unprotected? No. And then how'd you get pregnant? Okay. Um, no, I'm protected with my boyfriend. We were together for a year and a half. A year and a half before he you got pregnant. He showed me his AIDS test and he was negative. So oh. I was like, this is a pretty I good I took an AIDS test. Well, I, I got a 76. I just passed. Well, I passed. I don't have AIDS. He doesn't have AIDS. So I was like, well, we can have sex without condoms because we're ageless. <laughs> ageless. Ah, uh, it's like so, timeless. Yeah. Ageless. So this other guy, he's crazy. He's eating me out. He's fucking. Wow. He's doing everything. And I'm like, I'm not going to do that for you. But if you want to do that for me, I'm all down. Oh, you didn't even. You said right off the bat, you're not sucking his dick. Nope. And I Motherfucking one way piece of shit. No, but I didn't want to. Damn. Why not? Because I didn't know if he had AIDS. <laughs> oh, oh, he didn't have the AIDS test. Oh, oh. silly me. <laughs> okay. So we have, we're having sex, and this guy fucks the shit out of me. It was one of those nights where you're like... Literally? Because that's... The shit out of me. Listen, the next day I had the fucking miscarriage. I was like, he fucked... Wow, he <laughs> fucked a baby out of your fucking uterus. That is the shit. Is that real? I'm dead too. Yes. Listen, I went. Oh, she's crazy. I went to the bathroom at a fucking thrift store because I work for. <laughs> I work for the government. I make no money, so I was at a thrift store and the rumble started again. And I was like, this feels like 17 all over again. Wow. Yeah. I went to the bathroom. The same thing happened. That fucking. Same thing happened. It just came out. It was disgusting. 
disgusting. And uh, I was like, I know what this is. This means I don't have a baby. <laughs> did you did, then just buy some gauze at the fucking the pharmacy same. and shove it up there? No. No? It just comes out. It just comes out. It just comes out. It just came out. And was it was it in the toilet doing the backstroke going, Mommy, Mommy? And you just like... <laughs> I kind of like... I wanted You're like to, Casey Anthony. I wanted to shed a tear, <laughs> but I was like, you know what? I'm so happy. I'm not going to have to raise you. I'm just going to flush. Did it feel... <laughs> Did it feel no. different emotionally than it did? <laughs> okay. Than it did the first time? Because the first time you were like dancing. The first time I was seventeen. So at seventeen, like I was very, very like. I come from a very nice family, so I was feeling like I was gonna disappoint the family. Yeah. Okay. At thirty-one. I was like, fuck yeah, fuck that shit. Oh, so you're really like... That one was a real celebration. Yeah. Because at 31, okay, I could support a child and my boyfriend... Oh, could braggart. Take, he could support a child too. Like, it would oh. be Oh, well, that good. ain't gonna happen. No, I would have had the... The, the Jewish part would have stayed. Okay, it wasn't the Jewish guy. Oh, <laughs> right, I get he confused. He was the one that fucked the baby out. <laughs> the Jewish guy fucked the baby <laughs> At least I fucking was, Francine, man. I had sex with this guy. Holy the baby shit. Just came out. So Holy like, shit. Fuck fucking out. Francine. He fucked it out. He fucked the baby out of you. Yeah. And I That's was, like, wow. I was so impressed. I was like, this guy was awesome. Was he, was he like laying on your belly a lot or something? Or It was one of those really good nights. One of those wow. you remember for the rest of your life. Wow, really? Have you been with him since? Yes, I have many times. Oh, and did you tell him you fucked? He fucked no, the baby out of you. No, absolutely not. But are you crazy? No. I don't know. I don't know what you tell guys and shits. I don't tell that nigga oh. shit. I ain't tell that nigga nothing, motherfucker. I'm so happy that baby was out. <laughs> you are the shit, Francine. That's great. Francine's the best. Francine was our intern at NEW oh, yeah. for uh, uh, I don't even know how long. It was either a week or three years. Uh, I don't. Uh, NEW is a blur for me. It was a summer. Anthony. We used to uh, we used to just go out and drink and play foosball and smoke the entire time. Like any time we weren't on the air, we were drinking, playing foosball, smoking. Drinking. That place was yeah. They had beer freezers uh, in the studio, and we'd open them up and just drink fucking beers constantly. You were very underage at that point. Hey, what do you I want? A little Captain Morgan and Coke. You were 21? I thought you were, I thought, I didn't think you were allowed to drink. I thought I you were like. I was 21, sorry. I was 21. I thought you were like 19 or some shit. Black don't crack. Anthony. Black don't crack, biatch. Oh biatch. And then you were at that fucking, uh, that thing we did on the Jersey Shore too. Yes, I was. You were up there on the rooftop. Remember that fucking time? I remember. I bought a bikini that was fun. on that day. I still yes. It. You bought a bikini on that day and you still, do you still fit into it? Yeah, nigga, that's what I'm talking about. This Yo. chick, she ain't fucking changed uh, an ounce. I gained 10 pounds since the show. What? Well, she did have a miscarriage. <laughs> baby weight. Ba two. There's two miscarriages. Five pounds of baby weight for each one. Ah, you got Oh, that's fucking horrible. I lost two babies since. But you yeah. lost my two babies. That is so yeah. good. You know what? I'm... Because of that, I'm able to buy something this weekend. Because it's two kids I ain't got to pay for, yo. But they're not yours. Taxpayer. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, okay. bitch. Okay. You know yes. what I'm Listen, talking about. For the no. Racket, no, for the record, first of all, yeah. I'm not African-American. Right. Okay, so I come from... You're a Tootsie. Yeah, I'm Tootsie. I'm half Rwandan and I'm half Trinidadian. But she's Tootsie, though, not Hutu. Yeah. My parents yeah. work. Both of them. My dad just retired because he's old as hell. He's 67. My mom works because she's 51. Now, holy the, the shit. Thing is, I've been working since I was 16 years old. And you have to understand that the African-American mentality is different from all the other black people mentality. All so the you being people, Trinidad and, and, and ac actual African. We work. You okay, work, we motherfucker. We value work. I've seen. We value Housekeeping. Work. Housekeeping. I've seen. I know. I sympathize. Oh, what? You're not getting we my sympathy? We do housekeeping. Okay. No? My parents are both former UN ambassadors. Both of them. Really? Okay, not ambassadors, but they're former UN I can make a joke with the N for yeah, UN stands UN. for, but I ain't going to say it. <laughs> what? I want to get some Doritos. 
Oh, go get some, no, tur- no, go get get some Doritos and salt. No, they're both UN workers. <laughs> and not, Jimmy, shut up. Listen. It's, it's, yeah? But they, the, there's a difference in the <laughs> mentality of, I think. <laughs> Oh, shit. Jimmy, you're insane. Holy shit. The thing is, <laughs> I, don't, I don't not, if you don't want to work and you don't want to do anything to make money, right. that's you. That's right? you. I don't come from that kind of family. Mm-hmm. I come from the kind of family that works. We work for our money. I hear you. We pay our own bills. Spin, spin that would, mic that way. Listen, there are three of us in my family, right? If you could. All of us went to college. My mom went to college, my dad went to college, I went to college, my brother went to college, my sister is 19. Gee, she's bragging like fucking she's crazy. She's I'm saying. We don't come from the kind of family that doesn't bragging like crazy. work. And the whole ride over, all Francine is telling me is how much she hates working. <laughs> That's all Francine. <laughs> <laughs> That's all she was telling me is how much she hates it. <laughs> I do hate it, but I do uh, it. Geez. Hey, Wait, fucking typical, right? It. Motherfucking typical. No, I liked her. She was honest, though. She's like, um, she's like, I work, but I hate. she hates to work. She's like, I hate it. I wish people would just give me stuff. It's like, I like that. At least you're honest. Yeah. You know what? Not Jimmy. Listen, uh, the reason why I told you I hate my job is, first of all, I work for the government, which means that I work a public sector job, which means I don't do a lot of shit. Now, prior to working to the, for the public sector, when I was working for the private sector, when I actually had to get into work on fucking time and fucking put in hours, tell the motherfucker what I fucking did to fucking make that money at the f- end of the fucking month, right? Which means I had to work, right? Mm-hmm. Before getting there, I was actually happy working. I've been in government for three years. That shit makes you fucking lazy. Really? Lazy as shit. You know what I'm noticing, too, a little bit? You're talking a little more like a sister than you used to. No, I'm not. No, you are. No, you, here's not old, true. Here's old Francine. Well, let me tell you something. We're just hanging out, and this is so cool being on the show. Now she's like, let me tell you something. That shit make your ass lazy, man. And can we get, not can we get maybe Fran- not quite, can we give Francine food? Because she's she's buzzed when she got in my car. I don't want her puking my truck because I can't oh, off later. Oh shit! Yes, we will do that. I know she's gonna yes, vomit. Yes, yes. The food. What? Got some food? We picked up some meat and shit. Okay. I didn't want to even want to say it because it sounds fucking crazy, but I got I did get a fuckload of chicken. But I also <laughs> got I also got like steak and sausage. I and we're prefer throwing, steak and sausage. We're throwing a fuckload on the grill. The pool is 83 degrees. Like I hope you brought some swimwear. I did. Yeah, be on. I went to H and M before I got here. You did? I love H&M. mm, Do you? It's for skinny people. <laughs> How was your day, Jimmy Norton? It was uneventful. <clears throat> really? I slept late, and I bit my finger hard because I fucked up my end game in a chess game. That's what I'm at. Chess now is making you bite your yeah, finger like that? Yeah, I almost that? broke my iPad. You, on, you, on, you only do that like when you're really mad at something for real. Yeah. That seems a little much. Yeah. I'm going to UFC tomorrow. What? I, I know what a chess yeah, board looks in like. Philly. In Philly. Oh, the Philly one is... Tw- yeah. I always say, yeah, I want to go to that. And then I'm like, when? Who? What? You should. And then I never go, ah, I'm not leaving my house. No, I'm, like, fucking, I'm, I'm I agoraphobic. I know what a chess point. board looks like, Jimmy. What about? I know what a chess board looks like. I'm like, you like checkers. No, right? no, no. It's not like... Ch- it's black oh. and white. It's not black and red. Yeah? Take that. Oh, Sorry. So did the guy's uh, dick look like a bishop? <laughs> Which one? That's the one that uh, got your baby to fall out of your womb. Uh, maybe. That fucking womb that can't hold on to a kid. I know. Jesus Christ. Un- what so a loosey-goosey <laughs> service you have. Your womb has slippery hands. <laughs> <laughs> But I don't have any kids, which means I've never had stretch marks. Your cervix marks. looks like, uh, like, like f- fucking Ren's mouth. But I have no stretch marks. <laughs> yeah, no? Well, that's good. Yeah. Although Patrice once said you, you had stretch marks. On my ass because and I'm he was so like, skinny. Patrice, though, was like, like mm, skinny, skinny black chicks with stretch marks. That's sexy. Mm. That's because he's black and mm. black men like anything with stretch marks. Patrice really wanted to fucking fuck you. Of course he you. did. Yeah. 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 he's fat and fat guys like skinny guys. Oh, shit. Take that to the back, motherfucker. Oh, see? That's that sister shit coming out in you, yo. That's from uh, living in D.C. for three years. <laughs> see? That's what the fuck happened. She was living in Connecticut uh, for her whole life. Like and she was, she was all like, 
Let me stop. What does he need? I'll get this stuff for you. What's that right? She sounded like a fucking, like, a valley girl. And now she's in D.C. for three years, and she's like, say what? I see you fucking. First of all, I see you packing a gun on you now. Me. I see you got a fucking gun. Me. That's what D.C. does. They make you pack illegal weapons. Okay, I live in Maryland, first of all. I work in D.C., but if I lived in D.C., I would pack a gun. <laughs> Those motherfuckers are crazy. That's right, crazy, <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> Those niggas uh, is insane. <laughs> All right, look, uh, we're going we're gonna to go upstairs. We're going to cook food. Yeah. And uh, we'll uh, hit the pool and shit like that. Uh, you guys uh, can go fuck yourselves. We're done here. Peace. Yeah, it was and, a good um, show. Yeah. It was amazing. Jimmy, Jimmy, show your face in the camera. People want to see it. Yeah, over there. You can see it in the monitor. Show your shirt, Jimmy. There you go. It's, the, it's right there, the monitor. Jimmy, you should show your butt. Yeah, there, there, you, there you are. You should show your butt. <laughs> One time, Jimmy took a green blanket because we got the chroma key green, and he took a blanket and he put it over his body, but just put his ass out, <laughs> and it was a literally a floating ass. You couldn't see anything else because it keyed out, and just his ass was floating around. Because <laughs> he's hysterical. That is pretty funny. Jimmy. Oh, hysterical! Jimmy, All right, everybody. Give a great ass. And Jimmy's got an amazing ass, and his calves are uh, like bowling pins. He's <laughs> yeah. amazing. I have very good cheeks. All right. You want, you want, you want to take one call? Okay. We'll take one call. Do you have headphones? I Give Jimmy know. headphones so we could, uh, we could hear the call. Uh, we'll go with line three. Oh my God. Hi, who's this? Hey, Aunt. What's going on? It's Hi. Alex in Portland. Portland, Maine or Portland, Oregon? <laughs> yeah. Portland, Boy. Maine. Ah, Portland, Maine. Oh, yeah. My brother went to University He's, of Maine. I got a question for you and, and Jimmy. Hey, she won't shut up, by the way. No, I'm kidding. It's he okay. He graduated from the engineering department. Oh, he's a, he drives a train? <laughs> no, he helps. Oh, I he blows up the holes right now to basically connect Long Island to something. <laughs> 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 I had to read that off a of blueprint. <laughs> I just <laughs> forgot. <laughs> of course you did. <laughs> You know, some of the old Francine does slip through. I don't care how hip you try to. I sound. do. I do enjoy talking to Francine. <laughs> She's hysterical. I'm stupid and I, I can't love Francine. Help it. Even I, <laughs> even though I had, I had I to get. I try to be smart. It just doesn't work. <laughs> it does. It never catches, does it? I had to get the third degree when I picked her up. Oh, uh, did you? Oh no, really? He yeah. met him. Oh Isn't he no. the smartest and most handsome guy? Your brother. Met? I'm sure he's a ha- he's a handsome guy. Wait, her brother or her brother? No, no her brother. Oh, okay. He's like, I get br- confused with black. He wanted to know where we were going. He's very protective, and it's like I, I understand that. I kind of like the fact that he cares about his sister, but it's like, dude, I'm fucking forty three. Jimmy, I've yeah, known yeah. Francie for do you, I've known Francie for ten years. We've never had sex. It's oh like, my, my friend. God. Yeah. Jimmy. Ten years. We've known Francine for ten years. We've That's never fucked. That's amazing. It's and like, what do you think I'm gonna do? Take her to Long Island and attack her? Which is going and to... I told no, him. The neighbors that might. I told him. <laughs> hey, let's no, pitchforks and torches to drive her out of town like Frankenstein. Yeah, and not other true, things. Not true. Not true. My my white neighbors love me. Hello. I, I don't doubt in, it. I live in Maryland. They they're so awesome. Wait, what was this guy's question, by the way? Oh yeah, sir. What's your question? Yeah. I Sorry. Those in my mouth. Yeah, we're just we're just talking over this gentleman. Yeah. It's like the show. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think? Who do you think the most badass serial killer of all time is? This like is Jimmy's Mike territory Jordan. right here. Jimmy. Oh, I don't know. Jimmy knows a lot about serial killers. Badass serial killer, George Bush, man. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, man. I'm with you. Um, <laughs> Randy Kraft was a doozy. Randy Kraft in California. He poisoned people with cheese. <laughs> No, he didn't. See, oh see, craft No. Oh yeah, no, no, that's good. I was gonna say that. <laughs> oh, Chip. <laughs> no, he was a terrible one. Randy Kraft was a really bad one. Um, yeah. Yeah. Who? Who else? Ted Bundy was also a really bad. Ted one. Bundy was horrible. Oh, King Kong G- Bundy. Gacy was horrible. Yeah, um, but, but Dahmer was. Casey, was Casey mad, Anthony and killed a baby. The Casey Anthony. Is Dahmer was very bad. But I don't think Dahmer was a torturer. Randy Kraft was a torturer. Uh, really? A torture. So women or men? Uh, Randy Kraft was gay. I believe. I think he was gay. I read a book about him. He's suing the guy who wrote it, so who knows how true it is. Oh, really? Yeah. What's the question? We don't get to hear the question. Are you there, sir? Yeah. Okay. Well, I know you like Gacy. I... I don't like Gacy. I really hate those guys. Like, they're interesting, but I'm almost... Yeah, I find them interesting. I'm almost tired of our idolizing these fucking shitbags. 
It's like they're just they're horrible fucking. They should just be burned alive. You know what it is, though? Any kind of memorabilia people go for, and I would, too. If you could get a Gacy painting, would you? I don't know. It's like a part of me says yes because I'm a collector, but then I like the rich guy who bought the Gacy paintings and burned them all. Did he? Yeah, some millionaire bought them and burned them. Which I loved. What an he, ass. He was just like, why are we idolizing this fucking guy? Was like, it, it, wow, that's something. Okay, I, I gotta give him a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. yeah but, wow, I wouldn't think of that. Pulp Fiction, I love that movie. Oh, yeah, yeah. My movie posters. <laughs> Top 10 <laughs> It's favorites. an original. Do you know, I went, this is how, uh, Ange is so fucking good. Yeah. I went to the, uh, my framing place. I'm gonna photograph your frames and get a couple of my posters redone with those frames. They're too nice. Yeah, they really did. Uh, they did a great job on that. Yeah. The, uh, the, I, I, I got to have my Jaws one. I have an original Jaws that's rolled you from want, 1975. You want pins? I'll give you a few pins. I wasn't alive. No! It, it's not folded. Rolled. Very but hard I wasn't to find. alive, so I don't like that movie. But no, I love no. Pulp Fiction. But just think if your mom was like you, you'd have ended up in a toilet bowl yeah. at like three months or whatever the fuck it was. I don't think I'm ever going to have any babies. I don't think so either. That's kind of Your womb that. doesn't have the grip. Yeah. Old, you need the grip. But old, I also hate sharing my money with people, so I think it would be great. A good old life butter womb. Old butter womb. Old butter womb. You're the worst. Your, your womb should play for the Cubs. <laughs> <laughs> Keeps dropping. That's terrible. Dropping Maybe babies. a vagina oh. dentata. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, Life of the Compound, who's up? Oh, hey, Anthony, this is Steve. Yes. <laughs> yes, yes, this is Steve. What's up, man? Hey, hey, Jimmy, hey. when you were in Seattle, I was uh, bugging you for an autograph and a picture when you're on the phone with your somebody. <laughs> that sounded concise. Wait, did I give you? Yeah. I, I gave you a picture, right? Yes, yes, you did. And you were the greatest. Thank you. And, uh, yeah, it was a lot of fun. You were great. You, Bill Burr, and David Tell, and Brewer, you were great. They are great. Thank you very much, sir. I don't have to tell them. They know. I know. I'm pretending. They tell us really, all the time. I felt really time. bad for interrupting you guys you on your phone call. That's all right, man. All right. No. Well, thanks. Great, great call. Anthony, just like the show. Anthony, you're All right, shut up. <laughs> I've had it with these callers. All right, look. We're done. Done. I'm going to go to the bar. What are you drinking this evening? Margarita, thank you. You want a margarita? I want it. Do we have stuff for a margarita? We got tequila. We got that fucking. I think we got that shit. Fucking yeah, orange juice. Really up and puke Vodka, puke no, no, we're gonna make some food. I'm gonna barbecue. Uh, all the torches are lit outside. The Where's lights are out what there. The fuck. Everything. Yeah, that's it. Chip. Oh God, I don't remember inviting Chip down at the yes, studio. He did. <laughs> <laughs> all right, everybody, have a good one. It's been fun. Thank you, everybody. Wave. I, I like the big wave after. Where's like da, 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 like one drama. You don't remember? All right, I'm old. You're Take it so easy, everybody. Old, Anthony. I know. Completely mean. Hi, everybody. It's uh, live from the compound. From the compound. This is, uh, wow. This is like the newest edition we have, right? Because other than this, they would be old editions. But Every this is the first new edition. Yes. This is new. And I believe this is the one where we got like all the shit set up. Yeah, nigga. We got everything set up now. So it kind of looks good. Kinda. I'm digging the way it looks. A couple of little it tweaks. It looks better than it used to. Look, it looks way better than it fucking used to. Look at all our phone lines. And lit. I look better than I it used to. It looks, ah, yes, the lovely Melissa Stetton, our co-host, <laughs> Melissa Stetton, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, stop. It's, um, uh, this is the, pretty much the premiere show. We're not testing anymore. This is it. This is all you get. 
The next five shows are going to be test shows. I got to apologize. Fuck something up. You know what? I think everyone was <laughs> on my gag. Here's what I was doing for quite a while. I would go on the air and be like, "Hey, it's a test show," and be like, ah, "Maybe they won't notice." Like I, do, I'm just sucking ass and uh, not really paying attention, and uh, you know, the show stinks. But uh, that's just how the show is. Yeah, but that's just how the show is. So this is just like a test show. But now it's a real show. This is our really inaugural live from the compound show with the new facility. And if you see this whole place, it's astounding. We have new equipment, new lighting, trusses, computer equipment. It's just crazy. And the most remarkable thing is you don't notice because it looks exactly the same as it did <laughs> Uh, before I dumped hundreds of thousands of dollars into it. So I'm really happy with the way things work. New out. microphone stands. But we do have new microphone stands. A lot of people were complaining, yeah, and rightly so, in the way. that those, why don't you reach over and grab that in so you can pull that in and show people, uh, that these right there were really, well, how about you? Don't block it with that mic. There you go. <laughs> that though, and how about, could you look at that? There you go. I'm uh, doing that the, it. All right. That that it was blocking things and, and it was not very clean. Uh, the headphones, by the way, were keying out half of our head. When you looked at our heads in, in the uh, green screen, um, it was keying everything out. It's like a bionic arm. Yeah, yeah. Well, you can get rid of it now. And, and we, <laughs> yeah, just, yeah. Uh. And then, uh, so we decided to go with like desk mics and uh, earphones, these little little earphones so it's not the big headphones i was trying to stick with the whole radio motif because you know i do radio uh but it just uh logistically wasn't uh working very well with the uh video especially with the green screen uh when you green screen and shit very difficult look at that it looks great we're just looking at the uh feed right now i think it looks good what do you think Stepping. are you talking to me yeah what do you think it looks great yeah. Uh, so we decided to uh, go with these little headphones, uh, ear ear things, um, and the the uh, desk mics, uh, which we can move out of the way. Uh, and and things seem to be working good. Knock wood. I like it. It's uh, all the levels are good. I liked our little intro. How'd you like that? Right? You know how long that took me. Oh my god. I like how to buy stock footage of like satellite dishes and stuff. But I think it came out pretty cool looking. Uh, what what is it? What is the chat saying, uh, Miss Stetton? Um, looks better are, are they than excited? the serious studio. <laughs> it does look better than the serious studio. Well, I'm not Melissa even gonna, looks great. I'm not gonna well, front. Nice. I'm Melissa not gonna front, happy. bitches. Thank you. I ain't fronting. Thanks. Uh, truth Thanks. of the matter is, it does look better Much uh, than better the, the serious mics. studios, Thanks. and it works better than the uh, than the serious studios. Um, one thing I want to do though, right now, before we do anything. We have to test out the uh, the phones, Ooh. don't we? So let's test out the phone lines. Yeah. Isn't that it? Yeah, What's of course that? it is. I don't know. It's a countdown. There it is. Yes, call right the fuck now, and uh, you'll probably get through, okay? Uh, hi, live from the compound. Who's this? This is Billy from Enumclaw, Washington. Hi, Billy. How you doing, my friend? I'm doing well. And uh, I guess it's Friday night, and you're hanging out. Uh, I, I, would you see it on Twitter? I did, and I'm driving home. I'm Enumclaw is near Seattle. It's that town where that guy got fucked by the horse and died. Ah, oh, what a dreamy neighborhood that is. <laughs> yeah, the guy that got fucked with the horse and died. Isn't that great that that's what that whole town is known for now? It's horrible. <laughs> I thought it was great. I'm sorry. <laughs> Fuck me running. <laughs> no, so, uh, <laughs> no, I, get, uh, I get that. They ask me how big my asshole is. Yeah. Could you get a little closer to the phone? It's it's kind of low. I don't know if that's me or, me or you. What are you on speaker? Oh, I'm driving. Oh, there you go. I'm driving. Yeah. I'm driving. 
Well, in a car, not a truck. If Vince McMahon can make a plane crash. Yeah. He surely can do something else. So what are you uh, What are you doing this evening? You're driving home? What are you, a trucker? I'm just, yeah, I'm just coming from the Seattle Hemp Fest. Mm. Now, what goes on at the Hemp Fest? Is that a whole thing where they try to make it seem like hemp is good for rope and material <laughs> and it has nothing to Shoes. do with the fact that we love smoking pot and getting it's stoned? A <laughs> what? It's a fossil fuel, as they say. It's a, now it's a fossil fuel. Well. Yeah, dude. It's like hash oil. It's I'm just gonna... a different type of oil. I remember hash oil. It was the greatest shit ever. You load it onto a fucking piece of tin foil. Yeah, you'd uh, you'd uh, burn the bottom of the foil and take a straw and chase hash oil around the the foil, and it was it tastes great. But um, so so uh, hemp is uh now a fossil fuel. Uh, so what was the hemp fest about? Why'd you go? Are you like a hippie? Um, am I a hippie? Oh, no, absolutely not. Um, I got uh, uh, coerced into going. Coerced? Coerced? Yeah. Uh, by what? Some hippie uh, friend? Probably a chick, right? And, and, and corporate people that wanted to go to the man. You know, we got to voice our opinions against the man at the hemp fest, man. Man, ugh, shut up. Is that like a, a ghetto Burning Man? It probably is, like ghetto Burning Man. Burning Man's like the big thing. It's like, oh, yeah. no, we got like the hemp fest. It's better than Burning Man. It's like the it's Lilith Festival for potheads. <laughs> is it? <laughs> Did Wilson Phillips play? <laughs> Wilson Phillips. <laughs> Oh, uh, do they play at Lilith Fair? I don't know. They're lesbians. Have you ever been to a Lilith Fair? No. Not you, sir. Uh, Melissa Stetson. No, but Lizzie and her mom went like a few Did years they? ago. Did they? Is that just the ultimate dyke fest? Wait, no. It wasn't Lilith. It was the women's festival in Michigan. There's what one in Michigan. That? But, but by women's festival. Now, women are known to want to have sex and relations and marriage and whatever with men. And, and I understand that. But to call it the women's festival and have it as a dyke fest... Is has nothing to do with women, and was it a dyke fest? I think if I'm sure it was. Yeah, yeah, because Lilith Fair is like. Crazy it reminds dyke. me of the episode of Beavis and Butthead where they spelled women W M W W O M Y N. Women. Remember, because woman is just man. <laughs> I don't know. You've seen the episode. Wow. Oh, I wish my sound effects. Made. Look, I'm gonna. I'm pushing the button. I have a sound effects machine. It's they were and the th bomb, the like skid and crash is there, but no, 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 it's no. not hooked up yet. You've seen that one. Of course I have. Yeah, so they spelled the women. That was fantastic. Whatever. I've seen that one. Whatever. I know what you're talking about. What you're fucking hanging about. So, sir, anything else to add before we uh, move along? Yeah, a couple things, actually. The reason why I called. You know, I flew from Seattle to, see, uh, to come to the studio at XM. Your arms Your must have been tired. Feature deal. Yeah. And, uh, I, I showed Sam Roberts my ID to let you know that I was from the town where the gentleman got fucked by the horse, hoping to get razzed, and I didn't, and I flew the uh, red eye. Um, but the real reason I called, Book of Mormon musical. Yeah. Sold out till January. Uh, yeah, I know. I, I've been wanting to go, and uh, I got in touch with Roland, who was our booker. They were on sure. Sirius XM Satellite Radio, where we do the Open Anthem show. It's Sirius 105 XM 206. I think so. I think it is. <laughs> I have no idea. Anyway, uh, you could catch us, uh, you know, weekdays, uh, except for uh, an occasional Friday during the summer. <laughs> winky, winky. I slept late today. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, so you thought you'd get on w uh, with that? Um, yeah. How'd that work out for you? No. Nah, That's not very awesome. Yeah, it's not very awesome. No. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna move along. We got a lot of fucking phone lines ringing, so I want to get to a lot of phones tonight. Well, bye. All right, take it bye. easy, my friend. You know what? Sometimes the first caller, not the best caller. I'm not saying it was bad. I'm just going. If I was judging on a score of 1 to 10 and we had to pick the best caller of the night, I would put him at like a 4. And then if no one was better, I'd put him all at a 3 and he'd win. But uh, it's one thing I never understood about a lot of these shows. Uh, what was that show that would gauge talent on a score from 1 to 10 with judges? 
Uh, small wonder. No, that was the one with the robot chick. Oh, um, You're the America's dumbest. Got talent. No, it was like the Gong Show. The Gong Show. All right, look. I was going to say Star Search. No, Gong Show. Star Search, though, I think that, but they did a not like nine point something. But here's the point: early in the night, people would get tens as as a score. Right. Now, now try to stay with me. I know it's Friday. It's late. You've been drinking. I know. I know. But this has bugged the fuck out of me for years. No one on a show that is judged from one to ten should get a ten unless it's the last person performing. Here's my point. They get a it, grade on a scale. Yes. Yeah, so once you get to the last person, if you've already judged someone with a ten, right? And then the last person goes on and he's better than the person you gave a ten, you could only make him even. Give him an eleven. This doesn't go oh, to eleven. Oh. It doesn't go to eleven. I, I didn't know you said that. If you if you got to like give them one more point, these go to eleven. Well then why don't you just make ten the loudest, make that ten, make that a little louder, and have it that way. But this goes to eleven. That's my whole point. And and, well, and, then the whole and Nigel Nigel Tufnell from Spinal Tap made a great point on that. Because you never give a ten. You wait. Give a nine. Fuck it, give a nine. And then maybe everyone else does again. Make your highest score a nine until the end of the night. And if the last guy doesn't fucking do good, give him an eight. And then nine wins. So you're saying the Olympics are totally irrelevant. A sham. <laughs> you never give a ten until the last person. And then you, you use a nine as a 10. Use your nine as a 10, always. And then if someone's unbelievable, the last person, then you give them the 10. Because the last person is the only person that can earn a 10. Because if you give anyone before that a 10, then you're chumping the better person later. You know, that's why when I have castings or auditions, I've always tried to be like the last person there. Because I don't ever want to be the first person. But the last person could get a one. Well, that's the Quite thing. Quite frankly, I'm not saying the last person always gets a 10. I'm saying the last I'm person saying should more... have the option to get, and not even the last person. The person, anyone after the nine, has the option to get the 10. Do you understand? Because it's, yeah. it, it, it makes no sense to dole out the best score. Right? I don't know why I went off on that tangent. I'm not a four. I'm take a fucking call. Are you a four? Oh, no. Do you have popcorn kernel in your it's teeth? Because that'll ten. probably do it. I'm, I've just stopped even dealing with the uh, chat room. There's we, some we guy got, that keeps saying, show phones. us your feet. I'm a pervert. We got phones. Uh, live from the compound. Who's this? Hey, this is Dave from Worcester, Massachusetts. Dave from Worcester. What's going yeah. on in, in Worcester this evening? Or Absolutely Worcester, nothing. as Voss calls it. Absolutely, Absolutely nothing. nothing. So it's just another ordinary day in Worcester, Mass. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah, uh, you know, when we were working at uh, WAAF in Massachusetts, uh, they called it Boston, but it wasn't Boston. It was uh, we were in the in between Boston and Worcester. Uh, Rocco, who used to work for, you know, Rocco, dude, yes, we've talked yes. about him on the air. He <laughs> would go like, yeah, I'm going to the city tonight. And we're like, oh, we're going too. We're, you know, you North End, we're going to have some fucking Dago food and then we're going to go fucking out and uh, drink at some of the Irish bars. He goes. No, no, I'm going to Worcester. He would, he would actually, in Massachusetts, and I don't care if you're in Springfield, if you say you're going to the city, you mean Boston. Yeah. That's like being, yeah, exactly. It's like being in, in Montauk on Long Island here in, in New York and saying I'm going to the city and you mean Riverhead. It's, yeah. it, it makes no sense. Dude, in Worcester, there's like three places. There's like the Palladium. There's what used to be the Centrum. And, I don't know, City Hall, pick up some drugs or something. I, saw, I, or something. I saw Bush. <laughs> I saw Bush at the uh, Centrum. Oh, I'm sorry. And I know, I am too. Now, actually, it was pretty <laughs> fucking funny because uh, we, Bush came out and we were kind of side backstage-ish. And all I heard, it was a sound I've never heard in my life. I wish I would have recorded it. It was Kevin this. Crosby it went like this. It, went, it was sounded like this. <laughs> it was young... Pre and just post pubescent girls screaming their asses off 
for Gavin. And uh, it was uh, an amazing sound. And uh, it, it was all, only seconded by the sound of me flocking my cock. You're talking about Bush? At the, yes, Bush. Yeah, because they love Gavin. Gavin Ross. All his songs sound the same. No, they don't. Need no, some they don't. Tie, tie, tie. My songs don't sound the same, same, same. I just imagine They're different, him, like, not the same, same. Right? I imagine him doing yeah. things around, like, I'm going to wash some dishes, dishes, use some tie, tired, wash some laundry. I put the dishes in the dishwasher and put in some tie, tie, tie. Fucking God. Look, it's, just, it's Bush. What are you going to do? I love yeah. Bush. Yeah, I got a question for I you. Because I can't grow one. <laughs> Thank God. No, Actually, I kind of like a no, good push on a girl every so often. Yeah, I try you to ought to grow that hair in and, and freak me out Sometimes one day. Sometimes I do, but I don't shower for like four days. No, four <laughs> days, though, is like fucking Fred Flintstone beard. I'm talking Fidel Castro. I'll do that shit. You want to do that? I'll fucking do it. I grow that shit in. Let's, right. let's do it. We'll broadcast it. I don't it. have to work. Because sometimes I do it. I got to work. Man, I got to fucking work. No, work. Yeah. If I have to like put on clothes and then I have to Your wear aunt. a thong, I'm not gonna have a giant. Butt. Oh, like the total, like just hanging. That'd, That'd be, be funny. Would that be funny? You're on an audition and like just pubic hairs That's are hanging like out of your bathing shit. <laughs> I'm sorry, so we're we're interrupting you. What, what what's up? No, what do you want to say? No, that's cool. hey, it's your show, man. Hey, since it's your yeah, like right, it's your show. show here and you got all your new lights and all your fancy equipment and stuff, I just I wanted to get your opinion yeah. on uh, the whole thing about. Uh, Obama's supposed to pull our troops out of Iraq and stuff by the end of the year, and yeah. how our country's like getting fucking poor and shit. And like Language. now they want it. Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot we were on the internet. Like Jimmy? <laughs> I don't care. Yeah. No, no, no. Well, and, like, as long we're supposed as you want. to be lower. Well, we're supposed to be like lowering our debt, and now yeah. they want to keep us out there. And I know this topic will get you fucking started. So no, come on. it's it's yeah, yelling, screaming, and drinking. Let's Let's get it That's started. a weird. Okay, thank you. Let me let me just started. hang up on you, and and you you can listen on the air, as they say. Bye. Um, you know, I, I was gonna get into a little politics a little later on. Were you? Yeah, because a lot of people have been bashing me <clears throat> on Twitter about taxes and stuff, and I want to get into that. I like I like the idea of being being able to come down here and address some of the Twitter shit that's been going on during the week, but uh. That whole thing with uh, Obama and and uh, the many wars that we're in now, still, um, I I honestly can't have a, a, an opinion on it, or I can't voice my opinion on it um, coherently. I, I'm still confused. I don't know if we should still be hanging out there doing anything. I don't think so. I think by this point, I mean it's been a decade, a decade. Um, I really think if we were going to teach somebody to defend themselves and and uh, fight for the freedom that they so wanted, as we were told, they wanted freedom. That was after the uh, WMDs uh, never showed up. Then the war turned to, hey, these people want to be free. Um, if they want that freedom, after this long, we should have been able to train them and they could protect their freedom and we can leave Iraq. All right, look. Uh, we gave him a shot. We gave him a great shot. If we pull out and someone else pulls in, um, so be it. So, so, so your pants, as my mother used to say when I said so. But so be it. Uh, but right now, I think uh, Iraq is a place to get out of. Afghanistan, maybe not so much. Maybe we should keep a few people there to check in on uh, Al-Qaeda. They seem to love that place. That's like the Caribbean for us. For Al Qaeda, Afghanistan is like, ah, oh, vacation. This is wonderful. I will do the uh, monkey bars. We will shoot some uh, fucking uh, rifles. Who does be the great. monkey bars on vacation? But they, the fucked up thing about Al Qaeda training videos, they're always on those fucking, like, they're doing this the That's whole just time. That's fun. And it's like, that doesn't, how is, how, I've never seen a terrorist do that. They either blow themselves up or fly a plane into a building. They're never in a playground going, ah, ah, Akbar, and then they pull the fucking detonator while they're halfway to the other. So I don't understand what that's all about. But, uh, but they love their AK-47s. and. Da, 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 I da, shot da. one of those in Vegas once. Oh, they're great. That's the first well, gun casino? I ever shot. 
No, so no, that no. dealer fucking japped you? What did that do? No, pull, pull blackjack? It's a place called Guns. Oh, places are just called Guns. Those big signs said Guns. Who wouldn't love a place just called Guns? You just guns? go in there and you pick out your gun. Oh, and I was like, I want that piece fantastic. of motherfucking gun right that's there. Great. I got a couple of guns, as a matter of fact, here uh, today. This is because uh, I, I got to clean them. So I figured I'd Wait, let me I'd guess. Give them a little cleansing. That's an MP769XY.4. 40 caliber. Oh, you were so, so. That's an MP5, so right? So close. Well, it's not exactly an MP5. It is a 9 millimeter. It is very reminiscent of the MP5, uh, but it is the civilian version. MP5s are fully automatic. Um, this oh, is your, your MP5 is bigger. This is the semi automatic version of the MP5. Still shoots, you know, nine millimeter. Um, love it with the little red dot up there. All you gotta do is, you know, cock that up, get it chamber around, and bam, you're in. But uh, this is like every 80s, every 80s movie bad guy had an MP5, and it was one of these. Sometimes they had a, like the grip on the front, and they go, rat, 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 uh, pal, no more table, pal. Nakatomi Plaza. Oh, Die Hard. Die Hard, yeah. Uh, so I, but I, I love this. And weird thing is, uh, this classifies as a pistol. I had to put this on my pistol license, what? which is pretty funny. Yeah, it's it, it's classified as a pistol. Which the the fucked up thing is, if it was classified as a rifle in some way, shape, or form, I could put a stock on it. Um, I wouldn't be able to carry it around. But since it is classified as a pistol, I can legally conceal and carry this on my person anywhere I go in, in the state City? of New York. Anywhere. Are you I, I could yeah, yes. Yes. I can carry conceal this gun and just walk around with it. Can you put it in my purse? It's kinda hard to conceal on your person. And maybe in the winter, but um yeah. I gotta clean that. I was gonna do a little gun cleaning while we were talking. I might do it a little later. And then uh this needs a, a little a little washing. This is the uh Wonderful, wonderful Desert Eagle made by Magnum Research. Um, it's a uh, Jew operation. This is an Israeli 50 caliber pistol. And, uh, oh, listen to that. Just, just the snapback of the uh, slide uh, is devastating. And if you miss everybody uh, with with the rounds, you just grab it and you throw it at somebody because it weighs a, a fucking ton. But I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to scrub that off later. I have my my gun cleaning kit and uh, my wonderful smelling gun oil. Oh, god, gun oil is it's like fucking cocaine to snort. It's amazing gun oil. Uh, let's see who's on the uh, the phone lines. Hi, left from the compound. Who's this? Good evening. It's Neon Taster. Neon Taster, our good friend. We uh, see you all the time on Twitter. And that's uh, just at Neon Taster, right? Yes, it is. Thank you. Yes, sir. Give you a little plug a rooney, as they say. Uh, what, what's the haps? <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna uh, rip nothing. off Sam Roberts. I was Roberts. At your, uh, your gun cleaning kit. It's not in, a, it's not in an egg carton like a Cobretti. Hey, Cabretti. Hey, I've been an egg god. Oh, Cabretti. You're the disease. I'm the cure. Really? Are you the cure? No, I have it in a big uh, roll. It's a cylinder. It's a little kind of uh, wannabe leather rollout thing. It's got a lot of tools, a lot of little scrubby things, and uh, things to make your gun very, very clean. I like a clean gun. Uh, I was saying earlier, nothing better than the smell of a just a clean, freshly clean gun. Not a new gun. You have to have fired quite a few rounds through it. Get that build up, and then you clean it out. And uh, man, when you open the breech up, give that thing, that open breech, a little sniff of clean, and you get some of the smell of the actual powder. Uh, it's just an amazing thing. I love it. Quite frankly, what are you doing this evening? What are you doing this Friday night? Nothing, just chilling. 
chilling, as they say. He's chilling. Is he cold? Sorry, do you need a jacket? It's a little chilling. You you were chilling earlier. I had to shut yeah, the air conditioning off. I hate it. God damn, I'm turn it back on in a here. second. No. I don't. I'm not. I don't like when it's cold. What? What? I just uh, I just wanted to say that uh, I was listening to uh, Jay Moore's latest podcast. Jay Moore. And uh, he was uh, he was giving you. Uh, quite some props, as they say. Oh, was he? For your uh, dice impression. I always liked that one. About the, uh, <laughs> the I sold out the Olive Garden. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I'm playing the garden. <laughs> the Olive Garden. <laughs> yeah, Jay, uh, Jay, Jay's the shit, man. I, I love Jay. He's a funny motherfucker. He, uh, his impressions, and, and he's he's never been known as an impressionist. Which is sad. He's and, been and, known and as a, 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 an actor and a comedian, but he is. I don't know how this passed everyone by. By the way, he's known as a comedian and an actor, and he's been on SNL. But he is one of the greatest impressionists ever. Ever. He gets everyone spot on, and not only like a lot of people could do the voice, but have no material. He not only does the voice to a T, but the material is exactly what that person would have said which makes it 10 times better the guy uh he's a great impressionist great it's comic Tracy Morgan i love is jay the best not to say he isn't completely fucking batshit insane but he's hysterically funny and uh he's a great impressionist great yeah, like impressionist. patrice patrice put it the best way about his colin when he said it's not what colin says but it's what he says Yes, that fucking makes perfect sense with Colin, especially with Jay impersonating him. It's not what he says, it's what he says. Exactly. Just one last thing, you know, if you take yes. your hat off with those uh, uh, earphones, you guys almost look like John Sterling and Susan Waldman. <laughs> if, if I ever was going out with a girl that looked like Susan Waldman, uh, first of all, this wouldn't be uh, unloaded. Uh, it, would, it, would, it would absolutely be loaded. Uh, I would put it to my head and uh, pull the trigger because uh, there's no way. I, unbelievable. Passat is there. Anthony's sitting to my right. Everyone knew. Ugh. It is high. It is far. That is gone. That's the guy to share a That was text. Uh, to share a text, text messages one into. Ugh. Oh. Oh. He didn't do one the other night when old the Ron, what Ron, what's his name? Ron Guidry? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, man. <laughs> <laughs> Some dude hit a home run. He does it when everyone does. Unless but he didn't, the opposing he didn't team. do a. Uh, Unless the opposing team. Some of the Yankees. Team. What? Some dude in the Yankees. So it was one of the Yankees hit a home run, and John Sterling didn't say anything? We listening on the radio or TV? Yeah. This, but know. he doesn't do the TV broadcast. We were watching. Oh, we were watching the TV. Oh, never mind. Oh, isn't that look, guys? Just, I'm gonna sit back for a second while the guys laugh. Go ahead, guys. Chuckle it up. Go ahead. Look. No, no, you're not allowed to say anything. You know. Yeah, okay. No, no, no. All right, all right. That was I funny, right? Isn't more... that adorable? Did you see how cute that was? She, she was like, but he didn't say anything. It was like. We're watching the, the HD fucking live broadcast on TV and not the 88 CBS uh, radio version where uh, Sterling uh, does his announcements. Um, and, and that was... Um, I've played way more sports than you ever have in your life. I don't life. care about playing sports. What, high school sports? I play in the Little League World Series, motherfucker. The girls Little League exactly. World Series. Softball? Oh yeah. That's not World Series. That's not, what are you it's talking about? It's a Little League about? World Series. No, it was softball. That's yeah, girl. Little League World Series. No. Girly. Little God League is damn hardball. It, it is. Little League is hardball. It's real baseball. You played in the girls softball World Series. Yeah, and they play it on ESPN. ESPN four. No, seventeen. I played for ten years, and I'm not a lesbian. You, you were on the Ocho, <laughs> ESPN the Ocho. You ever see the fucking movie Dodgeball? Where you been? Where it's like ESPN eight, and they called it the Ocho to make it sound yes. cool. Come oh yeah, God, I saw she's trying to make me look like an idiot. Ago. Now I'm the idiot. Hey, let me fucking. I gotta get another beer. This is fucked up. 
Because now what do we do when we got to get a beer or take a piss or something? You just get up and go. Do you just get up and go? Can you, can you handle the show from here? Maybe. Yeah? I can't make any guarantees that it'll be awesome for the next really? 30 seconds. Okay. I'm going uh, to put a warning light yeah. up. Just that tells I'm gone. Okay? So I don't want any shit. Is that for warning okay. the show may suck for the and next it, two it, minutes? It, exactly. But it's okay. Wait, you're you, can, you can hit the phone line. Oh, look, I'm going to plunk one down for you. Talk to a phone caller. There. Okay, I'm getting a beer. No brain. Hey, I have a brain. Hello. <laughs> I hope Who this is? <laughs> hey, what's up? Hi, who's this? Hey, this is Sophia. Cynthia. Sophia. Sylvia. <laughs> Sophia. S O P H I A. Sophia. S -O -P -H -I -A. <laughs> Sophia. <laughs> I'm gonna call. I'm gonna call her Brittany. <laughs> <laughs> That's easy. <laughs> Very slightly. Why are you yelling at me? I know what I'm doing. Oh, God. Get your beer and come back. <laughs> Hi. Are you guys are you guys streaming? I actually don't even have a computer in front of me. I was just following up on my Twitter. <laughs> we totally are. And you're on the World Wide Web. Oh, fuck yeah. The I'm not, uh, I don't have my computer up because I'm at home. But hey, guys. <laughs> awesome. Guys, Love you guys. What's going on? Where are you from? I'm following you on Instagram, girl. You follow me on Instagram? Heck yeah, you got a cross, cross white skirt with some, you know, lacy shit on it, and I liked it. That's fantastic. <laughs> I'm famous on the internet. Yes, I'm in California. How's it going over there? California? East Coast wide. I used to live there. Good, good for you. Come back and visit. <laughs> oh, no way, no way. <laughs> What's going on? I don't know. I was. I literally was just dialing because uh, it was on Twitter, and I love the show. And fuck, I wish I had the internet up so I could watch what's going on. And I'm missing it. <laughs> well, do you have a? <laughs> Everybody's booing me. Everybody's <laughs> I can't. My headphones don't reach the other phone. <laughs> Hello. Hi, Melissa. Sorry, I hung up on the girl. Everybody's yelling at me, and I panicked. Oh, that's okay. I wouldn't pay attention to the chat room. There are a bunch of geeks. <laughs> well, who is this? This is Brian from Wisconsin. Do you like cheese? Have you ever had cheese curds? Oh, yeah, because the cheese jokes about Wisconsin never get old. Hey, that wasn't a joke. That was a legitimate question. I like cheese curds. Yes, they are phenomenal here. Do you Have you had them fresh, and then you eat them, and they squeeze? Like in your had them fresh, had them deep fried, had them everything. All right, that's all I needed to know. Thank you. <laughs> Hi, who's this? This is Lady Trucker. Oh my God. Hi, who's this? Melissa. I think I just hung up on like four people. Uh, Hi, Carl from Niles, Michigan. What? Some girl call for, called. Call from Niles, Michigan. Yeah, this guy, then Lady Trucker called. Oh, God. I hung She's up fat, on her. By the way. Then some guy from Wisconsin was making fun of me because I made fun of cheese. And now this guy's from Michigan. <clears throat> hey, you there? I hung up on. He was from Michigan, I God damn it. Hi, live for the compound. Who's this? Hey, it's Bill. What's up, man? What's happening? What do you guys think about the uh, Westminster 3? Yeah, what now? What's the? I keep seeing WM three. It's uh, these They're guys. Freed. It's three guys. Nineteen years ago, they, they were convicted of murdering some ch children. Yes, and now they're wanted. They travel around in a van helping people. Oh, that's the A team. Fuck, I, I always mix them up. They were now, convicted because one of them was like super into satanic rituals yeah, and stuff. I think the fact was they didn't have enough solid evidence to convict them, so they copped a plea deal for time served, and they're getting out. And they killed like three boys, was it? Or no, they got to maintain their. They pleaded guilty, but got to maintain their innocence through what I think was called the Alfred Law. Oh, I hate Alfred. Alfred yeah, Hitchcock. And oh, almonds. And um, you know, I know this is important, but I just picked up a Hershey like bar with almonds. I hate them. Do we have one without almonds? Probably. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get one of those. I'm sorry. I I was much more important than what you were talking about. But um, so what's up? Uh, you continue. Oh, now I'm all lost. Um, yeah, I hear you. They, they're getting out. They get to maintain their innocence, but they pleaded guilty. 
and they might even be able to sue the state. Apparently, they uh, there's a, a documentary called Paradise Lost where yeah. they explore this whole thing, and they're yeah. basically it looks like they're innocent, and they got in prison. One guy was on death row, and I'm gonna punch you out because I get nervous. No, no, it's yeah, like you know what it is. So you seem to think this is a real show. I just hung out those people because I got a panic attack and I didn't know what to do. I'm in my I'm in my basement. Yeah. You're just That's not me. real. Like I, I had I had to pay for this phone line. This is just it's not it's nothing to get nervous about. I understand what you're better. saying. You're helping me out here actually because I, I need to know. I, I heard this on the news today, and I heard the outrage. Um, but what I also heard was there was no solid evidence against these three. And the fucking no, DNA. And the children was like the stepdads, and they just ignored that. Yeah, in, what, in the children? I don't know. It was like did he around fuck them? Like the, where it happened. Uh, fucking children. And they still were like, no, that, it's wow. these three people. That'll really ruin How do you ruin give back reputation? 18 years of somebody's life? No amount of money well, could fix that. But, but I think they were guilty, but they get they're time served. You don't think they're guilty? No. You know? No. No? I've, I've heard a lot about it. I don't think I, I, I got to look into this more, sir. Yeah, yeah you, you, you got to look guilty. into it. It's crazy. They but I'm boxed, much, like, but I'm, I'm much too busy looking into my own affairs and um, personal uh, life and uh, taxes and things that affect me directly instead oh, of dead boy scouts. I hear you. I'm sorry, but that's and just guns. the way shit is. And guns. And plenty yeah. of guns. When I hear people that I live are on... in New Jersey. It's rough. Yeah, fuck that shit. Oh, I would lo Oh, God. You poor motherfuckers. And the fact that I can't even drive into Jersey. Do you know sometimes I have to go into Jersey and I'm armed in New York. And even in New York City, I'm allowed to carry. But, well, it uh, took, what? It took me six months before they even gave me a permit to apply. Like, you have to apply? Like, to apply. Took, yeah, a permit to apply. That's yeah, great, it took, isn't it? It took six months to get the okay to buy a permit. To get a gun, it was ridiculous for a pistol. Which re and every time you want a pistol, you need to reapply. Oh, reapply, yeah. yeah. Isn't that great? I have to. I, I have to. When I, I just want to go into Jersey for a little bit or whatever. I have to drop my gun off. Um, now that I, I, I actually have a, a place to live in in Manhattan, I, I picked up an apartment. Uh, I could up. drop it off there. But uh, before that, I had to stop at a precinct, voucher my gun. Uh, with the with the precinct, hand it over to the police. They give me a fucking written little statement saying, "Hey, we have your gun." Drive to Jersey, come back an hour later, go back to the precinct. Now, why the fuck, if I'm legitimately legally able and went through all the hoops and shit to carry and buy a gun in New York, not only New York State but New York City, I can't pop into fucking Jersey and and leave without you know shooting anybody uh without without getting arrested i can't even have a bullet in my car like i'm paranoid now when i drive into jersey that i might have left around in my console or something when i was at the range or something fell out of my range bag in the back of my fucking truck a hollow point or something and i'm going to jail motherfucker i'm going to jail it's not it like there's no crime in jersey city yeah, but, but you know what? Thank God they have that strict gun control because Camden, you never see a gun going off there or Newark. Uh, yep. Thank God the legal law-abiding people are prohibited from carrying guns and having guns because that keeps all the bad people from having yep. guns. Oh, that's right. It completely doesn't. It's a disgusting political move from shitheads that need to be thrown out of office. Uh, I'm not going to pontificate too much on this subject because I know people get very upset when I just talk guns all night. But uh, I, I, it's, I, it's upsetting. I dropped my girlfriend off and spray painted on a building across the street was MS-13. So that didn't make oh, me Oh, that, that's good. nice, right? MS-13. Yeah. Well, at least they're not a big gang that's uh, no. really known for nasty stuff, right? No, and they abide by all the laws. Of course they do. Uh, if there's strict gun control, you'll never see one of them with a gun because um, they don't want to go to jail. They don't rape and kill women that are pregnant that used to be in their gang either. No, that no. That, that was a fucking horrific story, wasn't it? Oh, Just my ruthless, God. Ruthless, man. Like anybody, there ought to be. And I, I'm, I'm for the less gun control, the better. Believe me. I'm a, a lifetime member of the NRA. I'm with the uh, NRA uh, Second Amendment Task Force. Um, I, I, I mean, I'm very into Second Amendment rights.
You're with the National Rad Association? I'm with the National Rad. I'm fucking rad. Too. I'm crazy. But he, here's what, if they're going to fuck us over to this point, I would rather them do it in a way where we can have a national gun license, where no matter what, you can carry in any state. If they want me to jump through some hoops, look, I'm a Even legal, a state of hysteria, law-abiding guy, a state of hysteria, a state of panic, a state of confusion, whatever state. I am legal. Whatever state does a background check on me, they will find nothing. I'm a clean motherfucker. So why should I not be able to exercise my Second Amendment right, which is a national, an American right? Constitution of the United States, but I can't exercise that in every state as I can my driver's license. I could drive in every state. I don't get stopped in Jersey by a cop that goes, well, you have a New York license. You can't drive here. No, it's, it's good all over. So why can't I then have a national license to carry my pistol concealed if they want uh, all over the, this country? It's, it's my right. But I guess they think there's just going to be too many wacky people out there. Meanwhile, there's criminals with guns everywhere, and, and uh, uh, law-abiding citizens are uh, just threatened with death by them with no recourse. So uh, that upsets me. Yeah, they would just, you know, unfortunately, they don't want us to be able to protect ourselves. No, they really don't. It's an amazing thing. They do yep. not want the American people to be able to protect themselves under the guise of we're too stupid and irresponsible to carry guns, and if anybody actually takes a course, goes through the hoops, gets a license to carry a gun, it will be bloodshed in the streets like the old West. We'll all be just drawing on each other and shooting like crazy. When meanwhile, uh, legal gun owners are some of the most safe and responsible people in the country. Yeah, because we don't want to go to jail. Exactly. What do you think? Driving home, I would like to blow some fucking asshole's head off for cutting me off. But you know what? I think about it and go, eh, I really don't want to go to jail. That would be nice. Don't want to go to jail. No, I don't care about nice. I just don't want to go to jail. So I'm very responsible with my uh, firearm ownership. And I know all the laws. I, I'm very astute to the use of deadly physical force and the reasons that you should or shouldn't, can or can't use it. I've studied all this shit, but I'm not good enough and responsible enough to then go to the next state over, this imaginary line that the man has put down. Uh, and, 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 you know, I'm good here, but two feet away, I'm not good. Fucking blow me. Hmm. Yeah, it's, it's a piss off, man. Hey, guys, thank you very much. It's been fun. Well, thank you. Thank Have you a good for one. calling, sir. Have a good night. I like that. Uh, you know, maybe he called us something else at the beginning, but I don't give a shit. I just fucking go off. Oh my God, people fucking bitching about something. Uh, yeah, oh, I, I just saw Drunk Roland. That's pretty good. Shut up, Ant. Who's that? Get rid of him. Get rid of him. Right there. There you go. Bye. You know, it's like Russian roulette. You could fucking put shit up. You know, I might not look. I probably won't. Odds are, probably will never look over there. But occasionally I go, ah, get rid of that motherfucker. I don't like what he's saying. I was speaking the truth. It's right there. It's right fucking there I was speaking the truth. Don't give me shit. Where's the, um, is that cable? Yeah, that's cable. It's good. I don't know what's on. I just put cable TV on behind us because uh, it's kind of cool. You got arms like a praying mantis. You got, everything on you is long. They're like one of those things that came out of the Close Encounters spaceship. Uh, really? Yeah, you're like, do, 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 do. like fucking that's crazy. Crazy slender and shit. Um yeah, I, I, we also had a lot of arguments. Uh Slim Crazy. You're Slim Slim Crazy? What are you drinking by the way? None of your business. <laughs> <laughs> Is it a Captain and Coke? Yeah. Cha. 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 Over the, uh, I like talking about what goes on on Twitter because I'm very Twitter active. I don't know if people have seen this or not, but I'm very Twitter active. You're on Twitter uh, 
every moment of the day. Yeah, fucking, uh, wait, wait, wait. I've you seen you spend 12 hours on Twitter one No, day. you have. I certainly have. That one day you drink, you drink five bottles of wine and you're outside and you're on Twitter the whole night. I kept tweeting you to pay attention to me and you wouldn't. You know what? It was unbelievable. I don't even understand why you get so fucking pissy like this. I'm not pissy. I'm just saying. It blows anyway. my mind that somebody can be on Twitter so long. How come every time I'm on Twitter, I look over and you're on Twitter? That's not true. You're on Twitter more than I am. That's By the way, not I've woken up. True at all. Here it is. Here it is. I've woken up and and went to grab my phone to like make sure my alarm was set or when Kenny calls me in the morning or or when I first go to bed or I wake up in the middle of the night, whatever. If you're ever awake, you constantly have your phone in your hand and you're tweeting or looking at No, I'm not. You're looking at Twitter. Yeah, because that happened this morning because we woke up at noon and I was bored and I was on my phone. Noon is great, by the way, to wake up. God, not working today was fucking Or I'm like looking at emails or on Facebook. You are on Twitter so much more than I am. Yeah, because I have fucking, you know, 75,000 followers. Sorry. I I try to keep in touch with my fucking audience. Sorry. Wow. I'm just saying some days, like a few weekends ago, it was the whole day. It was crazy. Yeah, it was crazy. It was crazy. It was a crazy day. It was like, this is all you're going to do. That was like when Andy Levy was having his problem with Chris Brown. I, nice but you were segue. asleep. But I was, I was in there, like fucking, you know, defending my boy. He's my boy. Is he? Yeah. No, I just thought it was really fun to just jump on the bandwagon and bash illiterate fucking cocksuckers. God, were they awful! Uh, boy, if you didn't see it, uh, Andy Levy from Red Eye. Um, Gotten a little bit of a tiff uh, with Chris Brown's fans, which he probably has uh, four million of uh, that follow on on Twitter. But uh, Chris Brown, he shouldn't even be on Twitter because he tweets something and you instantly think, oh, the guy that punched his fucking girlfriend in the face. Um, but he tweeted something that was like, oh, man. I fucking... No more planking for me unless it's on a fine lady. No LOL. More, no more planking for me unless it's on a fine lady. Well, but what happened was that I retweeted him and said. You, yeah, you did it first. By planking, you Ooh, mean Robin. Punching? I did it first. Yeah. And then four minutes later, Andy, Andy Levy, Levy wrote, you, you misspelled punch. punching. Which I think is funnier than Which mine. Which is very funny. Andy's a fucking genius. And then the uh, the fans. Oh my God! Well, uh, Team Brown, Breezy. Team we, Breezy. Hashtag Team Breezy. Chris Brown retweeted Andy and put, "Children conduct themselves better." Children conduct themselves so all better. So four million of his followers saw just started that. bashing uh, Andy, and uh, it was hilarious. Wow! It was fucking hilarious. And if we actually had the laptop there, we would pull the YouTube video up and play the apology that Andy gave, but... Why don't you play it? Because the computer's upstairs. Oh. You want to get it? No. Why? I don't want to get it. I'm doing a talk show. I got like a talk so show So I got to get it, and then you got to take like 10 minutes, like plug it in, and then you do this. But it's easy. And it's one this, plug, and then the, the fucking... The Cat 5, Cat 6. And then you could do the rest while I talk. You could like fire it up, find the video, click on the fucking external... And then I'll ship it over to the TriCaster. Sounds simple, doesn't it? Is that really going to work? In a second. I guarantee it. I guarantee it. You're not going to be like pushing buttons. Why does it work? It doesn't work. (laughs) Why are you such an insufferable bitch? Holy shit. Just insufferable. There's no, like, no logic to it. Logic? No, you're 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 fucking you're like you're like miserable. Me? Yeah. <laughs> what? I'm Mr. Fun. I am literally Mr. Fun. When Mr. Fun gets mail, 
a lot of times they put it in my mailbox by mistake. I got to go, I'm Anthony. And I circle Mr. Fun and go, please forward to Mr. Fun. That's how much Mr. Fun I am. You're just like, Weren't you here's Melissa. Wait, said, wait, 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 wait. Hey, let's not get into an argument tonight. Don't storm off again. I'm not talking about an argument. I'm just discussing. Now you're this me isn't I'm an argument. This isn't an argument. This isn't an argument. I'm just Explain discussing. How about this? How about when you come home and I'm like, how was your day? And you go, I don't know. It's never bad. I'm tiny. It's people are stupid. That's my impression of you, by the way. Have you noticed that? If you had to wake up at fucking six in the morning to get on the fucking seven o'clock train to transfer to another train to transfer, it takes me three hours to get into the city. Do you realize I wake up at fucking you earlier drive than into that? The city, you drive And I have to drive. Exactly. Drive. Do you know how to, you've seen me drive in the city? That's not fucking stressful. That's not a fucking cluster fuck. You sit around doing a talk show for four hours. And oh, it's, it's so fine. easy to just talk for four. Try talking and being entertaining for four hours. Give it a whirl. You know, it's not lifting. I've lifted as a job. I fucking lifted uh, a blower units into attics. I know what physical labor is like, but to have to keep your mind and mouth going for four fucking hours, it's not easy. A lot of people just sit there and go like this. And then, um, I don't know what to say. What, what should we talk? You it's would, not easy. You enjoy your job, though. I love it because it comes easy to me because that's one of my talents. Exactly. So you don't like your job as a model? No, I don't like it. Oh. What's the matter? I told you that. Sorry. I have to deal with people in the fashion industry. They're like, oh my God, that's divine. Oh, she's like, blah, 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 blah. I to wear clothes all day long. Oh, I told you, it sucks. Do you know you're never going to get sympathy telling people you got to wear clothes and that's a tough job? I'm not saying it's Just a tough like job. Just like I say, I can't, I can't say I have a tough job. What I say is I don't like the fact that I'm being taxed the shit out of with an easy job. And people are like, yeah, you, all you do is go in. It's like, I don't care. I'm still earning, earning my money. Go fuck yourself. Get your own money. But I'm not saying my job is hard. But So you shouldn't say your job is hard because what do you do? It's not hard. It's miserable for me because I don't enjoy doing it. I do it because it pays well. And I need to utilize my fucking looks while I can, which is what you told me to do. You're like, I had to tell you shit. Well, you were remember, a model before I knew like you. Two weeks ago, when I'm when I'm like, I really need to do something else because this modeling shit is really fucking driving me crazy. Yeah, but it's, it's like, mind you numbing. you're like, no, 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 you should do this while you can, make money, yada yada. You exactly, do any life. idiot would say that. Cause it's like, what else are you gonna do? Right now, that would Other pay. Things. That would pay what modeling does. Nothing pays. that would pay the same. Exactly. You gotta make fucking money right now. Yeah, but money isn't fucking make your ducats, yo. Money isn't happiness. No, I don't but you care know what? About money. Everyone says this, and let me let me just say this to the people out there: money cannot buy happiness, and this is true. But here's the fucking caveat on that fucking dumb shit ass fuck statement: money does not buy happiness, but a lot of trouble and sadness can be solved with money. So if you're not happy because you can't pay your mortgage, money fixes that. And then you're happy. If you have another problem that money can't solve, then there's a problem. But money solves a fuckload of problems that not having money makes. So when they say money can't buy happiness, it's true, but there's a fucking asterisk on that motherfucker is what I'm saying. So what I'm, I'm telling you is, what are you going to do that would make you, like, fulfilled as a person? Oh, there's other things that I want to do. But would pay as much. Not right away, but eventually they probably would. So what are you, like, what? I don't know. I don't, other things. This is crazy. You say other things. But no, I know exactly what I want to do. Photography? Yeah. Yeah. So what are you doing to pursue that right now? I, I fucking work every day. I can't do anything. You can. I work every fucking day. I understand. But in between working. Yeah, I suggested this 
to you when I was talking to you, and you're like, no, you need to do modeling. You need to do. I this. didn't say you do it full time. Remember when I was like, oh, I, I said, oh, it. don't pursue your. That, that's what I would say. Don't pursue any of your dreams or aspirations. Just model until you're fucking a hag and can't model anymore, and then try to eke a living out. Because that's my logic. That's exactly what I would say. No. What I say is what I do, what I do also is I do a radio show. I do well at, at Sirius XM. Uh, but what do you think this is all about? I like sitting here and doing this. I enjoy my job and I'm, I'm trying to find another avenue of, of what I do. And this is it, you know? Yeah, you have a lot of time and resources to do that. When I said, yeah, modeling's whatever, and I wanna work at like a photo agency or do something like an internship, yeah. Yeah. You should. Okay. Oh boy. Oh boy. All right. So that is why I have a valid reason to complain about... Everybody complains about their job. Everybody. I know that. I've done it. And if you have to be around people in the fashion industry... Who you mean are, gay people? It's mostly women that are like... Like snotty fucking... Snotty you know what? fucking women. All right. That's what I want to hear and that's what the listeners want to hear. What are these fucking fashion industry women like? Tell, tell the audience, because you tell me, and I get fucking infuriated. What are they like? Some of them are nice. Some of them are the worst people in the world. How are they bad? Like, what do they do? What stereotypes are there that they are... It, They're, it's, it's hard to describe them. They wear, like, their super prissy Chanel watches and their shoes, and they all, like, they're, like, old. Are they too they, old? Right. They're too they're old too to be old in that business. Be wearing, right. And they're very, like, judgmental. Because they're, they're bitter like, looking at the younger girls exactly. that they aren't anymore, so they're ultra judgmental. Yeah, and I've they're, like, it. I don't know, that skirt's just not flattering, and it makes her look fat. I don't know, I can't, I, nobody's gonna buy that in my store. And when you she, tell a model that she's fat, you better clear the fucking restroom because she has two fingers buried into her no, larynx. No, like that doesn't, that doesn't bother me at all. I just have to listen to their really? bickering uh, I was just and they're Miles like. Really? puked when they uh, were. A lot of them time. are just rude and they're just like, like you walk out there in the clothes and they're just like, Ugh. they're just like, they look, read the paper, they don't even look up at you. They're just like, Ugh. really? So you have to stand there wondering, like, okay, do you want to look at this dress or what? I had to like walk back around. Oh my God, I saw Z's. Someone's got to fucking be bounced. Boy, that guy just skated. I, Because I said, it's like Russian roulette if you put something on the fucking chat. Because I'll look over. I just saw that. That guy just missed a bullet. Just missed one. So you can't Let's see what the audience me, is thinking. What? 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 You can't call me miserable. I, I'm not calling you miserable. It's market, Fine. which is, I don't work. This is what I work every day. Four times a year. And I'm finally done with it. So I'm fine now. I get, key, to, I get to like sleep in. Key You're looks not even good. listening. Key looks good. I no, I am. Wait, wait, what? Oh, you know what? When you come back, you shouldn't sit down. If you know what I mean, right? What? Mm, you know. Yeah, the, the, what, what, over there, right? Over there. Right? Do you, do you, <laughs> you know what? Uh, every time I do this compound show, um, I get in a fight. I think it's the... Uh, there's a lot of honesty that goes on on this uh, program. And uh, when you got like your chick sitting there and, and you're sitting here and you're, you're discussing things, a lot of things come out. I don't think it's bad. I think it's good. I think it's fucking great. I think people ought to discuss stuff out in the open like this. This is a reality show, my friends. This ain't fucking scripted. Shit just pops up. What do you want from me? Hey, live from the compound. Uh, uh. Yeah, hello, this is Gopta Patel. I own 270 Elevens. 
And I very much worry about flash mob. Would you happen to have suggestion for me to protect my business? <laughs> what state do you live in, sir? Yes, I am originally from Mumbai, with a town formerly known as Bombay. Right. And I now am in Arizona. Arizona. Well, let me tell you something, my friend. Arizona yeah. has some of the best uh, gun laws uh, ever because there is a lack thereof. It's so, a wild west out there, I say. It's very crazy. People have guns on the hips and in the yes. legs. Yes. It's very, very crazy. Exactly. Very, very crazy. So what you need to do is go to a gun store, get a big gun, and, a big, big and, gun yes. and wear it prominently and proudly. And the second you see somebody come in of questionable, um, yeah, you know what I mean. Uh, make sure they know you have it. Put one hand on the on the grip and use the other hand to ring up their order so that the second they go to make a move, they know that you have the jump on them. Yeah, they know Gupta very serious about protecting his business. Yeah, you're, you're fine that way. Arizona's great. It's a great state. Yeah. But these, these flash mob about that out east, they're crazy. They, they storm these blazes and take down the 40 ounces. What, what, what do I do to protect myself from that? Uh, well, you got to get multiple uh, high-cap magazines so you can take them all out at once. All right? Yes. Okay, man. That sounds very good. I thank you very much for the suggestion. Thank Come you. Come to my store, I'll give you a 3% off. Thank you, my friend. Yes, you are very excellent most nights. Yes, take care. <laughs> it's one of the worst Indian fake accents I've ever heard in my life. But, uh, you know, I gave him sound advice, especially for Arizona. Man, if you have a convenience store in Arizona and you get a flash mob or a robbery, uh, you're an asshole. Because, man, can you just get a gun. Just get a gun. That's what I say. Oh, well. Um, that guy was, uh, I liked him, as a matter of fact. Didn't you like him? I did. Oh, look, look, I got a weather map behind me because what we're going to do is uh, I, I, wa I want to check something out here and, s and see if this works. Um, what's that? Oh, you're, yeah, your you're mic. I, I, got, I got it. That, that would be right here. That's there. How you doing? Great. How are you doing? I'm doing fine. How are you? I'm good. Yeah. Miserable, actually. No, you're not miserable. You I un called me miserable. You know, just take the miserable knock for a second. No. It's okay. Why? You could take the miserable knock for a second. No, because it's true. No, it's not true. That's crazy, I baby. I take effects, sir. I'm trying to fix it. No, I'm not. You could be. Everything's fine. I won't worry about that. Right? Mm. Isn't everything fine? It is now that I'm not working. What? I'm unemployed. Well. That's a good thing. Why? Because I'm s I am don't have to wake up early anymore. Oh. I'm much happier oh. when I sleep for 10 hours. Oh. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, I love sleep. Believe me. Well, you know what? We've had uh, some really repugnant weather. Nice segue. Here in New York. I don't care about segues. Uh, I love so, Segway. No one can see you. You're I making know. a Segway. You're making a Segway face. I actually have to. Um, oh, wait, wait. Could you go back to where you were so I could <laughs> maybe get the garbage mat? Um, Don't call me a garbage uh, mat. I'm not. I'm just making sure that the top <laughs> of the screen is just barely cut off. So nothing. Um, Shows throw it. Like your head doesn't cut off. Anyway, no, no. Look, can you see that? Yeah, but That's it's a delay. Be delayed. <laughs> yeah, just, just put it this way. Your back is directly on the Middle West. So over here is New York. Oh, you're standing over it now. Okay. You know what? We've had some really inclement weather here on the East Coast. Can you still uh, see me? A lot of time. Oh yeah. Oh okay. Yeah yeah. Am I standing for New York? You're right there, like. Your nose is in New York. Yes, that's the whole East Coast. You're on a low pressure system. Anyway, uh, oh, Jesus, let me let me be honest with you. This segment is to make sure I can just throw it to another location. Hey, it's I'm my weather segment. I know it's your weather segment, sweetie. Don't I'm use not, me. I'm not. I'm not doing it. For, here's here's a few things. Number one, 
I want to make sure the lav mic works, the wireless mic it works, works on her. And I think we've proved that. It works, right? <laughs> yeah. Secondly, I want to make sure I can switch from me in this set to weather girl Melissa on her weather set in the realm of this compound, which, by the way, will open up many opportunities to not only go to a weather set, but to go to any other set. I could toss it to people in Russia, China, and Israel, too. That's from a song. I think it was Love Train. But uh, don't stand so close to the wall. There you go. And yeah, Okay. Anyway, uh, Melissa, I hear the weather was just crazy in New York uh, earlier. A lot of thunderstorms, a lot of rain. Uh, let's take it to Melissa and, uh, and see what's going on with the weather here in uh, the United States. Melissa. Oh, am I on? Well, Anthony, here in New York. No, it's California. <laughs> I know yeah. it was a joke. Oh, did you see California? No, I can't see it. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> hey, it's miserable Melissa with the miserable <laughs> weather. <laughs> no, no, wait a minute. Hold on, hold on. Look, I'm not calling you miserable Melissa. And by the way, I'm now going to put your... Camera three on the background, so... Oh, wait, that doesn't work. I got I to go DDR. Wait, two, there we go. I, I'm not calling you miserable. I was saying sometimes you're not as happy, and, and that comes across as miserable. I'm not saying you're always miserable, okay? So now back to Melissa and the weather. Well, as usual, it's going to be shitty here in New York. No! I that, know! You pointed at El Nino. <laughs> it's not a thing. Yes, state. there it is. Okay. Try to do the weather. <laughs> Let's see. Because that's kind of cool. I like those. And oh, I want to see, see if it how works. far away I can get from the screen. So okay. You're fine. You're just, you're in a full shot. So even if you walk kind of half off the screen, you're still on the screen. Okay. It doesn't look like you disappear. Hey, time for the weather. Well, ladies, better put away those high heels and put on some rain boots. Because there's a storm a brewing. Shitstorm, I might say. Oh. <laughs> Wait, hold, on. hold on, hold on. What the <laughs> fuck does that mean? I don't know. You're like, you're like out of your mind. <laughs> I was just talking about the fact that it was raining very hard. All right, I'm gonna leave you alone. You do what you want because I, I think you, I, I think you got this down. Go ahead, go ahead. And also. See this green stuff right here? This is not the secret of the ooze. This is rain. Precipitation. <laughs> they don't call me Melissa Donatello Stetton for nothing. Right here in New York, there's gonna be... This is where we are. Like those circles on the That's ball That's Missouri. <laughs> That's, yeah, okay. And also, it's gonna be real hot. Uh, Melissa, what I'm seeing is a big low pressure system with a lot of precipitation around it over the uh, tri-state area, uh, New York, uh, Jersey, um, uh, Pennsylvania. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about what we're going to be experiencing over the next maybe 24 hours? I guess. I mean, it's probably going to rain. Like, I mean, it is raining. Like, it's raining right now. It's well, you see, it, it looks like it's raining because there's a fuckload of green on the map. But could you tell us maybe it's the week? It's Friday. It's Friday night. People love their weekends. I want to know if at least by Sunday, maybe tomorrow afternoon, am I going to be able to go on the pool, barbecue? Could you just please help us out? Well, you could probably go in your pool because you have the heater on, so it's like 90 degrees no matter what day it is, because you like to waste energy. Yeah, it's because I, I could give a shit about Al Gore and his greenness. Also, it's going to be really hot. How hot, you ask? How hot? 
It's gonna be so hot. It'll be like your uh, Bergen Belson, 1943. Does that ring a bell? Remember that, huh? You anti-Semites out there? <laughs> you can just call me Tim Watley. <laughs> Well, you know, at least the key works, and that's the important thing. I wasn't finished. I, oh, shit. Okay, sorry. Okay. Go ahead. Continue. Go ahead. Am I, am I on? Am I on? Yeah. Okay, so we're going to have a very low pressure system coming in from the west. Oh, okay. I can and see that. There's going to be a lot of precipitation, so you might want to stay inside. Maybe, you know, lay off the barbecues until, like, next weekend or something or, like, next... Look, look. Hold on. Hold on. There's a fuckload of green and a big L, which is bad for weather, over New York. Could you explain it? Go. Well, the L means... Look out, it's going to rain. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. it, the, L, the L actually means low pressure, low barometric pressure. And it's very bad for the weather. But is it moving quickly? Is it stalled over the East Coast? I need to know how my weekend's going to go. I don't know. Why don't you ask somebody? Why don't you like go to weather.com or something? But you have a map behind you. This Give isn't it a, whirl. a real map. Take a whack at it. What was that map? This is made in like way? Microsoft Paint or something. I think that map was like fucking five months old. Oh, okay. But it looks like it happened today. And you're standing over the interest area. Move to the Midwest. Now point to your fucking left. Now tell me about that L. This means uh, the L stands for Larry. No, it doesn't. What? How? <sighs> is tomorrow gonna be nice? Well, there's isolated thunderstorms starting at 6 p.m. and going through the evening. What's the percentage uh, uh, chance of 90? rain? 90! No, it's 30. Oh, I don't know. Oh my god, okay. <laughs> that was Melissa Stetton with uh, the weather. And like I said, thank God. Thank God the. Um, Thank God the, uh, the key works, because that was my big interest in, in doing that, is to see if I could put someone over there, put a different background than I have, and, and then we switch back and forth. See, you were all part of a test. Somebody said Joe Rogan's trying to call you. Is he? Apparently. Let me see. Hold on. Hey, is this Joe Rogan? Joe Rogan. Hey, is this Joe Rogan? No. Hey, is this Joe Rogan? Hello? Joe Rogan? Hello. Hey, hey, is this Joe Rogan? No. Hey, is this Joe Rogan? Yes. Joe! Joe! What's, Yo. what's up, man? What's up, brother? It's a big delay. Yeah, I know. It, it gets longer and longer as the commercials pile on. I love your fucking podcast because you... You, would you call them up and threaten to beat them if they show commercials on your channel? <laughs> well, they tried to. They would show these big block commercials that would cover the whole screen. And yeah. They would come on and intrude in the middle of the conversation, but they cut it off for me. See, that's pretty. Did you have to talk to them and shit? Cause I, yeah. I had to email them and tell them that I was going to move, that, that it was ridiculous. But they're you, pretty cool about it. They, I, they, they really are. They're really nice. They, they you, like watching my uh, thing, which was, by the way, inspired by your show. 100%. I, I, I saw what you uh, fucking uh, said, and it was printed in the press and shit. And, uh, that's cool as fuck, man. Uh, I, I, to inspire the likes of Joe Rogan. Um, it must have been a mistake. <laughs> yeah, no, come on, man. I think what you're doing is <laughs> no, awesome. Was, I love your that, setup. That was Mine is cool. so low tech in comparison to yours, but uh, but it's all about content. That's just it. You to be able to go on and look like a 1996 fat bitch rolling in bed like webcast and still have the content that people love. Uh, you know, uh, <laughs> it's an ass kiss fest over here. <laughs> it's fucking fantastic. I felt like I tuned into a really bad moment about 15 minutes ago. I thought you guys were going to go to blows. It got a little shit. It always does with us, too. And I wish, I honestly swear on my mother, I wish it was fake. But anytime we sit here and, and discuss shit openly, it gets very ugly. Like, she 
she'll say something and like I'm not supposed to fucking react to it. You not know, true. Joe? I'm very nice. You know, they, no, she's <laughs> nice, but she could be fucking not bitchy. But you, Joe, you know how girls are, okay? I know how girls yeah, are. Thank you. And I know how guys are too. I'm yeah. glad I'm not uh -huh. a chick. We're pricks and shit. Do you get do you get, do you, do you get into shit with your chick every so often? I no, mean, me, me Tarzan, she Jane. But are you I really like on. like? Because you come off like that, like a, a you're a man's man, you're a fucking guy. But I can't picture you being. Obviously, I can't picture you being pussy whipped. But are there moments where you go like, God, I'd love to fucking say something, but you keep your mouth shut? Hey. I'm really lucky. My chick is a really nice person, and she gets along. We get along really well, and she's from Texas. So she's like a real woman. You know what I'm saying? Like a, a, yeah. a real – she she appreciates the male role and the female role. It sounds totally uh, sexist and chauvinistic, but, but I mean, it's the cool. reason why we get along is because she's a woman and I'm a man. She doesn't try to be a man. She doesn't try to tell me what to do. Isn't so, that the way shit should be? I don't try it's to like, tell you what to way. do. You're telling me what to do right now by saying <laughs> I don't try to tell you what to do. <laughs> she's not. from fucking Kalamazoo, Michigan, and she's got a fucking heart on because she's not the most famous famous person out of there. I think Derek Jeter is. What? But but like so so you know she's got this fucking he went to my high chip, school. a chip on her shoulder. What's that? What's that? But but, but like I I I I can't get into this honest conversation without some shit being stirred. That's not true. And, see? <laughs> see? It, this is how this shit goes, man. So how do you keep like a relationship going without you got to get into shit every so often. Well, first of all, you get them pregnant so they have babies to take care of. I find that helps tremendously. Are See, you a I, father? Yeah, yes. Joe's a father, man. You are? I had no idea. Yeah, I, I've got yeah. three of them now. You have Idle three hands kids? is the like, devil's you... workshop. We all know this. I and, can't. I can't fucking do it. The thought of kids <laughs> petrifies me, Joe. I my brother has a kid, and my sister has a kid, and they bring him over, and it's great. I fucking love it. He, my brother was just showing me videos on his phone. He was over earlier, and I'm like, ah, oh, it's fucking adorable. But the thought of having to be responsible for something that vulnerable, I can't deal with it. It's a big fucking mind fuck. But when it's your kid, it's a completely different experience. It's a That's what I nature hear. takes its roll and puts everything in place and you literally love the kid more than you love yourself. It's a very freaky thing I, to have I the ta tables turned. Yeah, I always equate it to uh, Invasion of the Body Snatches where <laughs> you don't want to go to sleep. The biggest fear is ever going to sleep next to that bean pod and waking up and, and agreeing with the guy that was like, it's going to be great. You'll love it once it happens. And then you're like, no, no, no. And then you go to sleep, wake up and go, this is great. I'm part of the collective. You would I don't want to be that guy. I'm fighting to stay awake I'm Donald Sutherland <laughs> fucking shooting myself up with speed I and then don't... at the end of the movie you've got your mouth open and, and then going, I'm going ah! pointing at the guy at some fucking guy that doesn't have a kid yeah. I, I can't I couldn't imagine uh, doing did you always want to be a father or did it happen and, and, and then you, you slept next to the bean pod no, no, it was the, it was, I didn't pull out and we made a kid. It was that simple. Oh, okay, but, so it wasn't a planned thing. No, but no, no. Did, did you, were you freaking out when she said, look, I missed my period and then the whole thing steps up to like, hey, we're having a kid. Did you lose your fucking mind? No, no. Well, it was real nerve wracking and very confusing, but I swear once the kid was there and once I started playing with her and hanging out with her, I'm, I instantly fell in love with her. That's how and I feel uh, when like, I'm dating. You know, Once now the she's kid is three, there. and you know I have a three and a one, and the oh. three is like well, she's my little buddy. You know, she goes places with me, and we hang out, we go to the park, and she cracks jokes. It's really fun. Well, but well, you got to be with the right chick. That is the really the thing. Because I have friends that have been in this situation where they had kids, and the chick turned into a cunt, and they fight constantly, and he tried to stay there for the kids, but he couldn't do it. That's a disaster. I can't imagine. But I, I. <sighs> One of our friends came over and brought his what eight year old daughter. Yeah, well, yeah, she's yeah. Six. It was five hours. This, that was the happiest I've seen. You were playing with this kid in the pool, and you were like having the best time of your life. But it was hilarious. Karaoke. Like kids are hilarious you to love me. Kids. I I fucking love. I was just showing like uh, my brother. Uh, I can't believe he never saw the fucking kid going to the dentist video. 
And like, where he's like, is this going to be forever? And like, oh, is this it, real life? It, it's ancient. Yeah, is this real life? And he's like all pissed. Like, he thinks it's gonna, he's going to be like that for the rest of his life. And uh, amazingly enough, my brother never saw that fucking video. But I showed it to him. I was like, that is hilarious to me. But to be the father of that, it, it horrifies me. I could never. I want to be able to go, what day is it? It's Friday. All right, tomorrow at... 7 a.m. I'm driving to the Borgata and I'm just going to blow fucking multi tens of dollars on uh, blackjack. <laughs> like I can't imagine having to go pack up the kid. Let's go. Yeah. Here. Like that. That gives me anxiety. Yeah, well, it should. I mean, it's 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 real. And you also are coming from a very different position because, I mean, we, we've had the conversation many times where you talked about your divorce and how fucking yeah. crazy it made you. People yeah. who've been through a bloody divorce like that, especially a divorce with no kids, where, you know, the whole marriage just seems ridiculous. You start thinking about it. Why the fuck did I get involved in some legal yes. contract with some other person? And I don't even have kids with them, but I have to pay them? I'm not even with them, but I have to pay them? It's fucking preposterous. And when you break free, it's like being free from prison. You're like, I'm never fucking going back. You're never getting me. <laughs> That's true. I, I, I'm one of those guys that will not go back to prison. There are some guys that go they to prison always go four back. or five times. I've... I've been rehabilitated. Yeah, you're like Bernard Hopkins. Yes. I'm in once. Yes, like I'm in once. I had the experience. I shan't go back. You're a and, better man for it. And that's that is a given. I my marriage was such a horror and a nightmare from beginning to end that I couldn't imagine ever doing it again. Um, now you you you've only had one marriage, Joe. Yeah, this is it. Yeah, and I didn't get married till I was forty. See, uh, that oh. fucking makes it. The only reason I got married at 30 was that I felt people were looking at me as a kid still and I was like oh the way to make people look at me as an adult is to get married uh, so I just grabbed some girl that I thought I you know cared for and and got married and man was that a mistake <laughs> holy well, I've, shit you know look back on some of the chicks that I've dated over the past and imagined if I was legally obligated to, to them and it's a fucking disaster man I mean life and relationships is a constant sort of a, a, a learning process and you know a lot of times you're, you're with someone and you're like what the fuck am I doing well sometimes when you're with those what the fuck am I doing people you get them pregnant oh. or you marry them oh. and that, that's when craziness happens that's and that's nightmare. what you're scared of that is what I'm petrified of Joe. but you would be a great dad I, I mean, you know something listening to what she's saying about most saying about you know you hanging around with kids and You'd be a great dad. I've been told that many times, and I, I even know it. Like, I know I would be because I, I, I have fun. I think kids are – kids make me laugh my ass off. Like when uh, you know, Travis and Lisa, uh, producer, uh, bring, bring their kid over or, or my brother or sister bring their kids over. Um, not together. They, they had kids with um, other people. <laughs> But it's like I laugh my ass off. I think kids are funny as fuck. But the responsibility factor, yeah. like I right now, I have bills on my table, and 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 all it would take is for me to log on to my bank account and pay my fucking bills. And I'm getting late notices from bills that are sitting there because I'm just that fucked up and irresponsible. <laughs> and so I know, like, I have what it takes to be a nice. And, and be fun, and I, I think kids would enjoy uh, me as a dad, but I'm not, I know I'm not responsible enough to uh, to do that. You say that, but once you had the kid, you would realize that this little kid Being can't operate again. without you, and then you'd be more responsible. You would uh, definitely have less leisure time, but it's a different, it's just a different world. See, you know? that kills me, the less leisure time, Joe. I love <laughs> leisure time. You are you so do. leisure. I love sleeping. <laughs> I, I love going out and, and gambling. I like just dropping everything at the spur of the moment and, and you know, going shooting or something. Um, There's it, plenty of people. You don't have to have kids. Yeah. You don't that, have to do it. But yeah. I think you would enjoy it. But, you know, then again, if you didn't, you would be fucked. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, I know. That's just it. And I think that's what I'm afraid of. I think my fear is um, you would a, a lot child? bigger than the reality. And I think I've been like that my whole life. My fear of everything has been a lot bigger than the reality of anything happening. Yeah. Because anything I've been really afraid of, if it did happen, which it has in the past, like certain things have happened that I've been petrified of, uh, when it, you're actually going through it, 
it's not as bad as you imagined it to be. What is it like now seeing Opie with a kid? Uh, it's weird. Um, he's he's still Opie, but there's a whole different part of him. Um, and and I, the, the fucked up thing is on the show, and I, I don't know if we've addressed it. I've tried to address it a couple of times, is he'll talk about his son and and then look to me like, Look, I'm not going to spend a long time on this. Don't worry about it. I'm not going to go off. But I love it. Like, I love when he talks about it. It's fun. It's funny. Kids do funny shit. So just because I don't want to be a dad and I voiced it so strongly doesn't mean that you got to cut yourself off and not talk about it. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah, so yeah, I think I he's, a little, he's a little jittery about talking it around me because he's always either uh, like apologize like oh, I'm sorry I just want to say one thing about a kid and I'm like no fucking talk about it I love it well you know? we've all grown up around people that talk too much around their fucking kids and it's annoying yeah, some people yeah. that are unentertaining are, are very bad at that when they're fucking stupid kid stories yeah the people that uh, first of all there's, there's the ones that uh, their kid is the smartest oh. which I love uh, the cutest the whatever it is, the bestest of anything. It's He's like the no, best for 19 months. Believe me, yeah, you're. you're it's <laughs> what just, age is that? It's 19 months. You're yeah, an, I don't know. That, that kid's is. great. I swear, he fucking winked at me. It, it's <laughs> it, that shit to me is like, yeah, every kid does that. Yeah. Uh, but but no, I like hearing fucking goofy kid stories. They make me laugh. Like kids are goofy. My brother was telling me shit today about Layla, uh, his daughter. That had me cracking up. Like, he took it to Adventureland on a Long Island. It's like a white trash fucking <laughs> amusement park. And, like, she gets on the Ferris wheel, and they're going up high, and he sees, like, she's a little f afraid. And all he has to do is go, oh, we're up high. This is so much fun. And then she just kind of looks and goes, yeah, fun. <laughs> like, to me, that's hilarious. Like, you could brainwash a kid in two seconds. <laughs> it doesn't yeah. take well, anything. You, you also could stop them from crying real easy by just cracking jokes. That's yeah. one thing that I found that's kind of fun. It's like a challenge to me when one of them starts crying. It's like, how quick can I make them laugh by just playing and being goofy? This kid starts crying and Joe goes like, yeah, these two Jews, they fucking go into a bar. <laughs> and I'm <laughs> not those jokes, I'm, I'm sure. Uh, Joe, I, always, I also want to say uh, I, I can't even fucking give you enough props on uh, your fucking UFC shit. Oh, thanks, um, you, I've never seen in even in boxing and shit a better announcer like you almost you almost ruin it for people <laughs> by calling what the fuck's going to happen, Kreskin. <laughs> like, I've sat there watching fights and Joe's going like. Oh, he's locking him up. Yeah, this is it. It's over. It's a and then the tap comes and you're like, yeah, thanks, Joe. Thanks a lot, Joe. I didn't know he was going to get out. I didn't know what the fuck hold he had, if he was ever getting out of it. Joe knew. <laughs> well, when you've seen thousands of fights, I've, oh, I've yeah. called thousands of fights now. Yeah. Uh, after a while, you just start to get, you know when a guy's breaking, you know when a guy's making a mistake, and you know the guys that are really good at submissions, you know when they catch something and when it's over. But I'm, I'm often wrong. I've, I've said it's over and it's not over. I've, uh, from what I've seen, though, and, and, and what these guys can actually get out of, like you see the subtleties of a hold where it's not quite locked in. And to the audience, it looks fucking deadly and locked in. But you're like, yeah, he's got a chance of getting out of this. And I'm sitting at home going, Joe's an asshole. There ain't no way this fucking guy's getting out. And then he gets out of it. It's, uh, I, and I, again, I guess it's just the experience of watching this so much. It's also training, too. You know, I've, I've trained in jiu-jitsu since 1996, so when I see, like, certain submissions, I know, like, eh, that's close. It's, a, it's the difference between, like, moving your elbow four inches to the left or four inches to the right. Yeah. You know, it really, it's amazing how technical the submissions are, and you could be just a little off, and it looks like you're doing it right. You're squeezing and you're pulling on it, but it's I like can look at it and go, he's yeah. doing it a little wrong. The guy could get out of this. It's amazing how uh, this sport has progressed over the years because, uh, like you said, there's so many little details to holds uh, that, that make a difference between winning and losing. And in the initial days of uh, Ultimate Fighting, it, w it was just utter brute force. Yeah, uh, it was of, utter brute force yeah. and Hoist Gracie, the only guy who actually knew technique. Who knew technique. And, and Hoist was like, you knew his name because 
that guy was getting tangled up in a spider web uh, yeah, yeah, and exactly. everybody else, yeah. it was how many elbows can I drive into the bridge of this fuck's nose before he, <laughs> he doesn't move anymore. So, yeah. Uh, do, do you, do you kind of miss a part of the old uh, uh, way of the sport? A little bit. I mean, I started out in 1997. That's the first UFCs I worked. And there's videos of me doing it online. I look like a baby. It's really weird. <laughs> but it's um, those days, you know, nobody knew what the fuck was going on. As soon as the fight went to the ground, everybody would call, yell out, faggot, gay, <laughs> get up, fucking queers. You know, it was, it was definitely, it's interesting to have been a part of that. Yeah. It's, it's interesting to have been, ba I started at UFC 12, and now we're at like, you know, I think it's like 134 is the next one. Wow, man. It's 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 grown and it's so weird to watch a sport from really its inception yeah. to where it is now and over a relatively short amount of time really change and grow and get professional from what was pretty much just a meat grinder when it started to uh, an actual sport but uh separate from, you know, boxing where I find boxing kind of boring to tell you the truth. Uh, I like the quickness of UFC and uh, uh, the aggressiveness, the the damage that can be done. It, it's just it's fascinating to watch, man. Well, it's a more dynamic sport. There's never really been a sport that's evolved in our lifetime. I mean, they've tried. Remember when we were a kid, they tried to make soccer. Like a long, a long time, right, they were yeah. trying to teach the metric system. A few system. times they tried that. Yeah, yeah. Remember, remember they yeah. trying to teach the metric system in school? There was like a real push. All right, kids, now we're going to learn the metric system. And everybody's like, get the fuck out of here. It lasted for like three years, and then they just completely bailed on it nationwide. Yeah, it and they hilarious. All, and they threatened you like, this is taking over in five yeah. years, so if you don't learn it, you ain't going to be able to buy a gallon of milk yeah, fuck and then, you and then and everybody fuck here we got the bomb yeah. stupid <laughs> yeah everybody here in this country is like fuck you give yeah, me a gallon of gas you, bitch. Feet, you could go fuck yourself with your kilometers <laughs> even though it's a much better system <laughs> fuck you we, we know the system already <laughs> joe what's the next uh what's the next big fight going on man well there's one um in the it, i believe it's the 29th but it's in rio and i'm not going it's oh. in brazil i've got a, i'm filming fear factor again i know i heard Perfect. about this Yes. Holy shit. Now, how did that get brought back? Not that it wasn't fucking great, but usually good shit doesn't get brought back. Yeah, I don't know. It's never really happened before. No, Whenever you bring a show back, it's always 20 years later, like the new Love Boat or the, the new Fantasy Island or you know, yeah. the new whatever the fuck it is. It's never usually with the same host and everything. <laughs> yeah, it's, that is odd. The, the guy from uh, Tim Taylor. Oh, home, what, improvement. Like home Improvement. Yeah, home Improvement's hosting. A reunion. Oh, God, how awful guy. would that be? <laughs> yeah, and, and the thing is, you don't want to see those. Yeah, but oh, but this is like Joe's... He's still Joe, and he'll come back, and he'll fuck with people, and they're going to be scared pissless. Yeah, it's still <laughs> the same show. I mean, it's the same producer, same director, same everybody. It's really kind of weird. It's like we went into a coma for six years <laughs> and came back and just started doing the show again. Uh, I I always fucking loved watching that oh, goddamn show. show. It was ever. like, and, and to see, I loved people that were petrified of it. I hated when people just went like, yeah, I'll do it. I yeah, give the, me it. Uh, the give, giant, bring it on. Bring on the maggots. The giant hissing cockroaches. Yeah, yes, Madagascar <laughs> hissing cockroaches. Yeah, we got episode. them doing some fucked up or things. Or being in a here. tank of snakes and maggots or something. Yeah. They have to drink donkey jizz. I'll give you a spoiler. A spoiler for the live of the Are you shitting show. me? What? Donkey jizz drinking. Yes, don't tell anybody. I want to shit off the internet. Ixne on the Anki Day is J. Do you have to jerk <laughs> off the donkey to get it? Yeah, that? how do they get it? Do they show? Is Joe jerking off a donkey? <laughs> <laughs> well, not me. They hired a professional. That would, yeah. Professional. <laughs> Jerk make mistakes or hurt wow. the uh, do, that, That's do, do, uh, all I got to ask you is, is, is it consumed? Uh, I can't tell you. All right. I, I can't tell you. I shouldn't have told uh, you. Know, told That's you. good. You know, good enough, Joe. I would drink it. Because I'm gonna, now I'm going to watch and wonder if anyone consumes that. It can't be any different than yours. <laughs> what? <laughs> Anthony. What? Oh, well, then mine? You figure with oh, all the beer he, t he drinks, it's probably similar to a donkey's diet, which oh, consists yeah. of a lot of hops and hay. And oh, yeah, same yeah. thing. Yeah, it's all organic. It's probably like an asparagus piss. <laughs> One of those fucking things. It's like which, a by the way, I had shot. today, and I took a piss. That asparagus is a miracle of fucking man. Mm -hmm. It's just, it, you could eat it. And like a five minutes later, it's it's just reeking your your urine. It's the only thing too, right? It is, is the only thing. thing. Smell like that? How does anything go through you that quickly? It's a 
amazing. It yeah. really is. Good for you. I, I, I'm stupefied. Joe, um, uh, thanks for calling, man. I I, I, I fucking love you. You're, you're I love fantastic. You too, brother. Uh, I love the podcast. Yeah, give it a plug, man. It's uh, the Joe Rogan Experience. It's on iTunes, and it's also on Ustream. And, again, it was inspired 100% by Live from the Compound. I if it wasn't it, for man. you and your setup, I would have never started my podcast. I love it. I wish Sirius would let me do this more, but um, i got to kind of sneak in and do it. But, do you sneak uh, in now? Yeah. They, they kind of gave me some shit at one point, so I just plugged the shit out of it so they don't give me that much crap. I think it was pre-contract Ooh. signing. They gave me a lot of shit about it. As well, like if a, Sirius goes under, dude, you Oh, fully me. I'm here. Just do an internet show. Dude, you the, have I, to. the idea of rolling out of bed and just coming to my basement to do a show is fucking heaven. It would be amazing. It you gotta, would be. I mean, get Opie to drive out to Long Island, though. <laughs> It'd be great. I just fucking, uh, yeah, roll downstairs, do a show. Well, you know what? He's going to realize after he has his kid for another year that he doesn't want to raise children and babies in that fucking <laughs> piss soup of Manhattan. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that is true, yeah, man. I, I always wanted to be out in the suburbs. I wanted a house. House. I wanted a yard. I'll be able to have some shit. Uh, by, by the way, you I hate to. Man. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a suburb dweller myself. Yeah. I'm not big on being jammed up in a city. I think it's ridiculous. It's a ridiculous way to live. I know you're uh, you're a very busy man, but uh, if you're if you're around in New York, which you probably won't be on a Labor Day uh, weekend, I'm, I'm having a giant party. Uh, here at my house, so if you're I around, won't be, but the next time I am in New York, I am pledging to come out and do yeah, live come, the compound. Come down, we'll, we'll do a show here, man. Uh, I'll we'll, spend we'll an extra day pistol. and uh, I'll, I'll come out and, and hang out with you. Cool, Joe. Hey, thanks for calling, man. Thank you, brother. I love you, man. I'll talk to you. Soon. I love you, Joe. Have a Bye. great night, man. Thank Take you. care. Bye. How great is fucking Joe Rogan? I love Joe Rogan. He's the best guy in the world. He's awesome. He's always been cool um, with the show, and uh, he's a plethora. And of just knowledge. a regular guy like that. Like I hate to. It's always like, hey, 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 hey ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you something. Uh, Joe Rogan, let's give him a big hand. He's a great guy. Great guy. Like I, I don't want to be fucking maudlin like that, but. He's a fucking great guy. He's fucking amazing. I could listen it's to him hilarious. talk. Like whenever he's on your show, it's like he'll talk for like on three hours. On the show, his fucking podcast. About anything. And he knows everything about. The he's like, show. his shows are like, today, alien eyelashes were found in Madagascar. But he makes it and we're gonna, sound and, and then he lets you legit. know like how it's happened, who found it. And you're sitting there going, fucking alien eyelashes. Madagascar? This fucking nigga knows everything. Everything that's going on. I remember watching that's UFC. Joe. I don't like watching UFC, but he made it so interesting. No, he, that's know, what like, it is. The fucking guy, uh, he's fantastic. He's just, uh, I don't oh, know. He had kids. I, I know, no right? Idea. He had kids. Yeah. He no, no, he died. Yeah, he's, he's got kids. They talk about, like, I, I almost, almost feel left out when, when the guys are talking about kids. But uh, I'm, first of all, I'm way too over the hill. I ain't sitting there at, at my son's fucking high school graduation yeah. with fucking uh, arthritis, uh, hunched over and, a, you know, hunchback. I, I miss the boat. I, I feel I missed the boat on kids. I'm not going to be that selfish that at some point if I decide I need someone in my deathbed to love me and mourn me, I, I, I miss the boat. I, so I'm not going to do it. But uh, when they start talking about the kids and shit, it sounds like, all right, that's cool. But the second I see one bad kid thing, I'm out of there. Like, then I'm like, oh, this is, okay, now I understand. This is why I don't want it. You can't just leave your house. And eh, well, that's parenting, too. Eh, but it you sucks. Know? No, you got to bring shit. I want to bring a fucking jacket. If it's cold, I'll bring a jacket and my fucking gun. That's what you have a wife for. No. The wife don't fucking do that. The wife is telling you to pack the shit up and put it in the fucking car. Baby seats? How does that shit work? I haven't seen my rear seat seat belts. I don't even know where they are. Are you supposed to hook that fucking shit in? Bah! See, and that's what, something that people are going, oh, that's so simple and easy. I don't even want to deal with that. I've had it. Just had it. I, 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 with what? With the thought of having kids? I know, I'm saying I've had it and I don't have kids. I'm ready to give my kids away and I don't even have any. <laughs> but it's like, it's, it's natural. When people have kids, you just yeah. automatically, like, it, I don't know. I don't want kids. I mean, yeah, I probably, I'll, I'll, I'll have kids in like whatever, and within like the next 10 years or well, something. Well, I sure hope uh, 
Your husband enjoys them. I'm sure he will. Jesus. Uh, <laughs> Pauly? No. Pauly Shore was in the, uh, the Sirius XM building. And you guys were peeing day. next to each yeah, other. Yeah, so I'm in the bathroom. It's pretty funny. I should have brought it up. I should have pointed at his dick and gone, hey. No. <laughs> no. I'm just saying people have kids. Okay. <laughs> it's, like, it's like a natural. She dated Pauly Oh, Paulie I mean, Shore. unless you're... Um, of certain racial background. <laughs> it's natural. It's well, not. we couldn't possibly go through an entire show without some pseudo racist comment, right? It's natural that you would want to take care of the child and you're going to love I, the child. I understand. Yes. As, like when I was 23, you didn't want to have kids. Now that I'm older. No, no, no. I, 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 when I, I see a baby, I I'm understand. Like, oh, a baby. Yeah, yeah. No, no. It's the, it's the greatest thing. And what I, what I see is... It's the greatest thing ever yeah. uh, in the world. Oh, well, yeah. Depends, I guess. Well, I would see it as probably, as you say, and as people say, it's probably an amazing thing, right? Well, uh, <laughs> Could you move your head? Move my head? <laughs> yeah, a little bit. So people get the joke. <laughs> it's just an amazing, wonderful thing to have kids and actually... <laughs> right. Love my graphics. Actually, kids are pieces of shit that only fucking burden your life uh, and keep you in a point where you you can't do anything anymore. Uh, you can't go out. You can't just live your life. It's it, all of a You're sudden everybody. You're fifty. If anybody just fifty would have a child and not feel like they're missing out on life, it would be you. Yeah. How your brother is older than you and he has a But he was younger than me when he had the kid. He's forty nine, one one year. And he loves her, it's great. Yeah, and it's Look, the greatest thing ever. I understand. It's I'm not great. trying to talk you into having kids, I'm just saying it's great for him. I'm not my brother. We are really Your brother is like a rock star in a band out like drinking and like playing shows and he has a kid. He don't fucking drink like a maniac. The guy's got fucking My no, brother he plays is in a fucking band. You know what? The playing part in the bit. Let me let me let me break He's down. He's like a in fucking, different cities every break week. Break down a wall for and you he still here. Still has a kid. Let me break down a little wall for you here. As far as my brother and and the band goes, my brother plays in a band, and that's the least of what the business of to you is. His YouTube cover band. Go to to you dot com. Not you two dot com. Not you two dot com. At Joseph Cumia C U M I A on um on that Twitter. Uh, what he does for that band is mostly business. Playing is the least of it. So it's not like he's a rock star out there partying. He doesn't party like that anymore. He can't. No, but he's doing shows constantly like every week in different cities. So he's traveling a lot. Like everyone else that has like a traveling salesman that has to go to no. another city to do something. He's playing music, but it isn't like... He goes backstage, chugs down a fucking uh, fifth of Jack and, you know, and parties. It, no, but he's, he's, it's his business now. It's not even a, it's not a, like it was when we were growing up and had a band where we're like, yeah, we're going to party and fucking rock and roll. Fucking it. It's, it's a business for him now. Yeah, but he has less, he has way less spare time than you do. And he can handle having a kid and he loves it. You... Not saying you, you'd be the perfect dad because you're home by 1030. You have the whole day to hang out with the kid and do whatever. No, I have the whole day to sleep the second I get home, wake up, work out. When I'm done working out, I might take another nap pool. and then I go in the pool. Like, I don't want to have to worry that a kid's going to run into my pool and drown. I don't want to put swimmies on. I don't want to fucking deal with a kid yelling or I just fucking fucked myself up or cut myself or shit my pants. I want to live my life the way I live it. A lazy, selfish motherfucker. That's what I am. I've accepted it over the years. I know what I am. I'm very self-centered. I'm, I'm a, a lazy pig and I'm... I'm selfish. I want to do for me. Me. I love me. And kids don't fit into that equation. Ever. Take a call. Oh, take a call.
Take a dial tone. Take a dial tone. Ha! Are you there? Yeah. Hi. Who's this? Emily. Emily. Hoo hoo, Robin. Not that Emily. I'm a little drunk. Sorry. Uh, what's uh? Oh, you're a little drunk. Yeah. Well, it is uh, it is Friday slash Saturday morning. Is it Friday? Yeah, it's like three. It's two fifty six Eastern time. Um, yeah. So what? Where are you from? West Virginia. West Virginia. Ma, no. ma, ma. Uh, uh. Take me home, country road. Oh, he died in a plane crash. Oh. Quite tragic. Oh, um, oh so what? What do you, what do you do in uh, West Virginia? What what's your living? Um, I actually have a very good job, and that's my point. Um, I was talking about the kid thing. You're talking about the kid thing, yeah? Do you have kids? Yeah. Uh, of course she does. She's in West I'm Virginia. A- Oh, yeah, I'm a dumb hillbilly. Got married at a very young age. Your phone's Your like phone fading sucks. in and out, and it's not me. So I won't pull, I, I won't pull a gun on you and yell like I have in the past. Oh, boy. What's going on? Try, I'm, I'm sorry I'm, about that. How's that? Well, I hear me in the background now. I'd like to keep you on because it's kind of cool to, you know. Yeah, sorry about that. Is this better now? That's much better now. So now uh, you have kids? No, I actually have no kids, and I have been married for 18 years. 18? Since I was, since I was 18. Wow, well, see, I can't, I'm, 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 I'm sorry. sorry. I'm sorry. Um, uh, what you call sorry? Hi, live for the compound. Who's this? Hey, Anthony, it's Brian from Wisconsin. Brian. Brian. How you doing, man? Yeah, the one that Melissa hung up on earlier. Thanks for that, by the way. I didn't hear because oh. everyone was yelling at me about talking about cheese, and then I, I panicked. That was when I was taking a piss and getting I a beer, right? I wanted to talk to you, but I didn't. I, I'm yeah. sorry. I have That'll anxiety. <laughs> okay. So what's, what's up, man? How is the cheese well, today? <laughs> uh, two things. Number one, I wanted to thank Anthony. What about me? For, I'll thank you in a second. I said two things, didn't I? Uh, first wanted to thank Anthony for all the stuff he's been talking about in terms of guns and what kind of guns to get for you know, first-time gun owners and everything. I thought we were talking about babies. Hey, babies and guns <laughs> go together. Come on. That's right. Like Hitler well, and the I, Torah. I, I just picked up my first gun this week. Oh, what'd you get? Uh, I got a Smith & Wesson 40 caliber Sigma. Oh, a 40 Ooh. is a great... Did you get it for carry? Uh, Conceal carry starts in Wisconsin on November 1st, and yes, I will be applying for my permit. Yeah, uh, a 40, I've noticed a 40, it's a great carry caliber. Um, there are other guns of any caliber that, that work for carry, because I get people that go like, fuck you, you know, have a 45 and this. I have a, I have a carry 45s, I have carry 380s, um, and everything in between, but... Uh, the 40, it's a great gun. It's small enough for a great carry where it's not so compact where you, you don't have enough rounds in the gun. Like a 45, uh, that's compact enough to carry without really showing a lot. Um, it just doesn't have that, uh, that many rounds in it. I like having a nice uh, magazine in there, and, and a 40 seems to do that. Yeah, this thing's got a nice 14-round uh, clip. Yeah, save 14 rounds. Nice. Yeah, yeah I, I, I do have one question. Yeah. I was reading, because, you know, like I said, I'm a first-time gun owner, and I was reading about this one instructor was talking about the dominant eye. Yeah. When you're aiming. Now, after going to the range a couple times this week, I'm, I hold it right-handed, but I'm closing my right eye when I aim. Wow, that's weird. So I'm aiming down my left eye through the sight because the guy was saying, hold it in the same hand as your dominant eye. Hold on, I'm trying that, that. Have you heard that before? Whoa, that, no, that's that's weird, man. That I, I'm sure people do it because, you know, if a pirate wants to shoot his uh, blunderbuss, um, yeah. I'm sure he's got to, you know, have patch over one eye. But I can't... I. No, I, I can't do that fucking left eye shit. That's weird, man. That's just yeah, because, odd. 
because after shooting it, after watching me shoot, mm. he noticed that my right eye was closed. And he goes, wait a minute, what, no. you know, what eye are you looking out of? Because he thought maybe I was closing my eyes when I shot. Yeah. But then he went to my other side. He goes, oh, your, your dominant eye is your left eye. I'm like, yeah. He goes, well, hold it in your left hand. And holy shit, did that feel weird? Now, wait a minute. Okay, let me try that. No, 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 no. I can't even deal with, le no way. No fucking way. Here's a good tip. I wrap um, my hand you should close both eyes while you're shooting. What are you, homie? You're going to shoot grandma. But when, you aim, but when you aim, is your right eye your dominant aiming eye? Oh, absolutely. A lo okay. I, I do try with some guns and some stances to keep both eyes open. Um, okay. I know with like... With uh, a, 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 you, you, are you familiar with the car stance? I was reading about because you tweeted that the other day. Yeah, I was reading about that how you hold it in close. You keep your weak shoulder uh, forward. You turn sideways instead of like a weaver. A weaver stance is that like typical. You're you're dead on. You're pointing your gun. Um, yeah, a car stance is sideways, your, your weak shoulder is toward your target, and you pull your gun way in, and you really don't have to shut your eye. You're, you're, it's a more of a point and shoot uh, with the gun very tight in and close to your body, which I, I love, especially in close quarters. Uh, you're not sticking your gun out there. You don't have a lot of that um, uh, weaving. It's, it's in tighter. Uh, you know, it, as opposed to like a lever fulcrum thing, you're you're closer to the fulcrum. Um, fulcrum. And and in a tighter spot, you're not getting it whacked out of your hand. You're you're able to aim it, point and shoot a lot quicker, even with both eyes open. But there's no fucking way I'd ever be able to shoot righty with uh, my left eye. No, no, sorry. <laughs> Yeah, it, it definitely feels weird. Good, but. good luck with that, man. Fuck, that's a bitch. But like, but like You're I said, th thank you for all the advice and, and thank you for talking about guns the way that you do. Because that, cause as you know, I'm in Wisconsin. I'm just about a half hour south of Milwaukee. Yeah. And the, sh and the shit's kind of getting a little bit. Uh, yeah, it's getting a little thick down there. I hear you. Yeah. It's getting pretty thick, and so oh, I, I strictly got it for I strictly got it for home defense. Yeah. Um, I highly doubt I'd ever actually take my gun out in public once I do get my concealed carry. That's You know what? Uh, Let me be honest with you. You should. Once you get your concealed carry, you should carry it all the time. And yeah. I, literally all the time. You should get a gun um, that you carry constantly. Uh, it, it's your right. And you can't pick and choose when you might need it. And if you get in a situation where you do need it and don't have it, you will, if you live through it, but something happens to either you or a loved one, you will forever regret that you didn't have it with you. That's why I constantly carry my gun. It's not only my Second Amendment right, but it is the only way to, to go if, if you have uh, the, the proper licenses and permits uh, to carry a gun, um, yeah. why wouldn't you? It, it's I I would never get caught in a situation where I have to sit and go, God, if I only had my gun, you know. I I agree, but uh, but thanks again, uh, Melissa. You look lovely, so I don't ignore oh, you the whole lovely time. Lovely, Melissa Stetton. Thanks, She's man. Like standing the fuck over. Thank you, Anthony. <laughs> have a good morning. <laughs> you too, man. Thanks. Yeah. I'm a uh, obviously strong proponent of uh, the Second Amendment right to bear arms. I thought that was the one where the soldiers had to rape you in your house. No, that's like the Third Amendment. Or the oh, I like fourth. that one. That's the one where um, no soldier shall be quartered in your home. I thought it was like that, you, no, you no, have that's, to sleep with the soldiers. That's way... <laughs> you have, there's no amendment to the Constitution <laughs> that says you have to sleep well, with the soldier. Well, there should be. There, that's, that's the whore amendment. I have to sleep with him. It's the in the Constitution. It's called the horse detention. So, all right, look, Chip. <laughs> that was awful. First Amendment. Uh, you have the right... To stand on the corner and wear short shorts. 
Second Amendment. He must sleep with a soldier. It's a soldier boarding at your house. No, they, they, they're not boning allowed. at your house. Boning. Third Amendment. No, they're not allowed to come in and just. Third Amendment. A hot soldier has to search and seize you. <laughs> How's the captain and coke, by the way? <laughs> I see your glass a little empty. Fifth Amendment. Freedom of speech. No, that's the first. Oh. <laughs> and the second, by the way, protects the first. Never forget that. Right to the bear. The first would be fucked without the second. Second Amendment. Right to bear your skin. Your arms are something. Just look, she's she's Second Amendment girl. She's right to touch. She's bare arms or something. Well, whatever it is, it's a kind of... Eighth it. Amendment. Right to wear... Tube tops. Could you get me a <laughs> um, a fresh beer? Maybe. Thanks. Wow. Shut up. Thank you, Melissa Stetton. I don't know why I have the news graphic going behind me. I should go back to uh, cable TV. What is that? Two? Yeah. Oh, it's on. Oh, is this one of these cake shows? Oh no, it's prison. <laughs> I have not. I thought it was a cake show, and then the guys behind bars. Uh, I hate those fucking cake shows, by the way, because it's gotten to the point where they're not cakes anymore. If you're gonna bake a fucking cake, and this might sound silly and unimportant, but it's advertised enough on TV where enough people have seen this. If you're gonna make a cake, it should never involve plywood and hardware and hinges. I saw an ad for the one where they were making a cow. It's like, it's going to be the best cake ever. And they, they like take a wooden frame with a hatch door on the back and plywood and they smear like icing on it and they put this plastic shit on it to, to, for the brown spots on the cow. It's like, you can't eat that. A cake, you should be able to cut through the whole thing with a knife. And if you can't, you lose the fucking cake contest. I hate the cake shows. Hate them. I don't know what this is, though. This is prison shit. This is hardcore. Oh, boy, the showers. This is something I never, ever want to have to take part in. Look at this shit. How awful is prison? God, I never want to fucking be there. That just looks... Mm. My mommy always petrified me as a kid, too, growing up. Uh, she would tell me, if you get in trouble with drugs or anything at school, because she didn't want to educate me and be like, here, Anthony, sit down. Taking drugs are bad, and here's why. She, you know, single, pretty much a single mom. My dad boogied out to California pretty early in our lives. So she had to raise us with the, you know, the quick uh, education method. And she was like, if you ever get in jail, I'm not bailing you out. You're going to sit there and rot. And that was enough. Like, it might seem simple, but that was enough to keep me from fucking up enough where I went to jail. I did some shit, but um, I probably just would have gotten a ticket or maybe an overnight or something like that. Never selling drugs or anything to the point where I would have ended up uh, doing any uh, what they call hard time. Hard time never fuss. Uh, so I guess it, wor it worked for me, but I was a pussy crybaby, to tell you the truth, so everything scared me. What'd you do to the head of the beer? Did you fuck with it? Did you spit in this? No. I don't know how to pour beer. I was never a bartender. It's, fucking, it's a Bill Paxton line. Don't worry about it. Did you spit in this? Extreme! Weird science. Weird science. Where's brother gives him the thing? Yeah, you spit in this? Bill Paxton, what'd you do? Oh, we're really fucked now. We're really screwed. We love Bill Paxton, by the finger way. Finger of God. And he's not the one that ever says finger of God, which no, is um, but the oddest uh, thing. Let's take uh, line two. Extreme phone call. Extreme. You're the extreme. Oh, my God. We went to F2. What happened? How many lines do you have? What happens uh, after um, F3? Or F4. Is there an F5? Call. Is there a phone line five? 
call of God. It's the call of God. It's the call of God. They all freaked out over the finger of God. Hi, friend. I'm sorry. What, what, what's your name? Where are you from? I'm Brandon from Utah. From Utah. Did you go see Jimmy? Are you Mormon? No, I'm, no, I'm not Mormon. No, I'm down in southern Utah. Oh, southern Utah. I just figure a state. It's like when you think of a state, it's like somebody could live like on the Mexican border of Texas and there, someone talks about something in the panhandle and you go, hey, were you there? And meanwhile, it's like as far away as some countries in Europe. Now, I moved down. I'm actually from Vegas. I moved out here. Uh, the class three laws are a little bit lighter here. so. Oh, yeah. You know something? I'm falling in love with Texas, motherfucker. I, it, the second I don't have any New York obligations left, I seriously think I'm going to Texas. Dude, I wanted to ask you, man, like, the, the gun laws and shit, like, in New York and all these California and stuff, yeah. I, I don't get it, man. I mean, even Nevada, down in southern Nevada, like, North Las Vegas and stuff, they're really strict about guns, but... Yeah, they, they're, they're crazy. They make no sense whatsoever. It's been proven that when you arm a, uh, a population uh, legally, uh, the crime rate goes down. <laughs> and when you put stricter gun control on cities, the crime rate is higher. It, well, it's my, been proven. It's not, yeah, it's not this um, Old West mentality that there's gunfights in the street between legal gun owners. When you go through all the hoops and legally own a gun, now occasionally there's going to be a nut that gets his hands on a gun that, that uses it uh, to kill innocent people. Uh, it's the same thing with a car, with a knife, with a pencil sharpener, with anything else. It's a tool that people could use to, to inflict damage and hurt. But for the most part, legal gun owners are amongst the most responsible people. It's proven. <laughs> Dude, like, that's what I was talking about, like, North Las Vegas. You can go into Vegas itself in the metropolitan city of Vegas, mm. and you can carry or whatever, but you go into North Las Vegas, they have city, city ordinances, but the crime yeah. in North Las Vegas is way higher than it is in Vegas. Well, that's exactly what happens in New York. Now, in New York State, it's relatively easy. It takes about six months, and you got to fill out some paperwork. you got to list every infraction you've ever had, even a ticket on your license, um, uh, how it was disposed of. So if you have an uninspected ticket from 10 years ago, you literally have to look it up, get the docket number, the ticket number, how it was disposed of, and write it down on your application. Once you do all this shit, it takes six months, and they will usually issue you a license. It's a target license, which means you can transport your weapon to and from your house and the target range. Uh, there are some ways around this. A lot of companies in New York have 24-hour target ranges. You join their club, and if you're ever stopped with a, a weapon, you just say you're coming to or from the range, and uh, it's 24-hour range, so you're good. Uh, New York City, another story. You're not allowed to own a gun in New York City. Yeah, that's the way it is. You can have a New York State license. You cannot take your, your pistol into New York City um, unless you go through even more hoops than are ever imaginable. They turn down so many people. I, Knockwood, were one of the lucky few able to get my New York City uh, unrestricted concealed carry pistol permit. Well, Nevada's stupid, too. They're lax on their laws, but... Every semi-automatic pistol you have, you have to qualify with it. So, like, you got to qualify like, with it. Yeah, so I have like nine semi-automatic pistols, and and then on my permit, and each one of them is serial, you know, by the serial number, and then but revolvers you can just qualify with one, so you can carry whatever kind of revolver. But they they hate pistols. they hate capacity. The government <laughs> hates capacity, uh, and I, 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 nah, I just don't get it. it. It's infuriating. The gun laws in this country, the way, the way it's set up, that it's state by state, there should be a federal licensing where you are licensed to carry a firearm, and it's that way in every state. Uh, if they want you to jump through hoops, not be a felon, whatever it is, uh, to 
to a point, I'm willing to even accept that. Uh, it should be like Arizona. They just passed, what, a couple, maybe a year ago, where if you're an Arizona resident, you can, can, you can legally conceal your gun at any time. That's yeah, like in Arizona. Right. Yeah, I, and there are some reciprocal laws that give you the right to carry in other states. Like, I, I have a Pennsylvania uh, concealed carry license also. And it gives me the ability to carry in about maybe 20 other states. Right. Not Jersey. So <laughs> I live in New York. So I could drive uh, anywhere else. But, but I'm, I'm kind of landlocked with stupid New Jersey. Yeah, yeah. Which, if I want to drive through Jersey, get this. I got to take my gun. I got to lock it in a box and put it in my trunk or some reasonable facsimile thereof if I have an SUV. The ammo has to be in another locked box in a separate location from the weapon as I drive through the state. And then I'm not allowed to stop for anything but reasonable shit like pissing, uh, grabbing something to eat, and then continuing uh, your journey. This to me is ludicrous. I have the gun. Ludicrous. What does it matter? The rapper? You're ludicrous, motherfucker. What does it matter if I have the gun in a locked box and the ammo in a locked box? If I want to rob a bank in Jersey, all I got to do is unlock the box, load it up, and run into a bank. If someone pisses me off, all I got to do is unlock the box, load the gun, and shoot the motherfucker. Yeah. It's not... It's fucking the law-abiding citizens that wouldn't do anything anyway. Yeah. Uh, Dude... It, it makes no sense. The uh, you'll, I just got a new scar, uh, sixteen, and uh, you got a scar? Yeah, I just submitted my my uh, form four paperwork. Um, I'm, I'm gonna ask wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Full auto? No, no, no. It's it's the same amount of. Metal. All right, the semi. Because I can't even find one of those. I need. I want one of those. No, I, I just I just bought it a couple of months ago. Hey, you um, fuck! I've been looking for one. It's hard to I, find in New York. Yeah, I just got my sheriff's, uh, so you, when you get a class three permit for each, like, you know, suppressor or short barreled rifle or anything like yeah. that. Yeah. And I just got my papers back from the sheriff. Well, you know what? They, the, the, they uh, don't even give those in New York. So. Like, I wanted a, a short barrel uh, rifle um, for New York. Can't get it. This, by the way, is the Civi, the Civi version of the MP5. So right, it's, right. it's semi-automatic. Um, which I, I don't mind. I don't want a full automatic. I don't care if it's full auto or anything. But this is on my pistol license. This should be, and if I put a grip on the front, turns into an AOW. Or I put a stock, folding stock on the back, it becomes illegal because well, it is what, then what? a short barreled rifle. Now, what the fuck is the difference between this? And having a short stock and this. Stop it. They're making rules that make no fucking sense whatsoever. Look who's on the TV. Uh, I can tell you something about oh, that. Uh, your little MP5. Um, when, yeah. when you put a forward grip on it, it turns it into what's called an AOW, which is all other weapons. I used to yep. look at center mass firearms in Vegas, and... Uh, we had one of our customers get popped. He actually brought it to the range, and we didn't even inspect it or anything. Oof. He went in, shot it, and off-duty cop was um, coming in to use our facility, and uh, he no and the guy carried it out to his car, and he noticed it had a forward grip. He asked for his papers, didn't have them, and he was arrested. Can you believe that a forward grip, if I put, I have this gun right here. I got the plastic fucking wrap on the front, on the muzzle. And it's got the little tab, which is legal. Hit there. Put your fucking hand in there. Nice red dot sight. Love this fucking thing. It's hilarious to shoot. Fucking 30 rounds of 9 millimeter go off in seconds. It's hilarious. But um, if I put a grip on the front where I could do this, all of a sudden I'm in violation of firearms laws. It, right. How, how is this... Or this, it makes it, and then they go like, well, he had an assault weapon. Really? Really? Is that what I had? 
it, they make these laws so the politicians seem like they're doing something. Meanwhile, it does nothing in reality for what's uh, going on with guns to make it safer, to get them out of the hands of, of criminals. Uh, it, it, it's all semantics and um, aesthetics. It has nothing to do with the reality of a gun. A, a, an assault rifle, an illegal assault rifle, is no different than grandpa's hunting rifle. It just looks cool. There's a law against guns looking cool. You want a flash suppressor on the front? Nope. You can't do that if you got a grip on it. You can't do that if you got this. They give you a few things, but not all of them. Meanwhile, it has nothing to do. Assault weapons, by the way, are used in such a small um, amount of the crimes, gun crimes that are committed uh, in this country. But they, they, they've made people afraid of the word assault weapon. It's he's just like right. I understand, Anthony. You're boring me. No, I get it. I get it. I I ramble on. What do you want from me, my friend? <laughs> no, this is this is a typical conversation for. No, I know. <laughs> I I've know. said it a thousand hey, times. Hey, thanks for taking my call, man. All right, Bye. take it easy. Anyway, Jimmy's on, Jesus so let's see what the fuck Christ. that's. Let's see what the fuck this is about. What's this? Now, like clothing and the indoors. Where'd you find So, this? unless a stegosaurus is licking your twat, pick up a razor, you chimp. It's getting caught in my teeth. <laughs> what the hell is that fucking transition? Has that, that been the and transition? A lot of times women don't night? get it. They always it? say things like, I don't want to shave at all. It makes me look 12. It's like, yes! It's like a wedding video. <laughs> Jesus. Change that shit. Let's go to this one. You see, I like things on women that sometimes you don't even like on yourselves. I find oh, odd things one. sexy. Like, I like big, dark areolas. I love that. The one that starts at the nipple and ends around the third rib. Is Jimmy going to sue you, me? You should look like you're wearing Jimmy's a Jimmy's going to sue me for cap. playing his shit on my show. No, this and is I a... like a shaved pussy because I like to see it. I love the Did way you just of find the vagina where, looks what, just what channel fucking is it on? bare and naked HBO? and fucking massive. Fucking I like Jimmy a big pussy. On HBO. How a stack of luncheon meat. I like luncheon meat. <laughs> luncheon. A luncheon gargoyle. Meat. A fucking gargoyle. After we fuck, I want to throw your cunt on top of a library. <laughs> <laughs> hey, fucking fucking big great. meaty pussy. When you're wearing white panties, it should look like Freddy Krueger coming through the wall. <laughs> <laughs> Dangling long labia, a pussy that resembles a poorly packed suitcase. <laughs> and I know a lot of girls are going, that's disgusting. I'm not talking to you. <laughs> so take your thin pussy and fucking beat it. Beat it. Take that little guppy mouth you call a cunt and hit the brick, sister. <laughs> I like a big, fat, juicy vagina, and I like a big clit. I want a clit you can see through snow pants. Snow pants. <laughs> <laughs> big, giant lips and a fat clit. It should look like a basset hound wearing a miner's helmet. <laughs> He's out of his fucking mind. Uh. <laughs> Retarded. I want your pussy to look retarded. <laughs> it should have Down syndrome. When your panties come aside, it should just flop out. <laughs> <laughs> My girlfriend has a great pussy. Her vagina fucking rules. It's of the smaller variety. But it's wet. I've never felt a wetter pussy than my girlfriend. God love her little soul. Uh, the first time I noticed, uh, we, were, uh, we were in the car, and, um, <laughs> and I felt it through her jeans. And I pulled away, and I get like that, like, you know that sexy slime you get? Like, it feels sexy like somebody went, slime. like that sexy. Oh and obviously, this is not the sexiest way to put it, but I'm like, wow, you get wet. <laughs> and you're a lefty. <laughs> but I'm like, wow, you get wet. And she's like, yeah, I've always been that way. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. For a second, I thought it was me. But no, apparently, it's anybody with a hand or a Pepsi. <laughs> oh, that Jimmy. 
That's fine, I'm running. Jimmy rules. You ever get uh, a squirter? Anybody ever get a squirter? A squirter, Jimmy, a squirter. A few. Squirters. <laughs> that was a fucking line. Uh, we'll take another phone call, and then uh, I think we'll wrap up for tonight. It's yeah. only Friday. I think we'll do another one, though, you know? What do you think? This has been two hours and six minutes. I think we're good. I feel like around the two-hour mark is like Two hours is like a good place to... We'll just take another phone call, though. Hey, live from the compound. Who's that? Yes, I want to hire Anthony as the, my attorney. Oh, what do you need uh, done, sir? It's uh, Anthony my, my Esquire. Attorney. I want to hear what he has to say again about how to... Uh, I don't want to have kids. Uh, I don't understand your line of questioning. That wasn't a sentence, sir. No, that was no. a train of thought. Yes, very I good. I don't want a lawyer. I need a, a train kid. Of I don't want a sandwich. Oh, is this the button that was... Uh, oh, say, uh, that was, that I was the wrong button, Anthony. A lot of times I just... I'll You're drop, always hitting the wrong button. I'll drop I'll a call you. in a second, motherfucker. Let's see. Hi, live for the compound. Who's that? Yeah, I was just, I was just wondering... Is yeah. like, like the the fact that all these gun laws they don't even make any sense. Is, is it more like taxation and and revenue than anything? Is that is that what the common denominator is in all this? Nah, I think tax is a total different thing. Obviously. Well, I think it's um, the uh, it's, uh, state versus the taxes, and then Roe versus Wade had everything to do with this because abortions, because people are giving abortions, and they're like, I mean, we want our firearms. I'd ra- you're right. I'd rather shoot a bitch in the fucking right. gut uh, than get an abortion. And then, like, Good the, 20, the 26th Amendment came along that was I like, think- hot bitches have to have abortions so they stay hot. I, want, I need a copy of your constitution because it's not like the one I know. <laughs> That's, um, Just Google it. Google it. Google it. Constitution. No, uh, sir. Actually, the um, <laughs> I think I think the tax thing, the gun thing, it all works its way into that. The government is uh, infringing on uh, our every right. Uh, I, as I see it, uh, there's no more representation of without the, taxation or that or the uh, representation of the constituency. There's no representation of, of the people anymore. The, uh, your, your representative, your congressman, um, they, they don't represent you anymore. Not even in the slightest. When, when laws are made and, and you could look at them and go, who, who said, could you go to Washington and push for me paying a fuckload of money for nothing? Or could you go to Washington and push for me not being able to um, chop down a tree on my own land? I think they could, would word it could differently. Could you do that? Because I really don't want to... Uh, freedoms. I want. That's what fucks me up. They don't care about uh, the people anymore. They're not working for the people anymore. They're working... For the weekend. For their job. Everybody's working for the weekend. Everybody. I always hated the way the drummer like, what's a new romance? And then he went, do no, 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 no. Like they freeze framed him when he hit the cymbal. Everybody's going off the deep end. Bow, no, 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 no. Everybody. It was, it was really weird. Yeah. Mm hmm. But anyway, I don't like the big government infringing on our rights thing and the fact that they try to make you think that they're uh, representing you when, in fact, that ended, uh, I don't even know how long ago, a long ass time ago. 1776. Maybe. They're just trying to keep their gig. They're keeping their gig. So when election time rolls around, they tell their constituency what they want to hear. They vote them back in. And then all they do is cronyism and and all that other happy horse shit uh, that, uh, you know, just keeps the real man down, man. You know what I mean? Know what I mean, Jelly Bean? Yes, yes. Uh, Anyway, uh, what a fun night, right, Melissa Stetton? It was great. We had a good time, the lovely Melissa Stetton, uh, Anthony Cumia. And uh, I got to thank Joe Rogan, man. What a guy. Joe Rogan calling in, 
Had a great conversation with Joe. Um, just, uh, I, 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 I fucking, who doesn't love doing this, right? It's right in the basement. Who cares? I don't love doing this. Uh, no, I know. Anyway, uh, <laughs> it's going to be, uh, it's only Friday, so we got Saturday and Sunday. So we'll probably pop on again. And uh, until then, please, everybody. God, it's hot in here. Why don't you turn on the have air? A go- I'm going to smack <laughs> the living shit hey, out of you. That's not Is nice. there anything I can end with? Is there like a, a DDR thing that uh, I, I didn't have that I could end uh, with? I don't think so, right? Uh, no. Uh, I only played that. The phone no. thing. Wait, I got the sat no. open, the phone. We already did that. Newsroom. Quiet. I, see, that. now I need a closer. I know. You know what? I never made a closer. Here's your closer. How about I just play the opener again? No, but that's then people think the show's starting. Yeah? How about we just wave? No, I'm just going to play the opener again. That's dumb. You're dumb. You know what? What? I don't know. How about I preview DDR1, right? And then I... I, Somebody's wrote my ball smell. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh. What happened there? That was supposed to be stopped. No, stop. All right, there we go. Okay. I'm just going to, uh, I'm going to end this. I'm playing the opener. And then we're just going to stop the show. That's how we were. Uh, right. e- eventually, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put together. See, I put together these clips for the you show. I think they the for real the, thing. For, <laughs> good fellas. A goosh. I put together for, for the show. For the show. It's a bubble impression. But uh, I put together these things. But, uh, you know, it takes a while. And I haven't put them together. Uh, a lot of them. But uh, in the meantime, um, thanks for hanging out. And uh, actually, I should put DDR1 on preview, right? And then cue it. Yeah. Yeah. And um, we'll see you next time. Bye. Okay. Take it easy. Maybe that should count backwards. Motherfucker! Look, I motherfucker! Talk! Talk! You fucking fuck! I- shit hold on to your hats people this is the the big one i think <laughs> the big one hurricane irene bearing down on us that's what she said yes extreme death storm thousands thousands dead already it's a catastrophe in every sense of the word uh, i'm so glad you're with us tonight on this exclusive live from the compound hurricane uh, irene a uh, catastrophic Holy shit, panic, motherfucker coverage. Uh, We'll be continuing all through, I don't know how long, about two hours, maybe an hour and a half. I think Uh, you're overreacting a little. And then what, what, am I? Am I? Who are you, Mayor 
Quimby. Bloomberg. Mayor Bloomberg actually said people are going to die if they don't leave New York City. He was freaking out. Which can only mean this will be a complete bust. Oh, of course. <laughs> uh, so you know what you do in the meantime? You grab yourself a drink, right? And you sit back and you enjoy Live from the Compound. Uh, I'm Anthony Cumia, of course, joined by the lovely Melissa Stetton Esquire. There's a bug in my fucking... We've gotten fruit flies uh, since the last party. I thought I got rid of them all, oh, but there's no. still a straggler to it. Every so often you go to drink your beer and, and you get a little, uh, little fruit fly with it. And I don't know why fruit flies are acceptable to ingest in a drink. Like if you well, drink one, it's not like there was a cockroach in there and you went like, blah, blah. like if you drink one and go, oh, I think there was a fruit fly in there. You just kind of go, eh, fuck it. Who cares? I watched two fruit flies have sex yesterday. Yeah. They were in an empty beer glass. There were two glass. guys, fruit flies, get it a song. <laughs> they were like, they were humping for like, I don't know, it was like an hour. They were wow. just in the glass. That long? Like, mm. That's some crazy shit. That'd be some crazy shit. Uh, well, I'll tell you, Hurricane uh, Irene has made some, uh, made landfall, I guess. And uh, it is a weather emergency. Weather emergency all up and down the, uh, the Middle East coast and the uh, Northeast. We're just waiting here for imminent uh, destruction, death, and doom here on Long Island. Uh, if you've watched the news, a lot of people that are watching, uh, not from the area. Not from the area. But they've heard that uh, Long Island is at the... Uh, the epicenter, where the eye of the storm is going to pass over Nassau County, Long Island, which is where the compound is. Yeah. Now, I don't want you all to worry. We're safe in the bunker right now broadcasting, and we're going to keep broadcasting. Uh, and if the power goes off, I got a generator. Yep. That's right. That's, that's right. So I'll keep broadcasting until, uh, until I can't broadcast anymore. Uh, a lot of people want to know what's going on as far as uh, uh, this uh, hurricane emergency goes. Um, uh, let's uh, take a look at maybe what happened today and, and, and what's going to happen in the next couple of days. We've seen this on, on the uh, news a lot, but I want to let you know, uh, if you look today, we had a high of 84 and a low of 72. Uh, tomorrow, we are looking at, uh-oh. A low of That's when it's starting. A and high then, of uh and a low of oh. Well, it's uh-oh. And, uh, of course, Sunday, holy fuck, uh, panic bitches. Bitches. Is uh, what we're looking at. That's your official compound uh, three-day? Three-day forecast. You'll have a more elaborate uh Melissa forecast. Stetton will be uh, yeah, she'll giving... Yeah, be, she'll be in studio. Yeah, she will be in the weather center. The weather... <laughs> The weather center. Right in the middle of the storm at the OBX. Meteorologist Melissa Stetton will be in the weather center, uh, and she'll give you a little more in-depth detail on, uh, on what's going on. Um, we, we certainly would like to take your calls. And, of course, live from the compound, it's easy to call. one 962 6846 What's rumbling in the back there? What is, oh, it's the popcorn top. Oh, jeez. See, that goddamn thing. I gotta keep my popcorn here. It's very compelling, though. You watch the, you're like, oh, we're all gonna die. It's crazy. Um, oh, my God. I'm gonna choke in a minute here. My sister is in, she lives in Yosemite, and there's a wildfire, and she's being evacuated. Are they evacuating? Um. Uh, yeah? They're yeah, evacuating just, the thing? She just got a new house in Jerseydale. Which Jerseydale. Is, it's like 40 minutes west of Yosemite, and there's a fire surrounding her new house, so it might not actually exist. But this is, <laughs> but this is hurricane coverage. I'm saying the Stettons. Oh, uh, we're, and you're we're in the fuck. path. Yeah. You're in the path of catastrophe. I know. Mm. Well, like I said, we would like to uh, take your phone calls. So um, let's. Uh, I, I I guess we'll we'll start taking your calls, huh? Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> I'm choking on my popcorn. 
All right, we get it. You have a phone. <laughs> Hi, live from the compound. Holy shit, who's this? This is Alex. Hi, Alex. Alex. Alex Trebek. How you doing, Alex? Uh, where, I'm where, doing where are, fantastic. And where are you from? We have to know because uh, we got to know what's going on with uh, our callers if they're in, in harm's way. No, Los Angeles, California, just the normal harm. That's oh. There. Oh, oh, I used man. to live there. Where man do you live? Shit. Downtown. Downtown. Do you ever go to Pete's? I certainly do. Do you ever have the French fries there? I do. What's that delicious? place that had the wonderful French toast? Four Square. You ever go to Four or, Square? No, no, no. I'm sorry. Square One. Square One. You ever go to Square One? I'm not familiar. It's Good. on. Uh, You're faggot. It's like in uh, Melrose Fountain. Fountain. It's by the big Scientology. Well, this is all nice that so you can <laughs> chit chat about Los Angeles while we're uh, in the path of. Uh, uh, what I believe, I heard on the news, uh, 380 mile an hour winds will be sweeping through Long Island. Sir, what can we do for you on Live from the Compound this evening? I'm just wondering if the, uh, the hurricane is sort of the revenge of the fat people since they can actually float better. Uh, revenge of the fat people because they can float better. What do you think of that, Melissa? Because I'm really getting nothing from what? that. No, I've never been fat. So I just... Is that the... Uh, let me actually... I have a graphic for that. Oops, I, I tripped. And uh, I seem to have hung up on, no. on that gentleman. Sorry, Alex. What's he calling with? Oh. Je- Nobody cares about downtown LA. Oh. Who lives Hi. in downtown LA anyway? Live from the compound. I hope you're safe. I hope you're safe. Hi, Anthony. It's Robert Kelly. It- <laughs> <laughs> All right, look. It's Bobby. What's what? Uh, are you sick? No, I'm just fucking in my underwear, sitting at the kitchen table, trying not to smoke a cigarette. Yeah, that is Bobby. Oh, right. a tasty cigarette. Bobby, you saw, did your gig get canceled? I heard your gig got oh, canceled. Yeah. yeah, well, yeah, it got canceled. I got canceled. They they kept the gig going. Your well, life got canceled? Oh, wait, you couldn't fucking, uh, you couldn't get get to the gig? What? Nah, they shut down the highway. or You couldn't get in unless you were a fucking resident. So they kept the gate going, and what? they just had the the middler headline, and That's they took bullshit. everybody's money. Yeah, well, I hope they enjoyed the show. Jesus Christ, you let yeah, Bob Kelly be, through. There's only going to be six people there, anyways. And why are they shutting shit down? And where was it, Uncle Vinny's, right? Uncle Vinny's in Point Pleasant. It's in Point Pleasant. Where the fuck is that? It's not even near there. The it's storms fucking, on the Sunday. The stars are out. The stars are out in it's Point Friday. Pleasant. Friday. It's, I know, I know. It's it's, but they 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 evacuated Point Pleasant because it's on the beach. Yeah, but it, it, oh, I I I'm disgusted with the news and the fucking evacuations and all this shit. Now they're getting like they evacuate shit before anything even comes they close shut to down happening. The subways for well, no reason. Last time they didn't evacuate, look what happened. Uh, yeah, well. You know something? No matter how bad it gets, you're not going to see me up on the roof waiting for a Black Hawk helicopter. I'll tell you that much, Mr. Kelly. I'll tell you that <laughs> much. That, that ain't how we fucking roll here in Nassau County, my friend. We, get, we hunker down. We get our generators. We get food. We're all stocked with food. We get our guns. I got Jimmy Norton uh, called uh, earlier. He wants to pop by. I am actually one of the official evacuation stations for uh, uh, Long Island. Mm-hmm. Uh, I have gotten so many calls from people that live on the South Shore, and they're all coming to my house tomorrow. And um, I got a generator, so we're going to watch television. We're going to go in the jacuzzi. We, we're doing hurricane jacuzzi, motherfuckers. And I'm not bullshitting you. Hurricane jacuzzi tomorrow. <laughs> You're very excited. Where are you, where I know are you, you Bobby? have a button. <laughs> you have a button in your house that you push, and your house becomes an arc. And there's just two of every 18-year-old. <laughs> I bet this could float. I bet this house can oh, float. Oh, yeah, easily. We'll give it a try. No, I've, uh, I, I had to get a generator to make sure all the pumps keep going to keep all the water out uh, of the stairwells and whatnot and to keep the TV going because Jim Norton is going to lose his fucking shit if he can't watch UFC from Rio tomorrow. I uh, hope Jim Norton's yeah. stuck there for a week. <laughs> <laughs> Could you imagine Jimmy gets stuck at my house for a week? I'm on vacation. That would be a pisser. He would love it because yeah. he, he loves the snacks here. He loves he to snack that motherfucker as we, we sit so here just pretzels eating here. popcorn. Melissa Stetton, the lovely Melissa Stetton, made yeah, some me. fresh popcorn in the popcorn machine. Oh, 
Oh, wonderful. Oh, oh Jesus Christ. Bobby. Look at you. You have, a, you have the fucking, you have a, a TV studio in your house. Why do you even go to O&A? Exactly. Why do you even you show up? And that's what I said. Why should I even show up? I could roll out of bed. Come down here, fuck around, and then go up, go upstairs. I bake fucking pancakes for everybody. Yeah, make breakfast. We yeah. have guests and stuff like that. Bob Kelly's on the phone. Yeah. Joe Rogan called <laughs> last time. This is becoming the place to be, Bobby. Uh -huh. The place to be. I really wish you'd uh, you'd uh, come over. I wish I could show you what I look like right now. Wait, are you in your? You're in your underwear. I know that much. I'm in my underwear, but they're like you know old tidy whities with the elastic is. Just broken. <laughs> where the where the dryer might have burnt them one time too many. <laughs> yeah, and where where the where the you know where it's supposed to be tidy, it's not tidy. So one ball is hanging out like bubble gum. <laughs> Ew. You know what? That's not as bad when you're sitting around in your underwear as it is when you're walking in like your jeans and your ball fucking pops out of the side of the uh, loose leg elastic, and you got to try to fix it. I hate when that happens. It's so, right. Right? Well, what does it happen with you, with your vag lip? Oh, yeah. Does a vag lip ever slip out of uh, a girl's underwear? I like getting the female when point I'm of view on this, When I'm wearing body. a thong. A thong? And I'm, like, at work changing. Yeah. Because I'm a model. Of course you are. Uh, like, I'll, tr I'll try to, like, hide because, like, my thong gets, like, caught up in, like, my vagina. You can see, like, the... <laughs> what? You see, like, vag lips coming out of the side of the... <laughs> Oh, that would be hot. No wonder so many gay guys are in fashion because uh, they would have to be gay because they would just rape every girl oh, back yeah. backstage and, and at the shows. Uh, they they have to literally the girls walk back and they rip the dresses off of them yeah. and throw another dress on with nary a fucking pump of blood in their in their cock. Yeah, there's never they, any. Surprise. There's nothing <laughs> happening there because they are so gay. They were so gay. So desensitized to being naked in front of anybody. Yeah, just like, they just, uh, stare, yeah. They're like this, they rip it off, they're like, go. Yeah, go she puts ahead. her hands up and fucking the clothes come off. It's like a fucking, uh, like a pleasant rape. Mm -hmm. yeah. A pleasant rape? It's like a pleasant, cordial rape. I thought all rapes were pleasant. <laughs> are they cordial? Some of them aren't. What are, you, what are your plans, Bobby? Uh, you're, you're in the city. I'm out of here tomorrow morning. Look, I have a, you know, I have the basement apartment. I got the Laverne and Shirley. I got the up and then I got the downstairs. Right. So, and, you know, the downstairs is below, you know, street oh, level. Oh, shit, so. are you worried about flooding? Yeah, well, me me and my wife both quit smoking this week, so we've both been cunts. Oh, you like, just oh, man, that's a, a hell of a time. You picked a good time to quit smoking. You should. Uh, yeah, I know. Yeah. Uh, what what so, are you doing? Has has your base uh, not basement? Has your uh, lower floor ever flooded? Um, it flooded on one, it flooded once a little, not in flooded, but it got a little. Uh, you know, the, when the streets the sewers clog up oh, in New boy. York, oh, boy. that shit comes up through your toilet. It's just you know like what I'm saying? this, isn't it? And that, it comes up through the toilet. That's a that's a yeah. fucking yeah, so nightmare. One day I New woke York up in the City morning sewage. and it was gurgling, blah, 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 and it was just <laughs> shit. Really? Like sword shit coming through the toilet. So Bobby oh, sat no. back and fought it back with his own shit and farts. <laughs> that would be a good way to do it. You're battling with your toilet and New York City it's sewage. Like a horror movie. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, if if this if this if I'm, I'm in I'm in section B is what they're calling it. Right, section A is the bad one. <laughs> Section B like is kind of okay. foreign country. Section B for Bobby Kelly. Yeah, this is like weird. It's like, you know, if you're in a Section A, please leave. And Bloomberg did say something like you, you could die. I think it was even yeah. worse than you could die. I think it was like you're going to die or something. Yeah, he's over here. Yeah, yeah dude. It, mayor's it's uh, it's going to be fucked up because I, I have the West Side High, the, the river on the West Side Highway two blocks away. Yeah. So if that shit comes up this street... My basement's going to be fucking, um, you know, my, my bedroom's going to be underwater. Did you do anything precaution-wise, like elevate some what? stuff or get some stuff yeah. out of the downstairs, bring it upstairs? No. I, I got the not. tape. I, I, knew, I, I knew during that little bit of silence you didn't do shit. <laughs> well, you know what I just did to my wife? She went to bed crying because I just sat here telling her about... She's married to Bobby yeah, Kelly. I, well, I'm I, kidding. I, I, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> she, I sat here for 20 minutes going through the worst case scenario. Like, yeah, it just floods. 
they'll probably come up to the second floor, you know, because this is really street level and we'll lose everything. And oh, she's just looking at me like she started crying. She's like, I'm going to bed. <laughs> You gotta you gotta be a little nicer and coddle the uh the women really? that are a little uh, upset about this situation. Anthony, you know what I say? What's that? Man makes plan and God laughs. You know uh. what? Did you make did you make that up? Cause, uh, wow, I heard that in an AA meeting when I first got sober. <laughs> I thought it was. I thought it was quite ironic. Uh, not ironic. Uh, uh, profound. That's the word I was looking for. Profound. Um, it's the end of the world, dude. It's the end. Of, we had a fucking. We had a goddamn earthquake in New York. Now we have a yeah. hurricane. Voss's house burns down. It's the end of the fucking world. I, I, there's one thing in there that isn't quite as catastrophic as the others, but I hear you. I had a miscarriage. <laughs> no, ew. <laughs> We had one too. Actually, if if there was a, a possibility of either a child or a miscarriage, I would welcome that miscarriage. Oh, would I welcome it? But uh, no, the <laughs> Melissa, the lovely Melissa Stetton has not uh, been impregnated with uh, my seed. That's for sure. Thank, well, what, what are you doing? Do you wear a rubber all the time? No, you're just <laughs> sterile because you're. She, she goes, you're old. It's impossible. I could fucking knock up a bitch in a second. Right. My, no, sper can't. my spermatozoa swims uh, like, I don't think like so. Mark Spitz. No, no. You me be, going back to the 70s. Have to a, she'd have to be addicted to cough syrup for your sperm to work. <laughs> Come on. Those things are great. I'd have to fuck her you, doing a handstand <laughs> just so gravity Listen helps me, out. <laughs> I found out that uh, uh, cough syrup, if you're having a hard time having a baby, cough syrup loosens the... F Vaginal mucus. Really? What? Really? I swear to God. Interesting. It loosens the vaginal mucus so your sperm can get to the egg quicker. That ah. that so sounds like like an urban legend. I swear to God, Google it. Eh. Fucking Google it. Well, if it's, on, if it's on the internet, then it's got to be true. So I'll Google it. Put it, it on that fucking <laughs> screen behind you. Yeah, <laughs> it's a, I'll Google. That's the Weather Channel back there because uh, we're in the midst of an extreme death storm. Uh, it really is. It's quite amazing what's going on here today. Uh, let me put the number back up just in case. Oh, no, actually, the phone lines are ringing like crazy. But uh, Bobby's on the phone. Bobby Kelly. Oh, there's my holy wow. fuck. <laughs> there's, oh, oh the, uh, let me go through some hurricane that's alerts now I that I, the I have it up there. <laughs> oh, that's okay. Well, you do the weather. Yeah, you want to do that later? Okay, we'll do it later. I'll pop it up later. Fuck You're it. You're ruining everything. No, I'm not ruining anything. I'm the best at this. There we go. Extreme death storm. Extreme I'll leave that death storm. I'll leave extreme death storm up. Thousands dead, <laughs> by the way. Dead. Thousands dead already, and uh, and this counting many missing. That's funny. Uh, if you know thousands what? Thousands do die from this. This is going to be fucking hilarious. But, <laughs> when we look back on yeah, it. Yeah, the funny thing will be if thousands die. The the thing is, if you look at something with a set and two people in front of microphones and a graphic, it really looks true. Like extreme death storm. Thousands dead. I'm just like the news. Why can't this be true? Look, thousands dead. I'm saying it. Go fuck yourself. That's Why can't it be true? Because you're drunk, eating popcorn with a fucking 19-year-old next to you. Hey! That's why. I'm 20. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I apologize. And you know what? I take offense to that. I'm not even near drunk. This is probably my second beer of the night. Sounds like your fourth. It's only my... Is it four? I always split them in half. One for each lobe of my liver. <laughs> I, <laughs> I really haven't been drinking that much this evening. No, no. But I'm hoping to make a big comeback. Well, you slept till 6 p.m. Yeah, I did. I, I, I got home. I fucking, I went upstairs. Now, uh, the lovely Melissa Stetton was still in bed. Yep. And uh, I opened the door to the master, the luxurious master bedroom here at the compound. And uh, Melissa Stetton is just sprawled on the bed, uh, covered with just a little bit of a blanket. And I lay down on the bed and lay my head on top of her and uh, promptly fall right the fuck to sleep. With your gun on. I had everything <laughs> I have on, my hat, my boots, my gun was still on my hip, I, I, and I woke up at six o'clock. You know your life is. Yeah. Your life. Your life is meatballs. <laughs> you're, you're Bill Murray in meatballs I, every day. Yeah, I swear. You, you're, you're right. Uh, it, it was. I woke up at six o'clock. Rolled over. My gun is still in my holster. I got like a fucking, I got like a, a notch in my side from laying on it. My, my boots are still on. 
I was fully clothed. My hat did come off at, at one point, but that was about it. Uh, yeah, one of these days, I'm just going to nail myself in the foot with a bullet from rolling over while I'm sleeping with my gun on. Not, you not very. You should have easy. camp. You should get a sign that says Ant Camp and Ant put it camp. in front of your house. It is. It's pretty much uh, the compound. I, uh, I got a generator, though, Bobby. I'm very excited about that. Uh, now I hope the power goes out <laughs> so I can be the only one in the neighborhood with the lights on and just watch as the zombie, the zombie Jews, my neighbors, the zombie Jews wander over to my house for things. Can I put my matzo ball soup in your refrigerator? Hey, things are going to go bad. My kugel is going bad. <laughs> Hey. They'll want to use uh, my power, and I'll say, no, leave. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to stand by my front door with a shotgun. And your Nazi hat on. That's how, but that's how the Jews loot. They come by and go, may I please have something cold? <laughs> and, and you give it to them because, you know, they're not really fucking wilding or flash mobbing. <laughs> Because he's your lawyer. They flash mob and then all spin dreidels. It's very innocent and cute. They all put their yarmulkes on at the same time, take them off, do a little hat act with it. Ha cha cha cha. Yeah. I, so, Lauren's coming over now. He just texted me, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, did he text you? Yeah, yeah he texted me. He, oh, cool. I just, I just got up from fucking. Packing. I'm leaving tomorrow morning. I'm getting the fuck out of the city tomorrow. Morning. I wish I'm you fine. were hanging, man, because uh, you know this is going to be one of those uh, one of those weekends, man. It's uh, I, I got so many people coming over the house. Uh, they're panicked, and the fucked up thing, pets. I don't. You know me with fucking animals in my What's house. Wrong with pets? And I got fucking people. They got to evacuate, so they're bringing their pets, pet. kids. Like I got this fucking place is literally going to be a shelter. And the fucked up thing is. This, oh. my place is directly in line with the eye of the hurricane. Like, the way they drew the fucking line, it goes directly over my house. It's, uh, but this is oh. where everybody's coming to, um, for shelter. That's great. And Norton's going to eat all the food the first night. <laughs> Norton's that guy that, like, you have to, like, restrain or kill because he's ruining everyone's chance at living because he eats <laughs> all the food on the first day. <laughs> he's gonna, I'll look inside and go, we had five chickens in the, in the fridge. What happened? They'll be hiding, like, in a I, suitcase. I, Keith the cop was yelling at me earlier. He came over here going, so what are you doing? I go, I'm fucking hanging out. He goes, uh, why, aren't, why aren't you getting coolers packed with ice already? So if the power goes out, you already have things of ice? I'm like, I don't He goes, is your pool heater on? I go, yeah. He goes, oh, great. So that way you run out of fucking propane so we can't cook on the, uh, on the fucking stove or the grill outside. I was like, calm down. It's an electric heater. And, 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 and you're supposed to bring the ice over, motherfucker. <laughs> and uh, I have a go bag. Which, by the way, I, I tweeted, I have a go bag, which ni I realized, people go, you have your go bag, Anthony? I go, yeah. They go, uh, well, what's in it? And then I realized 90% of the stuff in my go bag is to kill people with. Not really for survival. <laughs> See, my whole goal isn't for minor emergencies. It's for zombie invasions or race riots. <laughs> so I figured I could just kill whatever, you know, I need. I'll just take from people I, I kill. Because by that point, it'll just be crazy. Mm -hmm. yeah, race riots. What are you going to get? Newports? Well, you know what? I would take up smoking. <laughs> I, would, <laughs> I will absolutely go back to smoking if there are race riots. That's a guarantee. Yeah, if, 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 you kill, if you kill people in a race riot and you take, you're going to get a Metro card and fucking and, and Newports. That's some, about it. And some Fago. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe some cocoa butter sticks. <laughs> Oh, shit. Uh, All right, listen. Oh, I got to go. I got to cool. go take a shit. I uh, hear you. Well, God bless. I will be tuning in all night. Thank uh, you, to Bobby. Make sure that, uh, and I can't wait. I hope this is a mega storm. I do, too. And that your place really becomes a shelter and that people have to stay there for like... Like like the fucking Superdome and <laughs> fucking they're just, they're just shitting on my shitting floor. on your couch. <laughs> they're and shitting just on my killing floor. each other. <laughs> the water really... stops and they can't oh. flush. Just piles oh. of shit all over the place. Oh, I can't sad. wait. I hope they just shit everywhere. Dog shit and Norton shit and <laughs> uh. shit and blood and AIDS. 
<laughs> and I hope it all fucking AIDS. comes. You have to just burn it down. <laughs> and she leaves you. Melissa leaves you. I hope she goes leaves back you. to L.A. where it's fucking at least half ass. Or I die of dysentery. Yeah. <laughs> she died of the dysentery. Typhoid. She got the typhus. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, buddy, I'll talk to you later. Be all right, safe, pal. All right? Thanks, man. Take it easy, Bobby. <laughs> Bye, Melissa. Bye. Bobby, man. Who doesn't fucking love the Bobby Kelly? We had such a pisser the other day on the uh, Opie and Anthony show. That's on your XM, uh, Sirius XM satellite radio. I believe it's XM uh, two, 206. 105. What? XM and, and 105. Sirius 105? No, no, no. XM 105. XM 105. Sirius 206. X- what? XM 105, Sirius 206. Oh, right. XM 105, Sirius 206. <laughs> Holy shit. Sorry. That, that is a blasting burp. I gotta and there's a penalty to that. There's a penalty to that. You have to go grab a beer. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here you go. Clip this. Oh, I almost said it. Clip this bitch on. Here you go. Let me turn it on for you. Turn it on, 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 on. We got to get her uh, mic all ready. This is how the Storm Center works, people. It's spur of the moment. Uh, This is a very fast-moving situation, very fluid situation. So uh, we're not quite sure what's going to happen. So things, uh, they progress very quickly here in uh, in the Storm Center here at the compound. Um, All I know is I still don't have a beer. Oh, you're clipping your mic on. Uh, I'll take another call then. Hi, live from the compound, extreme death storm of the century. Who's this? Holy shit, we're all going to die, Anthony. Yes! <laughs> I'm Jim. What's up? Jim, what's going on, man? Where are you from first? I like knowing where everyone's from during these situations so I could uh, uh, maybe pray for you. Who is this? Oh, where are you from? I'm, I'm, yeah, I need it, man. I'm in New Jersey. Like I said, we're all going to die. Jersey. Uh, now, what part of Jersey? Are you coastal New Jersey where oh, imminent central, death baby. is uh, ready to sweep over you, take <laughs> your children, animals, you, your house, and uh, sweep them out to sea? No, oh, most likely. I'm terrified. Yeah, huh? Did you do any? Did you make any preparations? Did you tape up your windows? I did, I did not. I, I got some high life. That's my preparation. Ah, little Miller high life. Yeah, See, yeah, yeah. You know what? When you're drinking a little bit, uh, the situation doesn't seem as dire, does it? No, not no. really. No, it doesn't. No. Man. So uh, uh, so you're just hanging out waiting. Uh, any any uh, bands of precipitation hitting you yet? Not yet. Nothing I, yet, see? But they're making a big to-do about it. I'm well, going to have to check it some is, of these. Because weather. the earthquake didn't do anything, so the news is just masturbating over the idea of there being another weather emergency. Exactly. They, oh, uh, you know, what, what, what is, uh, have, you, have you been keeping tabs on the storm? What has it done so far? Do you know? <laughs> Rained. A lot, a, a lot of rain, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's about it. I'm going to try to get someone on the phone that, uh, that is uh, maybe down there in uh, the Carolinas. Uh, or, and, and knows what's going on with uh, the situation right now. Okay, my friend? Okay. Thank you for calling. Be safe. Be okay, safe. I'm Even though it's an you, impossibility, buddy. we're all doomed and everybody's going to die. Thank you, sir. Everyone's dead on the East Coast. It's just going to sweep. It's like a, uh, everyone loves a disaster movie, right? You watch movies like Independence Day and uh, 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 the other one with the fucking, uh, uh, imp- uh, you know, uh, uh, meteor ones, floods. That one where uh, the earth froze, 2012. And everyone loves it. They watch and go, holy shit, whoa, whoa. Thank you, dear. They go, oh, my God, that's crazy. And then when anything happens that's even remotely like that, like a storm, they freak out. Oh, mm. I'm not saying anything. I have, to, uh, I have to make a couple of adjustments for uh, the broadcast. Let me, um, mm-hmm. oh, you're on three. There we go. Now I got to take off that and go to, are you camera three? Yeah, I guess so. Hold, hold, hold the phone. Let me preview three. There you are. Wow, that's fucked up. What happened? Because you're, you're actually on the weather channel. If there's, and there's no one there, so it looks like you're on the weather channel. I swear. Check check it out. Let me let me let me take it. There, look. You're you're <laughs> There you go. Hey, you're hosting the Weather Channel. Uh you see there's Providence, Rhode Island is to your it's to your right. To your to your right. There's Long Island. Point to it. It's to your right. No, further. 
for, you suck as a weather girl. Uh, okay, hold on, hold on. Let, let, me, let me go back. Oh, right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you saw it finally. Um, but we can't use that because someone's going to step into the picture and, and ruin it. It's going to be like you're you know, co-hosting. So I'll get a map up, right? I'll get a map up for you. Uh, that's got to be put in ah, ah, effects. Okay, hold on. I'm almost there. Okay, DDR2. DDR2 oh, is what we need. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Hello, hello, hello. Can you hear me? I'll, I'll pull you up. There you go. Oh, oh, hold on. Oh, boy. It's, you know what it is? Like I said, it's a situation where things happen so quickly, yeah. it's very difficult to, um, all right, give, give a check. Hey, check. Louder. Check, check. Okay, that sounds good. Oh, okay, is it fine? I think so. Should be a little louder. Hey, how's it going, everybody? Hey, there you go. Hey, hey. That's good. Hey, now you got it. Hi. All hey. right, now I got to put hey. the EXT hey. uh, over here. Now, th but the thing is, this has nothing to do with your, your, with the real weather. Like, although it does look a lot like it, just picture the L behind you as the hurricane. And you'll be fine. Well, no, there's a green wall behind you, dear. You're, um... Okay. Uh, now, ladies and gentlemen, uh, your weather with Melissa Stett. Does my hair look okay? Yeah, it's up. It's not down as it was uh, at some earlier point. Oh, I'm on. Yes, it's the same graphic as always. People, people are laughing on, on the chat. They're like, it's the same graphic. What? It's like, totally different. No. Now you got to move over a little more. This way? Yeah, keep going. No, no stop. Right there. Now you're in the Midwest because uh, the Midwest okay. doesn't matter. Now everything that you point to is going to be to your left. There you go. Now there's a lot of rain and stuff. No, no, you're going to have to look a little bit at the screen over there. Uh, the camera's making all kinds of noises. See, over there. Now you're in the ocean. There you go. Well, close enough. Anyway, let us know what's going on with the, well, the, the hurricane. Give us the latest. Um, I don't know about a hurricane. I mean, the weather looks great for the next four days. It's, this is sun. Mm -hmm. But it's not. What's... Oh, my God. What's happening with the weather. Oh, the weather. Yeah, we got to know. Uh It's a hurricane. Yeah. Category 1. Yeah. Which is winds up to 100 miles 100 <laughs> miles an hour, 35 miles an hour. <laughs> Wait a minute. You got Oh my god. Yes. Jesus Christ. Hurricane Irene. Freak out, everybody. <laughs> Time to freak out. Would you give the people All some right. fucking weather? God. I haven't seen a hurricane this bad since the 1900s Galveston. Remember oh, that? That's You were alive. Actually, uh, Melissa, yes, that, that is true. There was a, a grave hurricane in Galveston, Texas, which took many lives, but that was before we had the modern forecast techniques that we have today in satellite imagery. Oh, you mean like the dumb mayor telling everybody to like freak out and leave because they're all going to die? Yeah, just like him. What else did you uh, find out about uh, Hurricane Irene and what we can expect here in the Northeast in the next uh, day or so? Um, nothing. I thought you were. Oh, you I said, oh, you said thought, Hurricane Irene. I honestly thought you were like researching some stuff when you were on the computer earlier. Were you? What were you doing? No, I was, I was, <laughs> no, I was googling like uh, some pictures or something. <laughs> and it's not professional to drink beer when you're really supposed. I was to be googling a... my own name <laughs> with parentheses around it. What? I googled my name, then I googled my name with parentheses. So. And what does that do? I don't know, just to see what I'm. See what my internet presence is like. <laughs> okay, for real though. For realsies, I'm gonna give you the weathers. Okay, give us some weather. There's a hurricane. 
Yeah. It's named uh, Gloria. No, that was 85. Oh, okay. Holy Sorry. shit. I remember that one, though, by the way. Let me tell you something, people. I remember Hurricane Gloria in 1985. Uh, it, it, it did. Wow, you're it, old. It, it put <laughs> Long Island uh, at a standstill for just about eight days. A lot of people were out of power, a lot of down trees. Um, Lilco at the time, it's Lipa now, but it was Lilco at the time, Long Island Lighting Company. Uh, they caught a lot of shit because they had left trees growing and overhanging for so long that uh, a lot of the trees fell and, and took wires down. But now they are saying that they're prepared. Uh, they've gotten more advance notice. They're not taking this lightly. And we should see um, less power outages and hopefully uh, a lot uh, quicker response time. But uh, Gloria was in 85. Uh, Melissa, what were you doing in 1985? Uh, I am the very model of a modern major general. I've been the, the mathematical and triangulars. I was one. What is that? <laughs> what the fuck were you just doing? I don't know. <laughs> the songs are stuck in my head all day. You... I am the very model of a modern major general. I'm taking da 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 mathematical. Would, would, <laughs> would, you, would you like to give people some uh, of the advice that is going on? Oh, yes. Um, okay. Now, what I will do is I will, I will pull this up. You can then sweep your head around the corner real quick because no one will see you. Also, and the read mosquitoes it. are, like, bad. Well, because it's humid out. Because there's a hurricane. Mosquitoes yeah. come out when there's a hurricane. Yes. Yes, they do. Um, what we're going to do now uh, is give you a little advice, hurricane advice. The news always does this. Uh, Melissa, if you would come around here and uh, read this right here and let the people know. You're not on camera. Don't Number worry one. No, you're not on camera. So you could just... Go around here and read it. Well, that's not fun. Yeah, well, you got to. <laughs> Run to the store, panic. Mentioned no, before. read it. No, I got it. What? I got you, it, I got it. I, mem I memorized it. Oh, okay. <laughs> One. Buy 60 cans of corn chowder. So run to the store and buy shit would be one. But but but, but you're, you're saying corn chowder is good, 60. right? 60. What else? A lot of people buy milk and bread and I never understood that as far as um, hurricanes go no you should buy like spinach or something spinach uh, you're supposed to buy things that don't perish very easily uh, uh, but, parach but, parachutes no no perish like you know go bad I would buy a parachute <laughs> well for a hurricane that's stupid that's no stu right, no look what happens look what happens if yeah Okay, say you're in a hurricane. Uh-huh. Uh, I'm, I'm in a hurricane. Well, I'm in a hurricane. I'm in the eye of the storm. <laughs> I, 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 I almost storm. spilled on myself. Uh, so you're in a hurricane. Yeah. And then in your house floods, and then like you get whoosh, swept away, and then it's, blah, it's 2012. Everyone's freaking out. You're in a library. Everybody's getting frozen with Jake Gyllenhaal. <laughs> and then, oh, that was him. Was it him? Not about that. Was it? And then like you float away, and then you, a helicopter comes and rescues you, and you're like, well, we got to land in fucking Libya. Yeah. And then you're like, I need a parachute. And you're like, oh, I remember the time I went to Ralph's and I bought a parachute or walled bombs or what have you. That's CBS. never going to happen. Now, please continue with the list here. Uh, oh, run to the store and, and buy, buy shit. Like all, uh, the, like all the house frows in I, Long Island. I, I went, let, let, me, let me tell you something. I went to, um, uh, I, I went... <laughs> out today because I needed gasoline for the generator and I was trying to find some gas cans but there was panic all over the place everyone was panicking uh, uh, because uh, it is indeed uh, extreme death storm extreme uh, thousands dead already it's not even started and thousands are dead but uh, I went to some stores people were losing their minds in grocery stores just wailing shit into their shopping carts for what what the fuck is gonna happen that you need so much shit that the store how long are you gonna be without shit honestly they the, the electricity goes especially in my dumb neighborhood maybe some other neighborhoods where you know they don't go in very quickly to clean shit up we know about that stuff but i i mean the, the buying stuff is a it's a frenzy there were batteries scattered on the floor too like there was a frenzy trying to get batteries People need their dildos, I, I, I gather. But um, 
All right, Melissa Stetton, uh, the list uh, actually. Uh, uh, back again, bye. Number three. Bye, she, no, we're at the two. Two. Uh, move. No, two is panic. We I already we already did that. No, you said it was run to the store. All right, number one, go to the store by corn chowder. Two, panic. Panic. Just, just freak out. Cause the news makes you panic. Well, we're all probably gonna die. Yes, everyone on the East Coast is doomed and dead. We all know this. Uh, number three, panic again. All right, I'll even go for that. Yes, panic again. <laughs> number three point one. Three. Can you read a, that? A point two. Panic. <laughs> oh. Oh, number three. Yes. Mention hurricane to everybody. Mention the hurricane to everyone you know and see. At work, people you see on it's the street, at the stores the that weekend. are buying shit. You have to go like, hey, you know, how how about the uh oh how how about the uh, the hurricane, huh? Oh wow, did you see did you hear on the news? It's coming right this way. So coming, what are you doing? It's coming right for it's us. It's coming right for, for us. It's, it's already here. Hey, I want to tell, tell you about the categories oh, of hurricanes. Oh, okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. So category one hurricane yeah. is when um, it happens when it's warm and all the condensation decides to like swirl in a counterclockwise motion. But That's a one? If you're in the southern hemisphere, it's clockwise. It's fucking bananas. <laughs> They're fucking backwards down there. They are. It's like, hey, I'm in Australia. The hurricane's clockwise. Was that an Australian accent? <laughs> no. That was worse. That, that was worse than one of Jimmy's accents. Holy shit, that was terrible. Aye. Oh. Aye, nigh. It's a hard hurricane. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's better. So what happens then is um, the heat, boom, comes down, and then the condensation goes, wham. And then it's all like, oh, we're heating condensation. We're going to have a party. And then they're all like, yeah, I'm in a circle. And then they move look, over. Look, 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 <laughs> look, look, look. You've completely lost focus and lost your all right, fucking I'll, mind. All right, I'll, I'll give the, the weather forecast. For real this time. Could you please? All right, fine. People are getting very, very edgy over here. Well, it's a hurricane. Very, very uh, there was an earthquake, not a, annoyed with. They're getting very annoyed with you at this point. Really? So what I'm, yes. Now, give them the weather so we can get back to taking some calls and uh, talking about the, the hurricane. Are you going to ask me nicely? <laughs> you are Tomorrow, high of 76. No. Low of 70, ma, too? No. Saturday. Not. Oh, tomorrow, I'm sad. Sunday, the hurricane's going to hit at 6 a.m., so, like, I mean, nobody's going to notice you're going to be sleeping anyway. Yeah. And then you're going to wake up, and it's going to be sunny. And then you're going to be like... <sighs> All right, look. Look. <laughs> just just take, take the mic off okay. and sit back down. I, I'm, t I'm, tur I'm, turning, I'm turning the mic off. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was the great weather <laughs> forecast. With uh, Melissa Stepp. We didn't get any information. Yeah, I gave you information. We got no information. No information. And it's an extreme death storm. Extreme death storm. You know what that means? People are dying as we speak. It shouldn't be taken lightly. I say. Oh, my God. Things well, I want to do the fashion trends. Oh. And you made me do the weather. I, I, well, it's a weather related thing. I'd rather do the fashion trends. Yeah, I, I understand. All 2011. We're going we're gonna to do that. We'll do the fashion trends. Whatever. Hi, live from the compound. Who's this? Anthony, this is Devin. Devin, how are you? Uh, I'm frightened beyond words. I bet. Where are you, uh, where are you from? Well, uh, here, here's the thing. I was watching my local news, and they just brought up the fact that uh, uh, flooding could occur in my basement. Holy shit. I, really? Uh, no shit. It's frightening as fuck. I don't know what to do. I'm beside myself. Where, 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 
Where are you from, sir? I am from Colorado. <laughs> and you're worried of, and you're worried about the hurricane. Well, my local news just literally did a spot uh, on the 11 o'clock hour. Could it and happen here? Could, did they do a could could we get a hurricane in in Colorado? Could this affect you? What to do if you begin flooding and high winds hit your area? It you know, was, you know what? Just for that, hold on. I I got to fix this now. Now. Millions of There it is. Oh, I should I should have capitalized that. Hold on. Hold on. I'm sorry, sir. Let me cap lock that. There it is. Millions dead now. Uh because now it's affecting the the entire country. Colorado. So I am now going on record as saying millions dead from this extreme death storm we are good, staring down. Good God, if I if I had if I had silverware, I would drop it. I, I know. I've dropped so many forks, knives, and spoons today whenever the news said that the uh, hurricane was coming this way and it was a Category 2. Well, now it's a Category 1. Oh, sorry, I dropped something. I mean, a Category 1 will relocate your house fairly efficiently. Is there a Cat 5? Tinkle, tinkle, tinkle. It's Finger God. Finger fuck a god. Finger diddle a god. It's coming right for us. Coming right for us. Right, thank you, sir, in Colorado. I just hang up on people. That's how, that's how this show is. A little rude on the phones, I understand. But, uh, you know, we got things to get to and talk about. Uh, we have the Weather Channel on. Getting Dorothy out of the ground. <laughs> oh, God, Dorothy. That would be great if we had a Dorothy we could put outside and measure uh, the hurricanes. What was the uh, name of the, like, the, the rebel storm chasers? Oh, uh, I don't fucking remember. What's the name of they those? Were, they were, uh, you mean the ones with the black SUVs? What was that guy's name? The guy was the guy that was in uh, Saw. Yeah. And uh, Princess Bride or something. Or, or no, no, he was in, uh, he was in uh, oh, Robin okay. Hood Men in Tights. Somebody, I love Robin Hood Men in Tights. I think that was it. <laughs> Casey, uh, what's his name? Or Carrie, Carrie El Elwes. El El yeah, but what was the name of their, uh, their tribe? I, 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 don't, I don't know. Oh, here it is. Now, now, now we're going to fucking get somewhere. Gonna Hold on. Get out of here before the storm comes in. All right. Let's wow. get scared. Talk about a huge inconvenience to so many people. Our storm tracker, Jim Cantori, is in Battery sucks. Park in New York City. We're New York City. some dangerous what? weather conditions in that area of lower Manhattan right now. <laughs> an being... historic so mayor's so evacuation is in effect. Girl. I think History in the making in New York job. is the mayor on Friday ordering uh -oh. a mandatory evacuation. Look at this guy. Wow, look at all badass. Nice in zone yeah, yeah, look at me. Hands Shortly after hips. that, by noon on Saturday, we have By noon on Saturday. transit to to shut down the city that never sleeps the is being city that never to sleep. take a long nap. Oh, shut up! Oh, boo! Hours. Well, that was awful. Do you hear that? The, the city, city that never sleeps. Slaughtered us. Let's see if he's worried about the integrity of some of these buildings. Some of these. They should be able I'm to worried about the integrity of your house. I'm worried about the news integrity. It's gone. You know, the buildings that are very old, the pre-war buildings, are still standing 100 years later. So they obviously have. Go guy. back Quite to Europe. Of, uh, uh, He's things, to structural elements that could withstand these. Uh, yeah. This ain't your country. The, the, so last minute preparations should be, be completed okay. as we work the our way through this good, Saturday. Yeah. And as we head into the evening hours, we are wow. expecting those He's first rain buff. bands to come in. The big question is, yeah. will we line up that high tide? Which will be five feet above mean tide. Oh shit! With a storm surge, will we line up with that? Feet. That will make all the difference in the world. In the world, in how much of Lower Manhattan? Shut up! Will be sitting underwater. Come Sunday. Uh, Reporting from the Lower Manhattan. What all of Manhattan what will be not. Feet. And how Back much of Lower Manhattan will be Manhattan sitting underwater? Because of the sporting events, the uh, Jets Giants preseason game actually postponed now till Monday evening. Oh, oh, oh bomb shit! I was gonna Whoa! Deal Whoa, with evacuation. They're also, the U.S. Open is sporting events on Saturday and Sunday canceled. Hopefully, to get things open on Monday. Even this the Barclays, the up. Uh, PGA First Playoff event. Yeah, well, it's a 54 hole a event. They hope. Fuck a Rooney about yeah, that. Nobody cares. Hi, live from the compound. Who's this? Hello, Anthony. Jason, call from Raleigh. What's up, man? Hey, where are you from? Raleigh, North Carolina. Raleigh. Okay. Uh, what's the news like down yeah. there? What's happening, yeah. sir? We have rain. That's it. 
You have so you're reporting rain. It's torrential drizzle. Torrential torrential drizzle. Yes. Oh my god, I gotta see? Now I gotta put that up. Oh my god. <laughs> torrential drizzle is coming down. Uh now how far are you from uh the outer banks and the area that uh, should be impacted uh I'm about three hours from Mobile. Okay. All three right, hours so. inland or like north or south? Well, that would be inland. Raleigh. I'm saying, but he could be north. Well, Raleigh I'm in the west. Isn't. Raleigh's the west. Raleigh's west, west was, um, you should west know that. I didn't know that he said rally. He, rally? <laughs> rally. <laughs> really? I thought really? You Raleigh? <laughs> really? Get it? I said like really Raleigh. And uh, so you're getting drizzle. And yes, what, were they, what, were they, what were they saying was going to happen before it just started drizzling. Didn't you watch my weather forecast? Ugh. Yes, your weather forecast was epic. Very yes. informational. <laughs> oh, They're saying here oh, in Raleigh boy. we're going to have spotty power outages and tree downage. I hate spotty power outages. They're the worst. I hate when you get spotting. <laughs> Spotting. That happened with my miscarriage last week. <laughs> I'm just kidding. That didn't happen. Miscarriage. I'm just joking about that, everybody. Uh, <laughs> um, so, so, so you're not getting anything less than they told you, are you? We should be getting something. I don't know. Tomorrow morning, we'll know better. Oh. What? Uh, but now, now, since you're you're down there, I mean, aren't you getting news from the area that the hurricane is is actually hitting? What are they saying? Yes. Your local news. Atlantic, Atlantic um, Beach is getting a um, lot of wind and waves. A lot of wind and waves. Indeed. You know what? <laughs> if you punch up on that uh, laptop, um, my, uh, 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 my, my Twitter, there was somebody that tweeted earlier. I retweeted him, and he had a camera. Thank you, sir. He, he had a camera from, from, oh, you know where that is? Yeah, but he was he he had a live cam up. I thought it was like tomorrow. Did you plug the uh Ethernet, the Cat 6 in? Yes! Hey, fuck me running. Let's take line four. Hi, where are you from? This is uh Neon Taster in uh, Manhattan. Ah, uh, Neon Taster always gets through. Hey. We love the Neon Taster. Hey, it's just working. uh just a terrible day for our nation. We're we're still reeling from this devastating earthquake. You know what? This. It's a one two punch is uh what I've been calling it. Call it a clearly three, four clearly punch. this is the end of days. Yes, the earthquake uh which I believe has weakened the foundations of a lot of the uh structures here in uh in the northeast and now the hurricane with the wind which will push these structures down. Uh, and it is the beginning of the end, uh, uh, the prophecy of 2012, perhaps, uh, starting. Um, that's what I'm seeing, and, and that's uh, what the news is telling me, and that's yeah, what I'm, I'm just, believing. Yeah, I'm just, I'm, I'm calling in with breaking news from Manhattan. I'm, uh, I'm looking out my window, and I... Oh, hold, I, hold on, hold on. I got, I got to get my breaking, breaking news, weather emergency. There it is, weather emergency. Okay, what, what's, what's happening? What's happening? We have uh, Neon Taster on the line, live from New York City. What's happening? What are you seeing, sir? Yes, Anthony. I'm I'm standing here in Manhattan. I'm looking out my window, and I can confirm that there is a person stranded. There's a, a person per stranded. He's stranded at a bus stop because there's no service. Oh, it's a Chinese delivery man. It's a and Chinese. He get back to Chinatown. A Chinese delivery man is indeed stranded. Now, did he make his delivery, or is he coming back from a delivery? Very important because this. Uh, actually lets you know how many people have been affected by this. Is it just him, or is it the people that were expecting food? Well, uh, Anthony, I can't confirm at this time, but we have unconfirmed reports that he's, in fact, done with his shift and uh -huh. is on his way back home. And on his way back home. So the delivery was made, thank God. Someone is eating tonight. Um, probably, what, maybe some uh, General Chow's chicken, uh, Mugu. Uh, the cream um, of some yum guy. And you, you did not just say that. I wish I had a dump button. <laughs> anyway, uh, I got to go. I just wanted to say happy birthday, Fletcher's mom. Happy birthday, Fletcher's mom. Fletcher. We're all doomed. We're all doomed. Thank Fletcher. you. Thank you, Neon yeah. Taster. Wow, that was exclusive, breaking, breaking news from New York City uh, in this uh, death storm. Death storm. Uh, millions dead That's already. That's pretty crazy. This guy's Cam. Yeah. 
Oh, oh, okay. That's what I was going for. Hold on, hold on. Let me, let me, let me pull it up. It does look uh, nuts, actually. Now, now you see, see that? Um, oh boy. What? Go to the desktop. Oh, I think I remember. Remember? You go to the desk. Do you remember? You remember the time I told you to go to the desktop? What happened? What is it again? You went. It's just squirrel and that thing. Just double click it. And then what just happened? No, that now that's it. Now I go to external. I go here. I go to Anthony's Vio. Connection is established. Now I go external up here. Boom. And we got it on the rear screen. Yeah, there it is. And then I can um, actually fade this out and go to camera three. Oh, boy. External is previewed. Oh, boy. Hold on. In three, two, one, take. I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. This is Irene live wow. from the Outer Banks. What we are seeing... Uh, if you look, very dramatic footage yeah, uh, here. I see a tree slightly moving back and forth. Uh, slightly moving back and forth. This is live footage, by the way. Live footage. Um, and as a matter of fact, I want, I want credit for this uh, feed, so I, I'm going to fade this up. Um, what we are seeing here is live footage from the Outer Banks. Uh, there is some precipitation. I do see some rain in a parking lot. It's a parking lot again. Uh, that car, by the way, in the background, any minute now is going to be flung away. into a house. Let's wait and watch. Flung into a house. Uh, the tree, did the camera freeze or did the tree just stop moving and there's no more wind? Well. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> uh, it, re it just got really calm is what happened. I think it got real calm in the Outer Banks. Oh, there it is. Uh, wow. If you could believe having to survive through that, how are people uh, dealing with the, that kind of wind and rain? Uh, it's just devastating. Shocking. Uh, my, my thoughts and prayers are going out to everybody thoughts, right now. Thoughts and prayers. Uh, in the Outer Banks, because as you can see right here, devastation is sweeping through that area. Um, I... I, I I can't I can't even look at it anymore. No, I'm, it's um, hold on. It's look at all those dead people. Oh I, God, look at that. See that? Oh, well, that is kind of crazy wind. It's very. Um, you see that wind? That's crazy. I'm getting a little choked. Oh yeah, the fucking tree is. It look at look at how this tree is just barely going back and forth. You're seeing the wind in the rain on the parking lot, but yeah. that tree should be blowing around. Yeah, that tree. That's not nothing. Look, I honestly think this whole thing is going to be a fucking wash. Oh, it's going to be a wash. stupid. And I, I'm not trying to be ironic with the word wash, but I really honestly think nothing is going to fucking happen. Uh, i got to make sure uh, I get Jimmy's um, text. I don't want to leave him outside in, in the weather, in that huge storm that's going on. Yeah, Jimmy Norden's on his way over to uh, Mikasa uh, to hang out. Um, it, it's just, look, and this is from the area... That is supposed to be getting pummeled. Is it right now? Um, can you can you punch up an I thought actual? It was Saturday. Can that you that go to weather.com um, and actually punch up a map with uh, the projected times and the cone of impact of uh, said hurricane? There it is. Okay, let's let's pull that up. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, there we are. Let me get rid of that for a minute. And um, yeah, anything? What we got? All right, what are the times saying now as far as the Outer Banks uh, goes? Outer Banks, Saturday Eve. Saturday evening. Okay, so that's tomorrow. So we're, who's getting it right now in the ass? Uh, oh, wait. No. Right now. South Carolina, Saturday a.m. But who's getting it right now? Nobody. So no it's one's kinda getting it. It's kind of in between Florida and uh, South Carolina. But they're talking about they've already evacuated Jersey. 
and yeah. Long Island. It's not supposed to be here till like Sunday Eve. And then by that this time, it's dying down. There's so going to be, let, let me tell you They're like, something. it speeds up to 100 miles per hour when it's only supposed to be like 65 there, to 70 yeah. when it gets here. We could get gusts up to, they love saying that, gusts up to 100 miles an hour. Uh, Meaning 60. Yeah, below. yeah. This is just going to be a fucking wash. Oh, I'd better lose power. I'd better lose fucking power. I didn't want to buy that generator for nothing. Let me tell you. And that guy price gouged me. I know it. But, you know, what, what the fuck are you going to do? Um, all right. Yeah, this is all, it's all baloney. It's, it's, wow, language. Uh, hi, live from the compound. Who's this, my friend? Oh, oh, see what you, you know Thanks. what? Thanks. There's another, there's another person dead. Just dead. He just got swept away by the storm. He Most- did. He did. Uh, let me fade that back up because millions plus one more Million. is dead. Uh, so hard to listen millions. to people's uh, lives just fade away like that. Hi, live from the compound. Who's this on this uh, weather this uh, exclusive? Who? Who? What? Brian. How's it going, buddy? Where are you from, man? I'm in Tennessee. Tennessee. What kind of weather are you seeing now from this hurricane? Uh, it's about 85 degrees. Uh, 85? Hmm. We're, we're doing is that great. is that uh, wind speed you I were saying, sir? Eighty-five mile an hour winds. Was that what you just said, sir? No, 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 no. Eighty-five degrees. Oh, oh. Sure. The rain is coming down at an eighty-five degree angle, <laughs> Melissa. That's <laughs> that's almost completely vertical. Um, amazing there. No. So, sir, how are you dealing with this uh, situation? Oh, I'm dealing with it all right here. But I had a question for you. I was watching. S- sir, uh, sure, sure. The- the news earlier and i saw all the fancy people evacuating and their uh, automobiles and i was just wondering if the woodfish had started looting yet ah the looting no we don't get a lot of looting here anymore i'm very disappointed with new yorkers uh we don't loot like we used to that's all i gotta say the the old blackouts of like uh 1960s 70s 80s uh there was looting going down now there's uh, pretty much a great stormtrooper police presence, and they don't dare loot because they're going to get their asses handed to them. All right. I think well, I answered your, did question. That answer right there. your question. I think I answered his question. Thank you, Tennessee. He said Tennessee. I have no idea Take where he's from. Take me to another place. Mm. Take me to another oh, place. Oh, that is great. What's uh, what's everyone drinking uh, this evening? It's a Friday night. Uh, it's it could be the last Friday uh, for the entire Northeast. The last Friday ever. We have to, uh, but you know what? We'll rebuild. I know we'll re- rebuild. Um, it doesn't matter the devastation. Manhattan. Uh, they're they're calling for Manhattan actually to be flattened, leveled completely. Good. And and we will rebuild uh, that skyline, um, bigger and better. Because we're Americans. There's too many buildings uh, in New York. You gotta uh, walk around them, and you could. You might as well just wouldn't go it be, diagonally. Wouldn't it be nice to be able to go from like the Upper East Side to the Lower West Side and be able to just go across diagonally? What would you ever need to go to the Upper West Side for? It smells like burnt synagogues. No, Upper East Side. Upper East Side. And then That's the Lower said. West Side. There you said Upper West. I used to work on the Upper East Side and a few of these uh, uh, brownstones. I had to uh, do air conditioning work. And there was a guy in there called um, Emilio. Estevez? No, no. He was this little Portuguese man named Emilio. And uh, he was the job super. And there was a stairway, a little stairway that went up five stories to the roof. And then an elevator, one of those that you got to pull the grate in front of you. And it would go down. It was very like the size of a coffin. And he was constantly going after... You never measure the... Oh, it's about the size of a coffin. A coffin. Well, that's what you felt like in the elevator. It was terrible. And, and, uh, and it was me and uh, my friend Steve Carney and my brother, Joe, uh, working on this job doing the sheet metal work and the air conditioning work. But we never liked working. So we would do a little work and then we'd try to fuck around and, 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 and drink and, and not work. But Emilio was constantly looking around the floors to see if we were working. I thought he was um, coaching the Mighty Ducks. No. So he would walk up the stairs and we'd hear him. So we'd go in the elevator and, and go down and miss him. Or we'd hear the elevator coming down and we'd run up the stairs. And we'd call it Super Emilio Brothers because we were trying to miss him with the stairs in the elevator. And that was how we survived uh, uh, working for a living. But did you get um, the fireballs? 
Like, did they spit it, shoot out of your mouth? I got the fireballs once. And uh, I had to, get, <laughs> had to get a shot. I get it. And you got it now. <laughs> oh, do I? Do I ever? Going to the doctor on Tuesday, <laughs> as a matter oh, of fact. Oh, oh, oh. Well, it's the fucking girls in their vaginas. <laughs> There's always something going on in there. <laughs> Cancer. What's No. <laughs> huh. Cancer. He always came for his yearly checkup. And then he heard the word, Cancer. <laughs> Uh, no downtime. Cancer treatment centers of Long Island. Cancer treatment center. No downtime. You ever see that commercial? It's hilarious. Ah, come on. It's the funniest <laughs> cancer commercial I've ever seen on, on television. This old guy and this Asian doctor. And the Asian doctor goes, he'd come in every year for a checkup. And then he goes, to check on your health. And then the, the guy goes, and then he heard the word. And the guy looks in the camera, the old guy, and just goes, cancer. <laughs> And then he goes, and he says uh, he got treatment that he needed with no downtime. I'm a busy guy. <laughs> I don't think anybody else thinks that's funny except for us. It's hilarious. <laughs> I laugh my ass off every time I say it. That old codger. You know, he's dead in six months. Fuck him. Fuck him in his ass. And recalls everything. Yeah, I do. You have the fucking memory of a person with a very good memory. I have very good long-term memory. Um, I have very good medium-term memory. My short-term memory, uh, I really got to think about shit. Like, oh, I just came upstairs. What the fuck was I looking you for? You have a neat brain. Yeah. One of the most amazing things ever is when we're watching television pro programs about uh, flights and crashes. Oh. And they'll be, like, describing... What's going on in the plane? They're like, the pilots were up to 760 boost pressure. And then they push the button. And you're like, oh, I know what happens. They didn't press the wah-wah button to do the hee-haw and the booby dooby and the jeebie jeebie And then the thing flashed. Then the, the program's like, and then the pilot didn't press the hoo-ha button and the heebie-jeebie and the shame. Yes. And it's exactly what you said. It blows my fucking mind that you know you how this shit works. You can absolutely figure out what happened if you know enough about, like, enough and you, things. And you you you're not a pilot. No. I did fly, though. I, uh, I did take some uh, flight lessons, but it was during a time where I was broke-ass broke. Was it? Uh, and so I couldn't follow through with it. Was it September 2001? No, it wasn't September <laughs> 2001, you asshole. <laughs> That's sacrilege. Sacrilege. No, I, uh, I, I flew in a, a Cessna 152, which is about the size. It's smaller than a Volkswagen. Is it the size of a coffin? It's, it, it is like the size <laughs> of a coffin. You are like literally closer, closer in the front than we are right now. You're, like, you're yeah. directly like uh, this. You shouldn't touch me. And uh, <laughs> You shouldn't touch me, not on camera. Could be used uh, in a court of law. Right. Uh, a Cessna 152, very small. John but, Cessna. But they fly themselves. They're, they're really cool to fly. Then why do they need a pilot? Well, they don't land and take off themselves. You got to do that yourself. Well, then you said they fly themselves. That's incorrect. I said they fly themselves. You trim it out. You trim that plane out. And that fucking thing will fly I like a bangs motherfucker. Out. Not trimming your bangs. You're such a fucking girl. <laughs> Thank God. Or I'd be a homosexual. Which there's nothing wrong with that. But I am not one of them. I do not enjoy uh, 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 the car. Someone said my bangs are terrible, and I'm. What's, I already. Who said it. that? I who some, said that? Crack fire beats. I bought. It's a guy. I banned this person, and then he came back with another username. It's a guy. Just to bash who me. Cares. Let him bash you. He's sitting no. there fucking. He's sitting there going. I'm insecure. Like jacking off. He's like, yeah, let me get a lab to the compound so I can jack off to to me. By the way, not you. Oh me. To me. No, no, to me. Of course he's jacking off to me. Uh, hey, uh, did, are you are you gone? We, right here, right? Oh, there you hey, are. Who, who, yeah, live from the compound. Who is this, and where do you hail is, from, sir? Uh, sir, this is uh, Bobby Digital OA on Twitter, and uh, I hail from Iowa. Yeah, Iowa. It's, it's now, that's the, uh, right in the heart of the storm, by the way, it's, Iowa. It's the, the RZA. Well, I want to be clear. Yes. It's the RZA. Iowa. This is Iowa, yes. Um, it is drizzling here. It's drizzling in Iowa? Yeah. Boy, this well, thing very, has I'm, just tendrils. It has t well, tentacles that are just gripping out the whole country now. Sir, are you, in the, are you in the Wu-Tang Clan? Mm. Um, well, I do know um, the Rasa from the Wu-Tang Clan. What I'm upset by... You said your name is Bobby that... Digital. You're, <laughs> you're not the RZA. It's yes, the RZA, um, the Jizza, the owner, the bastard. 
Oh, baby, I like a roll. There you go. Now it's tens of millions. Tens of millions of dead. Uh, <laughs> yes, sir? Sorry, sorry, sir. The entire Mr. Kamiya, for one, I would Mr. like to Kamiya. say. Mr. Kamiya. Yes, yes. <laughs> I would like to, I'm very upset with the coverage. You have not covered the fact that the entire state of Iowa is under a drizzle warning. A and, drizzle and, warning. Oh, now this, this uh, look, look, I, I want to say something. I did, um, I did cover, uh, the, not the drizzle warning. The, uh, there was a drizzle alert uh, that I did cover, but uh, not a drizzle warning. So indeed, you will be getting drizzle. Yes, yes. Yeah, well, the, okay. The, the, this is I, trouble. I mean, the, the, main, the main issue is that we will all die. And I think that, um, I think your responsibility as a broadcaster and, and, and clearly... What are you calling a broadcaster? You, you, you've been... <laughs> well, chip. I mean, we, we need to be clear that uh, I'm terrified right now. Are like, you terrified? I, Let me well, just I'm tell you something, sir. I shit in Calm my down. Calm down. Town home. In the middle of Iowa. Did you shit your fucking pants? <laughs> calm <laughs> calm he, down. When he said evacuate, he evacuated his <laughs> bowels. His bowels <laughs> in a moist, juicy, pudding-like consistency. Mm. Punctuated by bubbles of gas. Yeah, so, uh, so uh, please, please, as you, as you broadcast, please um, do it with uh, consistency, will you? I, I will, and I'll, I'll, I'll try to uh, keep the fear factor down a little bit. I do uh, not suck sir. anuses. Yes, uh, Thank you're, you. You're oh. terrifying the nation. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Thank you. Um, did someone say you suck anuses? <laughs> Is that even the plural for anus? <laughs> I think it's ani. Ani. You suck <laughs> ani. That's compi for compass. Ani. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Christ almighty. Uh, let's see who's online, too. Hi, live from the compound. Uh, oh, wow. And where are you from? Cleveland, Ohio. You're from Ohio. We're worried that the FEMA, if you know what I mean, will not be showing up in Cleveland. Are you, you in the know? bone? Are you in Bone Thugs and Harmony? They're from Cleveland. How'd you know that? That was the first album I ever bought. It's gay. They're, they're three three miles born from my, my area, but I'm worried about. Are the you FEMA. Friend, are, are you Busy Bone or Lazy Bone? <laughs> I'm Lazy Bone. <laughs> 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 so I don't know, crazy. Get real put two thugs and in a crazy bone or lose a bone. Anthony, I bought yeah. a foreclosure for like ten thousand. I'm worried FEMA is not going to come in my area because you know the. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah. You know, yeah, that FEMA, FEMA, FEMA's had their issues, uh, you know, in the past. Mm. I'm just worried about because criticized. I don't live by the Jews. Ah, yes. I, I don't. I don't think FEMA is going to be helping me. I'm going to be standing on top of my roof. You think so, uh, huh? Shooting yeah. at Burt Reynolds like Dawn of the Dead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that could be a problem. I enjoy living in a lily white uh, Jewish neighborhood because I know that uh, help is on the way when uh, things happen. The power goes out, um, uh, water, gas, whatever it may be. Trees are down. Uh, boy, the next day, all you hear is the hum of the chainsaw. From other people uh, coming in and, and helping and uh, uh, getting us out of the shit and, and getting us back online, as they say. As oh. some neighborhoods, maybe not so fast. Hempstead. You, and you've been to Cleveland. You know, you know the area. Oh, yeah. You know yeah. that the RTAs and I have the pay phones up, up on my street. Oh, oh, I hear you. Yeah, pay R phones. R RTA is, the, uh, is, the, is our transit and it's route to Africa. That's is the, that what they uh, call it? Now, sir, I cannot sit by here. And listen to your racist uh, drivel like no, that. Right. We we I'm are right. Americans. Weather. And uh, oh, that's Cam Two, right? Oh, that's hold on. Let me go to AXP. Speak for on yourself. Two. I'll preview two and uh, oh, see, oh ah, look, see it changed right oh, then. There it, goes there it is. Death Star. Wow, well, oh, come on. Now it's a Buick commercial. Ah. I just saw fucking. God damn you, motherfuckers. Anyway, um, yeah, I will not stand by in the United States of America and have you bash this melting pot Sorry, that we are and, and throw racist jokes out that are antiquated, unnecessary, and, and just not funny and offensive. I'm sorry, I, I sir. I'm and by the way, the FEMA, I, th the thank you. Won't. Thank you for your call, sir. Yeah. Thank you for your call. I don't need that kind of stuff. I don't That's either. not what this show is about. No. This show is about informing the people. Christian, uh, Christian ideals, Christian ideals, and Jews, and 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 the Jews. We could we could let them aboard, even though they don't believe in uh, our Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, but but it's not about racism or 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 uh, uh, sexism. 
Um, There's some homophobia in there because it is Christian. And, you know, as Christians, the, 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 the homosexual thing. Can you be a libertarian thing, and a Christian? A Christian libertarian. <laughs> Has there ever been one of those? Me. That's pretty good. Ow. I want to be one Ow. right now. That's a good idea. But, um, uh, but uh, that's not what it's all about. And I will not stand by and take calls from people uttering racist uh, uh, ideology. It's not what this show is about. It's not what I'm about as a person. Live I don't from the see compound. color. I don't this? see color. Live from the compound. Who's this? Hi, it's Dutch uh, from the Hippo Juice Show in Colorado. Two questions. Um, when's the next time you're going to be on the Hippo Juice Show? And second, uh, what happened to you taking Melissa to that concert? You never explained it. Um, which concert, what? sir? The one that you took the other girl to. Uh, the, oh, but who is this? Yeah, I thought so. I thought so. You know who that was? Hibiju? That was probably the boyfriend. Of who? Yeah, some girl. The girl you took to the... Paul McCartney. Her boyfriend? Yeah. How Seems you, she, you... might have, she might have had a boyfriend at the time. And you had a girlfriend at the time, so... Well, yeah. it was kind of a topsy-turvy world we lived in back then. It was just the time. The time was... December. It was a different time. It was a different time. Uh, people thought differently back then. Um, but it's not the society we live in today. What's wrong with that guy? He got a little fucking pissy, didn't he? Fucking asshole. I'll fucking teach you. I think I did already. No, he just called you out. Did he? Come by. You know where I live, motherfucker. You want to fucking go? You want to go? Look at these guns. You want to go, bitch? Yeah, motherfucker. Come on. Come on. I'll use these guns first. These are the first guns I use. Then I fucking use this gun. Look, I'm holding it sideways like a brother. Oh, I'm kidding. I'm a pussy. I wouldn't do anything. I need another beer, sweetie. You think you could hold down the fort? Yeah, give me one, too. What's the matter? Nothing's the matter. Are we going to have another on-air fight? Are we? <laughs> this isn't a gag, people. We don't plan ever on having these on-air little things that happen. Someone calls... A subject that might I'm be a little very touchy gets brought up. Forgiving person. Yeah. Except for that one thing. But that was like a while ago. It's done. I, um, I'm and that guy is. brought it up. I didn't bring it up. That no, fucking guy brought it up. That caller just brought it up. It's just the one thing of anything that's happened that annoys me more than anything. All right. Well, I got other things that annoy me. So we're, we're, we're even. Like what? I don't have 16-year-old girls texting me saying they want to hang out with me in secret next week when they're in New York. Look, <laughs> that has nothing to do with me. I want to state for the record, that has nothing to do with me. I have no idea what that's all about. Hey. 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 Look. Go, you're gonna now get we a got beer. an awkward moment. You're going to get a beer. You're going to give me one, too. I'll get a beer. You want to do something else? You want a shot, maybe? Mm -hmm. You want a white Russian? No, nah, I don't want to drink milk. Yeah, I don't either. White Russians are great. I watched that stupid Big Lebowski, which now the more I think about it, the funnier it's even getting in my head. You got to watch it. So like I think I got to watch it times. again and again. It's like, funny Because the Coen brothers, like Fargo, is a great movie. Um, and the first time I watched it, it was kind of like a kind of like a crime movie. I was just, oh, it's a crime movie. It's a kidnap thing. And then the more you watch it, you realize, holy shit, this is the funniest fucking movie. And, and I think Lebowski's like that. And, and the people that love The Big Lebowski have seen it many, many times. I saw it once just recently. Yes, fucking shoot me. But, uh, but uh, now, like, lines are coming in my head, and I'm thinking, I'm like, yeah, that was kind of funny. And if I watch it a few times over, I think it's going to be hilariously hysterical. Uh, you want a shot or something? Yeah. What do you want to do a shot of? Uh, maybe something vodka-based. Vodka-ish? You yeah. want it like chilled with maybe uh, some uh, peach schnapps in it, some kind of pussy uh, shot? Yes. Like that? Vodka and schnapps. Uh, not peach schnapps, yeah. 
Okay. A little bit of schnapps. Just a little. Not too much. More it's vodka, it's but chill. It's got to be chill, yeah. chilly, chilly willy. You can hold down the fort, take some phone calls. Oh, wow. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the lovely Melissa calls. Stettin will be taking your calls Shut um, my face. on this extreme death storm coverage here live from the compound. Uh, tens, we're looking now, uh, the official report is up, and it, it's got to be official because it says it right there. Uh, underneath us, and we have microphones, and we're on camera. Extreme death ah. storm. Tens of millions dead already. Tens of millions of people dead from uh, Hurricane Irene. Unbelievable. I'll be back, um, and Melissa Stetton will uh, take the helm. I gotta take a piss. Oh. What's up? I'm here. Hey, you can sit here and. Because um, I can't move when I have the earphones in. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, have a pisser. Yeah, go with it. This chair is yeah, this chair is better. It's fine. Just go with it. I think my ears and things in backwards. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Everyone relax. Jesus Christ. Calm down. Calm down. Hello. Hello. Why isn't this work? Hello. Hello. This is a disaster. <clears throat> Hello. Hello. Live from the compound. Who's this? This is Purell Guy, and I can't believe Ant walked away. Purell so Guy? Yeah, Ant knows Purell Guy. I'm an old friend of Ant's for many, many years. Listen, Hi. what is he doing? Ant, what's up there, bro? What are you... Trolling junior high schools for, for girls these days. This girl's what she fourteen. Melissa, you look fantastic. Thank that some you. Weather, that's some weather girl too. Thanks. She's fantastic at the weather. Yeah, I'm not in high school anymore. No, no, you weren't in high school. No, I'm not in high no. school. You did a, you did a great job on the weather. I think I'm gonna watch your stuff now instead of um, the Weather Channel. Yeah, I mean my stuff is more. It's like more scientifically accurate. Absolutely. I mean, I never see somebody with a beer in their hand in front of a, in front of a green a blue screen, green screen, whatever color that screen was. Fantastic. It's, it's green. Yeah. And where do you live? I live in East Rockaway on the South Shore. So What are you LA. still doing there? Your house is going to blow away. I'm actually coming to the I'm compound not tomorrow. I'm talking to you. I'm talking to this friend on the show. Oh. I'm coming to the compound tomorrow with my whole family. Tell Ant I'm coming. We, okay, we have a room for you upstairs. It's called the but, Princess but, but he knows I'm Jewish. Is that okay? I'll, I won't bring my yarmulkes. I'll leave my yarmulkes home. No, I love Jews. All my doctors are Jews. <laughs> I'm serious. That's fantastic. I'm, are they? Yeah, when I Google doctors, I only go to Jewish doctors. Jewish doctors and Jewish lawyers. Yeah, all, yeah pretty much all my doctors are Jewish. And Jewish guys, that's so Purell, I like that. Listen, I, I, you could tell Anthony that you can even listen to yourself. I actually put Mucinex in my wife's vagina one time instead of... Like, <laughs> oh, she got mad at me. <laughs> She's other, yelling at you. <laughs> she yelled at me, shut up. Because the other guy said, what, do you, what, what did Bob Kelly say he was doing? Taking, um... To get Coughs, rid of the, the mucus? Cough Most, syrup. Make yeah, no, I, I just ovaries like a little, all oh, I, slippery. I can't say it out loud. Mucinex, Mucinex. Mucinex? Like, what? Like gets, mucinex gets rid of mucus. Oh. <laughs> that's crazy. No? All right. I love the compound. That's fantastic. Yeah, it's a great place to, uh, check up. Listen, when, when is he doing karaoke? Because I'm an old karaoke guy with, with Ann, years ago with the uh, F.H. Riley's. Um, we're having a Labor Day party. Okay. To see if Ann's going to invite me. I've been trying to get an invite over to the joint. I know where he lives. I know, I know the area. You're the Purell guy. Yeah, he knows who I am. I will let him know, and I'm taking another call. See ya! Yeah. Hey, live from the guy about who's little. Yeah. Oh, it's uh, Michael from Columbus. Michael from Columbus? Hey, I have, I have an extreme death storm at my house. I'm getting divorced. I need Anthony for advice. Oh, thank God. Do you have uh, any I, children? I no children. How old are you? I'm 35. Oh, yeah. So do you, uh... It's you, bad. Uh, what do you look like? All right, I look like Ben Affleck and... combination of Ben Affleck and Anthony, maybe. 
maybe a better version. Uh, do you have big muscles? I do have big muscles. <laughs> Shut up! I'm flirting with this guy. Leave me alone. <laughs> but yeah, uh. do you have divorce uh, advice, or how do you get over it? What's going on? How long were you married for? Seven years. Seven years. And you're Seven 35. Yep. Yeah. I have my own house. She moved out. Did you have a prenup? I did have a prenup. You did? I did. So you're in the clear. Oh. Yeah, who but Who broke it, up it, with who, though? She cheated on me. Oh. So it's the opposite, oh. it's the opposite version of Anthony. Almost. Yikes. Yeah. Well, you're 35. That's really young. You shouldn't have gotten married when you were 28. Yeah. Or whatever. Well, the problem is, is that we were we were together five years before that. So to be back on the scene, there's anxieties there. You know, there's. Yeah, you just got to uh, take some Xanax, get drunk, go to bars, and. Uh... I'm like Fez though. If I take Xanax, it makes me more panicky. No, I I just I go to sleep. I take Xanax. It doesn't ever work. Hey, Anthony's back. I'm sure he'll have good advice for you. This guy just—he no, sure just got divorced, and he's 35. I oh, this guy, poor fuck. I had no peach. I had no peach, so I had to go with apple. I went with apple and a well, little. Well, this night's ruined. And a little triple sec. Wow. Just a just a pinch, to you know, spice it up a little bit. Hi, sir. Who's this? It's Michael. Hey, so uh, I Michael, you're, I, you're 35. You're you're what? You're getting a divorce or something? I'm in a divorce, but we had a prenup, if you want to call it. She let me pretty much have my house. She cheated on him. Oh uh, yeah. He's 35. Yeah. They're married for seven years. You're married for seven years. Seven years. And seven then, years. Uh, so seven years. Uh, sh she cheated on you. She cheated on me. You know, I'm still a good-looking guy, I think. You know, I have my little workout gym at the house, and I oh, work out a lot. Hey. I'm, a bank, <laughs> I'm a bank manager, so I have all the self-esteem in the world, but I just can't. I'm like a good-looking version of Fez. I just get anxieties out there. Oh, oh, I thought you, I thought you meant like a good-looking version of Fez. Like, you look like Fez. You said he looks no. like Ben Affleck and you. Yeah. Ben Affleck and me? Oh, that's terrible. I had to add the me part in. To poor Ben Affleck. You're a good looking guy. Uh, I'm a good looking guy. <laughs> no, it's uh, so so you uh, so you're getting a divorce. Are you are you upset about this? He sounds. I, sad. I think I think because uh, I've wasted so many so many years of my life just being faithful and working hard, and you know I have a beautiful house too. Not as good, not as nice as yours. Beautiful house, beautiful, beautiful wife. House, beautiful life, yeah. But it's just it's anxiety meeting girl. This anxiety. You know, talking to girls again, it sucks. You That's didn't give crazy. me a beer, you f ass fuck. <laughs> girls are bitches. That's great. See, that shit's funny to me. <laughs> you didn't give me a beer, you ass fuck. <laughs> well, the thing that sucks about I, your I life, sir. I wonder where she learned that word from, <laughs> that, uh, Yeah, I wonder where she got that. Uh, because you were with this girl for five. So you were with this girl basically for the past 12 years of your life. You met her in college or something? Yep. Wow. So I know Anthony was out on the scene when he broke up with that monster when he got divorced from that crazy... Yeah, yeah. You know you know what it is? Uh, it's a lot easier these days, I think. But you went right into another relationship for 10 years right after... The I break. was a relationship uh, addict. I had to be in a relationship for many, many uh, years running. Uh, it's terrible. Well, you didn't marry until you were 30. Yeah. Yeah, I was 30 when I got married. Yeah, you got to spend your 20s, like, dating people. Yeah. Yeah. Anthony Except for when you turn 27. Anthony has a personality, though. Dreams. Of course. What? Anthony has a personality. I think you, you go in I mean, any bar or any, any, any area, you're going to meet women. Uh, no. It ha uh, it's, Especially on the It's internet. very hard to meet women at live and in person. But yeah, that internet, true. let me tell you something, my I friend. I met Anthony on the internet. Yes. She fucking uh, messaged message. me. I was like, "Oh, hey, who's this?" And and then and then she's like, "Oh, I'm gonna be in New York." Uh, and I was like, "Oh, let's hook up. I'll fucking you know take you out. It'll be cool." And it was the best date of my life. And then I showed up and I, I like pulled the fucking truck up and I look out and went like, "Holy shit, that's crazy! That's and crazy!" I, I, I honestly feel like leaning a, a little short up. skirt. She's leaning yeah. a little short skirt against the building and she's just got her arms folded. Like it was like I was picking up a hooker. It was great. Yeah, it was great. I honestly feel like I've been in a coma 
for like 10 years. I don't know what's out there. Yeah, yeah. no, you'll get used to it. Oh, get out of it, my friend. I can't wait till you're out on the scene. You call me back and go, Ant, it was the best thing that ever yeah, happened no, to me. Really. It's always, if you, once you get out of a relationship, it's always weird. Like for the first like few months, you're like, what the fuck? I just want to stay home and watch TV because that's all I did. But yeah, you get used to it and then it gets fun. And then you're like, I'm holy shit, why that. was I with this person? You just got to yeah. like wait it out and then yeah. just start going out, going out with your friends, going out like drinking. It's just not doing the end of the shit. world. And then you'll it's get so, used to it and then you'll like so it. It's so comfortable at home though. I have my big screen. I got my, you know, furniture or whatever. Yeah, don't let yourself, you know what the, the, though, uh, uh, then... Then you got a great way to, you know, get a girl up in there yeah, with exactly. you and, 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 you know, hang out, find some cool chick to hang out yeah. with you. Even if you don't want to go uh, out and yeah. meet girls, you can, you'll find a girl Just get on the internet. Like, yeah, go take pictures of Take pictures of your cock like fucking wiener yeah. and send them out to girls. They love that. <laughs> so, uh, meet you know, girls you know on who, Facebook, seriously. You, you know who she yeah. cheated on me with? She cheated on... Uh, one of my one of my good buddies from work. Are you? Uh, well, I guess he wasn't that good a buddy, huh? Yeah. What a cunt! I hate that shit. That sucks. Fucking you know, assholes. like two years ago, I remember coming home and you know we were over, we had a little party at our house, and I just caught him staring at at, at my wife. And I was just oh. like, oh. And like, and did I, you I, catch I, her? I was, you know, I was kind of like, you know, hey, did you kind of want to say, did you get a good look over there? Because she's kind of just slumped over because she was drinking. Oh boy. And How did like, you find out she was cheating? Yeah. How'd you find out she was cheating? Yeah. Yeah, so I got like a couple credit cards in the mail and I opened hers by accident and I saw hotels on there. Oh, oh shit. Oh. So I thought I thought that was fraud or, you know, fraud on the so I, I It's asked fraud, her, I say. Hey, I opened fraud. up fraud. Opened up your credit card by accident. What's going on? I saw these hotels, but you might want to call a credit com- company. Her look on her face oh. just looked so guilty when I saw that, and I just started investigating. I like oh, phone dude. records, and yeah. Wow, that's Ooh. fucking terrible. How long was that going on for? Two years. Two years. So five years. So five years, I guess, was oh. great. And her excuse for cheating on me oh. was, "Oh, I was lonely, and you work lonely." Oh, of course. Oh, lonely. She's a- Bitch. You're not letting me spread my wings and be, you know, spread your legs, you fucking hewer. Yeah. You're a hewer. Yeah, you don't want to be with that girl. Honey. No, good, That's good. It's good, the best good. thing that ever yeah, happened yeah, to yeah, you. Yeah. You know what? So what? I remember the first year I used to cringe with when we had romance night with the candles. I used to come back from work and I saw the candles in the, in oh the, my God. the window. It's, it's uh, I don't like the freaking romance night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get night. out of that. I, ugh. Yeah, I you, would uh, never do that with a dude. Was your wife's name Jennifer, by the way? <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> sounds just like it. A little too much drinky winky. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 Well, yeah. wow, dude. Uh, uh, you know what? Whenever we do the the compound show, uh, how'd you how'd you find out we were on tonight? Twitter. I, I actually was watching one of your old shows. Oh, and, and then I just I, pop up my live. IPad, sometimes when I can't sleep, I look at my go on my iPad and just kind of you know I saw a couple of your old shows and I saw that there was a live show, so I just went on it. So yeah. Are you watching this on the iPad? Yeah, iPad. Oh, that's cool. Oh, nice. Oh, look, we're on an iPad. Look. Hey, get me out of here. Whoa, whoa, look. I'm cleaning it from the inside. Oh, wow. What, what am I, a mime? What a fucking hack. And I'm waiting for Anthony's <laughs> own private show that he gets out of serious and has his own show. I'll- who isn't, right? Oh, that's... I hear you. I hear you, my friend. Well, uh... I'll be donating, I'll be donating money to your fund. Don't worry. I, I well, 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 you know what? Um... It's not there's there's going to be no monetary shit going on for uh, for quite a while. I'm doing this just to, you know, do it and have some fun. So we'll we'll see what happens in the future. But Alyssa, for, thank for right you for now, the great women, great female advice. That's what I'm, I'm here for. Look at that. Hey, hey, look at me. What a pleasant caller hey. that won't go. I'm gonna. Go. <laughs> I'm- and, uh, fuck some girls, thanks. I'll, I'll leave now. Bye. No, that's cool. Take use it easy, condoms. man. Use condoms. Use condoms. Oh, what? some guy named Purell called or something. Oh, the Purell guy? Did you hang up on him? No, I talked to him, and he said uh, he, want, he wanted to come over for karaoke night and said, come over for Labor Day. Really? Yeah. I haven't said, seen him in quite a while. He said he was an old friend of yours. Yes, yes. He used to come to all the uh, all the gigs yeah, that's what that we said. would do, and he, would, he was the guy that would bring... Purell. He worked for like the company that, uh, so he would, he would like bring giant things of Purell, and we would always goof on him like, "What are you doing? What are we doing here with your fucking Purell? Yeah, fucking that." And then at the end of the night, we'd all be going, "You got any of that Purell?" 
Because you'd have to, you know, shake hands with the Ew. with you people out there, the listeners. I don't shake hands. And some of the people. I don't even hug. Do you know there are people? I got to the point where there were people that would go like, "Oh, I I know you don't shake hands." Yeah. And then I'd go like, "No, I shake hands. I just don't shake some people's hands." And then I'd shake hands, and then some like big fat sweaty disaster would come over and go. I know you don't shake hands. I'm like, yeah, I don't. And I make the fist bump Ew, thing. Ew, fist bump. Yeah, yeah, with his fucking knuckles that I feel gravel in where they were dragging on the ground. Ew. Fucking disgusting people. Yuck. Well, that guy took up a lot of call time, didn't he? Hi, live from the compound. Ba. Hi, it's uh, Patrick from Bay Ridge. Patrick from Bay Ridge, my old stomping ground. Oh. Yes, yes. Wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on, sir. Bay I'm Ridge. gonna call into your show in five minutes, and then he gives my Who's his that? phone number. That is the incomparable Joe DeRosa, ladies and gentlemen. I Joe DeRosa is gonna be on the show in uh, a matter of minutes. That just did that just come in? Two oh. Is it that late already? My God. I'm on vacation. I don't give a shit. Oh, cool, Joe DeRosa. Um, you know what? I could just, you're just like blurting out numbers. No, I said you slept till five. Oh yeah, I, thought, I just heard a number. I'm like, were you just saying his phone number on the air? You know what? I could no. call him. Hi, thank you for the call. Maybe he's on <laughs> the terrible? line. What? You just hung up on this. Time. I always do. Let me try to call Joe. You gotta call him from. I want to see. Phone. No, I think I can do this. Maybe he's on one of the lines. No. No, not yet. Is he? You think maybe Joe? he might be? Wait. Hi, is Joe? I need a dial tone. Why can't I? Do... Hi, hi, is... hi, Joe? Yeah, hi, it's Joe DeRosa. No, it's no, not. No, it's not. <laughs> yes, it is. Oh, okay. Oh, hi. hi, Joe. <laughs> hi, it's Coke Logic. Oh! <laughs> you're, you're an asshole. What's up, man? <laughs> hey, what's going on? Hey, you, just uh, sound, you sounded very like, yeah. yes, it is. And that was like Joe. That's Although Joe believable. would be like, yeah, yes, it is. I, uh, no, no, I swear. No, I swear, please don't. Uh, so I listen to him on Robert I'm, Kelly's uh, podcast a lot. So, Coke Logic, my yeah, good great. friend that uh, is just amazing at making uh, what animations. What do you do for like your job? Ooh, good question. My job is uh, graphic design. What do you, what really? do you, what do you work for? Who do you work for? Myself. Are you freelance? He works for freelance. himself. Oh, because you you make good stuff. He's good. He really is. Yeah. That guy's fucking the animations amazing. Animations are. Fucking hey, let amazing. me tell you something. Is uh, and, and not uh, I'm not saying anyone can do that. That's for sure. But is there some kind of thing you use to make the images of people look so much like them, or is that an artistic thing that you have? Like like some people can paint. And it looks like the person, and some mm -hmm. people it looks like a stick figure. Uh, is there a program that makes it easier to make it look like people? Uh, I do it in Photoshop, but I wouldn't reveal how I do stuff. So. I would never oh, ask oh, you, yeah, yeah. sir, sir, sir. Yeah. I would never ask you to reveal it. Well, your little but your characters look great. The characters look so fucking good. The, uh, but I'm um, I'm glad you use Photoshop, and that's all I need to know. Uh, not that I'm going to do it, but I hate to think someone's that fucking talented. Like that, that they could just draw freehand these people and then use that. You in, made the, uh, the, the Patrice uh, fucking, you want the blade cut or the demolition man. What, uh, the uh, uh, no, chickens. Uh, people confuse me with that. No. Uh, I was actually going to do that one. You and made the, the chickens, guy, right? Someone else did it. He did it like shot for shot. Yeah. the uh, That was the... Um, What's his name? Wesley Snipes. Wesley Snipes going to prison one. Yeah. That... Wait, wait. Which one did you... You made the chickens one, right? Yes, I did. Yeah, the chicken one was great. The, Not uh, me. I'm did... getting fitted for a tie. A tie. Not me. And his head goes lost. Mer off. Was the guy's the... in Merle or something? <laughs> Mar Mer Fucking Jimmy's Mer shit is Murray. Great. Not me, Murray. The, um... Who is the guy that did that one with the Wesley Snipes? Because the, the, uh, the graphics... We're not as good as Coke Logic. No, they're not. But the fucking it, Patrice is so funny on yeah, that. It yeah. could have just been a flip card fucking cartoon. Yeah. It was so goddamn With the funny. In his teeth. Yeah, funny. You, the demolition man. Uh, the blade cut because that is expensive. That is expensive. <laughs> yeah, you what? know the thing about that one is I actually I had a, a Patrice head. I was working on a Wesley Snipes head. 
how is it going to do that one? And then uh, yeah, that good guy did it at the uh, the ONA Animation Festival. Yeah, the Animation Fest, yeah. Right. And I'm like, well, I don't have to do that. He did it fucking phenomenally. What are you working on now? Anything uh, that, uh, any audio that we've heard that, uh, or said <laughs> that, uh, <laughs> that you're working on? Um, I, I still have to do the, uh, um, I'm working on the Rich Voss and um, Danny uh, Radio Shack call. Oh, cool. That's a good one. Doing that. Yeah, what else yeah. did I just, there was another one just the other day. Where hey, do you time. do other, any other designs like uh, for websites and whatnot? Uh, yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Really? Uh, yeah, maybe you could help a fucking jig out I, over I here. I made and, Anthony's uh, website. I did it, like, via WordPress, and I yeah. used my, like, basic HTML skills. Yeah, it's just like, it's it's the Live from the Compound show. It's a little picture of me. It's it's very basic, and it's yeah. cool and stuff. But I, I have anthonykumia.com, and it's up and running. But I'm, I'm really, I really am looking for a good-looking fucking website. Do you do that? Uh, yeah, I'm not so good at, like, um, I mean, if you go to CoveLogic.com, you can see what, like, my HTML skills are like. But, you, uh, you know what it is? It's not even so much the website itself. I'm looking for graphics for the website so I could give them to someone and then have them put them on the website. You know what I mean? That, that's exactly about uh, what I was going to segue into. I'm better yeah. at doing the graphics for that stuff. Like, I would like some animated caricature yeah, Anthony yeah, yeah. shit That'd and cool. and a Melissa caricature and, and, and uh, compound shit like that. You know what I mean? You know what I'm talking about. I like that I'm yeah, just yeah. doing a business dealing here uh, on the show as gotta, people are listening. You got to hire him. <laughs> yeah. Send us uh, uh, Coke Logic, I will be in touch uh, about that. Let me see if I can find Joe DeRosa, all right? All right, cool. Yeah, he just... Okay, take it easy, man. Bye. Yeah, he just said, he goes... Hey. What's the call-in number? I can't find the fucker. Joe, if you're, One, if you're watching and listening... Eight. I'm going to hang up on everyone and try to call you, okay? Let me pull the phone fader. Actually, mute it so you don't hear the beep, beep, beeps and people can't get your number. But um, let me see if I could call him. Here we go. Drop the call. Drop it. Somebody made a name that is who's the whole. Drop it. Hello? Why ain't I getting a dial tone? Hello? I'm supposed to be able to pick up a... Hold on. Hello? Hello? Oh. Oh, oh, maybe because I, I turned the, the sound down? Hold on, hold Hello. on. Hello? Hold on, hold on. No. Hello? What? Hello? This is supposed to be a dial tone! Hello? Hello? Yeah, yeah hi, Joe. Who is this? Yeah, Joe DeRosa. No, it's not. <laughs> Shut up. You don't even sound like no. Joe. You're not, <laughs> you aren't even trying. Melissa, I love you. you Joe like needs the number. Let me I put the number. I'm going to put the number on. Oh, look at oh, that. Melissa, I love you. Uh, <laughs> You're professing your love to my girl. Hey. Why, why, I, why I ought to. Joe, the number Wait, is you... now um, down here. one 962 6846 Hello? Who's but this? I should be able to make a call. I should be able to actually call him. Hey. I don't get a dial Hello. tone. Hello. Too many people trying to call. It's amazing. Stop calling. It's amazing. Well, it's probably. Hi, who's this? Joe DeRosa? Hi, who's this? I don't got to be ashamed about the car I drive. <laughs> <laughs> who's this? <laughs> That's hilarious. Who's this? Not Joe DeRosa. What? It's Joe DeRosa? It is not Joe DeRosa. I was going to say, your voice changed. Yeah. All right. Who's well, online, too? You know what that means. Who's <laughs> Hi, who's this? This is Vicious. Oh, God. Okay. I who's... know. You're looking for Joe. I know. I'm looking for Joe. Where are you from? This? I'm from Orange County, California. You sound a little uh, like you've been drinking. Yeah, so do you. Yeah, well, uh, you could see me drinking uh, on the camera. <laughs> oh, wait, Joe DeRosa. Here it is. Calling okay. now. Line is busy. Tell those cunts to stop calling stop in. Stop calling. All right, All right. Oh, yeah. Joe, Love keep... you too. Bye. All right, take Bye. it easy. I'm just going to drop everyone. Hi, Joe. Yeah, yeah it's Joe DeRosa. No, it's... <laughs> <laughs> now we're going to get Joe DeRosa. This is all impression. that game. Hi, Joe. Yeah, it's Joe. No, it's... Uh, hi, Joe. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> Joe DeRosa? No, this is Joe. Hey, Joe. That is... It sounds like Joe. 
No, it's Joe. Ah, <laughs> oh, you motherfucker. That wasn't bad. Hey, Joe. Yes, this is Joe. <laughs> hey, Joe DeRosa. Hey, it's Joe. It sounds like Joe. So what's going on, Joe? Ah, doing good. How about you? <laughs> <laughs> Joe DeRosa. It's Joe. I swear I have no shoulders. <laughs> no, it's not he Joe. Has no shoulders? He says he has no shoulders. That's the joke about Joe. Hi, Joe. Yeah, this is Joe. I want to suck your cock. <laughs> <laughs> Joe. Hey. How you doing? All right, how are you? It sounded like Danny on the list. Hey, Joe. Hey, what's up? Joe DeRosa, what's up, man? Hey, uh, doing pretty good. How about you? <laughs> nah, that's not Joe. <laughs> Joe DeRosa. Hey, how's it going, man? How you doing, Joe? Hey, not too bad. How are you? <laughs> the, oh. Joe DeRosa. Hi, Anthony. <laughs> it's Jackie Martling. <laughs> <laughs> Joe DeRosa. Hey, it's Joe. What's hey. Up? Hey, Joe, how you doing? <laughs> Joe DeRosa. Was that him? No. Joe? This guy doesn't want me to hang up on him, so he's not talking. Hey, Joe, how you doing? Joe DeRosa. As long as you got time on the list. Hey, Joe. Joe, Joe DeRosa. And it's me. It's really me. That sounds like Joe. Now that's Joe DeRosa. It's me. It's Joe. And it's me. It's me. It's me. I hear, I, I hear you. It sounds like Joe. Are you sure? <laughs> All right. What What do you drink normally? What do I drink? Uh, Jack Daniels on the rocks. I like to do a Jaeger bomb with my good friend Anthony. That I'm is fun. Joe DeRosa indeed. Hi, Joe. How Jager are you? Jaeger bomb is the magic word. <laughs> how, are you, how are you guys doing? I was at Bobby Kelly's house. Yeah. I saw the, uh, he had the feet on, and I ran home. I ran home. <laughs> ran. <laughs> you exercised. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, we were talking about Bobby earlier. Uh, he was sitting around in his underwear. With holes in it. With ho Not holes in it. The elastic around one leg wasn't very tight. <laughs> and he said it. one ball kept dropping out of the side of his underwear. It conjured up a miraculous image, uh, Joe. <laughs> 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 what, uh, what, what are you doing? Are you battening down the hatches for this death storm that is coming up? Uh, this storm made me realize two things. Number one, I have no one in my life because I'm all alone for it. Oh, and that's your people, sad. People today kept being like, who are you spending the storm with? And I was like, uh, nobody. Spending I the have storm <laughs> with? Literally that? nobody to call if my windows blow in and I drown. And <laughs> I just, they'll find you like a week later because <laughs> you, you had gigs or something. and Yeah, yeah no, no yeah, family. <laughs> And then, and then it'll be that awkward newscast where they go, well, apparently someone did die in that storm. <laughs> Comedian Joe DeRosa was found dead in his apartment. Yeah. <laughs> So-called comedian. So-called. <laughs> alleged comedian Joe DeRosa. With his Craig Mack yeah. records. Shock yeah. comedian Joe DeRosa. <laughs> We Shock. can find zero witnesses to back up the credibility of him being a comedian. <laughs> uh, we found some notes and joke books in his apartment. Yeah, we found some writing which let us know it wasn't Rich Voss. <laughs> <laughs> Joe, Joe, what are you doing? Why, why don't you? Uh, why don't you come out and hang out? Uh, I, uh, y you know what, man? I, I heard, I heard rumblings that there might be some compound activity yeah, over is. the days of the storm, the and I am very, city. very tempted to make a trip out there. I am lit like, literally, I have become an evacuation center for everyone I know that lives on Long Island. Uh, they, they, they've tied up their boats, they've, uh, battened down their, their houses, and they're coming up here from Long Beach, there's from two Rockaway, dogs. There's from Massapequa. Uh, yeah, there's two dogs, a cat, and you know me with fucking animals in my house. I can't What's stand wrong it because I think they're gonna shit and piss on everything no, I fucking worked hard for. The cat's gonna sleep in our bed. No, it's not. Well, the cat, the cat will sleep in a bed with I, you, I, and I'll sleep alone in my bed. Fine. Yeah, fine. Fine, <laughs> fine then. Then fine then. Uh, 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 wait, <laughs> Melissa. Speaking of cats, if I could just tell you, just off subject for one second. Uh, I got, I, I, in between my shows tonight, a friend of mine tried to set me up with a girl, mm. and she's like, baby, she's going to be so into you, she's going to love you, and uh, 
I invited her to my second show to come watch the show and have a drink, and she literally goes, I can't. I have to go I have to go take care of my cat. Oh, you, oh, oh. oh. Melissa, would you like to uh, would you like to fill in the blanks there for uh, Joe DeRosa? Oh, I've used that excuse so many times. <laughs> <laughs> I've left my cat alone for two weeks. No problem at all. It fucking takes care of itself. When I'm like, hey, I gotta go home, my cat. I gotta feed my cat. Blah, blah, blah. That's. I'm sorry. It's a blow off, right? Oh, it yeah. was it was oh, it Joe. was such a blow off, and I called her on it. I go. I go, I have cats around the kid. You can leave it home for a week with a bowl yeah. of water. It's fine. It is. It's no, not like a dog. They're not, not going to rip your couch apart and shit all over your floor if you uh, leave them alone. They're, they're yeah. fine. I love cats. You walk in the door after like a week and a half, two weeks, and they just kind of, their head comes up a little. They give you that half-eyed thing. They have short-term memory. They didn't even know you yeah. were gone. Yeah. Cats are uh, cats are disgusting, worthless animals. I really don't. I don't. I don't care for them. They're, they're horrid, they, but they're no. but they're so adorable, Joe. Yeah, I don't know what it is, but but uh, they seem to like everyone loves kittens, don't they? Well, I know what yeah. I do. <laughs> I mean, kittens are kittens are tiny and small. It's yeah. like a. You know, Anthony, kittens are like, uh, cats are like vaginas. When they're young, they're cute and adorable, and then when they grow up, it's not that appealing. They're, they're tiny, they're small, <laughs> they smell good. Uh, yeah, yeah. They don't, they don't shed as much. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then they get old and mangy, and, oh, and, 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 and they get leaky. <laughs> Get their <laughs> eyes, their eyes. St- yeah, you ever see cats' that eyes are fucking all leaky? They all get conjunctivitis yeah. when they get old cats. Ugh, yeah. stop and crying, and, you fucking uh, dachshund. Yeah. <laughs> I hate fucking old. I hate old animals. They really they ought to be suck. a Logan's Run for animals. Where they it's like really you reach a certain worse. point, you're done. Fucking <laughs> goodbye. I don't care. It's like it's amazing. We feed him so well. He's 15 years old and still has spunk. And and you look, and there's patches of hair missing on him. Uh. They smell like old death dog. And and, and and they got that gray that gray snout. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Is there anything worse than when you go to somebody's house and they have a big dog? I you're just hate like, it. get this fucking thing away from me. It stinks. It's sheds. It's, it's disgusting. Slobber. He li- oh, Joe, he likes you. My friend used to have a Tibetan Mastiff. It's a fucking oh, yeah, bear. Yeah, that's a giant. And it jumped on you and it slobbered all over you. It was the worst. Oh, are you a worst. Are you a cat person, Melissa? Do you, do you care oh. for the cats? I do. I love cats. I have a cat in L.A., which is with my old roommate in L.A., with another cat. Yeah, it's acting and, uh, and waiting cats tables. until two weeks, two, right. two years ago. <laughs> I hated cats, and I got a cat, and I'm like... Cats are the greatest thing ever. I just don't like the way they claw the shit out of everything. No, you gotta train them not to. Oh, really? Really? I have a a rug underneath my fucking Mustang. People laugh at me and go, why do you park your Mustang on a fucking, uh, uh, an expensive rug? I go, well, look at it. You'll notice it's clawed to shit because a cat that I had had clawed it to shit. Right, yeah. Well, what you need is this. Yeah, you get a, you just get a pair of needle nose pliers and you pull their claws. Yeah, and you you rip them out. Do they? Does it hurt them? Yes. Yeah. But oh, that's oh. The pieces of a lesson. <laughs> it's a, it's a, see, you, you shouldn't have clawed. I like when you tell people you shouldn't have done something, not you should not do something. That is yeah. good. They 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 learn. It's like no, you could. You could yell and scream all you want. You know I'm who's still a gonna closet? pull your fucking claws you know out. Who's a closet cat person? <laughs> oh. Andy Levy. Andy Levy's not a closet cat person. No, no. He's he's uh, out in the open. I was he's talking out. to him about cats. He's like, I hate cat people. I just I'm like, why don't you ever tweet any pictures of your cats? He didn't even have any pictures of his cats on his he phone. He loves cats. He didn't have any on his phone. I was like, I want to see pictures of your cats. He's like, I just do you know, all these cat people and tweet pictures. Yeah. It, it, I'm not surprised at all. Andy looked. Andy has the blank stare of a cat lover. <laughs> the blank stare. But he won't admit it though. <laughs> uh, you're gonna be on Monday, I guess. To me? On yeah. Eye? On what? What am I on Monday? On Red Eye? I'm I on Red Eye on, uh, no, next week. I forget, on Wednesday or something. Oh, I you're on, on Wednesday. Wednesday. Oh, oh, no, no, I, you're on Wednesday after. No, because uh, we were watching, oh, wait, we were watching uh-huh. a dvr version. Yes. From last night? Last night. Are you on tonight? 
I was supposed to be on tonight, but they canceled, they canceled the show. Oh, they canceled. Okay, that's uh, what it was. I saw your picture up there, and they were like, yeah, Joe DeRosa is going to be on. I'm like, oh, cool. And By the way, uh, they oh, sorry. I didn't mean to cut you no, off. I, I, well, I don't know why they canceled it. Everything's fine. I know. it's. I, uh, I'm sitting in front of the computer now with the picture up of you guys. Oh, hi. Uh, with the video stream, and I'm wearing, I just, I have no shirt on. I'm just, my tits and gut are hanging over. It's, like, disgusting. <laughs> and I, I'm getting so conscious. I keep forgetting that you guys can't see me. No, we can't, but if, if you have <laughs> Skype, we you can Skype, Skype you and put you up on that uh, oh, screen yeah. right here behind us. Oh, and, you want uh, this? I'll Skype it. Really? Well, uh, okay. All right. We're going <laughs> to, okay, this is great. <laughs> Melissa's <laughs> pulling up the Skype program. <laughs> this will be great. And then we'll, uh, we'll get you up on Skype. What are you, uh, what are you, what are you doing tonight? Any spots or anything? I did spots earlier, and then I went to Bobby Kelly's uh, and hung out with him for a little while. You know, he quit smoking. So, I know. Uh, is he miserable as a fuck? Uh, he was in good spirits tonight. We sat outside, and he was telling me, he was telling me, like, all the things he does that make him need a cigarette. Yeah. You know? Wake up, and, breathe. Uh, yeah, yeah, basically. Walk. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, but he, uh, as I was leaving his apartment, I walk out and he goes, Joe, Joe, Joe. And I go, what? And he goes, I just realized something. Every time you leave, I need a cigarette. And I was like, well, what the fuck does that mean? Yeah. That, that, that kind of felt like, I don't know if that was. It, it was a little hurt, to be honest. I'm like, do I stress you out that bad? But then I thought maybe it was. Like oh, that. see, you look at it as a, as a stress thing. I was looking at it like a, like a prostitute thing or a sex thing, where you need that after sex cigarette. <laughs> but I, I'm, I'm sure nothing like that's happening. I, I know you two are, are hardcore heterosexual. Well, at least you are, as far as I've seen. <laughs> Bobby, I have my questions about every so often. He has, he has kissed uh, uh, young Sam. Uh, on our show, but uh. oh, young Sam's got inviting lips. I can't play. He really does. Uh, and this was young Sam before he really had whiskers. Like it was weird. He was very like boyish looking, and you could see when it turned. And Sam started like like getting uh, more ch like chiseled features instead of that baby face and whiskers. And then Bobby just didn't want to look at him. Or touch him anymore? <laughs> Bobby's oh. a creep. <laughs> he was disgusted. He, got he was hilarious. disgusted. Like he didn't like the hair on his legs anymore. Bobby's uh, Bobby's apparently tuning in because he just said, "Tell Aunt." He just texted me, "Tell Aunt to check his text." Oh well, my text. Uh, oh, okay, let me let me look at this here. All right. Yeah, de 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 what's, what's he doing? He's got a picture up here. It's. Oh Jesus Christ! What is he doing? <laughs> what I see is his. He, I see his legs are akimbo. <laughs> he's he's on a stool, and it looks like he's jacking off, but but his hand is just at the top of the shot, so I don't see a dick in it. But it looks like he's squeezing his dick. Bobby, text that to me right now. Would please. you think, look, his foot's there. Here's a stool. Here's his other leg, I guess. Ew, Here's a foot. Ball. Oh, that, wait, that's his ball. Hang on. Wait, is one, <laughs> that is oh, one of Bobby's Christ. hairy balls Ew. hanging out of his joint. <laughs> okay, I wasn't able to make it out at first. I thought it was a Yeti or the Sasquatch. <laughs> That's one of Bobby's hairy nuts are hanging out of the fucking... <laughs> oh, my God. You Bobby. are disgusting, Kelly. Text Jesus. it to me, Bobby. Text it to me, please. Uh, well, you know what? I got to I gotta hook nice. Apple TV up to this so I can take pictures from the uh, phone and pop it up on, uh, are on you the on, screen are also. You on Skype? Uh, how, do I, how do I Skype into you, dude? How do I his do? name oh. is Anthony Cumia, just one word. Yeah, Anthony Cumia, one word. Skype it up. Does that mean right. everyone's going to be Skyping me right now? Oh, boy. Great. Uh, geez. That's all right. We'll just we'll, we'll get you up there. Yeah, I'm going to uh, ignore there. Gonna do this. You know what I love about going to Bobby's house? <laughs> what? Leaving? Uh, <laughs> well, actually, actually, it ties into leaving. Every time you leave, he sends you off with food. It's like going to your grandma's house. Does he make up a little plate for you and cover it with foil and you take it home? <laughs> Yes, he Dude, does. Dude, you know, I got plenty. I don't need that. I don't want to eat it. It goes right to my hips, dude. 
He uh, uh, he did tonight, dude. He, he, he I left tonight. He goes, you want Chinese? I got Chinese. Come here. I got these beautiful chicken fingers and these sweet so and sour chicken. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. Uh, why would he yeah. do that? You go over, his wife made a cake. He sends you off with some kind of nut bread or something. <laughs> dude, take this with you. It's cool, dude. Do you find him? It's fucking great. Uh, we're, we're looking I'm, for you. I'm logged on. Hold He's on. logged I'm on. To, I'm trying to find you. Hold on. All right. Yeah, then we'll be able to pop you uh, out. We got oh, like a, this, this, oh, I see what I'm doing wrong. Yeah, we got like a fuckload of people now. Just ding, 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 trying to chime in. I like the Skype thing online, though. It's kind of fun. Uh, you know what I'll do? I'll turn that mic up. You know what? I need a fucking eighth to eighth stereo jack. I know it, I got one in that bag, but I don't feel like looking at it for it right now. We'll put that mic down by the speaker, and I'll turn that up. What? All right, here we go. Oh, you found um, it? I'm on. Okay, I wasn't. I thought I was logged in. I wasn't. Ah. Uh, Anthony. <laughs> yeah, I think it's Anthony Cumia. Just one word. One word. Anthony. I got you here. I'm okay. dialing it now. All right. You're gonna, you're gonna oh, you gotta, kid? you gotta add me as a contact first. Well, you, oh, okay, I see it. Okay. All right. She's on the motherfucker. All right, there it is. And add him as a contact. There he is. Punch him up. There it goes, okay, Joe. Okay, now, now, is there gonna be a delay between the phone and the no, Skype? No, we've done this before and it worked. With the phone? I'll hang the phone up. Are we on? No, no not yet, not I, yet. Uh, Punch him up. Yeah, it looks like you're... Your videos for get get a full screen of them. Cause I really you have to wanna... turn your video. My video's on. You have to turn your video. Your video's there not on. There it goes. Oh, here it comes. Here it comes. You can leave it. Just leave it hey. like that. Okay. <laughs> can you go full screen? You're not wearing a shirt. Talk. Let me see if you uh, you're synchronized. Can you go full screen? You're not wearing a shirt. Talk. Oh, let me see if you uh, you're synchronized. Oh. Can you hear me? Okay, I, 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 I hear you. All right, what we're going to do... Uh, wait a minute, this might be hard to do. No. No? All right, all right. Tap that mic, tap that mic. Is it on? Okay. Uh, all right, all right. Give a, give a little chit-chat there. Hey, what's up? How you doing? Okay, we can kind of hear you, I guess. All right, I'm going to hang up on you. There, I just dropped this call. Now talk. Okay. See, but is he hearing us through Skype? Wait, are you? Or that? Oh, okay, you're hearing us through it's Skype, so it's fine now, right? Yeah, I'm going to hang up the phone. Oh, you hung it up. All right, so I'm on. Okay. Right. Put him on the uh, back right. screen. I want to make sure his mic is up. Just check your mic. Check, check, check. That's check, it. I am check. the very model of a modern major All right, general. It's, it's, it's a little cheesy sounding as far as that because it's a mic instead of a jack, but uh, we could hear you. Um, and, and you're right there. Not wearing a shirt. On the screen. <laughs> no yeah. shirt. No, it's, it's no shirt time. It's late. <laughs> yeah, put it on full screen. Yeah, put them on full screen. And then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go to preview. Is that with, the bed I fell and slept one. in last week? Yeah, and now there, there, there he is. There, there's Joe. There's Joe with no shirt on, sitting in his apartment. Boy, does that look lonely, man. Oh, it is. That's why I'm calling into your show. <laughs> uh, do, do you normally? Is it is it hot in your apartment? Is that what it is? You don't have AC. What do you, what do you? Oh, you just like being shirtless. When I when I come home, I turn the air on, and then I and then I uh, and then I uh, take my shirt off. It, it, the building is hot. Yeah. So, I really uh, so is so is your Skype right now. That's what I was gonna say. <laughs> <laughs> Andy Levy is tweeting something. Hold on, no, I mean, we're 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 getting hit from every angle. <laughs> yeah. And at Anthony Comedia, watching you talk to at Joe DeRosa Comedy on the phone makes me want to join Al Qaeda. <laughs> <laughs> well, you are uh, Arab, as they say, I believe. Arab. That's the good half. That looks uh, that, that looks great though. I don't I know don't, where to look. There's so much shit going on. I don't even remember being over your apartment now. Now I'm like, oh, that's a nice apartment. Oh, shit, wait a minute. I, I was remember there. thinking <laughs> that if I was on that MTV show Room Raiders, I would totally date you. <laughs> Just because of that Craig Mack record, I was so amazed and I passed out in your bed for like four hours. I woke up. I was like, oh, where I, am I? Nobody raped me, did they? That's that's when I that's when I had to actually go to the uh, the the bo bodega 
down the street to pick up more beer, and you were passed out on the bed, and I had to actually tell people, and I wasn't even joking, I go, please don't rape my chick while I'm gone. <laughs> yeah, <'cause, Jesus> <laughs> well, Joe, you, you know who was there. Come on. <laughs> I remember that. That was uh, Bill Schultz. Dude, uh, that was a uh, that was such a fucking drunkenly wasted evening. I yeah. was. I mean, dude, at, at six fifteen in the morning, you were like, "I'm gonna go get another sixer." <laughs> yeah, it was. It was I really haven't been bad. that drunk in a while. I was smoking cigarettes outside just to look cool. <laughs> it was, <laughs> there was the fucked up thing too is you were alert enough, Joe, where I uh, I left and Joe like. Like was like, hey Anthony, when I was out on the street, when you forgot your phone, <laughs> like who the fuck does that when they're drunk? I'd have, I'd have picked it up and thrown it in the garbage if I was here. Like ah, someone forgot. Like I don't if give somebody a shit. gave me cocaine, fuck I probably it. would have done it. Dude, <laughs> 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 drugs. Well, <laughs> well, you were sleeping. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's exactly. I should have done. <laughs> I was relieved that I got it back to you because I, I, I honestly panicked for you, dude. I'm like, if he doesn't have his phone, I, I literally was like, obviously he could have tweeted me and we would have figured it out. But it was like, I, I was just like, I have no idea how he will get in touch with me because my number is in his phone and his phone is here. I really panicked. I was very happy that I caught you. Well, Joe, uh, there are a few people that do know you that uh, I know that probably <laughs> would have had your number. Uh, but if worse came to worse, I'd have done what I always do, just buy another one. <laughs> right. yeah. Then we left and like, I That's left my purse roll. there. I just like walked after, out. Uh, after that night, I was planning on deleting all of our mutual friends from my phone. Because <laughs> I realized it was going to spell nothing but bad news. And I was like, this is it. We can't get together in this group ever again. That was, that was a drunken yeah. fucking... Uh, evening slash morning and when you leave especially there's nothing worse than leaving a Manhattan apartment where you uh, walk down and, and then open that door and the sun hits you in the face and it was it was it was dark out when you went in there and especially when you're wearing heels yeah I had heels on that night you're I right like, and it was very <laughs> difficult like to, whenever you take a cab <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we were up so late like I remember saying on the couch Fuck, I have a show at 5 o'clock. Oh, <laughs> shit. Literally panicked that I had to be somewhere at 5 in the afternoon. <laughs> that, is, that is 5 in the afternoon. If 5 in the <laughs> afternoon is a problem, you have a fucking problem. That really is the, uh, the way that, that, that works. Uh, when I was doing uh, afternoon drive radio, I was like, as long as I can make it in by 3 p.m. And there were a few times I, I cut it very close. And that, that's bad. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's good. It's brutal. Well, this, well, speaking of problem, that's the other thing I realized today with this hurricane. Because when I went to buy supplies, here's what I bought. And by the way, the, these are my only plans for the hurricane because all the trains are shut down and shit. Yeah, Rick you're done. Fell, lives in my building. Who um, does? So I called okay. him and I go. Oh, wait, him. who does? I'm sorry. Uh, Gutfeld from Red Island. Oh, oh, cool. Oh. So I was like, Gutfeld, we're going to be reined in. Let's hang out and like have a few drinks. He's like, cool. That sounds like fun. By drinks, so you I mean gay stuff. stock up for the, for the disaster today. <laughs> I buy two meals worth of food and then a fifth of Jack Daniels, a 12 pack of beer, and two bottles of wine. <laughs> you, your priorities are perfect, though. <laughs> That's exact. What do you need? Two meals. You figure a couple of days, one meal a day, and then enough booze to stay drunk for a week. Yeah, I was I was in a, a store and I go, do you have D batteries? And they go, no, we're sold out. And I was like, all right, fuck it, man. Give me two packs of uh, camels. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have any D battery jokes from Twitter. Uh, I'll worry about the batteries later. That's that is that does seem to be the big uh, joke on Twitter is something anything with D batteries is hilarious. <laughs> there was a a fleshlight joke. I, I guess. swear I made the first fleshlight yeah, joke. Yeah, I, I think you did, but then it was stolen by people that have many more followers oh, yeah. than you really, and made hilariously funny. Can't really do funny. anything about that. And that was, I think Andy Levy, as a matter of fact, made a fleshlight joke. Did he? Did he? I have to uh, I have oh, to no. adjust my camera here because I'm I'm getting closer to the computer and I I don't want to. I don't want to go as low as the nipples. Oh, you want to keep your nipples uh, out of the picture? Yeah, because this this look this you, looks horrific. That there. looks really good. You you actually do have shoulders. You look like you're in the army. And with I'm your seeing necklace. some uh, some fucking what are those traps over there or some shit? 
What do you got? What, what are you, you working what do you out? Work out? Are you working out there, Joe? What are you doing? I worked out for two weeks with a trainer, and I bought a I bought a session package, and it was like really affordable. And I'm like, this is great. I'm going to keep doing this. And then as soon as the sessions ran out, he's like, yeah, um, if you want to re up, it's triple what it cost. The first <laughs> oh, time. Exactly. What an asshole! <laughs> Why? Yeah, yeah. We'll give you the first one for free. No, this That's is on the house, bullshit. man. You take this. <laughs> Tell your friends about me. Tell your friends about me. Yeah, yeah. give them a taste. Give them a taste. <laughs> give them a little taste. So you had a taste of exercise <laughs> and, <laughs> and realized you didn't want to pay that much for it? It's fucking expensive yeah, to work it out. Ran out. It ran out. I was like, I'm not paying triple the price. And just as this hurricane hits, I will go off my physical regimen and uh, <laughs> drink two bottles of wine and 12 pack of beer and a fifth of whiskey just do some push-ups that just sounds like fun we were doing some shots here. as a matter of fact let me um let me grab uh all you gotta do is like do more. like a hundred push-ups a day a and like a day that's yeah crazy. do a hundred push-ups and a hundred sit-ups uh, and you'll be fucking ripped <laughs> fucking ripped <laughs> fucking ripped yeah nigga yeah, let's uh, uh <laughs> toast to a uh, uh, yeah Guys, the hurricane let me death. Walk away for a second just to get a drink. Just hold on. Oh right? yeah, go get a drink. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna watch you uh, walk away. <laughs> I want to be part of the party here. Yeah, come on. Then you just roll away on a All chair. Right, well, he did. <laughs> he doesn't want to. He doesn't want to be seen. I could kind of see him. Turn off your camera. <laughs> what is idiot. he doing? He's so hairy. <laughs> He's running away. <laughs> what the fuck is? This is fucked up, man. Holy shit. Oh, hey, cheers. To cats. Yeah, he's got to uh, he's got to get a drink. I need another beer, too. I stole mm. your beer. What? What? You didn't even notice I switched beers. Why am I supposed to know what what, what am I in a spy movie? You put It your, was right ah, in front of your face. Yeah. <laughs> man, look over there. Oh my goodness. Look, look over there. Look, I it's a hurricane. What? <laughs> Exactly. I would <laughs> see. Could you, could you get me another one, please? Please, please. You know, I was just up. Uh... Please. No, please, it's your turn. please get me a drink. I want a funny drink. No. I'm leaving. <laughs> what? Where are you I going? I don't know where. <laughs> I heard that before. <laughs> Not from you. I, I just heard it before, though. Ah, here comes Joe. Let's go back to Joe. There he is. There he is. What's your poison this evening, uh, Mr. DeRosa? Uh, the JD, as always, my man. Little Jack Daniels, man. Yeah, you can put that shit down. I, uh, I'm a very, <laughs> I'm a, I'm a either a, a beer, straight beer guy, or uh, Captain Morgan and Coke if I'm drinking like a little bit of booze thing. Or I like Jack, but I like it mixed. I can't drink it straight like that. You are an animal. I, uh, I need it on ice. I need the ice to kind of, you know, dilute into it a little bit. I can't drink it neat. I can shoot it neat, but people yeah. that drink, uh, like I've had single malt scotch neat before, and it's so smooth that it's not too bad, but anything blended at all or like bourbon neat, it, it's like acid going down your throat, man. I, I, I always cringe when I watch movies, uh, especially old 70s movies, uh, uh, where where they they come home and and the guy pours out some scotch in a glass with no ice and it's just been sitting in his hot apartment or house and and, and he drinks it. I could not imagine drinking warm whiskey like that and enjoying it. Really, because I imagine that all the time. Do I'm you? Like God, I would really love to have some warm Gee. whiskey right now. Gee, Joe, I think I'm being made fun of. <laughs> uh, it's it's brutal. I think... When I was a kid and I would see that in movies, what you're talking about. It would make me thirsty because I thought it looked like I thought it would taste like iced tea. Yeah, it, it it doesn't. By the way, yeah, and, the first time I had whiskey, I like almost threw up. It tastes like, like that's balls. What it, tastes like. it was such a disappointment. It tastes balls. like Bobby's balls. Balls. <laughs> Bobby's sweaty, hairy balls that he just sent me a fucking picture of, which I am putting up on on the They're screen really at some point. Hairy. I wish I had camera five working over here, but it's. I don't mind putting balls in my mouth, but his are really. Hairy. His are hairy, <laughs> nasty balls. Why do you think I fucking ran for the door? <laughs> <laughs> Screen capture my body. I can't believe he texted you that picture. Oh, of course. Why, why, why wouldn't he? he's Bobby? 
fucking Bobby's despicable. Uh, I I, uh, I I was saying I j- I just watched The Big Lebowski. I don't know if you've you've been a fan or or watched it. It's one of my favorites, and I read your tweet about it. And yeah. I couldn't tell if you were saying you liked it or you didn't like it. Excuse me. I watched it and went like ah. Like it was, I didn't not like it, but I didn't like, oh, holy shit, that movie was great. But now that I, I, I've, I'm about a week removed from it, I'm starting to remember lines and shit from it that are really funny. And, and I want to see it again. But what it made me, the, I, the biggest impact it had on me is I now love fucking white Russians. And, and I just, like him drinking them just made me want to have a white Russian. Yeah. He, he, yeah, made, him, yeah. he made him look Fucking fantastic! Yeah, eighteen-year-old Russian girls are really hot. <laughs> all right, all right. Look what she did there. Did 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 you hear that? You get it? it I heard it. Why didn't I you go? It. Yeah, why don't you get like a white Romanian or something? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's an what? awful joke. <laughs> What's my thing? <laughs> I wasn't gonna say anything. <laughs> of course. I was gonna let it go. No, it was horrible. That's okay, hey. though. I'm not one a comedian. One of the funniest things, or one of my favorite like details in the movie with the White Russians is as as the movie goes on and he gets more and more stressed out because of the situ- situation he's in, he makes him stronger and stronger and stronger <laughs> until like by the end he literally fills the glass. Hold on, up to like there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And literally dumps like some powdered milk into it and mixes it with his finger. <laughs> <laughs> that was a great. That was a great fucking uh, scene where again. he just put he put like coffee mate into it because he didn't have milk and yeah. just pretty much took the uh, uh, vodka, a little Kahlua, and uh, and put coffee mate into it. But it it lo- and it was all over his beard and mustache the whole time he was drinking. <laughs> it was just a wreck. And and you wanted to. It was annoying to watch so much shit in his beard and mustache, but uh, it absolutely made me want um, want white Russians. And Danny uh, was down here like the day after I watched it, and Danny's a really good bartender, so he's like, "What? What you got, man? You got some cream and shit and some vodka? I'll make that shit for you." And he made uh, a giant fucking white Russian. And all I'm thinking is, if I don't fucking chase this down with with lactate, I'm gonna be fucking salad shooting out my asshole <laughs> i really don't i really didn't need that <laughs> it's horrible yeah it's uh they're, they're not a friendly stomach drink man no it, that's what it is it, I, I like those drinks where you can um where you can really get hammered and they taste good but those are the ones that will fuck you up stomach wise not even like hangover wise but like stomach wise you can't on a hot summer day i cannot drink guinness to the point of getting really drunk. It's too thick, too heavy. I just do uh, jello shots. I can never drink Guinness, man. Guinness I don't drink like- Guinness uh, no, either. I, I, I like to get... I'm keeping it light tonight because I know it's a busy weekend with a death storm busy going. Week, it's By the way, where's my, where's, where's my graphic? Hold it, hold it. I got to put my uh, uh, graphic <laughs> up. Uh, there it is. Extreme death storm. In case you missed my weather report, uh, which was very informative. By the way, now I got to put another zero in here. Uh, and, and enter because it's up now hundreds <laughs> hundreds of millions dead extreme death storm uh, happening as we speak it's it's, it's, it's uh, uh, what a tragedy we're going through here in the Arma, United States Armageddon I've heard I've heard Boo. <laughs> there is a category 5 drizzle happening down in North Carolina right now cat 5 drizzle the finger of like Saint Matthew. Finger of God. Finger of God. It's coming right for us. That movie stuck, by the way. Are you kidding me? That's my favorite movie. It's coming right for us. It's already here. Release Dorothy. Oh, really? Dorothy from the garage. He's the extreme. You know what they call him, the extreme. And you know what's the worst is Philip Seymour Hoffman in that movie. Philip Seymour Hoffman is the, is worst, the worst character. Ever. No matter what happens, like his leg could be cut off and it'll be like, yeah, my leg was cut he's, off. He's like I'm Garth. Extreme. He's like Garth from Wayne's World. He's yeah. like, it's 
fucking extreme. Everything was so extreme to him. And they <laughs> called fucking, they called fucking Bill Paxton the extreme. It's like, yeah, they called me. And then they told the story about how he was naked and drunk with a bottle of Jack Daniels. And, and he walked chasing. out into the uh, tornado and took the bottle of Jack Daniels and threw it at the tornado, man. And, and, then, it, and, and it never hit the ground. Extreme! And then he jerked off in the eye of the storm and <laughs> yeah. his jizz got and his, everywhere. His jizz went up and clogged up Dorothy's sensors and, Dorothy and they couldn't get a reading. Dorothy, for my cum! <laughs> yeah. Extreme, Dorothy! Um, I'm gonna see the track of the storm by coming in the funnel! <laughs> <laughs> I hate that fucking movie. Oh, the movie sucks. We did a thing. It's so bad. You know what? Because the rebel guys that don't have any money and they're driving around in shit vehicles, dude, they were the ones that knew more than the sponsored guys in the black new SUVs. That just, that's a life lesson. Bill Paxton, the extreme, could pick up dirt and sniff it. And he looked at the sky and went, there's a storm what coming. What are we going to do Whoa. now? Why don't you put her in charge? <laughs> they literally, they literally took the model from the Karate Kid. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the bad guy, the good guy, the rich guy, the poor guy. It was the Karate fucking kid. The cunt ex-wife. Oh wait, the that cunt ex-wife. Wait a minute. Uh, no, that wasn't in there. What? Mr. Miyagi. <laughs> yeah, there's e- there's an evil storm tracking team. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, there was an evil storm tracking team that bought it, from- and they weren't even the fucked up thing about that movie too. They weren't evil enough to warrant them dying horrifically at the end of the movie because their whole convoy of trucks got picked up and thrown and exploded and they were dead. But it's like they weren't all that bad. He kind of bad talked them at a truck stop. He bad mouthed them on some local news show. They almost got into a fight. But he wasn't evil enough to warrant him being flung hundreds of feet in the air, plummeting to a fiery death. Yeah. I was kind of like, geez, that's harsh. It's kind of dark. Yeah, he wasn't Molarov. No, no, <laughs> no, he wasn't. He wasn't Magneto. The fucking guy, he's just some guy trying to chase some storms. He lucked out, got a sponsor. And he wore cargo some, pants. Yeah, he wore some <laughs> cargo pants. He was cool. I had no problem with the guy. You know what bothers me more than anything about that rivalry in the movie? It's like, let me get this straight, Helen Hunt. You're a storm fanatic and you hate the storm chasers that have the technology to appropriately track the storm. Yes! Shouldn't they be your idols? Those are the guys. Because their whole gig was, let's figure out an early warning system for people because the twisters are killing people. And, and, and whatever it takes. Like, So if they had to team up with people that had some cash that they could like hook together with, but they were like, their, their egos got in the way of saving uh, you know, thousands of, of lives. Why, why are we picking apart uh, Twister so much? Because it stinks. Because <laughs> it sucks. We did, a, uh, we did a Twister show, me and Melissa. Uh, I, I love doing like kind of a mystery science theater thing. We, we play a movie, we do a split screen, and just goof on it. And that one, I, I don't know why we did it first, because it's it so hard so, to top. Yeah, it's like, what so other good. movie can you play and actually pause Inde- it? Independence Day. And then go, this sucks so bad. Independence Day is good. That one would, would be a good one, because it's so oh, bad. Yeah, we gotta do that one. That's a good one to do, Independence, Independence Day. Independence Day. Let me tell you one of the most angry moments I've ever had in a movie <laughs> oh, <theater>. Okay. <laughs> I went to Independence Day on opening weekend because my dickhead friend was like, let's go see it. It's going to rule. <laughs> it's going to rule. It's going to rule. And I'm sitting there in the movies w- with two of my buddies, and they're loving every minute of that movie. Who doesn't love and Will I Smith? Was, I was, like, still young enough. I was a, I was like, I was a teenager, but Aww. I was young enough Aww. that I didn't understand when shit sucked <laughs> yeah yeah like i liked top gun i liked armageddon i saw in the theater i was <laughs> okay. like fucking hell yeah. smith rule so we all understand <laughs> yeah, Steven Tyler. Like, here, like i'm not into this man like what, is there something wrong with me everybody in the theater loves this right now <laughs> and then i remember the the part where i tapped out and finally was like fuck these people fuck this movie <laughs> Was when Randy Quaid does the kamikaze into the spaceship. Oh, yes. The entire theater started laughing and applauding and cheering oh, him. Oh, and why? <laughs> it's, uh, that part was so bad. Uh, coming through, Mr. President. 
Oh, God. I'm back. Wasn't really? The, wasn't the president black in that? Uh, no, it was fucking Bill Pullman, who you always call Bill Paxton. I Bill get Pullman. those two confused. Yes, well, they're both great actors. No, it's why you get no, them confused so much. Oh, let's, oh, really? <laughs> let's nuke the bastards. Uh, oh, that, shut up. Go back to Spaceballs. The, <laughs> the, <laughs> the let's nuke the bastards. Another one that was horrible is I don't remember the fine actor's name, Men but black. he's like, but he's like this. Wait, wait, let me see if I can get the fucking I gotta get the swagger too get on the horn and tell all these people how to take them sons of bitches down <laughs> oh. I believe that was Ronald Reagan to Mr. Uh, Gorbachev yes. tell them how to tear down that wall no, it was it was so de- there was so many douchey moments, and of course we've always goofed on the over the top Jew Jewiness of uh, fucking uh, what, what's his name from Judge Taxi? Hirsch. Yeah, Hirsch. Judge Her- uh, Judge Hirsch. Robert yeah. De Niro. My, David, my son David, David. Hey, you don't be dead if it wasn't for my son David. Give me a matzah. Yeah. He was Judge so Hirsch Jewish. First role since Taxi. Yeah. <laughs> First role since Taxi. And he was over the top. Like, they must have just put Jew, Jewy, Jew, Jew it up, Jew, Jew between every fucking line on the script. Don't forget to Jew it up. I'll, t- <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what happened. I'll tell you what happened. They, they called Judd Hershen for the meeting, and they go, look. Uh, we wrote this part for Jackie Mason, but he's not available. <laughs> but he's, uh, he's actually trying uh, to put together Caddyshack 3, and uh, he's unavailable. <laughs> Jesus, Caddyshack 2, there's another one. With Dan Aykroyd doing uh, that clearly was supposed uh, to be Bill Murray's uh, character. It was that movie... Uh, and I, I will always say this, and I don't care who brings up what other fucking sequel. The worst sequel ever made is Caddyshack 2. I will have to fucking say that. I'll put that worse than Godfather 3 to, to Godfather 2, and I hated Godfather 3. Because Caddyshack was so good when you first saw it, especially. Yeah. And then to just go down the shitter like that with, uh, yeah, like you said... Trying to pull off the fucking Bill Murray character and and no Rodney Danger. Rodney was great in the first Caddyshack, and, and then to have Jackie Mason try to do that, uh, it's, 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 it's bad awful. enough. It's bad enough when you get the actual people in a sequel and they only do the same jokes, and you're sitting there going, "Oh, are you really going to the well again?" With you know with this what one? I want to see a, a a sequel of what? Cool Runnings, man. Oh God, <laughs> that was. That's just an awful fucking movie. Cool running. The Jamaican bobsled team, we get it. They're black. They hate the snow. But look at them go. They're this goofy, is- and they have dreadlocks. Yeah. And just conveniently, just conveniently, there happens to be a white guy that was a pro, that was the best. John and Candy. Yes. Well, John Candy was there, because you can't just get a bunch of black people without the white plantation owner to, you know, show them what hey, to do. Hey, that's racist. To show, uh, oh, was it? Was I being racist? No. Or was I saying what movies were about back then when any black people? Back then, it was 92. People, back then, it's anything. All those movies where there's the, the, the white teacher that goes into the black school. Oh, like Dangerous Minds. They, dangerous Minds. They hate the fucking Love teacher. Minds. And then they start appreciating the fact that we're learning. I get it. We be learning and shit. I'm going to get my learn on. I'm going to get my education on and shit now. Shh. Why am I going to be shot? I could yell as loud as I want. It's my house. <laughs> See, that's how I roll. Oh, shit. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> I, gotta, I, gotta, I think I have a worse sequel than Caddyshack 2. Oh, okay. okay. Arthur 2 on the run. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I, I I think you're right here. There's uh Someone said I look like a tranny. The fr- <laughs> what? Oh, you must have. It must have been when I had Joe's camera up. Wait a- <laughs> I'm kidding, hey, Joe. Hey. You never look like a tranny. You're a handsome man. You know, everybody hates my bangs. It's uh. Why do they hate your bangs? I, I love like- bangs. I hate big far headed girls. It's fucking awful. 
Stop it. Yeah, what is, Melissa, what is the thing with your bangs? They keep, you, I keep seeing like the, do you the, hate you know, them? the, 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 the feed, whatever the fuck you call it, the chat room. Yeah, it's a chat. I don't know. Bangs things. People are they weird. don't like her bang like that. But let me tell you something. She fucking gets so many modeling jobs because of her dumbass bangs. Hey, don't call them dumb. Or cute. Right. Whatever. You know, you're interchangeable. I, I like them. your bangs. I, well, I don't. I do. But wait a minute. We were talking about a fucking awful sequel. Yeah. Arthur, Arthur 2 on the rocks. For now, Arthur season. was a funny-ass fucking movie. Arthur 1? Yeah, everyone liked it. It was fucking, it was funny and it was like endearing and all that shit. And then, uh, and he was drunk, but he was funny. And the second one, like the audience is watching going like, yeah, I think he, I think he needs to go into treatment. (laughs) Like this isn't funny anymore. It was awful. They brought back in, in, in the, in the like most blatant move of, we had no fucking idea how much of a hit the first one was going to be. <laughs> yes. In the history of Hollywood, the worst move I've ever seen, they brought back John Gielgud as a ghost. Yeah, yeah, because John Gielgud's character was integral to the, the, the whole story of the first Arthur. Uh, yeah. uh, a, 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 and he was such a great character that they brought him back as a ghost. What the fuck is it? Who, who wrote that? And everyone went, yeah. What a great idea. Ghost dead. They didn't even do it. Like, they could have at least tried to make it funny where they're like, Arthur's so drunk, he's hallucinating John Kilkut. Yeah, make, yeah, do something like that. Yeah, he's fucking, he's hallucinating, and then he blacks out, and he wakes up uh, with his dick in another man's asshole. <laughs> something hysterically funny that could actually happen when you're drinking. <laughs> yeah, he wakes up, and he's fucking John Halston. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I thought you were John Gilgood. It was John Gilgood, John Houston. They should have cast John Houston. Oh, it was an, or what, Houseman. Well, or what? Houseman. Houseman. Yeah, you know who I mean. I that. have no idea. But and what? What about the? Did you even see the new one that they made with Russell uh, Brand? I didn't. You know what, man? I was torn on that. I didn't see it. Um, because it, it didn't look that funny. But I had to say, when I heard they were remaking it, I rolled my eyes. And then when I saw how they casted it, I was like, you know what? This is the absolute best cast if they're going to do this, like to play these yeah. characters. But then it just didn't look funny in the commercials. Like, it, 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 it really funny. didn't. And they changed the storyline around too much where they made um, they made it too, like the, the his wife-to-be was too sexy and... It just, it didn't work out the way the first one did, where there was that whole thing where his wife was a fucking, you know, rich little cunt thing, and 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 his girlfriend wasn't, like, hot or anything. She, it was fucking Liza Minnelli, for fuck's sake. He just, for some reason, liked her personality. It wasn't about looks or anything. Yeah, uh, no, no shit. They, yeah, yeah, believe me. <laughs> believe me, it wasn't about looks or anything. <laughs> he fucked it up. Oh, I'm, getting a, I'm, get, I'm getting a uh, text here. Uh, weekend at Bernie's too. Awful. Yeah, weekend, hey, whoa, weekend, whoa, whoa, weekend whoa, at Bernie's. Whoa, 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 the whoa. first one. Whoa. What are you fucking Joey Lawrence? <laughs> whoa. <laughs> the, the fucking, I wish you were. He's adorable. The the now the the first one was kind of a novelty thing, but the second one was awesome. It wasn't. <laughs> Do the Bernie dance. What is that? What do they sing? She's going to do the Bernie. You ever see the black guys? They, did, they made a dance out of the Bernie. No, did they really? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. There's the Bernie. And uh, what do they sing? What do they sing? Moving like Bernie. Moving like Bernie. Moving like Bernie. And they, and they lean over and move their arms. Oh, it's hysterical. Those black people, they, they like got a whole other thing going on. It's That's hilarious. Real? That was a dance in like hip hop clubs and stuff? Yeah, yeah, like people were doing the Bernie. Like on YouTube, the Bernie. The Bernie. They were doing the Bernie. It's like a fucking dance. It's it's, it's hilarious. It's one of my favorite things ever. I don't know how. And and why is it that black people can fucking like one guy somewhere can make some shit up, and it'll catch on like Ghost like Ride wildfire. the Whip. Ghost Ride the Whip. Ghost Ride the Whip. Ghost like, Ride the School Bus anything. was one of the best things I've ever seen. <laughs> but <laughs> anything. But but a white guy like you try to fucking. Make no, a like catchphrase a, or a line because the black people are hilarious. They really are hilarious with their lines and catchphrases they're and awesome. and words and the way they, 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 they're yeah, hilarious. Did you, Anthony, did you just say that white people have never made anything that caught on? <laughs> well, now, Joe, 
I'm, t- I'm not talking about spacecraft and cars about Apple computers? And, and, and fucking <laughs> ships and submarines and computers. Planes. And, and, well, well, look, I could go on, but I'm talking about catchy language. And funny lines. Uh, not white people. White people have come up with a couple of good things. Like, we have dude. <laughs> dude is our. Yeah, awesome, dude, is, awesome dude is, is so uh, white. Awesome is all ours. Awesome, badass is ours. Uh, Hella. M- no one uses gnarly anymore, but it was ours. Righteous is ours. Yeah, yeah. Who uses Oh, my God. I got, like, I got popcorn kernels stuck in my lip. Hold on. Oh, maybe it's cancer. <laughs> Melissa, uh, what? Is there a way, Melissa, is there a way when you lean no. in, I can't see Anthony? Is there a way for you to pull your mic back a little bit? Oh! oh no, 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 I'm not saying no, no, that. Yes, thing. I wouldn't be able to see both of you, though. Okay, well, she can move the computer, I thought too. You were looking at the live feed. No, you can't. I'm looking at, like, a profile. Yeah, she can't. If, she, if he looks at the live feed, it's going to be horrible. I occasionally look over at you, Joe. You notice? Oh, here we go. Now there's a mic stand in the way. But but wait, wait. Now we can't hear Joe. You got to put the mic back on us. Ah! Put it put it right against the... Uh, oh, wait a minute. Where, <laughs> where is he going? Right here. Where is he going? Now turn it. Can you see? Oh, okay. Well, there we go. Okay, now put the mic um, against the speaker. Maybe the other speaker? Put it over the top. Yeah. No, that ain't gonna work. That's like, uh, Talk, Joe. Let me hear. Can you hear me? Not really. Same thing. No. Go over the top and go to the other speaker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And go. Is there another speaker there? Go right against it. Flat against it. There you go. Go ahead. Talk. Hey. But that's it. What? Well, we that's- oh, there, there you go. But just don't block his camera. There. Oh, that's perfect. That's perfect. That's beautiful. Now we is got that okay? it. There we now go. I can see you both. There we go. And I don't want to, lest anybody forget, we're here for Extreme Death Storm. Uh, I, Irene, Eileen, whatever the fucking name is. And it's, There's uh, a, you put apostrophe I'm rep- in hundreds. Yeah, because it's 100 and then it's apostrophe S. Does the millions dead belong to the hundreds? Hundreds of... There's no apostrophe. What? Is there an apostrophe? No, if, I put, if I put the number, you. I put the number, one hundreds, and I put a hundred, and then apostrophe S, hundreds of millions dead. There's if no apostrophe. You write it as, as one zero zero, there's an apostrophe. If you write it as the word, there isn't. Yeah. Exactly. Thank you, Joe. No, 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 no you're no, wrong no, on no, this. No, no, no. Stetton, you're wrong on this one. You're wrong on this one. At least, at least for this show, you are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. See? All right, it is. It's always an... Uh, uh, what about Marlboro 100s? There's an apostrophe. People who smoke cigarettes are dumb. <laughs> well, I don't know what that means. Nothing to do with it. Look. Oh, you fucking... Shut up. Oh, my God. I don't like people. People use apostrophes like, uh, in there and you know, use... <sighs> like, not to get too, like, science nerdy, but do you know how the how the storm actually started? Yes, I explained it in my weather forecast. No, you didn't. <laughs> yes, you I, did I, not. I saw that, but there was a, an event that you didn't mention. El Nino. No, it wasn't El Nino. The space landing of moon landing. Of oh, what happened was uh, Gravity. Ross did a set in South Carolina. <laughs> <laughs> this is true, and that's Sorry, what... I couldn't that's too. I couldn't resist. You gotta do that joke. <laughs> I uh. Oh my my volume's really fucking booming over here. Holy shit! Let me bring myself down. I'm a loud Did mouth. Did you go see? Dave, I'm a total Dave loud Matthews mouth. band tonight. Joe. What? What? <laughs> oh. I, I didn't. I didn't. But I, I don't mind Dave Matthews band. They got you know, a bad rep. I used like to best. love them. In- why? And, and now I pretend like I didn't because it's not cool. <laughs> uh, oh, that's my mic. Hey, what oh, are you that, doing? That could do it. What do you think you're doing? Quit hitting buttons. Listen, that's how fucking long those guys have been around is they came out when I was in high school. You, well, oh, you're not that. You're only 31, right? I'm 34. Oh, okay. That's never mind. A fucking... Well, I'm 27. for that oh, Almost <laughs> 20 years now. I guess I was like a ninth wow. grade when I was... Holy seven. shit. Really? Yikes. Yeah, they came out when I was 17, dude. I mean, and that was like, came out meaning broke huge into the mainstream. They had an album before that, and they were obviously a band for a while before that. Those fucking guys have been playing That's crazy. forever. That's uh, insane, dude. I never fucking got into I them. I like their live album. Never got into them. 
Did you? But that's it. For like maybe two years, I listened to him. Did you? Hey! <laughs> Did you? Would look, you? Look, could you? Look. No, I, ne- look. I never got into them. Yeah, I like you, Bush too. Who, so. do you, uh, who do you like? Because I've gone back and forth many times on the show with Opie about bands and we, we argue or agree. Who, who are you into? You've never really jumped in and said, I. This is my favorite. Uh, you're right. I, I, I've i reached a point in my life and everyone hits that fucking wall where you can't listen to newer music. Not that it annoys me. I'm not like, ah, these kids with their music, it makes me, it gives me a headache. I just kind of, I stopped at a certain point where I just like bands that I could listen to over and over again, like, like pre nineties. And it's it's it, no, it's it's Alice in Chains. Yeah, STP. It's fucking Soundgarden, STP. I, I I do delve a little bit into the the thousands, but then when I, it all started, here it is, and and I'll sound like a fucking ancient fossil doing this, but when all songs started sounding like, my girlfriend she told me I could not get them with her and I did not it it was like, what, what? This stinks! I hate... And and every band sounded like that. Don't make fun of Blink-182. Yes, thank you. (laughs) It sounded like... I went to... My girlfriend's, she told me I shouldn't be there, so I took her to the... Where's Spoon Man? That's Jimmy Eat World. Where's Spoon Man? Jimmy Eat World? Blink-182 Spoon Man. (laughs) Spoon Man. (laughs) Give me a Jesus Christ pose, for the love of God. Ethan. Give me a Jesus Christ pose, Ethan. Ethan. Uh, uh, give me yeah. a black hole sun even do you like faith no more <laughs> yeah I like faith no more they're they're, oh, they're great oh they're the greatest they're the greatest yeah the uh, I, I, I agree I, you know when I was uh, when it jumped the shark for me when I was in <clears throat> excuse me when I was in high school you went to high school like <laughs> <punk>. yeah <laughs> Something just happened. I think I just got insulted. I no, she it. said you I'm, went to you went to high time, school. But, it's like, why would you say that? Knowing that Joe is a smart guy, like, why would you say that? You went to high school. It doesn't make sense, but it's a bash on you. Like I'm a model. I I try to get any jabs that I can. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I have the true. dumbest job on the planet. <laughs> you really do. <laughs> She took a picture of my a, life. She took a picture of a bunch of girls the other day that were at an audition she was at. They're all and 60. I said they looked like a bag, a of bag full of antlers. They were all so emaciated and, and fucking anorexic. It looked like if you took a pillowcase and threw antlers in it and popped a head on top of it, that's a model. Well good, it means they're trying. Yes. Yeah. I, and and I, I really do love that though. That look is great. That fucking knobby need. All they need is that pot belly and flies flying around them, and you know, to be a different color. You know what look I like? I like. I like. I like a girl who look like she's just about to collapse. <laughs> yes. like, just teetering on it. These girls, and I sit there, I eat my Cliff Bar. I'm like. Eh, I probably shouldn't be eating this. I feel fat now. I feel fat. I feel fat when I go to these castings. Well, you should. I really oh, am. Jesus. That's well, what the model is all, but that's what modeling is. It's feeling fat all the time so you don't get fat. But, like, I don't care. That's the thing. I was like, I don't fucking... I like food. Well, you're going to be a plus-size model? Fuck no. <laughs> plus- I will never be fat. <laughs> it's not in my it's, genes. Uh, yeah, don't, don't go down that road, Melissa. That's like... It's... It's, I'm, I being was kind of being this a girl thing. recently, and she was like in better shape than I could ever fucking even dream of being in. <laughs> and she was like, "I'm fat now," and I was like, "It's sick." And I'm like, "You're sick." It's like, it's like, I that you know, I actually do have sympathy. Hit record and play. Hey! Holy shit! What the hell happened? See, you know what it is? I'll tell you what it is. Extreme. Fucking death storm, hundreds of millions dead. See? Irene, oh uh, boy, Irene chimed oh, in and fucked our boy. broadcast up. It's just the initial outer bands that are striking us now. Actually, they're not. They're not even close to fucking no, anywhere in the United States a... yet. Uh, but uh, uh, Joe DeRosa, you're back. Oh wait, you took Marissa's uh, advice and put a shirt on. Marissa texted me. I will, uh, Stick into the chair. Mar- Marissa's, get- Marissa's getting married, actually. 
Uh, congratulations, uh, Marissa. Get married to Zeke. Going to be a cop's wife. Wow. That's a tough nut. But have fun. Uh, she goes, can't DeRosa put a shirt on and be a little bit professional? Like, look at, look at what we're doing right now, Marissa. We're drinking... And, yeah, it looks cool. We got the screen, the graphic, but we're just drunks hanging out and doing a show. Joe is probably the most professional guy uh, for the whole evening. This is... Oh, that's cute. (laughs) This really is... This does signify the breakdown of society. Because I came home, I was alone, I was going to go to bed, and then I was like, I'm going to call Anthony's thing, and I'm literally sitting here... Drinking by myself, but feeling like I'm not alone. You're not I'm alone. Sleeping. It, it, it it's really the really this is the future. Yeah. The whole basis of technology was the ability to drink alone at home, yet not really be alone. That's why when you're drunk, you're always on Twitter, so because you feel like you're talking to people. Yeah, because I don't want right? to drink alone. Yeah, when nobody is. Yeah, well, well you're going for my third Jack on the Rocks at uh, <laughs> 2 a.m. Let me tell you something, uh, people. Uh, Joe DeRosa is a motherfucker at karaoke. Oh, we, boy. We, we, at the party we had uh, that Joe was over, we did some karaoke, and uh, I, felt a lo- I felt some competition there, let me tell you. It was one of those like, oh, shit, I can't fuck. Now I can't slack. I got to fucking be good. You were the you were the star of the night though, dude. You you banged out those songs. Uh, in fact, hold on, I got a picture of us doing Africa together. It's really funny looking because <laughs> you can just see how fucking drunk we are in the picture. Hold on a second. Okay, I gotta see that one. <laughs> Holy shit! Hold on, let me. It was really. I, I tell you that it was really good. It was a, a fun fucking time. Uh, you, are you gonna be around on Labor Day? Did I ask you that? <laughs> I RSVP'd. I can't come. I'm gonna be on. I'm doing this tour in September. I'm gonna be gone for the whole month. Ah, shit. That sucks, man. You fucking comics stink. You're always fucking working or something. I I can. It's like, yeah, come over. It's a weekend, a holiday. That's like when you guys work. (laughs) Actually, I don't have it on my phone. I thought I did. Dude, I'm so bummed that I can't come to that party, man. I was like, God I, w- I, I wish. It's uh, it's one of those fucking, you know, it's going to be, it's the last big one of the of the summer, so it's one of those really debaucherous ones where everyone will come over. I don't care how scummy, sleazy, or half-naked, well, uh, they will all be there. Party. Was, outdoor uh, party. Yeah. I was touched because it was the, one of the only times uh, I've as seen a kid. <laughs> come out of Andy Levy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> was when I told him I couldn't go. He goes, you're going to Anthony's, right? And I go, I can't, dude. I'm on the road. And he went, oh, man, seriously? <laughs> I know. He was bummed that his pal can't fucking come to the party. What a bunch of children. <laughs> We're just a bunch of fucking children. <laughs> oh, my pal gave up. Come on, man. Flat lever. You flat lift left me. <laughs> Bros before hoes, dude. Bros before hoes. <laughs> you motherfuckers. Yeah. Well, that's always been the uh, the deal there. Oh, Lizzie's uh, coming. Lizzie. What? Lizzie is coming on uh, Wednesday. Oh, Lizzie. Wednesday. She's coming back out from uh, Los Angeles. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, Melissa's got her pals that show up, and they stay here it's just uh, Lizzie at the house. Time. And it's, it's really hilarious because I see so much um, uh, just female body parts. When your your pals well, come Lizzie by. gets really drunk and then she always ends up like jumping in the pool with like her boobs falling out of her yeah. bathing suit. I, I I saw the, my favorite with Lizzie was I went into the theater to see if anyone was in there, and I opened the door and she was on one of the front row seats, which are like double seats. They're like almost bench seats, and she she was laying down in her panties, which were completely pulled aside, and her vagina was just like. He- Hello! Hello! Talk to me! Talk to, I'm bored! Talk I'm to bored. me! Her uh, vagina, what, it, it's as if she purposefully pulled her <laughs> panties aside, fell asleep and went, well, if anyone comes in there, gonna see my vagina. Jesus Christ. Jesus. And I have pictures oh, to prove it. Oh, she's hilarious. <laughs> I had to take a picture. <laughs> 
Where was I when that happened? I think I was in the hot tub with five men. Yeah, I know. That's the worst part about it is the male to female ratio. I wish I could be more like Hef. And uh, now you've been to the Playboy Mansion, yeah, uh, Melissa. Uh, are, are there more guys than girls there? Yeah, actually, no. They don't allow. You only get invitations. Ah, for, see, uh, this it's is... really hard to get in there if you're a guy. See, now this is what I have to do. Yeah. I have to whittle down the guy list, get the girl list up, and that way it won't be me. DeRosa, Kelly, fucking Levy, all in the hot tub talking about, you know, hey, wouldn't it be great if there was a girl in here? Yeah, get your toe off of my ball bag. <laughs> Can you not rub knees with me in the hot tub? <laughs> yeah. There, there really is nothing worse than inadvertently, if I may say, rubbing your foot on, on another man or your L anywhere. If there's too many guys in the hot tub, it really gets uncomfortable. <laughs> Guy soup. It's fucking guys. testicle soup. <laughs> testicle and hairy asshole bis. Yeah, that last party was, was a blast, man. Yeah. I, I, yeah. Jesus Christ, I did you that. get home safe? <laughs> did I get... did. I, I, was, I was quite drunk by the end of the night. And, uh, but, uh, I, I went home with Andy, actually. And he to oh, that sounds sexy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's always a homo joke. Yeah, well, there, there were several times on the train where I was like, why, why can't you just be a chick? Why can't you just be me and a chick going back to New York right now? Um, but we got home. We got home safe. The train ride actually kind of, I guess, to some degree sobered me up. But yeah, yeah, that'll do it. With yeah, the, um, I mean, I, I've I've taken the train home from uh, like concerts at the Garden oh, uh, years ago, and every stop you'd get the slosh of beer yeah. and vomit that would roll under the seats like a tide. You'd have to pick your feet up because so many people were puking and spilling their drinks and and shit. And uh, you're coming over for a concert now, and the it would it was it's. Dunk. It sucks. They don't do that anymore. Night. They kind of they throw people off the train if they're yeah. vomiting. Uh -huh. It's amazing these we days. Were, we were coming back on the train one time. We did this shit show. Me and another comic did a shit show upstate. Love the shit show. <laughs> and uh, and so we we got six packs before the show. We were drinking on the train. We're like, fuck this. This sucks. And we did the show. And then we're coming back. And we were on the train. And miraculously. A group of like five people got on the train. They had a handle of Jim Beam and and cups, and they were making drinks. And I go, dude, let's go buy whiskey and cokes from them. <laughs> you, like That's like funny. the bar car. You're buying them from fucking. That's awesome. <laughs> I was Woodlands. so excited, and he was like, nah, I'll puke if I do that. And I was like, well, no, I can't do it alone, or I'm going to look like an alky. <laughs> well, yeah, you don't want to look like an alky. That's the trick, is not looking like one. Yeah, I'll live like one. Yes. I didn't notice. Who doesn't? I have, Joe, I have a full bar in my house yeah, and I'm not even talking about one of those you know your uncle put up the plywood bar with some paneling on it and it's he's real, got a couple of deal. cans of Schaefer and a cooler behind it <laughs> this is a bar a full bar with <laughs> kegs and booze and an ice machine it's a wonder wonderful place <laughs> it's, it's beautiful man it's beautiful I was telling you when I came over the last time that I wished my buddy Scott, who I grew up with, who's like my oldest, closest friend, he's family. I've known him literally since I was two or three years old. He did the same thing. He's got a townhouse in Pennsylvania. He spent whatever he spent on his basement. And his basement, you go in, full bar, fully stocked, taps, every kind of booze you can think of, every kind of glass you can think oh, of, ice machine, the whole night, Miss Pac Man video game machine. <laughs> you got it. Huh? projection screen TV with every video game system, theater surrounds it. It's an amazing room and we just go down there and it's like you don't need to leave dude. You just, no. you just That's exactly what I it is. I never leave this place. I don't <laughs> want I, I, I would love to never have to leave my house and it's not an agoraphobic thing no. or, or one of those like ah, I don't like getting out or mingling with people or society but it's just there's you no reason to the, leave. It's this better. Place. It's better than anywhere I can go. It is. Unless I'm going to like Atlantis. 
I'll go to Atlantis and gamble. And Bahamas, fucking, it's great. Yeah. And shit like that. Or Vegas or something like that. But, like, why am I leaving here to go to Dave and Buster's? Like, I <laughs> don't it's have to. It's, you know, I went to I went to Rome with one of my buddies two years ago. Oh, and we, we had a great time. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> Rome was great. We had fun. But halfway through the trip, I just turned to him and I go, dude, what are we doing? I go, we're just doing what we would do anywhere else. Yeah. <laughs> That's so <laughs> true when you go to Europe. I, I yes. That's what we're doing. I've done that with so many vacations I've been on, and I, I get there, and I'm like, yeah, I'm on vacation. This is fucking awesome. We're going to do that. And then all I'm thinking is, I, I, could, I could just do this at home. This why, yeah. and, and without having to be on a plane and, 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 and like yeah. worry about packing and unpacking and shit. Like that, because that's the hassle of any vacation. No matter how good it is, mm -hmm. it's the traveling part, the packing, unpacking. But if the vacation fucking rules, then that's fine. You, you, yeah. you kind of sacrifice that. Yeah. But if the vacation is exactly what you could do at home, then I don't want to deal with the problems of going on vacation. Mm -hmm. Exactly, dude. Most vacations, it's like, how was it? You go, oh, it was great. Um, uh, we went to the Eiffel Tower, and we got, like, really shit-faced at the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> so then we went to Paris. the, you know, that famous museum in mm -hmm. Paris. We got the really Louvre. <laughs> the, oh, oh, the famous... You, did you did you actually just say that famous museum? Mm -hmm. <laughs> did you go to uh, Jim Morrison's grave? And the too? dumb the dumb model had to say the Louvre. <laughs> I've been there. I was at the Louvre. I got drunk and I saw the Mona Lisa. Did you? That's fucking partying. What was she what was she moaning about? It was probably wasn't even the real one following. either. Yeah, you think that's, they put counterfeits on? Uh, yeah. Well, listen, that's my point. You're just like, you're just like, we got drunk and looked at this. Yeah. Of, <laughs> yeah. I went to Copenhagen, I got <laughs> wasted, and I saw Radiohead in Copenhagen. Or whatever, you know what I mean? Well, that's cool. Yeah. <laughs> but I was in Copenhagen, and I was wasted, so it was, like, different. But it's the same fucking shit. Copenhagen? Too. I love fucking Denmark. How is Copenhagen, yeah? Oh, Denmark. Copenhagen's my favorite city in Europe. That's crazy you've you, been you, there. You rent these bikes. You put 40 Danish kroners, which is like five bucks. In, in the spokes? Bikes. And, and they the, make and sounds? No, in the bikes. Oh. And, you, and you unlock them. A... Then you ride them around. Then you lock them back up at the end of the day. And no one They're steals just them? city bikes. No, you can steal them. Yeah? But oh, but then you put them somewhere wherever you, you go. You put them somewhere and you get your money back. You know what, though? You the can't best do that idea here. ever. You can't, no, do, you that can't do that here, here because of the motherfucking... They will steal them well, and the then bikes have these, strip them these, and sell like, them. These, like, steel maps, like, embedded It doesn't in matter. Them. It doesn't matter. And you know it's a because city Because here in this country, if you put anything out there for people to use as a communal thing, the yeah, fucking... Yeah, they'll fuck it up. ...will take them and fucking well, sell, them, uh, sell them for parts. The fucking... Savages, motherfuckers, those fucking. We'll take them. I don't have a beep, so I'm trying. Well, the Dane, the Danes <laughs> are really that, nice people. But they do that in, uh, I think, in Portland, Oregon. They do that bike system. The city bike thing. Portland, Oregon, the Portland, Maine, Lloyd. Portland is for the '90s. The hair of the dog that bit me. They wear flannel shirts and listen <laughs> gotta to watch the shine. I gotta watch the Shining again. Yeah. <laughs> Portland is like is the weirdest place. In the is world. it? It's so it seems weird. like fucking. It's like very a whole 90s. Country. I need another beer. Can you believe this? Yeah, well, yeah, I'm about to dip into my fourth whiskey. I hear you, Joe. I hear you. Ah, <laughs> uh, it's just, it sucks that you're fucking gonna be away this weekend, man. Wait, this weekend or next weekend? Or next weekend, whatever. Next, next weekend. Oh, what are you doing? Like, you what are you doing fucking, tomorrow? You should evac to the fucking compound because. Here's here's what we're doing, by the way, and I'm not kidding, and I said this earlier, and this is no joke. Fucking hurricane jacuzzi. I have the heater blasting right now. <laughs> hurricane jacuzzi. We are all going to get in the pool, the jacuzzi, and swim in 80-mile-an-hour winds. How fun is that going to be? God damn it. It's going to be hysterical. You're not going to be able Real to fun. swim. You're going to be like, oh, I'm, being, oh, I'm, getting, oh, I'm drowning or something. What, are but you going to be around be tomorrow? Uh, well, I, you know, I don't want to try oh. to one-up what, what you guys are going to be doing. Oh, boy. Jacuzzi, oh, boy. But I'll be, uh, uh, what do you got? Oh, boy. I'm not bragging, but uh, yeah. I'll be uh, on my couch alone weeping, playing <laughs> Mortal Kombat by myself. Mortal Kombat. Well, you know. It, are you getting... Finish it. As long as you're playing video games, I have no problem with that, my friend. Yeah, that's a, I'll be that's masturbating incessantly and yelling, finish him every time I come. <laughs> that's finish a fun it. goddamn time. 
All right, you know what? I'm gonna get a beer. But uh, tell you the truth, I think I think I think we've had a great evening here. Yeah. It's 3:35 Eastern. Jesus Christ. And uh, I think we've had a great evening. I got <laughs> Joe DeRosa. What a pisser, man. And uh, Bob <laughs> Kelly called up earlier. This this the Skype thing. I love the fact that it works. It's awesome. It works. Again, Any it works. anyone we could do interviews with anyone now. Yeah. It's uh, this is fucking great. fantastic, be, man. I love this what, shit. You know what? Yeah. yeah. There's a beer right there. Uh, so let's just have one more. Uh, uh, all right. You know what? I'm gonna you go get a beer. I'll this get this you a beer. is a short beer. All right. Get you know, one more. And you know what? Get me a shot of Jaeger. Shot of Jaeger. A shot of Jaeger. Right. It's in the machine. You, do you know how to turn the Jaeger machine on? I have that frozen Jaeger machine. You ever see that fucking thing? Well, you've seen it. Of course you have. But uh, I have one over here. And uh, it takes a while to cool it down, though. And it's not, it hasn't been on. So, But I'll yeah. drink warm Jaeger. But I like... Oh. This was a new bottle when oh. I, tonight starting. And, and by starting, you meant like right when we started talking. When I said I'm going to get a drink. Yes, so yes. It's <laughs> yes, it's usually up to right at the bottom of the black label on the neck. I so it's above, the black, above the black label on the neck. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and did you eat tonight? Did you eat tonight? Uh, I ate like the animal I am. Ate McDonald's in a taxi cab in between shows. Oh, uh, uh, what, what is it? What are you? What are you trying to make a fucking movie? What are you, a movie comedian? Yeah, look at me. I'm the stereotypical comic. I'm running from club to club, just grabbing fast food. Just fucking eat like a teamster. Ooh. Yeah. I got another beer. Fuck it. You're right. Where am I going? You, <laughs> you know, this, you slept till five p.m. Way, today. By the way, you have just witnessed what Joe does any time we're out. Like, if anyone wants to leave, like this is a this is a webcast. But it's just like we're hanging, and if it's like, yeah, I have to, I'm gonna take off and stuff, dude. One more, dude. One more, and then it's like, yeah. Like, what you better get, do you have to do? And you get no argument out of me. It's true. I got nothing to do tomorrow. I could sleep until fucking two in the afternoon. Yeah. It doesn't even matter. I got my generator, motherfucker. Yeah. I have one show at eight o'clock. That's all I have to do tomorrow for twenty minutes. So you have to be well, up you should come by seven thirty at night. <laughs> That's pretty much where your line is. Up by 7.30, in the club by 8.30, on stage 8.45, off stage at 9.05, back home. <laughs> back home crying on your couch. Oh, that's sad. Yeah, back home to the weeping. You, you really, I, I don't know how bad the weather's going to be at that point, because, uh, ladies and gentlemen, it is the extreme death storm, hundreds of millions dead already. Hundreds. But uh, you really should uh, uh, pop on by and uh, hang out because there's booze, there's food up the ass in the fucking fridge. Barbecue is going to be cranking. I don't care if I got to, if I'm out there in a Gordon's a Gloucester fisherman fucking uh, a slicker flipping burgers in 90 mile an hour winds, I'm going to do it, God damn it. Here's, here's the two reasons I can't come. At yeah. all. He doesn't have a car. I, and I want to. God, trust me, I want to. Number one, all the trains yeah. in New York stop at 12 o'clock. L-I-R-R's. And what is this, the 1850s? A train. Listen to this guy. Down because of the weather. They're shutting all the public trains I understand, down. but it's like, you know, you should have your own transport there, my friend. You know, it's... <laughs> he doesn't have that. <laughs> I love his face. I love the looking. He goes, no, it's... A... <laughs> and then he just starts laughing at me for being if a I, douche. If I never went out at all, I could have a car. <laughs> you could. If you never went out, you can have a car. Wow, that's that's sort of, that's so profound. Yeah, <laughs> that's, this that takes a town lot. Must keep a car in the city. Anyway, so that's the first reason. The second reason is I promised Bobby I would check his apartment for him uh, on Sunday to make sure it didn't flood. So I told the guy to do him a solid. I can't bail on him. Here's what it is, though. What is what? Are you gonna stop the flooding? Here's my point. So, so if it floods, you're there to say, hey, it flooded, but I did nothing. I'm just, why not put a water sensor yeah. one inch above the floor? That could do exactly what you're doing. Because that's, you're not going to stop it. Well, that's a great point. Where were you three hours ago when I committed to this favor? <laughs> You can, me when, I can see DeRosa there filling sandbags with sand and stacking them against the wall. You're not. You're gonna be like, yeah, dude, your place is fucked. 
Either it is or it isn't. Whether you tell him or not, That's it's true. not going to change what happens. That's a good is point. he coming back early if it is flooded? It's a good he point. Can. It's just, yeah, he like, can. I don't know. This kind of went through my head, this logic, as he was asking me to do it. But uh, he seemed like he needed a favor. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't want to fuck. You know when a guy asks you a favor, you don't want to sit there and go, but what about the thing? I didn't want to fuck. I, I, I know. know. Yeah. Like, oh, I, I'll do that for I you. hear you. You know. Yeah. Who's uh, all coming out this weekend? Uh, I don't know. We got like, uh, Lisa and Travis. Yeah, we got Travis, Lisa, their daughter, their dog, Keith, uh, Angela, their, their dog, two daughters, the fucking dog, dog, the cat. Cats. Um, and I, I, Laszlo actually uh, What's he texted doing? me, but I think he's hightailing it up to his place in Massachusetts because he lives in Long Beach. And that place is gonna get. Oh uh, yeah, uh, is Jimmy coming over to watch uh, the fight? I don't know. I don't. I don't know. I, I have the generator, which means as long as FiOS doesn't go out, I could still watch television. Storms might be here till six a.m. What? Saturday night. Wait, Saturday night is six a.m. Sunday, Sunday morning about? at six. See, but the the bands of precipitation will start hitting our region. Blah, 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 if, blah, if, blah. If I could go to the uh, weather channel and... I yeah. gave you the weather forecast. You gave me the shittiest weather <laughs> forecast. Boy, is that bit over? Oh. <laughs> you lo- Joe, you know when a bit works great the first time and then it just tanks the second time? Are you saying that, that wasn't funny? It wasn't as good as the first one, baby. You it got wasn't admit. because I need to do something else. But you, you stretched it out. You got to be quick. You gotta be like, boom, you boom, it's done. You wouldn't let and me. Done. I let you. I fucking, I'm the guy at the switch. I, I kept hitting it over and letting you fucking do your thing. I like even wrote down. And you like, say you wrote shit. I did write stuff. I didn't hear any of your written stuff. You didn't know what I wrote it, down. I I said everything that I wrote down. Holy shit. Wow. Did you? Yeah. Ooh, I'm in trouble now, Joe. And now I'm, I, I thought she was just winging it, and she actually wrote oh, it. Oh, no, 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 she no, She was no. writing, and I, I thought she was just fucking ad-libbing. No. That was written? Well, t- <laughs> <laughs> now she's all like... Some of the jokes were in, some of them weren't. Oh, boy, oh, this is bad. I, I'm a fucking model, not a comedian. What do you want from me? I understand. This dog's like going this way, this dog's going that way, this guy's going, "Eh, what do you want from me? (laughs) That's good, fellas. That's very funny. (laughs) Oh, boy. Oh, no, that's him. That's him. Oh, Oh, no, look at him without the beard. That's him. Fucking brutal killers. Literally, every time I see you now, I got to ask you to do this. Will you do dice? Do dice talking to Melissa about this, please, because it makes me laugh so hard. You know, you, you make these jokes about the weather, and and it bombed. You was up there. All you gotta do is talk about the hur- hurricanes things there. You know, this it's a weather system that's like my balls. It spews goo, and and, and uh, the the rain goes a goosh a goosh a goosh all over girls' backs. You fucking who was? You saying? <laughs> you're saying none of that weather stuff was funny. I'm not saying none of it is, but we would normally we would edit. <laughs> we have to cut out the parts where you're talking. <laughs> yeah. I am not a fucking comedian. Spread your legs and shut your mouth, whore. A good. He's fucking. <laughs> And, and you know what? When he's in the studio, it's no different. <laughs> so uh, maybe we got off on the wrong foot. All right, it did suck. <laughs> it just, you know what? You can't. It, 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 I even, panicked a little. Even cheater. I panicked. Even a Even cheater. I panicked Come because on. there was a lot of pressure on me. There was a lot of pressure because the first one was great. And I didn't know what to do. I kind of freaked out. But it was the first one was short, concise, some jokes, and then we left. Yeah, but... And this one was like Arthur, too. Well, I didn't know what... Or Caddy's I don't know no, what to do. No, I never even thought of that. Joe, she did Arthur, too. Oh, boy. It wasn't that bad. You just brought it all around. You just brought it all back It wasn't around. that... All right, it wasn't Arthur, too. It wasn't Caddyshack, too. So we're not going like, to do weather anymore. It we're was Godfather 3. We're going to do something else. I would like you to do 
a fashion update. Oh, I will do that. So we'll put you in front of the that. other. We'll put you in not in front of the other green green screen. We'll put you live on location in Paris. <laughs> All I need is a fucking video of Paris, and then you could uh, you could talk about like the fashion and because fashion week's coming up, right? September eighth through the September eighth. She's going to be very busy with a uh, fashion that, shows. Which means I can't eat until. <laughs> yeah, you can't eat. I got to whack food out of her fucking hand Just during kidding. fashion week. No, you're not. Right? Uh, no, I eat. Melissa, what are you doing during Fashion Week? A bunch of runway shows. She does runway shows. She's got a great snotty model face. It's hilarious. She does this. She does this. She no. does these impersonations. You think it's the real thing. <laughs> I never get that right. It's, it's you think it's the real people. All right. <laughs> I, it's, isn't it adorable when they try to do Goodfellas and Godfather and casino lines? Leave me alone. <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> she does this thing. She does this thing think during the runway shows where she does this sassy walk down at the end of the runway. And then she'll she'll stop and, and give this look like, like a dead <laughs> stare. And then there's the photographer. So she'll go one look, the other... <laughs> And then her, her lips are closed at the point. And then right before she turns around, she does this thing with her mouth and goes. And then spins around. Like she shows her teeth a little and then spins around and snottily, snottily walks away. Melissa, do it. Come on. Do it. Do it once. There's no runway in here. Well, walk, walk right up to the camera lens from, from the table. Well, actually, let me, let, me, let me put you on camera three. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, let me let me let me let me go uh, preview three. Why ain't it preview in three? Why is that the Rosa? The fuck's going on? Where's my where's my camera three? I'm previewing. Yeah, camera two preview. Oh, that that's camera two. What what effect? Why wait? No no I got I'm not fucking I'm not giving up. Two one four. Three. Camera three. Well, too bad. Oh, oh, because he's EXT. Hold on, hold on. Let me go three there. Okay. Now, but that ain't it. Uh huh. No, no, because now you're pre. Now, okay. Well, we don't need a green screen. Okay. Now you gotta make the face into the camera though. Well, how far up can I walk though? So well, no. Tip the camera up. Tip it up. I gotta got pull this up on the. Uh, hold yeah. On. No, by the handle, not the camera. Jesus Christ! You're grabbing a lens. What are you? I know. Fucking I'm... photographer. Twist it and turn it up. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Okay. Hold on a second. Hold on. All right. Hold all on. right. I guess gotta. I gotta watch this. Okay. Uh, you okay. can turn it up even further. You can't even see. Like... Turn it up further. Turn the camera up a little further, and you'll be able to come closer to the camera. Because you got to see her snotty model face. It is the snotty. There you go. There you go. There's the air conditioner and one of the lights. You can stop right there. Right here? Yeah. Before the thing. Wait, yeah. Melissa, don't. Wait one second. Hold on, because i got to pull up the, the live feed. Okay, sorry. That's okay. Believe me. It's all about, it's all about you, Joe. It's all about you. <laughs> okay, hold on, hold on. Let me, let me, let, 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 let me, let me, let me go there. Of course it is. Just do your do now. Do your what runway. You do is get that camera. Look at that camera dissolve you just did. That but, was nice. Oh, believe me. Look at this. Look at this. I could auto take myself back to there. I could no, wait, wait. Wait a minute. I could actually preview um, you. Oh well, actually, I, I did a take to you. There's you. Oh, you know what? And now I could go back to three. I could go to two, which is that. I could go to one, which is me. Uh, where the hell did you go? Oh, there you are. What are you doing? Zooming out. Oh, zoom out. Yeah, then you could... Okay, that's better. <coughs> All right. Well, now, no, no. See, it's still not going to get your face. Uh-huh. You got to tip it up. Tip it up. That's as far as you can go. Tip it up a little. Okay, you got to see it because it's an awful, snotty-ass model face. All right. It's, it's, it's horrid. And then she gets done and goes, Ah, is it your model? Did that... But she goes. But she's got like that stupid fucking model face. This is awkward. It's not really focused, but it probably will be once once you get there. I need like real time music. No one to pull focus. Bing, 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 ding, 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 
that, that's that fucking snotty ass look. Ugh, I hate it. It's so not her. It's like, ugh, look at me. Ugh, ugh, ugh. Wait, you gotta focus it. Focus on the uh, on the back wall. That'll do it. There's nothing on the back wall. Though. Well, it's an air conditioner. You can see it right there. Actually, I want to turn that on, but that uh, up, 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 little. There you go. That's better. Okay, that's better. Now you're focused. I need, I need music. What kind of music? What you're just doing. I have enough of that. Oh. That's jock <laughs> you see that snotty face? It's the snottiest, snottiest fucking face you're ever gonna see. Ugh! Oh, you is that it. snotty? You gotta go up there grinning. You already hear you can't. You gotta oh, it's face so horrible. You. Oh, it's the worst because it's so ridiculous. It's so bad. And I'm just thinking the whole time don't fall, 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 don't fall. stop. Oh, I Turn get, around, don't fall, don't fall, don't fall. I get texts when I when I go to some of the shows. Because the shoes I'll they get, make you wear are ridiculous. Yeah, I get a text that'll be like, "Oh God, they give me shoes that suck. I'm gonna fall off these things. Oh, I'm gonna trip. I suck." <laughs> uh, and she's like 18 feet tall on these platforms. <laughs> but that face is hilarious because it's so. Joe, you hung out with her. That is so not her. She's a yeah, it's, it's, she's a goofy it's my ass. My job. She's a goofy ass. She's hey, not hey. a fucking snotty model thing. It's pretty fun doing it. It's though. weird. It's like it's like I agree with you. Melissa's one of those girls. Like it's weird. Like when you hang out with her, you don't. There's nothing in your head where you're going. She's a model. No. It's <laughs> just like so she's say, a drunk. Like, like, <laughs> hey. I'm just but a I don't retard. Mean that, like in an insulting way. I mean, you know, I just mean like. No, that's a compliment, actually. You think that a model would be that down to earth. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because they are all, I don't know, a lot of models I hang out with aren't actually that bad. Are they really? No, well, some, you know, they're the, all pretty cool. The younger actually. ones, you the say, younger are really ones bad. are The younger ones from, like, France and the Russian ones, they're the Russian, all fucking she, divas. She talks about these Russian girls that oh, are, like, 16 worst. years old. Oh, they're the they're worst. They're 6'2". And they weigh like fucking ninety pounds, yeah. and uh, and I'm just jacking off when she's telling me about them. Yeah. But uh, let me tell what? you, folks. Oh, I, oh, I, oh, I, oh, I, no. I, don't know, I work with a lot of Teasing, girls. Teasing, of course. They sound horrible. Yeah. Uh, I'm getting turned on listening to you tell me. About them. <laughs> exactly. <So>. Exactly. <laughs> I'm definitely the most cynical of all the oh, models. Christ. Oh yeah. You know what the I'm good thing like, is, I though? I hate this. It sucks. I'm she's, hungry. She's got enough experience and enough sass where uh, when she goes to these auditions, the people that are putting on the auditions, um, they like her because she's so anti that whole thing. <laughs> I don't care. It's like just, I don't know. What do you want me to do? He's fucking, look at this shit. She'll make <laughs> jokes about the script. Like this... This is stupid. Who wrote this? And then the director's laughing because he knows it's stupid. You actually got a pretty good gig going for yourself. My bliss. My blistex. Oh, that was one. The blistex one. My bliss. My blistex. Oh. What's that? Blistex commercial? Yeah. Do you know how bad she wanted to be the T-Mobile girl? <laughs> Not. Uh, who wouldn't want that? She's making fucking that a fortune. That girl's making bad. She's on 8,000 foot tall fucking uh, uh, billboards. Who's the, team, who's the T-Mobile girl? She's that girl in the pink dress with the white polka dots. And she goes, T-Mobile. Do you watch TV, DeRosa? She's on every really? two seconds. Not really. Jiminy Cricket. I watched I'm, I'm hooked Cricket. on Netflix, man. The instant one. Oh, yeah, yeah Netflix I love instant that instant shit, shit, right? Isn't the future great? Mm -hmm. I was watching. Uh, it is I, great. It is great because I'm shit faced in my bedroom right now. <laughs> the future. It's wonderful. Get shit faced in your own bedroom. Nine out of ten doctors surveyed prefer getting shit faced at home. Uh, you know, I gotta say, never in my wildest dreams, <laughs> when I first heard the Opie and Anthony radio show during drive time, oh, that's a. Yes measly pizza delivery man <laughs> but I think that years later I'd be Skyping into your <laughs> into my basement radio show getting <laughs> to you on this 
It's ridiculous. I got to agree with you, Joe. Never in all my days of knocking tin and putting in air conditioning systems did I ever think I'd be in my own basement uh, doing something that was inconceivable. I used to... You know what I used to do on job sites? I, I went to Radio Shack and got this... Uh, uh, it was a wireless radio transmitter. And you were able to tune it in to various radio stations on an FM radio. Uh, and all the job guys, the carpenters, electricians, all of them, they loved the radio. They, one guy had a giant boombox. He'd put it up, blast music, and that kept them alive. That was the only thing that kept us going... When you're working and there's no music, it's just the sound of your tools and misery. It sucked. But if, you know, you're hearing some fucking credence, you're fucking styling. Uh, crazy so, don't pick you right up, it, 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 any, you know, and just fucking music. So I bought this wireless transmitter at Radio Shack, and I was able to get on a ladder and crawl on top of the ductwork like I was doing something. And, and I turn on the transmitter and tune it till I heard the radio station... Uh, go silent and then I knew I was on that channel and I quickly shut the fucking mic off so then I knew I had it and I was in so then I'd wait for one of the carpenters to walk by the radio I'd flip it on and go yay fucking carpenter piece of shit and then just shut it off and and they would stop or like a hey, plumber you fat fucking cocksucker and they would stop and look at the radio like I have guys talking to the radio Literally going, who, what are you saying to me? Why are you saying that? But the, the long short of the story that was supposed to actually have a slight bit of entertainment to it. <laughs> he sucks. Guys, I gotta be honest with you. I have no idea what you're talking about. I don't either. I was, I was trying to, I was able to transmit through the radio. Like the music would stop. <laughs> Joe, the music would stop and my voice would come out of the radio. My voice was coming out of their radio instead of the music. Okay. So, so I was able to talk to them. Instead of the music, they would hear my voice. What? I got you. I got you. But, and, then, and then what happened? Is there a way to edit this out of the podcast? That I I'm <laughs> I, I, I didn't understand what you were yeah. saying. Hold on, Joe. Let me turn the air conditioning on. It's getting, <laughs> it's getting real hot in here. I, wasn't, I was not paying attention to anything you were saying. Holy so shit. Happened, you talk, you'd say the All right, you know, Joe, enough. Don't try to milk it. I no, I'm not. I, I, I truly do want to. Well, that's when I first knew I wanted to get into radio. Ugh. <laughs> oh, God. Wow. I was doing so well all night, too. Yeah, it wasn't that that story wasn't your fault. It was my fault that I'm, I didn't oh, no, understand. No, no, it was my fault. I I was awful. I I should just I should just pull my gun and maybe shoot myself. Uh, <laughs> no, nah, I wouldn't Christ. do that. Of course not. I'm a safe uh, gunman. You know what? Uh, we we were actually uh, uh, tomorrow. We were actually the red eye cast was supposed to go out to Calverton and uh, we were going to shoot some targets that the Fox staff was making up of various people that we had suggested they make targets of. And we're going to air it on Red Eye. Yeah, uh, Andy uh, is coming out. And Bill is coming out. And uh, a camera crew. And uh, Bill and Andy coming out tomorrow to the place? It was going to be tomorrow, but the weather fucked it all up. Uh, so okay. now we're, we're... I think we're looking at September... 10th maybe yeah, maybe 10 I'm not sure it's what yeah September 11th yeah that's when we want to go out oh, and, and fire some yikes. guns at, at fucking pictures of the trade center what <laughs> no it's uh we're, we're, we're gonna go out and and shoot actually it's people it's co-workers targets of co-workers and targets of uh, uh, pop culture people like Lady Gaga that we hate and we're gonna shoot them at about two or three hundred yards with a 50 caliber uh, rifle and um, it, 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 yeah, it's going to be a piece for Red Eye. They want to do a whole thing where all I want to see though is Bill shooting the Barrett 50 caliber because he's going to scream like a little bitch when that yeah. fucking concussion hits him. Yeah, yeah. And I know it. Like Andy's been in the army; he knows what weapons are all about. But Bill, I don't think he's ever fired a gun in his life. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. it's gonna it, to you watch see him. Baby hair fly back. Yeah, and, and, and here, oh, oh, he's going to scream like a bitch. 
The, uh, <laughs> by the way, one of the shows I did tonight got so, uh, the crowd got so mad at me because uh, I was talking about the hurricane. And I go, uh, I go, look, uh, I go, are you guys scared about the hurricane? They go, yeah. And I go, I go, I'm actually kind of excited about it because I only moved to New York seven years ago, and I'm I'm excited because I feel like this will be my 9/11. <laughs> oh shit! Oh shit! Okay. What now? What did that get? What did that get? Grown. Sons. <laughs> grown. Ten years later, That's again. Fucking grown. Funny. Sons. You know what? If if comics can't goof on that shit, when political correctness and politicians and everyone else are shitting on 9-11, the people that were first responders, the trade centers, soldiers. If a comic can't get on stage and goof on it, then we're truly fucked. Well, it's, I said, I go, I go, guys, it's ridiculous. It's an obnoxious thing to say. That's what's funny about it. I obviously don't mean it. And the crowd was shitty all night. So at the end of my set, I was like, guys, listen, um, sincerely, before I go, I just want to say this. The hurricane's going to hit tomorrow. It's going to be really dangerous, okay? So when it hits, please, please, go outside and stand in it. <laughs> <laughs> because, because, see, you hate people. Because <laughs> I hate all of you. Just, I no. hate mankind. I would have laughed. It's just yeah. like, exactly. And then would you just get fucking yuck face people? You just How a, you guys you just do apologize? that is beyond me. Yeah. How you guys get on stage, look at people's fucked you're not funny i have no sense of humor cunt faces and don't like you're a lot of times you're on a stage so their head is at your foot level and not just kick their teeth in i'm astounded joe astounded it's chilly i will uh, i'll tell you this i saw a comic once i don't want to say his name because i don't want to blow up anybody's spot but a comic who is fairly well known bob kelly oh. Dane on Cook. stage at a club years ago. Louis C.K. And the stage, like you're saying, was at foot level to yeah. the audience's face, Jim right? Martin. And this guy kept heckling, and this guy goes, dude, if you don't shut the fuck up, I'm going to kick you in your fucking face right now. <laughs> That's <laughs> awesome. And the guy is laughing, and the crowd's laughing, and the guy keeps heckling, and the, the comic goes, dude, I'm not joking. <laughs> He's going like, to... Fucking scared. kick her in the face. If you don't shut the fuck up, I'm going to kick you in the face. And it didn't happen, but God damn it, I wanted to have it. I was actually watching it with Burr, and we were laughing. And, and oh, so it wasn't Bill Burr on stage. Yeah. That sounds like something Burr would say, though. That's it funny. would be great because it's like a fucking teed up stage. football. It's like huh? a teed up football. Their heads, they're just sitting there yeah. nibbling on wings. Drinking watered down comedy club drinks, le- talking with their fucking th- the shit crowd they brought with them, and why are they the ones, Joe? Why are the fucking people that are the biggest assholes the ones that sit right up front? They're the ones that sit up front. The bachelorette parties, the fucking couple that brought all their friends that can't stop yapping. They're the ones that are right up front, right there to fuck with you guys. Well, here's why. Here's why. Because this is the thing. The the inverse of that happens a lot in comedy clubs, right? Where you go in, and if it's a light crowd, nobody's sitting in the front. Oh, uh, yeah. And you're sitting there going, guys, somebody's got to go up and tell them to move up. This is going to suck if everybody's sitting in the perimeter of the room <laughs> and in the back. And then you realize, obviously... People don't want to sit in the front because they're afraid they're going to get fucked with, blah, 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 blah. The average person doesn't want to sit in the front because they're afraid they're going to get picked on. But the asshole that comes into the club goes, oh, put, put me in the front. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, he's the uh, one that wants to be in the front because he's going to make the show better, Joe. He's yeah. the one that's going to be like, watch me make the show better. Ugh. Classic line from every heckler. Classic line from every heckler after a show. Hey, I helped. I helped you out. I helped you out. That was good, right? Yeah. Hey, hey, dude. Uh, shakes your hand and goes, "Hey, we fucking really did it, right?" Yeah. Did we? You fucking asshole. Keep your mouth shut at a comedy club. You know how rare it is that I've been at a club. I and I've seen a lot of acts at a lot of fucking clubs, man, over the years. 
And I could fucking count on one hand. I could count on one hand the times where someone yelled something out, it worked, the comic worked off of it, and then the guy shut up afterwards. Because the second it works, like a, a one in a million shot happens, the heckler actually gets a laugh, the comic works off of it gets a laugh, and then the guy thinks now he's the fucking oh, yeah, he's yeah. part of the show. Now everything he says is going to be funny. The oh. comics into him. No, if you said something, it was funny. The comic it works with him, and then you shut up. It then it's fine, right? I would assume. Well, I mean, you know, look, you you deal with it with what you do with callers, right? Sometimes I don't take callers when I'm on my, on the show by myself. Right. Yeah, I yeah. never take. A, I hate. <laughs> The fucking callers on the Opie and Anthony show. But, like, you know... You, you, <laughs> I know what you mean, though. I've I been there. Yeah. <laughs> but, but, you know, sometimes a caller will call in and they will they will be genuine. See, the whole thing with comedy is it's, it's being genuine, right? Yeah. If you're genuine, that means you connect. It's like trying to bang a girl. I always say that. Working a crowd is like trying to bang a chick. So it's like if you can be genuine and connect to a crowd... It's the same thing like when you're trying to charm somebody or whatever. You're being honest and you're being funny and charming or whatever, right? So if a caller calls in and says something genuine that's funny, you laugh and you go, yeah. that was funny. And if they're a genuine person, they go, hey, thanks, man. Right. I'll see you later. It's the fucking dickhead that try. They're trying hard, right? If it's a genuine, yeah. spontaneous moment and it's a person that isn't in there trying to fucking be funny, drunk, try and impress their table full of fucking douchebags that aren't going to tip the staff. Those are the fucking assholes. Right. Ugh. Asshole. Oh. A <laughs> asshole. A jerk-off face. <laughs> I, he, Dice called me jerk-off face once. Jerk -off. And, and I'm like, what does that even mean? <laughs> a jerk-off face. Oh. A shit on hand. A fucking a a chlamydia toe. He just he uh, it, he doesn't make sense, Dice. I don't make sense. I'm an asshole. I don't care. A gush, a gush, a gush. We get it, Dice. We get it. <laughs> oh Christ, dog. Uh, is the greatest, dude. What, you don't remember Dice, baby? What's the matter? You don't remember, like, when he was I big? I saw him at the con wall. When he was big, I mean. Uh, the guy was, insane. dude, and Joe knows, arenas. Fucking arenas. He was Dane Cook huge. Where he would fucking sell out five nights at Madison Square Garden. Where I don't even understand how you see a, a comic at the garden. No. What? What did you say? It's funny, dude. It's funny when you watch, if you uh, watch Dice Rules now, right? Dice Rules! Which is, <laughs> my fucking hat's off to the guy. It's like the guy played Madison Square Garden, the garden, not the theater of the garden. He played the actual garden. Yeah, yeah. Yep. And killed. That's a hard thing to do, obviously. Fuck yeah. But if you watch Dice Rules now, when you see him at the beginning of the show, he holds up a piece of paper and he goes, I got a whole new act of filth right here. You can see that he's shaking, man, because it's fucking scary. Wow. It's like, That's know, fucked fuck up. Because you never, you never thought of someone like Dice being nervous. Mm -hmm. And until you know him, like, and, and know him as a person, you, you kind of do realize, like, that must have been over fucking whelming to him. I remember seeing one of his acts where it was another fucking giant, the Normo Dome, whatever the fuck it is. And he was doing the cigarette bit where he puts it around his head and his hand was like this. He couldn't even <laughs> fucking put the cigarette in his mouth. He was that nervous. And, and that's... But that's like anybody. How do you get in front of that many people? It's like, yeah. all right, asshole, make me laugh. Here's 15,000 people that you are supposed to make laugh. 15,000? How many are in Madison Square Garden? What is that, 30,000? Oh is it that God. much? I don't I don't think Madison Square Garden's 30. Is it? I know that Nassau Coliseum's 15. Uh, Jesus is Christ. it 30? I have no idea. 
Uh, I'm looking. I'm looking at the chat like I look at Pal Talk during the show. Give me a fucking. Give me a number. I'll just blurt it out and it'll be right. I have no idea. <laughs> it's fucking huge. It's huge. Whatever it is. Yeah. yeah. And for a comic, it's very rare you get a comic that can fucking do an arena. I mean, that's other than Dane that's Cook. bizarre. Yeah, Dane was. You know, Dane's another one. Yeah. That uh, did that. But you know what the difference is? Everyone loves Dane. There's not a comic around that doesn't completely adore Dane Cook. <laughs> okay, I couldn't even say it with a straight face. I was like, are you serious? Oh my God, I apologize. I can't... I'm, I'm, I'm teasing, of course. I, I have no idea. I don't know Dane well enough to know of the people I've heard that say he's a saint and say he's a scumbag. I don't know. I saw him on Louie. I saw him on Louie's show. He was fucking yeah. great on that. And by the way... Now that I bring up Louie's show, uh, Joe DeRosa. Oh, you, you were on the last You at that Lisa. fucking uh, uh, table read. That was funny. Was hilarious. And I just, all I did, I, I watched it and said, so Joe is playing Joe. That just a nasty, bitter fuck sitting at the table. That was awesome. It was that great, was a good man. Episode. That was funny Thanks, as man. fuck, Thank man. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, yeah. You just. Louis, oh, Louis so. gave me the part I was born to play. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's pretty the, awesome. The bitter, nasty, fucking asshole. Yeah. That was. You were all jealous that Louis got like a good fucking line in. <laughs> Dude, when I when I auditioned for that, I auditioned the couple casting directors that when I did an episode of Bored to Death. And the same ladies that, well, the same ladies that uh, cast me in Board of Death brought me in for the Louie audition. They're really sweet. They're, they're really great people. And they brought me in for that audition and they said, we want you to read for this thing where you're like a guy trying to sell Louie an apartment. And I was like, okay, cool. And they go, but while you're here, we want you to read for this other part. And the... Apartment salesman, broker guy. I was like, yeah, I kind of get this. I get it. Then they were like, here's this other part where you're a dickhead, miserable <laughs> asshole. And I was like, oh, well, that's I, perfect. I, this. Uh, uh. <laughs> I totally get this. Perfect. Sign me up. I'm a dickhead asshole. Yeah, yeah, so, wonderful. That was fun. Uh, thanks for. Uh, I'm glad you oh, enjoyed it. Oh, it was fucking great. It, yeah. It's that. Uh, did you see the Doug Stanhope episode? I love that episode. It, it's I I look at Doug now, you know. Here's how I saw Doug every time he came into our show. Here's a drunken, drugged out, disaster comic coming in to do our show. I love Doug. He's funny as fuck. I love him on the show. Uh, but I, I would be like, okay, here's like one of Rogan's pals, a fucking you know, a guy that likes to drink, and, and he's a great comic. Right. I now. If he came into the studio, I'd be all like, here's the thespian. Dude, thespian. Doug Stanhope. Was so, it was so good. Good in that episode. I was watching it like, why the fuck is Doug Stanhope not Paul Giamatti? Yes! Just He's an fucking... indie actor. Like, he was so good in it, man. And he was so funny. That fucking line... Where he's trashing Louie for watching the towers fall. Yeah. <laughs> you just watch. You didn't run over. And yeah, you didn't run over. Hey, you didn't run over. And <laughs> yeah. This is fucking this hilarious. But the pain and yeah. sadness in that. Ca- I was like, Jesus. And Christ. and the thing was, he did that laughing and smiling and just saying fun shit the whole time. So to, to deliver those lines and come across as a pathetic, sad, I'm going to kill myself fucking guy, like I never thought Stan Hope had that shit in him. He, that, and it wasn't a small part. It wasn't like this small part where it's like, oh, here's a guy that Louis put in. And, yeah, whole episode. He carried that whole fucking episode, and it was great. This season great. of Louis. Is so different than Dude, the last it's the du- Here's what Louis did, it's by the way. So Louis's a genius. Here's what he did. He's a comedian. Mm-hmm. He gets a season to do his, his funny gag fucking sitcom y thing. And they give him another one, and he goes, Now I'm going to do what I want to do. Yeah, exactly. Make the darkest, fucking saddest, most depressing show on fucking television. 
It's so good, man. It's so, so good. it's the darkest thing on TV. But it's so, so good. good can, I, so. can I tell oh, you guys yeah. a Doug Stanhope story real quick? Mm-hmm. Yes. As we finish our drinks here. Uh, <laughs> you know we'll have another one. <laughs> Are we kidding? <laughs> I got a piss, but that's about it. But yeah, I'm ready to drink more. <laughs> Fuck it. Sun ain't up yet. Uh, I love you, Kumia. It's cool. <laughs> you but, you roll. Uh, he, he goes, uh, okay. This is a funny duck stand up story. So I was like an open mic comic in Philly, right? And I'm like I'm like a year, maybe two years in, because I had just moved to New York, right? And uh, this club uh, in uh, South Jersey calls me and says, "Hey, can you come in this weekend? We want you to open for Doug Stanhope." So I freak out. I'm like, "Oh my god, <laughs> fuck out!" Of course, like uh, I want to open for Doug Stanhope. You know, I'm so excited, right? So I go in, and I go on stage before Doug gets to the club. So I haven't met him yet. And doing my set, and I used to do this joke about the Ronald McDonald House where I would go. I'd go, I don't give money to the Ronald McDonald House because uh, I don't believe that they actually want to help those retarded kids. I think they just want to keep them someplace safe until they're old enough to, so they can staff the restaurants with them. So, yeah, whatever. It's a yeah, repeat joke, whatever. I love it. So, so I do that joke. You get to laugh. I finish my set. I come off stage. The manager of the club runs up to me. Oh, no. He goes, Joe, Joe, Joe. Uh, and he's frazzled. I go, what, what, what's up? And he goes, there's a table of retard, retarded people. There's <laughs> a table of retards. <laughs> retarded people, I mean. There's a table of retarded people here. Uh, gee, I, you didn't know, but Jesus. And he's all upset about the retarded people being upset. I'm two years in at the most in comedy. I go into fucking panic mode. I'm never going to work this club again. I've pissed off the club. I've pissed off the manager. Doug Stanhope is going to be mad at me. I'm so upset, right? I go into the green room. Doug Stanhope's in the green room, and he's cackling, laughing, right? And I go, I go, hey, man, listen, dude, I'm really sorry. And he goes, dude, Shut the fuck up. There were a bunch of retards here tonight. That, that joke. That's so fucking great. That's awesome. <laughs> Doug is an awful human being. Yeah, and ever since then we were we were pals. <laughs> yeah, Doug's fucking the the first time he ever came into the studio was uh I, I was like, this guy is fucking out of his mind. Like, and and genuinely funny. Like, as a person, not just a, a stand-up getting up there and, and, you know, write funny shit and say, j- just genuinely as a person, funny. Uh, by the way, Ronald McDonald House, I think it's more for kids with terminal diseases than retards. Well, here's, here's the second part. <laughs> There's a second part to this story. Here's the second part of the story. Like People would come up to me and tell me that, and i go... I, I don't want to hear it. I don't want to fucking hear it. It's a good joke. I don't care. I, didn't work, right? I would dismiss the truth. I would dismiss fact. Of course. So I would just keep doing the bit. I ran into Doug like two years later, and we're talking. And uh, I and I told him, I go, people keep coming up to me about that Ronald McDonald's joke <laughs> and telling me it's not accurate. But I don't care because it yeah, kills. Who gives a goes, shit? I know. I know, I love dude. a good retard I, joke. He goes, I will always dismiss factual information for the, for the worth of a laugh. Yes. <laughs> There's I so like, many. You know I mean? yeah. There I are. Okay, I kept doing the joke. There are, <laughs> there are so many, like, fucking urban legends and just false things or outright lies that just, it's too funny to let facts ruin the joke. <laughs> yeah, it's fuck what I, what am I, what am I, encyclopedia? Here? Yeah, I you didn't come here to learn something, asshole. Can yeah. you don't laugh and fucking hey, kiss you your pants and to Wikipedia. fuck your chick when you, everything is done, that's it. Just leave me alone. Oh, sorry, my Ronald McDonald, oh yeah, well, they're, uh, this week they're treating fucking uh, cancer of the bile duct and uh, <laughs> gives a shit. No, retards funnier. <laughs> 
I can't believe I'm out of beer again. Hey, what happens? I need a bigger, you know something? There is nothing cooler. There is nothing cooler than the Pilsner glass, as far as I'm concerned. Growing up, uh, the Pilsner beer glass, which is, you know, this, you know, the Pilsner glass, it was always the best thing to drink beer out of. Uh, it was everything that was in the commercials for Schaefer beer. They pour it in a Pilsner glass and let the foam go over the top. Oh, yeah. And it just looked great. But they are the most, they are the worst glasses to drink beer out of. First of all, they don't fit enough beer. Secondly, you're getting, it's top heavy on a thin little base with a drunk handling it. And, and it, it could probably tip over. So if you would mind, could you get me a Bud Light in a Guinness glass? Now those mix know how to fucking make a beer glass. There's a chunk of fucking glass at the bottom, like like a, a blind guy's glasses, and, and the rest of it, eh, it's all equaled out. Thank right, you, sweetie. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get the beer. All right. You, you know what? I'm gonna take that opportunity to take a phone call. Oh right, shit! No one, no one's calling. Everyone stopped calling because we're just, we're just blathering to each other. You, what I gotta figure out, Joe, is uh, a way that I could take calls and you could hear the caller without delay and be able to comment with the caller. I know it's possible. Like if someone's on Skype. Well, if, if it's in the, oh, it's in your, if it's in the, oh, because it's in your ear. It, it's yeah, in yeah, ear. I get it instant, and you're you're not getting it instant. Oh, here's what I could do. Uh, the microphone. Oh, if I take a headphone mic and tape it to the microphone on the computer, you'll hear everything we hear. It's what I used to do with Pal Talk at the uh, radio station. You're right. You're right. Or I could take a line out and put a line into the fucking thing. There's ways to do this. All we right. could get around. Oh, now look, all the lines are lit. Get a beer as my all right, you go get a drink. I'm getting a beer. I'm going to take a call, and then I'll take a piss. When you guys get back, we're all settled. Look, the lines are all lit. Life of the compound, who's this? Hey, this is Tim from California. California. How you doing, my friend? I can put the graphic back up because it is... Extreme death storm, hundreds of millions dead. Uh, it is extreme death storm. Let me tell you out here. Yeah. Uh, it, it was 80 today with a slight breeze. Oh, it may have shit. killed millions. Dude, that breeze, by the way, a lot of people have asthma. And in this dry, I know the summers are very dry in California. Uh, the pollen and um, other other allergens will make people die. So I would watch out. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. And and we're watching out for this, uh West Nile virus out here. Oh, you get that out there? I thought that was just here on the East Coast. East West Nile virus. Meh. Hold on, hold on. I, I got to hold. Uh, stay on hold. I just hung up on him. <laughs> Thank you, sweetie pie. I'm going to try to get somebody that's... Hi, live from the compound. Who's it? Where are you from? Just tell me where you're from. Hey, it's John in Boston. Boston. Okay. Now you're uh, you're in the track of probably by the time it gets it'll be a tropical storm by the time it gets to you right? Yeah, that's what I've been hearing. I've just been preparing for tomorrow. You know, I have all yeah, work. Yeah, I hear you. So. I hear you. Got to stock up on beer and all that. Yeah, I got a caller there, Joe. So don't don't worry. That's you're all right. right. You're still in the in the loop. All I have to do is tape uh, a headphone jack to the microphone there. What? And Joe will hear us talking through the mics, because it's headphone, and the callers. So he'll be able to talk back. Because all he's hearing right now is through that microphone yeah. on the computer. Oh. See? It's what I did with Pal Talk at the studio. Works great. But now I gotta fucking hook up a mic jack, and you know, it's fucking, it's like fucking Monday, I think. <laughs> hey, there he is. What, what are you drinking? What is that, Joe? It's Coors Light. Coors Light, it's Light. the right beer now. Holy shit. <laughs> I'm fucking wasted. Toasted! <laughs> Toasted! We've been on the phone for two hours. Joe rules, man. <laughs> on the <laughs> phone, it's <laughs> Skype. It's not even the phone. What? Where are you? Fucking, what are you, 1998? Are you, Alexander Graham Bell? What the fuck is this? Ah, Jack Daniels, come quick. I need you. <laughs> <laughs> I love you guys. I'm, I'm fucking trashed. This is great. I'm fucking hammered. Why wouldn't we be? 
This is fucking beautiful. And, and, and Melissa, I don't mean to keep saying and. I'm sorry. It's my show. What? 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 I, what, <laughs> what? I don't exist. You know what's beautiful? Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna slide it out of the way here. See that? Yeah. That's my bed. Ah, you're right there. I'm gonna go pass out. I was oh. just thinking that. I'm like, oh my god, you get to fucking walk five feet That's and fall into bed. Go. Joe, we have to toil with two staircases oh, god. to get up to uh, to the bedroom. It's and and you, you meanwhile, just have to collapse backwards, Stand which up and I would backwards. love to have on video. Just see him collapse. His eyes go white. Eyes roll back white. That he, is a nice bed. Black eyes like a doll's eyes. Like eyes. He looks at you like he's not even living till he bites you. <laughs> no, it's uh. And it's it is right there. It's this is like, great. It's like I'm, it's in a weird way I'm working right now. You know? Yes, <laughs> but this is you know what's cool about this? It's like we're hanging out. It is. The future has is a it's here. The it's future. now. Remember video phones when it was like this science fiction thing where it's uh -huh. like, yes, you'll be able to get on your video phone and call a loved one and tell them about things. It's like not only can we see each other and talk, but we're now communicating with the entire world. world. The, the conversation is being transmitted to every corner of the globe. It's amazing. This is fucking incredible. And my Twitter, by the way, my Twitter <laughs> yes. is blowing up. So nice. thank you. Oh, please. Uh, I think that's someone still on the phone. Hello, sir? Yeah? Yeah, we're, you're from Boston, right? Yeah, yeah, I live there now. Are, are you worried about the uh, the storm? Uh, not really, you know. It's... Why? Are you worried? You're from Boston, then. Are you worried about the black people? Because you are, it's the most racist city I've ever been to. Really? By the way. Oh, yeah. yeah. I, I, Boston I work segregated. With several of them. I work with Boston several is a segregated black. city. No, I swear. North End Italian. Mm -hmm. You get your Southie Irish, and then they put the blacks over there in uh, like where is that? Uh, Roxbury. The, yeah, Roxbury. <laughs> Roxbury. It's yeah. totally segregated. And if one of the fucking Roxbury guys goes to Southie. He's getting his fucking ass handed like to him. Like in a Bronx And if a the Irish goes up to fucking Roxbury, he's getting his ass handed to him. But they all know to stay in their own fucking areas. Boston is an amazingly backwards city. <laughs> it's like a Bronx tale. It's like a Bronx tale. It really is. A yeah. Bronx tale. Ah, yeah. Louis Beans. <laughs> yeah, I definitely know where not to go after. Hello, Rich Boss. I love Boss. Where is he tonight? Where, where's Boss? I, you, you know what? You know what? And we talked about this on the radio show. That's the Opie and Anthony radio show. It's on Sirius XM Satellite Radio. And I believe it's Sirius um, 206. 206 XM 105. 105. There. There's my plug. Let me do this from my basement, you fucks. Thank you. <laughs> um, uh, 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 Louis Beans. Louis, Louis Beans. <laughs> What the fuck was I talking about? Wait a minute. I had a purpose. Rich On the radio show. How much you love Boss, Rick Boss. He came in. He did something. He did. Rock uh, No, it was something else that Boss did. You were just talking about how much you love Boss. Yeah, I guess I was wrong. <laughs> I have no idea what I was going to say. What's going on with Boss? How's he, how is he? Oh, he, he, he's good. His, his apartment, his condo burnt down. I know, I heard. Well, look, the only positive of that is that his act was in there. Yeah, his Oh. He'll, he'll oh. finally have to write a new one. Uh, what was that? Uh, a dryer? Was it a dryer door? Uh, was it, Who's dodging me? Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, first off. For as much as we fuck with Boss, I love that fucking guy so much. And, and we bash him on the air a lot. Every time, but everyone that goes out to see him live says he fucking killed, mm -hmm. and that's he does, dude. He he's killed. so funny, man. He's so fucking. And funny. there's no one that. And the fucked up thing is, he gets on the radio show, and his comebacks, uh, you could fucking punch right through him. <laughs> but when he's on stage and someone starts heckling, he will destroy anybody in the crowd. Dude. But. But he's useless on the show. <laughs> I think I've told you this before off air, but the, fu one of the, the, the funniest thing I've ever seen that guy do, 
He said a 65-year-old woman out of Caroline's crying. <laughs> Good. Literally weeping. Because he's on stage. It's a packed house. And he was talking about how he used to do drugs. And he goes to the 65-year-old woman. He goes, he goes Miss, did you, do you do drugs? And she goes, no. And he goes, are you sure? Maybe a few stool softeners. <laughs> Tears. Up, up. <laughs> she probably has like a fucking thing ever she has too. irritable bowel like syndrome impacted fucking bowels vaginal prolapse like cemented her. yeah her asshole's falling out Ew. So that funny. wasn't funny you Jew <laughs> I love that fucking guy uh, oh he's great we had man we had fucking Bobby in and Voss in the other day and then uh, Levy and Levy Schultz and Schultz in. It funny. was it was so much fucking fun. I don't even give a shit what the listeners thought. It was so much fucking fun for me to sit there and be bashed and bash shit. There's nothing funnier than when people you know beat the shit out of you and then slip up and say one wrong thing <laughs> and then you pile on. It's like piranha. It's fucking evil and nasty and, and funnier than any fucking thing around. There's nothing funnier than bashing the shit out of people. It's the fucking great dude. I did Bobby's podcast the other night with Burr. Oh, right? yeah, yeah. I, I heard about that one, yep. And they were on me for the first, like, 20 minutes of the thing. And I started getting angry. I started getting angry. Oh, oh shit. Oh, you started to get... Wait, you, you were being a little sensitive? Come on. a little sensitive. Oh, they were so on me. And then all of a sudden, it switched over to Bobby. And I was like, uh, it's great when it goes to the other guy. <laughs> See, that's what it is. When it's on you, you're like fighting to, to breathe. It's like you're just under the water, just gasping a little air. And then when it's someone else, you're like... Yeah, how can I push his head underwater? I'll drown this motherfucker. <laughs> oh, and Burr, Burr is fucking ruthless. He comes across as like, no, nah, I'm just, you know, hanging out. It's good. It's fucking good. But he's fucking ruthless, man. He's sinister. Yeah. He's sinister. Sinister. And, and, and I love getting it. Me and him have gone at it for years on the air. The second he sits down, me and him will go back and forth about conspiracy shit, the government, all that <laughs> whore, happy horse shit everyone talks about. But then we always realize at the end that we completely agree with each other and have no idea why we were literally yelling fuck you asshole at each other because eh, we feel the same way. Well, Bert, 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 this is what, what Burr is. Burr is like... You know, I was saying uh, earlier about how going to Bobby is like going to your grandmom's house. Yeah. <laughs> Burr is like going to your grandfather's house. Where the whole time he's going, you little pussy. You little <laughs> we like, right? that. But then the other day he comes home, he calls me, he goes, he goes, Rosa, what are you doing? I go, nothing. He goes, I'm leaving for Jersey in a few hours. I'm going to come by. I go, okay. He shows up with cupcakes from Magnolia Bakery. Right? <laughs> Why? Ooh, and he delicious. goes, have you ever had a cupcake from the Magnolia Bakery? And I go, no, I've only seen him talk about it on Sex of the City. He goes, ah, they're fucking delicious. <laughs> they're you fucking know, great. You know? Did you call him a <laughs> faggot? And you're like, what a great guy. <laughs> but you should have called him a faggot. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh really? Sex of the City? Really? <laughs> I love Sex of the City. Oh, God. <laughs> I was uh, like my hand to God. You I homo. That I love that show. Oh, I, I watched the first couple seasons of it. I Ew. couldn't take. I'm a girl. Old so. broads trying to be hot. Yeah. It doesn't work for me. Sorry. You gotta work. We, first yeah, you couple gotta watch the early seasons. Yeah, the first couple seasons. They were good. still old broads. Eh. Kim Cattrall wasn't an old fucking hag the second she was cast for that show. Ugh, that fucking mole started growing hair on it. Stop well, it. This is my beef. This is my beef with the arguments against the show. People go like, oh, she's such a slut, it's embarrassing. And I'm like, yeah. Since when weren't sluts awesome? No, no, I have no problem with her slutty part. It's the 
I'm a slut, but I'm still a powerful woman that hangs out with her girlfriends and they respect me. It's like, shut up. You take cock every fucking night. You're a whore and no one respects you. You're just a whore. I hate that, that it's like, oh, look at me. I, I dress nice. You could dress in a fucking concert t-shirt and ripped jeans and you're still getting dicked every night. Oh, you're a classy broad drinking your fucking Cosmos with your girlfriends? Fuck you. Have a shot of fucking whiskey, drink a Meisterbrow, and suck a dick. Oh! Oh! I'm dice all of a sudden. I'm, uh, I'm, uh, I, I've been converted to this show. I like it quite a bit. It, I enjoy it. Thoroughly. You're a homosexual. Bobby gets so <laughs> mad at me. Oh, he should. Oh, that's because because he wants day. to love it. <laughs> he called me the other day. He goes, "What are you doing, dude?" And I go, "I'm watching Sex in the City." And he goes, "I hope your fucking building collapses on you." He he really <laughs> He I, doesn't like it. He doesn't like so it. So I had to push Melissa over. She was blocking your hey. loveliness on the screen. See, you're so still on there. And then I could switch. To, I could, I've been switching back and forth from uh, your screen, which is full screen like that. Look, look how nice you look there. You're a little, a little bluish. Is that, is that your lighting in the house? It's probably just the computer screen. Oh, the computer monitor. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, maybe it is. I, who, who, who knows? Look, I don't know what to do right now because I have to piss so fucking Go bad pee. that I'm gonna leave you two to your own devices to chat, and I, I got I gotta piss. Is there somebody I, I on the phone? Here with a black, I can't even stand up straight. I swear, I'm gonna I'm gonna be like this. I got I can't stand up straight. I got piss over. So you want another shot? What are no. We what are we doing? No, I have you beer to drink. The Jaeger. I don't want to drink a Jaeger. I'm doing a fucking Jaeger shot. Fuck well, oh I got a Jaeger in my fridge. Are we doing a Jaeger walk. shot here? Did I do oh, a Jaeger shot? I can't walk. Dude, what are you doing? I think I did a Jaeger shot at the bar we went to. Well, listen, if he brings back Jaeger shots, then I got to go get a Jaeger shot. I guess then, I'll go do one. You know, then it's all the thing. Is there somebody on the phone? Who's on the phone? Who's calling at 4.30 in the morning? Well, listen, what's on your mind? Let's 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 talk here. Let's have a heart to heart. What's what's happening with you? Well, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know either. I'm a fucking shit tank. Right I don't know. Now. I'm kind of drunk. <laughs> what is happening? This is this is the greatest. This is the greatest. This is the greatest show we've ever done. Actually, all our shows have been good in the past few weeks because last week Joe Rogan called in. And now this week we've got two more celebrities. <laughs> let's go to the let's go to the phones. Let's see what people are tweeting. Oh Hold right, on. let's go to the phones. Hold on, let's see who's tweeting. Excuse me. La from the compound. Who who this is? Who this is? Hello. Who this no, is? this is Christopher Walken. Christopher Walken. Yes. How are you doing? It uh. Do you have, Tonight, do you I have your grandfather? Hurricane Irene. <laughs> if you hold on for a second, I'll push you on with her. With who? Hurricane Irene. You have Hurricane Irene on the phone. Wow! Wow, oh, this is Hurricane Irene! How are you? How are you doing up on the East, East Coast? Oh, I gotta I got hang up on these people. This is so oh, this is. What did you say? If you'd like to make a call, please hang up and try again. If you need help, hang up and then dial your operator. If you'd like to make a call, please hang up and try again. If you need help, hang up and then dial your operator. September 8th through the 15th. And you uh, are going to be doing runway shows. Yeah, I'll be doing a lot of that shit. That's hilarious. Now, Comey, did you bring shots of Jaeger in? 
Well, I brought one shot because I know uh, Melissa won't do it, but I All brought right, mine. Listen. Hold on, don't do it. I'm going to get a shot of Jaeger. Oh, yeah. See, Joe's no fucking pussy. Joe fucking, I love this guy. He could drink. Like Hold that. on a second. All right. I will, not, I will not fucking raise this to my lips. I can't until... drink that much. I get depressed when I'm hungover. Well, who doesn't? That's what Xanax is for. That's what Xanax is for. I've been taking a lot of... In um, good times, in bad times. The, uh... Uh, what did Ativan? Ativan is like... What is that? It's... Remember, is that like Xanax it? light? It's like a... Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, it's, I barely do it. I got it for sleeping. That shit's for faggots. No, but I've been that taking... That shit's for faggots. I've been taking that yeah. a lot recently, and it's great. How are we doing over here in the room? Let me say. Have you been watching? 808. 808. There was like 2,000 at one point. Yeah, yeah. There was a lot of But that's 808. But this is like crazy. For uh, 4.40 in the morning. Late, late. Look at you, motherfuckers. You're up. Why are that's people awake? That's pretty cool. I'm going to show us your boobs. Oh, that's what they're there for. Yeah. Hi, Big A. A big A. Big A. Uh, big, big A. Uh, Got to come over for Labor Day party. Yes, Labor Day. Big well, a, it's Sunday. Labor Day party. Labor Day Sunday. A big A. Big A. You doing? Anthony, you're, you're sweating, sweating like, like a... a... I have no... Look. Who is this person? Remember we had wait, to wait, bounce look. this person last time? Look. Feel my head. Feel, feel like here. No, I, you're not. I'm not even I moist. Had, I had to kick that person out Are you there. kidding me? Prozac Joe, someone said I'm sweating like a pig, no, and I'm not. not even moist. Now, DeRosa, on the other hand, is sweating. I already pronounced I've seen, I'm I've, sweating. No, I'm not sweating anymore. I, I got no? the air on, and I'm feeling good. That is good. I got this uh, this doohickey here, which uh, it's it says it's 80 in here, by the way. Why don't I turn the air on? You're, you, you hate the air conditioner. I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a, a I'm like on. a 76. Put a coat on, for fuck's sake. It's 80 degrees on. in here. We got oh a light. We're under the lights. Kind of We're under the big lights. I'm a 76 gal myself. Are you? Yeah. yeah. You ever seen the episode of Curb where Leon is like, I'm an 82 man myself. Oh, that motherfucker's funny. Joe DeRosa. <laughs> I know that episode is very funny. I like I'm an 82 one. man myself. You know what I want to try to do? Hold on, hold on. Let me, let me, let me, let me try something here what for a second doing? before we do some shots. I'm going to go input setup, right? I'm going to go uh, input one. And then what I'm going to do is, ah, uh, I'm going to go to the blacks. double box. Curbs. I'm going to go to double box. What are you doing? Hold on. Hold on. Watch this. Watch this shit. Twin box. <laughs> what? I'm going to twin box. <laughs> that shit? No, this is great. This is so we can both see each other at the same time. But that doesn't. I don't care about the background. We're just, we're just there. Now we don't have... Now we just have... No, no, now we're just here, but it's, it's, it's us. We're, we're both in the same fucking frame. Oh, I see. There's no small or large or, you know, screen. Turn that off. It's cold. No, I just turned it on. Son Put on a bitch. coat for fuck's sake. I turned the air conditioner on. Look, it says fucking 80, 80 degrees on the fucking thing. Ah. For the love of Christ on a pony. It's just that the wind is blowing you. Well, that's cold air conditioning. Cold wind blowing on you is cold air conditioning. I'm an 82 it's a miracle of the fucking 20th century. Uh, Joe DeRosa, do you have your uh, Jaeger? Oh, my God. <laughs> there it is. Joe, uh, cheer. Let me, let me. I actually tore the camera. I'll just give you a little chink, tink, tink there. And uh, good luck with the uh, hurricane. Yeah. Mm. Oh, is that stuff awful? Oh, wow. Kidding me? That shit Ew. is just about the most horrible thing you could ever, ever fucking uh, ever drink. Oh, Jesus that, right? Christ. There we are. Well, wow. No, it's good. I love I love Jaeger. I, I, ha I, I hate Yeah, I kind of like it too. I hate it because it <laughs> fucks you up really bad. I was at uh, Bar 9 one night uh, on 9th Avenue. And we were singing. My brother Joe is there. Adam Ferrara, everybody. We were fucking, like, the whole band was there, and we're doing songs from fucking... It was great. Uh, I was drinking Jaeger, and people saw me do a shot of Jaeger and then insist, hey, let me come up with a tray of Jaeger for you. And I just kept doing the shots. 
I went down to the bathroom and puked black. It was just Ew. fucking Jaeger puke out my nose and shit. And uh, I, I finally got up and I couldn't walk back up the stairs. I was that guy that couldn't oh walk my anymore. God. And I was hung over for two and a half days. I finally started coming around after like that. What do people and, and call it is, when they, they go to the bathroom to puke to drink more? Isn't there like a, a name for that? It's called an alcoholic. No, no, no. That's, that's called. There's, like no? a, there's somebody called it something like where you go to the bathroom to puke to drink oh, more. Oh, Danny. Uh, uh, puke and... Let me see if someone's got it. It's like Danny puke said. and duke or uh, wolf puke and... Puke and... Boot. Puke and booze or boot, boot and... Shot. Puke. It has to do with puking and then drinking again. Yeah. So it's whatever another word for puking is. Boot and rage. No. That? No, it's not boot and rage. It it, it, it it rhymes. It rhymes. I it's think like, Danny like made it up. I don't know. Puke and uh, rally. No. no gag and guzzle. Now people are just making shit up. Gag and guzzle. It's yeah, like. No, I've never heard of that. Is that. Yeah. That's what I am, by the way, though. Boot, oh, yeah. <laughs> boot and shoot. Yeah, Boot sadly, that's uh, Boot I've shit. done that several times. Yeah, I've, uh, I've gone and I've puked in order to be able to keep on drinking. Is that bad? No, I don't know if that's worse than. Could you puke and puke? You, could you swing the mic a little closer to the, his, the speaker? I don't. I think it moved. <laughs> Is that bad? No. Actually, uh -huh. I, uh oh. No, actually, I don't think uh, it's. Geez. I don't think it's bad. Uh, I don't know what's worse though, doing that. Or knowing you're so fucked up that you're going to be really hung over in the morning. Oh, that's So weird. you shove your fingers down your throat to puke the booze up before you go to sleep. What's worse? Oh, you mean what I'll be doing in 10 minutes? <laughs> <laughs> that could possibly be what we were just talking about. All right. Well. <laughs> what we're doing in 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> what are you guys, models? Uh, I, I know, don't even right? make That's myself puke, and exactly I should. Exactly what happened. <laughs> that is fucking hilarious, by the way. Uh, I've done that, though, and, and many times. It's it's one of those things, like, you are you know you're, like, you got the spins, oh. and you're fucked up, and you know if you just get rid of what's in your gut and hasn't already gone into your liver and bloodstream yeah you could take a couple of excedrin drink some water go to sleep and wake up and not feel as bad so i've done that man and it's nasty i've heard you puke i am the worst puker you by are the still loud she's like, she's giving me I'm, I'm this guy i go it's the worst sound it's I, had to, I closed my ears like a few weeks ago you did it yeah. I had to like close my ears. I was like, oh my God, this is the worst sound ever. It's like, bad. Like when I puke, I'm like, Bleh. I'm all quiet. You dainty puke. <laughs> You're a dainty puker. I'm a hardcore motherfucker when I, I puke. I hate puking more than anything. Yo. I puke like twice I, a year. Uh, That's yeah, it. I mastered the art of like ninja puking. Really? Yeah. I can't. I'm loud. Uh -uh. So many women would be horrified to know that as they sat on the couch in my living room <laughs> I was actually funny. puking in the bathroom yes no way oh a fellow fucking up. drunk I just gotta go I gotta brush my teeth that's yeah. impressive the shower running yeah. shut up don't worry about it because I was fucking vomiting that's why I was running it's you know how many times I've run the shower and not explained it while a girl was sitting on my couch so I could puke in the fucking bed? It's embarrassing. It's, it's very fucking embarrassing. You're absolutely right. And it's very difficult to disappear from a girl in the house for a while without it either being you're shitting your brains out <laughs> Or puking your guts up. There's two things. I just it's, assume it's shitting. Well, there there are times that, that like your belly will hurt. And yeah. now we live together, Joe. Mm -hmm. Obviously. I, and, I, and, I am aware. And it, 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 <laughs> and and there's there are certain instances where you know you, it's not just a quick dump. Or, you disappear or just, for a while. You, you got. It's like my stomach hurts. And now with Twitter, you could sit there a while and tweet and, and until yeah. your stomach doesn't hurt anymore. You know, Twitter is great for diarrhea because you used to get up a little too soon. Like you'd finish and be like, oh, I feel okay. And then you get up 
and then you're like, five minutes later, oh, my stomach hurts again. And then you gotta run in again. Now you sit down, you take that fucking first dump, you're on Twitter, you sit there. Now you're sitting for a while. And then it you're starts rumbling. It starts rumbling again. And now you have your second yeah. run. And then maybe your third run. So you don't, you're not getting up and out and running. Because the old gag used to be like running to the bathroom and you'd get out, you'd sit down and be like, and run back to the bathroom. Now with the iPhone, there's so many things you can do while you're waiting to shit. I love it. And I think that's an endorsement. Amazon.com app. Yes. The Amazon app. I sit on the toilet and I buy CDs and movies. Do you have Amazon <laughs> Prime? Did you ever think oh, you'd be able to shit? If you told people in the past, while you shit, you can buy stuff, they never would have believed it. It's like, that. Yeah. no, the future is flying cars, asshole. No, we don't have flying cars. We yeah. have the ability to shop as we shit. Yeah, if you told Benjamin Franklin as he captured electricity on the key on the kite, this is going to lead to me being able to take a dump and buy a Pixie CD that I didn't know. Exactly. You, you Never it's like, believe it. like you have, first of all, you go, who are the Pixies? I said, man, don't <laughs> right, worry about right, it. Yeah, it's Actually, he probably would have went, ah, they're cool, yeah. You don't need to know. I'm, go- I'm selling yeah, over to it, France it to fuck some more whores. It's so beyond. It's insane. Dude. We we had the future all wrong. I was sitting in a diner one day, and I looked out the window, and it, it was 2010. And I looked out the window and saw a telephone pole and wires sagging right. and a transformer. And I went, that shit's been around forever, and no one in the 50s would have ever thought we would still look out the window of a diner and see a telephone pole with wires. Mm-hmm. I go, but that's not the future. I don't really ever see that. But it doesn't matter. That's not the future. No. The future is Amazon shopping while you shit. Is Amazon Prime. And watching <laughs> Joe DeRosa in his fucking apartment while we hang out and talk to everyone in the world. That's this the future. Is the future. That's, that's just the future. We missed it. We didn't not we didn't fucking we missed it. If we bet on the future, we'd be ripping our fucking ticket up right now at the track and throwing it going, da didn't come. Let, 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 let me and this isn't even This is gonna sound maudlin for a second. I hear you, Joe. I don't mean it to though. It's just the truth. Do you understand? When I first heard you on the radio, okay, you need to understand this right now. <laughs> someone, heard, someone on chat, by the way, someone on chat, I just looked up, went, uh-oh. <laughs> no, it's not, I'm not going to be a sap. I'm not no, gonna, no, I, not I hear you. It's not sappy. You understand this right? When I first heard you on the radio and I thought, oh, hopefully one day as a comic I'll be on the show, it was like, I will get in a car, I will drive to the studio, <laughs> I will... Go into the room and talk into the microphone. It's like, dude, I'm sitting here with you right now. <laughs> On my internet, in the most half-assed way possible. It's ridiculous, <laughs> right? Doing a radio show with you, right? It's ridiculous. I, I, I talk about the times where I would drive into the city in my Apollo air conditioning van. Yeah. And I, I, I'd be listening, I would listen to Howard in the morning. And uh, I'd drive in. And I'd come over that, that hill on the expressway where you finally see, uh, right by like Van Damme Street, you come over that hill and see the entire skyline of right. Manhattan. And I'm listening to Howard and looking at that, and it's still dark out. And all I was thinking was, I wonder what it would be like to be driving in to do radio uh, in Manhattan uh, and and never, ever thinking I would do it. And then when, when it started happening, I'm like, every day, and still to this day, which is uh, you being maudlin, me being fucking all gushy and, and, and weird about my job, even though I bitch about it all the time and stuff, every day I drive in, every morning, when I come over that hill and look at the skyline, 
I think to myself, I can't believe I'm driving in here to, to do radio. It's, it's one of those weird things where you think about it, it and, and it happens to everybody. It might not be fucking radio or, or entertainment or anything, but it happens to everybody where you think about something and then you find yourself in that situation going like, how the fuck did this happen? That's what you happened know? to me it's when weird. I was listening to your show. Just- like I- four, when I was like 22 listening to your show. I'm 22? Like- Why didn't you call me then? Because you were like yeah. dating some girl. I'm like, this is uh, the never funniest man alive. Uh, did you actually think that? I was like, I because I listen to your show every fucking day for like. Did you ever. think I was like the funniest? Yeah, I'm like this ever. guy is the fucking funniest man alive. Like, I, how cool would it be to fucking live in New York and like do modeling in New York? Because I was like living in LA doing nothing. You it's aim. And now I'm like, ah, I'm here. Joe, she aims so low. I know. She aims so low. Really? I'm scared I know it's on the kid. I'm just saying it's What cool. were you saying there, Joe? I'm sorry. You do this. I'm saying it's real. Some guy uh, either tweeted or chat roomed earlier. I don't remember. But he's like, I'm in Sweden listening to this. It's like, it's ridiculous. Isn't that the most fucked up thing that like, yeah, fucking Sweden. I hear people that's like, oh, man, I'm stationed in Germany. I've been yeah. here like a year. I, I fucking can't wait to tune in to the next episode. And and believe me, this is no pat on the back. This is the shittiest, most unorganized fucking podcast I've ever heard of. We were going to do like an hour or two today. I think we're on our 18th hour of storm coverage. By the way, let me pop that up just in case anybody, uh, let's forget. Extreme death storm, hundreds of millions dead it's from storm Hurricane Irene. Yet. But uh, I, I, I was thinking the same thing. It's like, this is the most fucked up medium ever. Radio was the thing that you, you went into your local market and you became huge in whatever market you were in, right. hopefully. Now you go online and do a dopey ass show and hopefully your graphics work, your, your screen works so Joe DeRosa could be on <laughs> and you know, your cameras work. And people in Denmark and Germany and China are watching you and going like, oh, you know, you suck and I'm wasting my time. But at least they're seeing you. At least they're, <laughs> at least they're there, for fuck's sake. It's fucking ridiculous. Yeah. It's ridiculous. It, it, and this that's, is the future, folks. It's the, the future. Joe... Yeah. 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 It's the future we missed. It's the future we didn't imagine. Everyone thought the future was going to be one thing, and then it just happened. And the future is uh, communication. iPhone. I thought it was going to be this whole everyone's wearing Mylar suits. (laughs) We're all wearing silver Mylar. Like in Lost in Space. Yes. We all (laughs) drive in cars that at least hover. I don't even need a flying car, but I don't want tires. I need a hovering car. And, and we maybe speak telepathically. We have mm. transporters, something like that. But I never imagined that it was going to be this ultimate communication where phones, your house phone, became obsolete. Yeah, even like 10 years ago. Not yeah. even a fucking like glimpse of to what I have, shit would be I like. I have a home line that goes into my house, a hard phone line that goes in. Yeah. And it's plugged into my fax machine now. Yeah. Like I never... And we got that apartment in Manhattan... And I never even thought about like, well, we got to call the phone company. No. It's like, no, you don't do that anymore. And I remember the days where the phone came with the house. Like you'd walk into a house that you were renting or you bought a house. I remember as a kid, my my mother, not my parents, my mother, because my dad took off and I'm still bitter about that. Anyway, (laughs) uh, and, and, and the phone, it was in your house. It was hardwired into the wall. There wasn't a plug. No. It went from the phone. Fu- you had to rip it out like a like a like a drama, like a '60s drama where they ripped it out of the wall. It wasn't as dramatic if a guy could go up to the phone and go, click, and everybody and knew. Everybody knew who was calling everybody at all yeah. times. You knew your phone number by heart, and you now, knew your friends' phone nobody numbers. Nobody knew who but, was calling. But, you never imagined you wouldn't need a hard line in your in your house. Yeah. There was one fucking phone in the kitchen that mm-hmm. was on the wall, and that's where you made your calls from. And now it's like that is ancient fucking history. 
And that was a part of the future I don't think we ever saw coming. Ever. Hey, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and the, the the whole Star Trek thing with a communicator and a tricorder, like to have a thing that you hold that shows pictures that you could get information from and history and video. The tricorder sucked. It was this thick. Spock, figure it out. You can make it that thick. We're in fucking 2011. They're, they're another couple of hundred years ahead and that fucking pointy end cunt couldn't even figure that shit out. You just hiccuped and dropped your your nose into the microphone. You're I didn't drunk. hiccup. He was a pointy-eared cunt. He was a pointy-eared green cunt. I think Melissa's drunk, Joe. Hey. I'm shit-faced. And, uh... I hear uh, you. Yeah. Yes, yes. I agree wholeheartedly. I, uh... I'm about to pass out, to be Me. honest with you. This, this has been a great evening. It is now 5 a.m. And yes. I am... I am fucking... I'm calling this. I'm calling this yes. for your benefit, Joe. For your benefit. Like a five hour. Wasn't Jim supposed to Because I'm going to stay up. Yeah. He's probably out in the jacuzzi. I have no idea. Jimmy. No, I have no Well, idea. cheers to you guys. I Joe DeRosa, let me tell you something. What a great evening. Hang And literally hanging out with you. Literally. This is the awesome. future. And this I can't wait. Fun. I cannot wait to replay this, watch it, and go, ew, a drunken babble. <laughs> <laughs> You, you're so cool. You are the oh, great John Rosa. Let me tell you something. This <laughs> is one of the coolest fun of the fun. No, I, you Joe, the best. I my you. hair the whole time. You've always been the shit, my friend. Oh, and, uh, you guys, man. Sincerely, back at you, man. I wish this we were hanging. Awesome. I, hope we can, I hope we can both at the same time end the Skype and not have that awkward moment where we're just looking around and not talking because it didn't cut off real quick. Oh, it'll be awkward. That, that'll be awkward. I'm gonna I'm gonna cut Joe up right now on the uh, <laughs> on, on the back Thanks, screen guys. cam. <laughs> I'm gonna put I'm gonna put camera two on. Yeah, but you there still, it is. Yeah, you've still got to do it. There guys. it is. But I will say, Joe. Thanks, man. That was Thanks, a lot guys. of fun. Bye bye. Have good a good night, night. Bye, and uh, uh, watch out for that hurricane. Watch right. out, because uh, yeah, as I said, it's See extreme later, death storm. Extreme death storm. Extreme. All right. Oh, all right, bye-bye. All, all right, take it easy. Take it oh, I'll pull that mic down. Jesus Christ. I don't know when that's going to end. God damn, was that fun? Right? That was awesome. How fucking cool is DeRosa? He hung out. How long was that? That was... How long did Joe hang out? I think it was... That was hours. Two... Oh, At least two hours. Two and a half, two two and, and a half hours. Two and a half hours of DeRosa <laughs> hanging, having fun. Okay. And that's, that's what this fucking whole thing's about. I got to be honest with you. A lot of people do podcasts. They do them for one, two hours, which I would like to do. But when something happens and you get like a guy like Joe fucking coming on, you just, you just run with it. That's what I say, right? Yes, Joe's exactly. awesome. Joe's awesome, man. He's just sitting there. What is he? What is he doing right now? He... He's like, did he just lay in his bed? And he's like, oh, I'm so. Fun. Here's Joe right now. Here's Joe. Watch, watch. Oh my God, I'm so fucked up. Please. He might stop be puking. Kidding. He might be puking. God, get me through this one, and I'll never drink again. Might be eating. Uh, he's eating snacks that he got. Do you think got? he's eating to hopefully he's... head head it off the pass? He's eating the emergency snacks. Emergency he got. emergency hurricane snacks. And then he's gonna pass out. <laughs> he's gonna try to make he's gonna be like, oh, I should Shit. make myself puke, but I'm not going to. Then I'll pass out. Yeah, and wake up at like he'll wake up at 3 p.m. <laughs> hey, lo- oh, someone hung up. Hey, lot for the compound. Who's this? Yes. This is Brenda Bridewood. Oh, my God. Hold on. You know, Melissa's supposed to be at Betty Q with Dad tonight, and she's sitting there having a good time, and it's unacceptable. I, all right? First of all, I couldn't hear anything you said. You anything spoke too saying. quickly and too loudly. I now, say, Anthony, this is Brenda Bridewood, and, 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 and Melissa there, she's supposed to be sitting... And uh, shoot tomorrow morning, and instead she's getting drunk, having a good time. Oh, you're supposed to have going a shoot And you're getting drunk and having a good time? Wow, that does sound I like your agency. <laughs> I see you there on the TV. I see you right now. That sounds just like her agency, by the way. It is. And I'm not going to have it. Who is this? <laughs> I'm not going to have person? it. It's what I'm not going to have. 
Is this Melissa, the you better get your ass together, all right? Is this someone you know? No. No, this is not a joke. Well, who is it? I'm being very serious. Look, you're two seconds. Melissa said, second. you better get your ass together, all right? You're two seconds because away from being hung up. You're sitting there, you're having a good Same time. I see you on the internet. One, you think, what, you two. Think people are, oh, God. I understand if you want to do a bit or a gag. I'm open to it. That was funny. That was bad, She called though. like, no, no. She called like as your agency and it's like, but first she sucked in. And then if she would have done it the first way, it would have been good. And then she just kept with it. It's like, just fucking talk, moron. Hi, moron. No, not you. Uh, compound, who's this? Where are you from? Hey, well, this is Terry from Bay Area. From where? Bay Area. Bay Area? Kelly. Oh, shit. Oh, shit, yo. I know what goes on there. Actually, I'm the, I'm the guy who pulled the gun on the show once. Really? <laughs> yep. God That's damn, me. motherfucker. You are the shit, then. Hey. What's going on over there? Nothing. Just, uh, you guys are wasted. I love it. We are or you are? Ah, everybody is. Yeah. What have you been doing? It's kind of early there, actually. Five, four, it's three, two. two actually, two I got up for two hours ago. I don't know why I have to go five, four, three, two. I still got to count on my fingers. I can't just do it uh, immediately. What are you doing there in uh, the Bay Area? Uh, three hours behind us. Uh, got home two hours ago. From what work? Uh, yeah, I've, I've been Ew. watching all night. Though. What do you do? Yeah, that's that's still late. Yeah, tech support for a you know a yeah. tech thing and whatever. Tech support. Awful job. At least I'm American. At least I'm stateside. I know. I hear you, my friend. I'm not going to bitch about it. I just, I'm just, I High feel performance bad. performance NAS equipment. That sounds like an awful job. I'm sorry. Actually, it's kind of cool. Oh, okay. Well, fuck me, though. All fuck right. me in the ass. No, I'm... I, uh, how's the hurricane treating you? Uh, you, you batting down the hatches uh, there on the West Coast? Oh, you know, it, you know that, that slight breeze and the uh, yeah. nice dry air. Oh, Can rough. I ask you something? Actually, uh, really. How, yeah. uh... The news in California, in the Bay Area, uh, how are they treating this hurricane story? Is it is it the lead story? Is it uh, just kind of an, an aside? Oh, no, it's a lead story. Is it it's, the lead? They've, yeah, they've, yeah. The weathermen, the local weathermen have just as big a hard on for it as the East Coast. Really? See, because yeah. I would think they would be like, ah, you know, here's what's <laughs> happening in the Bay. There's some fog, a lot of fog. Um, it's going to be a little cold at night. Well, supposedly, um, the, supposedly the blacks the, are coming over from Oakland. Uh, we're going to have a, a black front that's moving in from Oakland. Well, supposedly no, the I was NBC hoping you'd laugh, so it seems uh, so serious. Uh, I was just Sacramento. making a joke. Jesus. Oh, sorry. Mm -hmm. Supposedly the, the uh, uh, Sacramento NBC station sent in actually a crew to North, North Carolina. Oh, that must be nice for them. North Carolina. Yeah. Oh, that's right. It's supposed to hit there. I thought... Uh, if you listen to the news, you'd think it's already smashed into North Carolina. Hey, baby you, would, you would think that it's already smashed into Manhattan. Let's find that uh, video, that live video from, no? What? Oh, my God. Hold. All right. Thank you, sir. Yeah, see you, man. Look, do you see what's just happened here? She tapped out. I'm asking her, like, could we punch up the video of the live cam from North Carolina so we could see what the weather's like because it, it was like a couple of hours already and I'd like to see the contrast. But, oh, okay, good night, baby. Good night, sweetie pie. No, I'm, I'm, I'm signing off at some point. Yeah, no, I, I just thought you were, I thought you were going to do that. I, what happened? Don't forget to end. Listen, LMAO. That's hilarious. Come on. It's fucking funny. All right. All right. Look, everybody, um, it's extreme death storm. Uh, be very careful, everybody. Uh, we'll be back on the air. I swear to you, we are going to be back on the air with Live from the Compound. It is your extreme st oh. <laughs> storm coverage. Just walk in front of the camera. <laughs> Holy shit. This is going to be an interesting morning. Um, and uh, we'll be back. We will be back with uh, Live from the Compound. And uh, really? Should I? I, I actually, I like, I like an ending, though. I, I got to make an ending for this show, right? 
Don't I? How about so, I, I, and why? Uh, no, I'm just, I'm just going to do the DV. Uh, I'm, I'm going to do this again. I'm going to preview DVR1. Bye. And I'm going to do the countdown sat open. And, um, and then we're done. Holy shit. You are out of your fucking mind. All right, everyone. Be safe. Uh, live from the compound. We will be back. I got generators for the hurricane. All your hurricane coverage. We are right in the line of destruction. The eye of the storm is right over this house. And I'm not kidding you. And we have a lot of refugees coming in. I'm going to have a house full of people. And it's going to be amazing. So stay tuned. Uh, live from the compound. Uh, let me switch to a DDR one and play. Thank you. Have a good night. Look, motherfucker! Look, motherfucker! Talk! Talk!